Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. A lot of people in here today. I mean, I should have expected that, but, uh... <laughs> welcome. Welcome. To what I expect to be the final stream of the Price of Perfection Challenge. It's been a long time coming. Five months to the day in the making has led us to this moment. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it's going to go. For those who aren't aware, we have two things left to do. I'll go over those goals in a moment, but uh, we're going to try to do those two things. And if we don't succeed within 12 hours, then you know what? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But either way, it's going to be a long one today. So buckle up. Should be, should be a long one and a fun one today. Happy to see so many familiar faces, many returning returning faces and names as well. I appreciate all of you guys coming in. Oh, hey, Noel. <laughs> been, a, been, a, been a while, but happy to see you. Happy to see all of you. If, if you've been here for only one stream in the past, if this is your first stream, whether you've made it to every stream, whether you're caught up on every VOD, doesn't matter. You're all part of the community as far as I'm concerned, and I welcome you with open arms. That said, um... I feel like something's missing, don't you guys? Like, like we've we've been so used to this opening title screen here for so long, and don't don't get me wrong, it's great and all, but there's a lot there's a lot of empty space. There's a lot of empty space around this summit, and I feel like it's missing something. And you know what? I think I know exactly what it's missing. I think I know exactly what it's missing. Welcome, welcome everyone to the summit. This is a smorgasbord of you, the community, representatives who have submitted their characters via the Discord. And this is your representation. You've made it. You're here at the summit with us as we crest peak of the challenge here. You can also see our two goals, the sweet gem berry and the small white egg represented by the signs at the top left and right there. Can we get some can we get some cuz you guys are you can see that you can see the rainbow platforms, the rainbow the rainbows on the platforms there. Can you uh can we get some rainbow spam in chat? Just rainbow emojis both for that and f of course for Pride month, you know. Does not escape my notice. Thank you all so much. I mean, you've all been such an integral part of this challenge up until this point and uh I wanted to represent that. I wanted to sort of pay you back in some way. So here, here you are. If you didn't get, uh, if you didn't submit your character, no worries. No worries. You're still represented by your uh, your peers here. I'm glad that you all like that. I think it was a nice little fun touch. So, with that said, with that said. Let's go ahead, not get into the challenge just yet, because if you have been if you haven't been here before, this might be your first time, we do have a tradition at the start of every stream to go over some fan art that may have been submitted, and we have a little bit to go over for this, the finale of the challenge. Starting with this little number from Stream Regular Karita Hearts. <laughs> We did we did have some f fun and fresh Undertale references at the start of last stream during the D Danger in the Deep quest. And this is this is cute. This is a cute representation of that. I'm a big Undertale fan, so this uh this this touches me very close to home. I love this. <laughs> I especially love Krobus and Naps the Bluke chilling at the bottom there. You know, you know those two get along so beautifully well. You got your mushroom dance, you're blue now, which is too perfect given the given those skeletons in the Danger in the Deep. It almost makes you wonder if those skeletons were inspired by, <laughs> by Papyrus in some capacity. But uh, either way, thank you, Karita, for that lovely piece. Next up, we got this piece from Cobalt Cryptid over in the Discord. Just a, you know, a nice arch, a great representation of uh, the many different facets of the challenge. You got your, your hat mouse, your garbage, you got your dwarf dagger, the chests, the egg, lava eel, legend, Coffee, Haley, Timbeeb, Krobus, Copper Axe, Cactus Fruit, and Greg all all wrapped around in like a saturnal orbit around Chloe here. Very, very well done. Encapsulates the challenge nicely. Thank you, Cobalt Cryptid. Next up, 
this <laughs> this one's so cute oh my gosh i love this chloe cosplaying as the hat mouse rest assured once the challenge is over and done with we'll be paying the hat mouse a very quick visit or a very not a quick visit but an overdue visit is perhaps a better way to say that so this is uh this is this is foreshadowing to say the least but very very cute thank you so much to peach for submitting that on the discord the little ears the tail and everything so good next up we got this from koji just a lovely little portrait of chloe this has been my favorite part of seeing all the fan arts over the past few months is just everyone's different representations of chloe all the different styles all the different situations every it's it just shows so much uniqueness and so much passion and i just love it so thank you very much to koji for submitting that very very nice Makes it feel like it's more of a community effort. All right, next up we got this one from Simber on YouTube. I don't know if you're in chat right now, Simber, but this is a, uh, a a less traditional fan art, but it is Chloe and Tim Beeb recreated in, I believe, The Sims 4, which is kind of incredible. <laughs> like it's, I can't believe it's so good. Like this is like to a T. I didn't realize like you could create characters this accurate in The Sims. It's so good. Very, very well done, Simber. Art is appreciated in all its many forms. <laughs> then we have this beautiful piece from Redacted in the Discord. That's their actual name. I didn't like redact their name or anything. And this is uh this is a beautiful, gorgeous encapsulation of just like it's I I have no words. Like it's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. You got the star fruit, you got Chloe reaching up for it. This this is how I feel right now. Like that star that star drop is our is the representation of our many goals and our many trials and tribulations, and we're finally reaching the apex here. Thank you so much to Redacted for that. And I believe I have one more piece of fan art here. Yeah, this is the last one. This is this is gonna be Chloe after everything's said and done. <laughs> At the end of this challenge, she's gonna be so totally zonked. Or this actually might be Chloe throughout the majority of this stream honestly just just sleeping the years away but she's gonna have earned her rest by the end of this so uh very beautiful nicely done thank you to the anon anonymous artist who contributed this one as well super sleepy and thank you to all the fan artists who have submitted their fan art over the many months of the challenge being that this is the end of the challenge um there won't be as many like featured fan art segments because streams are going to be there's this this whole stream schedule is going to get shuffled around i'm not exactly sure how it's going to go yet but feel free to still submit your fan art it will be shown off in some capacity eventually if you'd like to submit your fan art exclamation point discord there is a fan art channel there where you can share it you can also tweet it at me at argon matrix share it with me via dm my dms are open however you want to get it to me let me know how you want to be credited if you want to be credited at all Thank you all so much. The fan artists have been amazing. All right. Okay. Well, no sense dilly dallying any further, right? Let me take a sippy here. Quick little, quick little water break to start off with. I'm starting off so early, by the way, that the sun is in like a terrible spot for me. It's like it was casting glare across my uh, my screen. So I wouldn't be wouldn't have been able to read chat, and I didn't have any curtains, so I had to do the most janky thing you've ever seen. I taped two two garbage bags, two black garbage bags, over the window to block out the sun. <laughs> and you know what? It works, but it's uh, the cost-effective solution is what I'm calling it. Oh my goodness, Doctor Clovis, Anna, thank you very much for the fifty dollars super chat. We haven't even done anything yet. <laughs> Congratulations for almost reaching the end. Go buy yourself a sandwich or a cactus fruit if you're into that. Now I'm paying 50 bucks for this, so I'm going to get all out of this that I can. Also, night, uh, nice art. Really looks nice. Anyway, I'm running out of sp <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you, Anna, the progenitor of Greg. I appreciate it. Greg's mom. All right. And thank you for all, the, for all the love and everything in chat. I hope you guys are ready for this. I don't know if I am, but we're we're going to get into it here. We are getting into it. Can I share my Axolotl's Google slide with you after the stream? Feel free to share it in the in the Discord if you want, Rancholotl. That is totally fine by me. All right. 
let me load in. Oh, you know what? Actually, before I do... Well, you know what? I can load in and then I can do this. Let me bring you into the stream. Into the, into the game, rather. Definitely not ready. I don't know if anyone can be ready for, for the end of a great thing. Alright. Bring me to Stardew. Mute this other music. You really gotta hit me with this sad song <laughs> to start off with. That's just the random jukebox. That's not me doing that. That's kind of funny. Um, But I am gonna set up a poll real quick. Will we beat the challenge within 12 hours? 12 hours being the maximum length of a of a video on YouTube, and so what I assume to be the maximum length of a VOD that can be saved on YouTube? Yes or no? Exclamation point playtime to see where that would leave us if we do go the full 12 hours? Alright, let's do it. What if I don't beat it in 12 hours? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But for right now, and the astute among you may notice as well that I have neglected one, one of the goals. I know there's a whole three people wondering, are you going to be playing Prairie King this stream to try and go for Fector's Challenge? If time permits, I will endeavor to do so. But I got to put the focus first and foremost on actually achieving perfection. I know what the people are here for, and I know what I'm here for, what I set out to achieve all those many months ago, so... I'm going to see that through, and then you know what, we'll, we'll take it as it comes, I guess. Alright, so how's this stream gonna look, right? How, cause like, obviously, we just have a lot of sleeping to do, and I'm not gonna mince words with you, that's gonna be the majority of what we're doing here. I, I am still gonna commit to watering Timbeeb and talking to Krobus for now. <laughs> that may change over time because obviously, depending on how many years this is going to take in game, I have no idea. It could t it could take as few as like one year to get the egg at the feast of the winter star. It could be as many as like fifty, a hundred years. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be um, interesting to see either way, though. A little bit of stuttering to start off in the game, but you know that I think that's actually typical for start here. My, my computer's not used to being up this early and doing uh, th things this early. Yo, Wallagug. <laughs> How's it going? Wishing me good luck. Thank you. Happy to see you. I do also need to stay on top of my mail here at some point, in some capacity. But not. I'm not going to be checking it every day. I think I'm going to do what I was doing in the previous streams when I was sleeping a lot, and I'm just going to I'm just going to check it out like, at the end of every season. Tristan Lloyd Owen, thank you for the 20 pound or 20 euro, 20 pound, I think, super chat. Don't know if you remember me falling asleep with a credit card. Thank you for creating a space to lurk with amazing people. I'm happy that you've been uh, entertained by the stream so far. Thank you very much for the generosity, Tristan. I do remember you. Thank you, thank you. And to Cinder Tatsu as well for the $5 super chat. Congratulations. This has been my favorite series and I've been here since the beginning. You guys are going to make me freaking cry with the, with your generosity and your sentimentality. Thank you so much. Seeing so many familiar names returning people. I see Triple Berry in here. Got Nico, Snatcher, just all sorts of people. The mods, obviously. Lisa, Noel, Zombie, Zombo. Any other mods who might be in here? Crazy. Crazy stuff. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, let's sleep. Thank you, Casey Lee, as well, for the $2 super chat and the heart. I heart, I heart you too. I heart all you guys. You guys got you got to save some of your some of your sentimentality for later on. Don't forget, this is potentially a twelve hour live stream. We got to save some energy. You got to we got to we can't can't let it all be front loaded here. But I do appreciate the generosity, <laughs> nevertheless. It's amazing. Gonna miss this house. Uh, that is one thing, by the way. After the challenge is over. I will be making not only the seed of this challenge live, which I've been keeping a secret up until now, but I will put the save file itself up for download for anyone who wants to, you know, visit the farm and, and check it out themselves and, and do whatever. I think that'll be a fun way to cap off the challenge, so keep an eye out for that in the Discord when it does come to pass. Because that is where it's going to be, uh, where I'm going to share it. 
I do also have a bunch of backup saves of the farm that I might be inclined to share as well, just to share various stages of the challenge. I don't have them... I don't have them, like, at set points necessarily. I created backups as I felt was necessary, but it's, uh... There are, there are a few of them. Alright, it's raining, so I don't need to go water Timby, but I think Krobus is probably outside. These slimes, like, oh my god. Are they still making more slimes, or have they... Have they reached maximum capacity? Is there a maximum capacity outside of a slime hutch? The question is to which nobody has answers. There's there's just too many slimes. Too many slimes that we've made this into Slime Rancher instead of Stardew Valley. It's crazy. Fry an egg on your PC at the end of the at the end of the challenge. I, I do wish to upgrade upgrade my PC at some point here. It's seen better days. It's about like five years old or something like that now, so it's uh it's due. Definitely overdue. Hey Kuro Okami, thank you for the ten dollar super chat. And what are you saying? Gonna be lurking today? No worries. I appreciate the lurkers as well. Thank you, thank you. And wel and welcome Dr. Clovis, Anna, to the uh to the Positron membership of the YouTube memberships. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support, the generosity. Enjoy your emotes, and uh, careful you swing that thing. That sword. That sword, I should say. I'm just so flustered right now. You guys are just so overwhelming. I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love you. Alright. Um, I don't need to do anything with these. Literally, we're, our focus is 100% on sleeping these years away, getting... Getting to these Feast of the Winter Stars as fast as humanly possible. Was that a Void Egg I saw, though? It was not a Void Egg. Some, sometimes I think I see a Void Egg out of the corner of my eye. And I still get excited when I do see them. Let's go. You know what will be interesting to see? How many, how many Stone Owls or other events of a similar caliber do you think that we're going to see during this Sleepathon? And for the record, the Sleepathon will be broken up at year 13, exclamation point cart. We're still looking for that rare seed, and that is going to be when that's when that's a possibility. Blade, our man in the code, has told us that the 600 gold rare seed is available in year 13 at some point. I don't know specifically when, but that is the intel that I have. What year are we on? Exclamation point year. I believe it's year 11, but you know what? Speak of the freaking devil. Spre speak of the owl and he shall hoot. Yo, it's almost like I planned it that way, but I mean, I don't, I couldn't have, so that's kind of crazy. All right. Kuro Okami, thank you very much as well for becoming a YouTube member at the Positron level, no less. Enjoy your emotes and your sword. Care for you doing that thing. Thank you for the generosity. Stone owl number, what is this? Number seven? Hootie the seventh of Yorkshire. Let's go find this boy. Let's bring him home. Blackberry season as well. You know what? I am probably going to keep my axe on me too. Let me ask you this question. Because when I get the chance, I want to make sure that my uh, my forest area, my little wooded area, isn't getting too overgrown. It might be already too far gone, given how much I've slept here. Yeah, it's a little it's a little overgrown already, but I'm gonna do my best to <laughs> to you know prune it a, a wee bit every now and again. It it might be you know it might be a lost cause, but it's my lost cause, so let me let me have this. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, get get rid of this one as well, please. All right, looking for a stone owl. I don't need this tree hike here either. Love your decoration. Thank you so much. We, we committed a decent amount of time to making a little area, a little pavilion for each of the obelisks since I needed to make them all. And I didn't, I, I mean, I'm not really using most of them at this point, so they don't need to be in all one centralized hub. And I thought that would be a fun way to, to mix things up. Yo, hello fresh. Hello fresh. Nope, just more Romney geodes. Where are my stone owl at, though? Mega bombs. 
Oh, there he is. He's ha he wants to go to Ginger Island. Look at this guy. Hootie the Seventh. If, if, I wish he could put hats on these stone owls. I would definitely put, like, the bluebird mask on this guy. That would be great. Our representative, the ambassador of Ginger Island. Hoot hoot, baby. Hoot freaking hoot. <laughs> we need one more now to complete the circle here. To complete the squared circle around our uh, sacred seed maker that gave us our cac first cactus seeds. Amazing stuff. Hootie the Seventh is a parrot in disguise. <laughs> Yeah, the Mega Bombs are a little suspect. A, a little sus, some, as the kids might say. Getting those in a supply crate is a little little strange. Chaos Stripe, thank you very much as well for the $20 Super Chat. You come so far back from when we were calculating XP values of mixed seeds. I still remember those days. This is one of my favorite places to lurk and relax since the very beginning. I have to ask, though, what's, ne what's next after this? I mean, that's the question I've been getting just about more than anything, is, like, once the challenge is over... Where do we go from there, right? And I have plenty of ideas. I've alluded to them in uh, over the past many streams. I've got a lot of ideas, starter-related and otherwise, that I want to execute on. But I'm I'm not gonna look I'm not gonna look too far forward. I mean I'm I'm looking forward. I'm planning ahead. Don't get don't get me wrong. I realize that that's gonna be an important part going forward here. But let's appreciate where we are and just enjoy the challenge while it still remains. Because we're, we're living we're living on limited time right now. On borrowed time. And so I'm just gonna appreciate it right now. But rest assured, there are things in the works. Most of them not as grand as the, as the price of perfection. And by, by grand, I mean like, uh, it's raining so I don't need a water tin bead, that's fine. I mean, not as huge of a scale as this challenge has been. Going for perfection in any capacity is already a huge undertaking, as many people will tell you. But going for perfection under these constraints that I have been has just been... It's its made this like two or three times longer than it otherwise would have been. Obviously, so it's... Uh, <laughs> it'll be inter it'll, It's going to be bittersweet to see it go, for sure. Chance of a modded playthrough? I'm not going to say no because anything is possible, but it's not on the uh, not on the radar right now. I'll say that much. Isn't the way starter counts some luck things using steps? I don't know if it counts uh, luck using steps in any in any way. That'd be a question for Blade. I do know that the game counts the number of steps you have. That's what that's one thing that you're gonna have to remind me to check if I don't remember is that there is that machine over in the casino in Calico Desert that will give us a rundown of our statistics once the once the challenge is over. I think that'll be fun to see for sure. I was planning on a uh, on timing myself like off stream like trying to sleep through an entire year. In, in, in a practice file or something and, you know, timing myself to see how long it would take to give me a rough estimation of how long I could expect to be doing this. I didn't end up doing that, though. But I feel like I can get through a year pretty fast, especially if I start foregoing uh, watering Timbeam and everything and talking to Krobus and we just, like, literally hop in and out of bed for, for hours at a time. Then, obviously, it's going to go a lot faster. For right now, I'm still keeping up the spirit of the challenge here. I have not, I've very seldom missed a day of watering Timbeep. If you looked at like a, a chart of it, it would probably be like a 99 percentile of watering Timbeep, high 99 percentile. We missed a couple days, I know that for a fact, but it is what it is. Sleeping for a whole year can take about eight to ten minutes, and that's so that's and that's assuming that I'm just doing nothing but sleeping, right? Like literally just sleeping my life away. If so, I think we can tack on probably another, you know, <laughs> probably another 15 to 20 minutes per per year, given the little amount of chores that I'm doing every day here. I think I'll do a large-scale challenge like this around Haunted Chocolatier after it comes out. Uh, I mean, I'd like to do something like that for sure. However, I don't know how, how Haunted Chocolatier is going to be structured necessarily. 
So it's hard for me to really say whether the, whether a challenge like this is going to be feasible or or what. But I imagine any game, just about any game that you can think of under the sun, can be pushed to its limits like this, and make you can make a challenge run out of it. And I don't think Haunted Chocolate Juice is going to be any different. In fact, it's probably going to be very similar. But uh, I don't have any concrete answers on that. What if Pickle Jar Rag is played? We're bound to hear Pickle Jar Rag a few times throughout this uh, throughout this stream for sure. Just by, by the random nature of the jukebox alone. But I will say, you know, part of me wants to wants to just switch that bad boy over to Pickle Jar Rag full time for a little bit. Maybe we'll maybe we'll give a, a Pickle Jar Rag year a chance at some point. Give Pickle Jar Rag a chance. Soft Go, thank you very much for the twenty dollars super chat as well. Day one VOD watcher here. Congratulations on coming so far. Speaking of, <laughs> great timing for it. The community and positivity you built around this challenge has been great comfort, and I'm really excited to see the fu its fruition soon. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you've enjoyed it so far. I've really enjoyed seeing the community foster around this as well. Sky10, thank you for the $5 super chat. Been watching the VODs for about a week now and, and thought I'd pop in for my first stream. Won't be able to stay long because of spoilers. No worries. I, I totally understand the spoiler front. I hope you continue to enjoy the VODs and... Uh, that you enjoy the rest of the challenge as in your own time. Pickle Jar Rag. <laughs> Never gonna hear that song the same way again, I'll tell you that much right now. Yo, oh, Strange Bun, Krobus, thank you. One does have to wonder where Krobus is getting all the materials for these things. He's got some kind of secrets that I don't know about. Do any of the recipes that Krobus can give us have eggs in them? Because if so, I got some questions for you, Grobus. Who's your secret black market egg dealer? How can we get Krobus to talk, do you think? I don't want I don't want to torture the poor guy. Maybe Oh. But I mean, <laughs> there's there's a lot of torture available to us right there. We all know what happened last time we set Krobus loose on the slimes. If it becomes Pickle Jar Rag, it will turn from Pride Month to Wrath Month very quickly. <laughs> Pickle Jar Rag's not that bad. Welcome to the stream, Red Cookie. Give him some slimes. Marnie with the hay. Marnie, that's not what I want to see from you. It's been a while since our last Feast of the Winter Star, so it may be easy to forget, but... We did get Marnie as our secret, not our secret gift giver last year, but the one that we had to give the gift to. So, uh, let's we'll we'll see if she liked our gift enough to have paved it forward and get the get the egg that we so desperately desire this year. I would be flabbergasted to get it that early on in the stream. I don't know what I would do with myself necessarily, but it's a distinct possibility. We got a one in. Is, I mean, I don't know if it's exactly a 1 in 26 chance, or however many chances there are of getting a, a specific villager at the Feast of the Winter Star. I want to say 1 in 26, but it might be more or less than that. First time viewer, welcome Quint Brit. If, you're, if you got any questions about what's happening or what this challenge is about, there is lots of information in the description for the rules and rules of the challenge and the costs so far. Exclamation point FAQ is also your friend. There are many different ways to go about it. One in 37, Chaos Stripe? How, how is it one in 37? I'm trying to wrap my head around that because there's definitely not 37 villagers. Yo, love this song. Bow, bow, bow. Finish the VODs just in time. Welcome, Bubbly Boo 2. There were many people that I could tell were, like, binging the VODs and that sort of thing in, in, in the lead-up period to the finale here. I was getting a lot of... I was getting a decent amount more comments on a lot of the VODs over the past week or so than I have been <laughs> regularly, so that was kind of funny to see. Thank you to all of you who have watched the VODs and just tried to get caught up. I appreciate it. Even if you're not caught up on the VODs, though, no worries. You're still as welcome as anybody else. Very rough math based on various things. Fair enough. Maybe there's more 
that goes into the Feast of the Winter Star RNG than I'm than I think that there should be. Because in my in my mind, it's just like a a die. It's like a die with on and on each face is like the face on each side of the die is like a face of one of the villagers, and you roll that die and you just get what you get. But maybe it's more complex than that. I would fully believe it. Coconut. You put the lime in the coconut. We got that's twelve coconuts right there. I don't know if those are all from Sandy specifically, but <laughs> probably not. But many of them are actually. Not caught up, but couldn't miss this. I appreciate that sentiment too. gifts that you get from a villager change depending on the time of day. That is true. That is true that we can sort we could reset the day and change that up if we wanted to, but we're not interested in changing the gift that the villager gives us. We're just interested in the vi villager herself, namely Marnie. She's the only one who can give eggs, and all she gives are eggs as well. So when we get her, we're we're guaranteed the eggs. Anyone who might be new to the challenge, by the way, who might be, this might be your first time watching, you might not be all caught up, you might be wondering, why the heck do you even need eggs anyway? Don't you have all the cooking and stuff done? Because we've used like void eggs and ostrich eggs and that sort of stuff. And uh, that is very true. However, the reason I need an egg is this right here. The only way to get a small white egg for free is via the Feast of the Winter Star. There's no other way to do it. And in order to ship one, I mean, I, I need to ship everything in order to reach perfection, so that's... uh. That's what that's all about. All right, quick quick little mail run here. Going to water my mailbox as well. It was looking kind of thirsty. It sits out here in the hot sun for so many hours on end. It's just, you know, mailbox doesn't get enough appreciation as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to grab these battery packs because I've just been side-eyeing them for the past little while. And I think that's, uh, obviously I don't need them, but better to have them and not need them than to need them and not have them, as uh, as the saying goes. Am I allowed to use predictors? We have not used predictors for basically the entirety of the challenge. The closest that we've come to using predictors, which I guess is still technically using predictors, is uh, Blade told us that the rare seed at 600 gold is only going to be available in year 13. Instead of... Because most we had plans to have everything available that I need from the traveling cart in the first five years, but... The calculations on that got a little mess mixed up, and we and the rare seed was forgotten. It was left out, so year 13 it is, which honestly I'm very thankful for. Year 13 is not that long in the grand scheme of things. To get a very to get a specific item at a specific price at the traveling cart, I feel like the odds on that are not great. So to have it within the first like 20 years even is kind of crazy. Yo, Krobus. He loves this specific type of flower. This is the second one he's got, I'm pretty sure. What do you think, Chloe? Doesn't even bother to capitalize my name. Does that bother anybody else? I ordered it just the other day and it just arrived. I love it, buddy. I love it. Where are we going to put it, though? Because it can't just be sitting here in the middle of the floor. Doesn't he have another end table that I can put this on? Yo, matching? The symmetry is unparalleled. Krobus's room is kind of kind of lit, I'm not going to lie. Speaking of, he does. we do have Krobus's birthday tomorrow. Those are going to be the only two days, other than the Feast of the Winter Star, that I'm really going to head out and do anything, is on Haley's birthday and on Krobus's birthday. You know, I might as well grab a gift while I'm out here for Krobus. We got this last pumpkin. Do I give my last pumpkin to Krobus? I mean, I can always get more from mixed seeds, I think, if I really needed them, but he deserves it as far as I'm concerned. He deserves it. Probus's interior design. All right. Sleepy bye. The first winter of the stream has arrived. Now, for those who may not be aware, we have a tradition. During winter, in the lead up to the Feast of the Winter Star, there is a moratorium on the, on the word. I'm just going to use it here for an example, but from here on out, it is a banned word. We don't use the word egg in the lead up to the Feast of the Winter Star. Because it's bad luck. It's bad luck, right? We want the we want to we don't want to give the egg any undue attention so that when it does show up at the Feast of the Winter Star, we can We can all be surprised together. So nobody say it. Nobody use the word. Nobody use the emoji. It's a bannable offense. Not really. It's all in good fun, but you know, 
every, every utterance of the cursed word, of the sacred word, he should, it, sh, it, the, it which shall not be named is one point against us. It's one strike against our chances to receive it this year. So just be warned, be forewarned. I said it twice. It was an explanatory purpose, and I will not say it again until spring arrives, or until, you know, well, I guess not until spring arrives, but until after the Feast of the Winter Star. And if, if you do, you have full, you're, you're fully within your rights to ban me. You're full, absolutely. But for now, I mean, there's a lot riding on this. This is our first Feast of the Winter Star in a while. The past couple streams, we have been, we've been feast dry because I've been focusing so much on the side goals and everything. Now we're a mainline Marty, and it's time to capitalize on that. I really, it, it would be quite the spectacular moments, quite the amazing turn of events. If I got it on the very first Feast of the Winter Star here of the stream, that would be unreal, unheard of, unprecedented. Maybe slightly precedented given how the beat seeds went for those who were there for that Skull Caverns grind. Anyone else considering spending their day all balled up and wedged in a corner? Maybe that's all of us right now. We're all wedged in this corner together. Kuro Okami, thank you for the $2 super chat, but I'm going to have to... I mean, I'm shaking my head like a disappointed dad at you. <laughs> it, you everybody gets one. Everybody gets one, okay? Everybody gets one, but no more than one. There's two bucks on that thing. Can we no no emojis either related to the word? Trust me, your time will come. Your time will come. The the main reason that I put an embargo on on this word and the sim and the symbology around it is because when we get to the actual day of the event, you get to go buck wild with it. You get to go all crazy, all kinds of crazy with it. So you got to save up your energy for that. Let it build up. Let it fester within you. It's not going to be that long until you get to the Feast of the Winter Star and you get to let it loose. I'll, I'll give you the cue. And at that moment, then we, then we, go, we go crazy spamming it. It hasn't worked out in my favor so far, but it will, it will in time. Every failed year is just one, one quarter in the bucket of our eventual success, as far as I'm concerned. Ovoid. Ovoid is okay. Synonyms are okay. Just allusions to it are okay. But in general, try to avoid the actual iconography itself. Chicken seed. That's one of the less preferred ones. That's the stomach bag of synonyms, but it is it is acceptable nevertheless. Am I entering the fishing contest tomorrow, Krobus? I love you, buddy, but... <laughs> <laughs> you got bigger fish to fry than the freaking ice festival? The festival of ice? Nobody's here for that? Nobody even remembers that that exists in this game? Whose favorite festival is the festival of ice? There's going to be somebody out there that is for sure. There is a certain niceness about the iceness. I'll give it that. It kind of reminds me of that one festival that's, uh, that's held in Quebec with the Bonhomme. The bun... Wait. Oh, I thought it was going to be an, an owl. I think that's our third meteorite, actually, though. What's that festival called, though? The one with the bun -num, who like the big snowman with the big with the great big frosty smile who wears the red hat? Someone in chat's going to know what I'm talking about for sure. Let's go find it, though. The past two meteors have been all clustered within the old coffee fields. I'm going to see if that uh, checks out with this one, too. Let's see. One, I think, I think these are this, I think this one's new here, right? Because we had that one and this, and this one. Look at this. You can get, you can fit them all on one screen. <laughs> what the heck? That's a screenshot right there. You love to see it. Monster Muckle, thank you for being a member for the past two months. At the Electron level, been lurking for a while, but you're here. I appreciate it. Everyone's coming out of the woodwork today. I, I greatly appreciate it so much. <laughs> Lurkers, active chatters, old-time viewers, new viewers. Everyone alike. 
Okay, Alex Stripe, thank you for the $5 super chat. Forgot to adjust for the five villagers that can't actually be gift givers. So Marnie is roughly a 1 in 32 chance. Okay. So about a 3% chance per year for the, uh, for what we're looking for. Got it. Thank you for that math. Thank you for the, the quick math and then the redaction to that quick math and then the actual full math. Full thesis. Did you put your, did you do that little thing where they sign it at the bottom? Isn't there like a specific symbol you have to put on a mathematical proof when you when you complete it? Or that you're supposed to put it in like in academic circles anyway? It's like a circle with a line through it or something like that. Some kind of weird Yoba-esque symbol. I don't even know. It rings a bell in my head for sure. I took all I took a math proof class for all of half a year during the one year that I went to university. And I was like, I'm a bounce. I'm out of here. It's a square. It's a square. Okay. It's just a little square. QED. Does anybody know what QED stands for? Or has that been lost to history? Circle with a line through it is the null symbol. Fair enough. It's that's Or is it theta? I guess both. It could be both. Lurking now. Enjoy your lurkdom, Andrew. Crazy that we're already here. Remember when we started and we weren't sure if the challenge would take months or years? Yeah, I honestly, I had no... Because no one had ever done anything quite like this. And the RNG on it was unprecedented for sure for various parts of the challenge. So I just... Whenever people would ask me at the start of the challenge, how long do you expect this to take? I just never would have a good answer. Because it's... I just would... I just didn't know. <laughs> Knowing what I do now and looking at the numbers that they have been, obviously... I was very lucky throughout Skull Cavern, but I was also very unlucky during the grind for the cactus fruit. So it kind of balances out, and I guess thinking that it would take more than one year looking back might have been folly, given the amount of streaming that I was doing. But who knows? I mean, at the end of the day, it all does boil down to RNG. Random number generation. And the random numbers can either go in or against your favor. Anyone who's ever hunted a shiny Pokemon can attest to that feeling. Unsurpassable Z better make a video on this. I'm not expecting anyone to make any kind of videos. Except for me. I'll be making a video. Uh, I, it's Unsurpassable Z, by the way. Unsurpassable Z. Sorry, I misspoke. Yeah, I'm not expecting any kind of accolades or anything like that for this challenge. This is just me playing the challenge and I'll make my own video and we'll and we'll all move on and it'll be a fun fun memory to look back on. For those who are wondering by the way, cuz I have seen seen some people wonder about like when the challenge is over, are the vods going to be sticking around and stuff? Um the vods will be available publicly on my channel until the challenge like the full challenge recap video goes out whenever that may be. Several months from now, likely. Maybe even more than that, depending on how how cooperative my computer wants to be. The editing software has not been the kindest to me in recent uh, in recent months, I'll say that much. Um, and after that video goes out, they'll still be on the channel, but I'm going to unlist them. So you'll be, able, you'll be able to see them via the playlist. But in order to sort of reduce, I guess, clutter, you would call it on my channel, to make things easier to navigate, it's going to be... That main video, and then that that can that'll have like a link to the playlist or something that'll lead into it'll lead into the rest of the challenge. So no worries if you're not caught up on the vods, you still want to go back and reminisce. It's, there's always going to be the potential to do that. To do that. Hey, a poke burb. Thank you for the five euro five pound super chat. The ingredient that is used in many cooling recipes, such as cake cooking recipes, such as cakes, omelets, and complete breakfasts. That world which we shall not say to tempt fate. Indeed. I appreciate that you're on board with it. And thank you for the generosity, of course. So it's important to check the mail on the 18th. I need to internalize that because that's a week before the Feast of the Winter Star. So I need to see who my secret gift giver is going to be. Scratch that, reverse it. I need to see who I'm going to be the secret gift giver for. Please ban me, I have alts. Don't go seeking a ban, you won't actually you won't actually get banned for that word.
But you know, it's in the spirit of it. He's confused, but he's got the spirit. Would it be possible to get a list of links to all the VODs, too? I'm not a fan of playlists because I don't like the forced autoplay. Um, I could probably put something like that together, yeah. Because I know what you mean, that that playlists. There is, a, I think there's a way, if you're, if you're knowledgeable about your links and your how the URLs on YouTube work, you can edit the URL to make it, instead of a playlist format, it'll change to just like an individual video format. But I'm not going to expect anybody to go through and do that when I could literally just make like a spreadsheet or something with all the video links, so... Yeah, I can probably set, some, set something like that up and link it in the Discord. I don't think there's anything that prevents us from getting the same person that we have to give our gift to two years in a row. So just because we got Marnie last year, Pickle Jar Rag by the way, for the win. Just because we got Marnie last year doesn't mean that we won't get her again this year. And if we do, then this year is going to be another L. But I'm just going to take it as an opportunity if that does happen. An opportunity to pave it forward even harder. Just Is it pay it forward or pave it forward? I've never been 100% sure on that. And I kinda, I'm kind of wishy-washy on the pronunciation that I use there. On which word that I pick. And I just hope that nobody ever notices. No one's ever called me out on it until this point. But now I'm calling myself out on it. I feel like it's pave it forward. It's pay it forward? It That makes more sense to me from a, an actual, like, meaning perspective. But for some reason, I was it's so entrenched in my brain that it's pave it forward. You know you're going to pave paradise and put up a parking lot? It is pay it forward. Is it like it's like when you pay it forward in the in a drive-through line? You're like, hey, pay for the people behind me, and they're, and they're like, sure, that'll be seventy-two dollars. And you look back and see that it's a it's a family of seven in a minivan. And you're like, oh man, I should have looked at that beforehand, huh? But then you're hooped at that point because like you can't you can't back out of paying for the people behind you at that point. Otherwise, you're gonna look like a cheapskate, even though they would never know. It would just be the person at the drive-through window giving you the side eye. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Cool. All right. Looking for my Feast of the Winter Star. This year, my secret friend is... Drum roll, please. First one of the train. Demetrius. Okay. What are we getting Demetrius? Because that's also an important part of this. I can't just show up with, like, Bubkiss. I need to do my part as part of the town, as part of the festival. The one day of the year where I'm actually going to see all of my fellow villagers... What is Demetrius like? What's what's Demetrius's go-to, huh? I know he likes strawberries, but I don't think I have any strawberries. Maybe I have some in the greenhouse. Ice cream? Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Can I cook ice cream? Milk and sugar. I don't know if I have any leftover milk from the days of Sandy. A strawberry will work though, right? Strawberry is good. He loves sap, Zombo. Always peddling that sap train. Gotta respect the commitment. Tomatoes are fruits. Depends on your uh, on how you're using them. Give him a big smooch. I don't know. I think uh, I can't. I can't do that in sight of Haley. If you want to install a mod that lets you marry Demetrius and give him all the smooches that you want, you know, be my guest. As long as, as long as you know, Robin's okay with it, I guess. All right. Uh, I don't have any room for this bomb. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to put it down and ruin all my hard work. No, we'll just go ahead and do that. Oh my gosh, all the mods. <laughs> so many mods. Hello, Decay. Decay, Zombo, Lisa, Noel, all lined up in a row next to Nightbot right there. Avengers assemble. <laughs> Alright. Go to sleep for the night. Let's do it. A few more days, and then we can let all of our uh We can we can let all of our build up of this moment come to fruition. 
You only get one chance at a first time. This is not obviously my first piece of the Winter Star, but it's my first one of the finale, where it's going to be the prime focus, so... I gotta make sure to make it count, you know? There's a pipe bomb in your lunch. Yikes. I was planning on making a lunch, actually. Like, going full brown bag mode, like I was back in middle school or high school or something, and uh, making a lunch for the middle of the stream. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna, like, go eat lunch if it comes to that point. I have, I have a break and everything all set up for you guys. But, uh... I was gonna try and prepare something ahead of time, and I just didn't, didn't have the time for it. But I had a big breakfast. I haven't had my second breakfast yet, but that's okay. Can't wait to sc spam the pre-chicken emojis. Uh, mods, you do what you feel is right. I've, I've, I've put my faith in you. If there's, if there's disturbance that you feel warrants some act, some kind of action, then uh, I trust you. I just trust your judgment. Mods have the final say. In, in addition to me, if if mods start to go like rogue, you know that's another story. But I trust all my mods up until this point. They haven't given me any reason not to trust them. By the way, I do still have this poll up. I just realized I'm so bad about leaving these polls up from the start of the stream. I, there's no reason not to have this one up. But currently, by the way, 92% of chatters do believe that we can complete this challenge within 12 hours. Let's get this done. Let's get her done, shall we? Yeah, mods. If someone's if someone's like going against the rules or against the the goodwill of the stream and causing causing a ruckus, I want this to be a fun, wholesome, happy place for as many people as possible. And if anyone's uh, disrupting that for any reason. I haven't been keeping the best eye on chat, I'll admit, because it's kind of going by faster than I'm used to. But I trust you. By the way, Jacob Pedlo, been one of my main sources. Thank you very much for the for the uh, for the 17.99 euro super chat, pound super chat. I'm sorry, but I'm bad about that symbol. You've been one of my main sources of entertainment for the past few months, and I've loved this challenge and watching you play through it. Thank you, and good luck for the stream. Thank you as well as well, Jacob. I appreciate that you've enjoyed the stream. I appreciate your appreciation of my appreciation of your appreciation of the challenge. You know, and thank you for the generosity. Of course, that's it's it's huge to be supported this way by by so many people, and it's it's unreal. Yo, Winter Star Eve, gotta give gotta give Krobus daily hugs. Take a chat ordered pizza. I don't know if there's any pizza place on Earth that will deliver to to everywhere in chat all at once. A little bit of everything, a little bit of everywhere, all the time, all of the time. All right. Eat a fancy fresh parsnip, a farm fresh parsnip. I got my gift for Demetrius. Don't you worry, Lewis. I've been on top of that for the past eleven years, past ten years technically, and year eleven is going to be no different. Mark my words. Today's the day, baby. I do have to wait it out until 9 a.m. until they're done setting up the festival. Like, what do they even do to set up the festival? They got all that food laid out? That can't take that long, I guess. All right. Um, Krobus? We, we can give a gift to Krobus here. Little Winter Star gift for our best bud in the world. Next to Tim Beeb, of course. Here you go. Merry Christmas, my friend. All right. And while I wait for 9 a.m. to crest here, let's go ahead and I guess I'll do a little farm cleanup. Yo, this is a good time. I think this is what I did last year as well. I can run around and hit all the supply crates that I might have missed. I also might have to deal with this at some at some point here. <laughs> Maybe now is the time. There must be one root tree that I just keep missing. That keeps propagating all the rest of these trees, because it's been it's been a problem. It's been a considerable problem. Nightbot's just very protective. Oh, 
Oh, is that what was going on? Was the copy pasta thing? I mean, Snatcher. I told you at the start, of the, at the start of the stream, that it would not be, it would not be taken well if you tried to post the entire Wikipedia article. I think that should probably go without saying. A little copy pasta here and there, you know, it's a, it's a good fun time, but might be a little excessive. I, I will stand by my mods on that one for sure. And pre-stream only sort of thing, yeah. But you know what? The sentiment is appreciated. Because I know you do it from a place of love. Perhaps use explosive to clear all the seeds. I can't use explosives around here because we got our uh, beloved Greg and Greg Sr. Which is what I've just officially dubbed the Deluxe Rare Pro, I guess. I just kind of just pulled that one out of my hat. All right. 16 mahogany seeds. Trash. Absolute trash. Who needs that many mahogany seeds? Not me. It is 9 a.m. though, officially. Yo, be owned. Thank you for the $2 super chat on VOD 37. It's only on VOD 37, but popping in to say hi and good wish good luck. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And enjoy your enjoy your trip through the VODs. All right, let's get this done. Beast of the Winter Star, numero uno of the stream, numero once of our of our total life. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. Back at you, Marnie. Back at you. You're looking absolutely radiant today. Who's who's your secret? Who are you, who are you giving a gift to today, huh? Huh, Marnie? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna get right between her and Lewis. I didn't even know I could do this. You know what you gotta do, Marnie. You know what you gotta do. All right, let's go quickly make our rounds, though. Say hi to everybody that we haven't seen in a proper year. She's bummed that she didn't didn't win the ice fishing competition. I wasn't there, so you can't blame that one on me, at the very least. Gotta hold off for just a little bit longer, chat. Just a little bit longer, and then I'll give you your cue. All right, obviously we're talking to Demetrius as the very last thing. But I do have to circle around here because Kent Venton. What, what was I going to say? Vent and Kinsent? <laughs> Kent and Vincent are a little locked off from the rest of the village for whatever reason. Not a good time of year for a diet? You're telling me, sister. Thankfully, I'm lucky. I'm, I'm, I've still got that youthful metabolism all worked out. Quick little, quick little candy cane breakdown with Gus. There we go. Leo and Linus. I, it's a very cute, uh, very cute duo, a very cute arrangement that they got going on, Leo and Linus. In any other context, it, context, it could be kind of, uh, kind of suspect. But we all know that Linus is highly trustworthy. Um, I'm going to be looking for a new watering can. All work and no play, it's not very fun. It's for my dog, Emily. You absolute monster. You don't want Timbeeb to have the most fresh possible water that he can? I do. I have this bottomless watering can that's been working out pretty well for me, honestly. But what about like a bottomless gold watering can free of charge? Merry Christmas, Haley. Exclamation point, Haley. She was starting to get kind of lonely. All right, off to Demetrius I go. Hi ho, hi ho. Give Demetrius his secret gift. I think I will. Little strawberry for you. Gold quality and everything. Don't mind the fact that it's been sitting in my greenhouse for the past uh, five years. <laughs> so it's you. Does he even remember who I am at this point? I haven't spoken to these people in so long. A strawberry. Thanks. All right, chat. This is our moment. One, We're one click away from receiving whatever gift we're going to get. You go hard. Spam all the eggs you can. There is no more moratorium on egg. Egg emojis, egg words, egg paraphernalia, eggs and egg accessories. All day, every day, this way to Sunday. Go in, go in. It's time. Let it loose. Let it fly. 
Thank you very much for being a member for the past two months, Preston Jacobs. I see your eggs and Kuro Kami for the two dollar super chat. We're getting we're getting high octane egg action. This is the most eggs I've seen since the very beginning of the stream. This is her very first time trying this. Come on, Marnie. We gave you such a beautiful pumpkin pie last year. Let's do it. Let's do it. Show the people what they want to see, what they came here to see. Jazz. See, it's, it's, I'm conflicted because I can't even be mad because it's Jazz and she's cute. And she's, it's so close too. It's so close to being right because it's the same family, the same bloodline. And it can't, how can you be mad at a face like that? Like, look at this little cutie pie. Oh my gosh. Do you think she's like, excuse me? I, I, I didn't, I couldn't find a gift. I, I'm, I'm only a small child, so I couldn't, I didn't have money for a gift. So I just, I just run, ransacked my auntie's fridge and found this carton of 12 eggs for you. <laughs> Do you think there's a chance, chat? Do you think there's a chance? Um, excuse me? I have a gift for you. I found it last summer when I was playing at the beach. Probably not an egg then. Jazz is so sweet. It's so true. A magma geode? How'd you find that at the beach, you you scoundrel? You get that from a fishing treasure chest? I'm glad you moved here, Farmer Chloe. Me too. Although, why are you still five years old? That's my question. Well, she's probably more like seven years old. I don't know. But and if she started at seven years old, then she'd be like 18 now. So that's a little weird to think about. All right. I mean, you couldn't have expected it on the very first one. There's always a chance, but as as Chaos Stripe, one of our resident mathematicians, has so illustriously demonstrated, it's only a 3% chance. 3% chance for the rest of our lives. These are all of our Feast of the Winter Star gifts from years previous. Add them to the pile. And let's keep it going. An effort was made, exactly. It's basically an egg. It is, it is highly egg-shaped. That is a very accurate statement. All right. No more moratorium on the on the on eggs or anything related until next winter. It's only winter that we do that for. That's our little tradition around here. So let's try and stick to that all together. It's gonna be a lot of that this year. I'm also gonna be have to have to update exclamation point year pretty soon here. I'm gonna have to get in the habit of doing that on a much more regular basis than I'm used to. Thank you to Gray B for being a member for the past two months at the Electron level. Greatly appreciate the support. <laughs> it's, it's a red egg. It is a red egg. A magma egg. Close enough, basically. Just paint it white real quick. Thanks for hanging out for a bit, TDP. See you later. Just need to get Jazz and Shane a couple times before Marnie. <laughs> Look <laughs> like how I got the sandfish and the dead and the scorpion carp and the coconut before the cactus fruit. You might be onto something there. There are many superstitions that we could rely on to see us through to the egg eventually, but I'm not at that point yet. Maybe maybe once I get like, you know, six or seven hours in, I'll start to breaking out more superstitions. I'll go full tinfoil hat, red strings on a corkboard mode. But until that point, I'm just going to send it. Don't want it to be spoiled, so but I thank you and I like the challenge. Thank you, Lit Drake, for, uh, for tuning in just to say that. I appreciate it. I hope you continue, continue to enjoy the VODs. Here's to another great year. Absolutely, Krobus. Another great year of snoozy times. Koji with the $5 super chat there. The real egg is the friends we made along the way. I mean, it is a meme at this point to say that sort of thing, like the real whatever is the friends we made along the way. But at this point, I know I know. obviously this challenge has always been poorly focused. Oh, you know what? Before I, before I send it here, because this is the new year, in order to actually see the date of the new year pass, I'm going to sell something. I'm just going to sell a mixed seed, though. Sell the mixed seed, because it's worth zero. I don't want any extra money. Get your party poppers and your champagne and everything out, your fireworks emojis. Time for a new year, baby. Let's do it. Send it into year 12. Day one of spring, year 12. Oof, oof, oof. 
That clip in the that clip in the trailer for the challenge has come full circle finally. <laughs> Alright, let me go over to Nightbot. Change it up here. Exclamation point year. Year 12. Let's go. Let's freaking go. One year to the rare seed. Yep, the countdown is officially on. Like I was saying though. I know obviously this challenge was built on the principles of like, hey, just spend as little money as possible and get to the end. And that's really all that's ever that's ever been about officially. But the community and all the friends that we made and everything that has sprung up around this has been so much more important than that, than the silly little video game challenge. But thank you all for making this such a memorable and magical experience. This, this is our... I know we haven't achieved victory yet, but this stream is basically our victory lap celebration. We'll, we'll get there. We'll probably have a proper like victory lap celebration after the challenge is over, too. A stream where we realize all of our heart's desires once the shackles of greed are finally removed. Check the hardwood trees in the corner again. I think there's a stump behind a bush to the right of that area. I will check that for you. Let's see. Is our hardwood infestation cleared? Same thing, there's a stump like up here somewhere? Or is it... Oh, is it this guy? How the heck? I can't... That's not even fair. <laughs> Yo, that is it, isn't it? That it, It's this tree here? This tree that I can't possibly reach? I mean, I could probably bomb it, but I kind of like it for, for posterity as well. The, un, the inaccessible tree, the mahogany tree that will continue to haunt us for the rest of our days. I'm not bombing it. That's too good. That's too good to bomb, honestly. <laughs> That's so funny. I've never seen that. I've never seen a tree land in an inaccessible place like that. It's That's very special. As far as I'm concerned. Also, one... Behind the tree on the bush below it. Behind the tree on the bush below it. You saying right here? Some, somewhere in this vicinity? Or is it this thing? Okay, that is that. Okay, I thought that was just an, ac an actual bush, but you're right about that. T-Y, T-Y. The forbidden tree. The forbidden fruit. I was watching the VOD where you're trying to get the mahoganys established up in that one corner. Who knew that we'd come full circle and be wanting to and be trying to get rid of all the mahogany trees? Because I just have so much freaking hardwood that I'm never gonna have that I'm never gonna do anything with. <laughs> That's too good. Can I gather all the rare crows and let them be together? I mean, they've all got their stations in life right now. There's still the one that's guarding the uh, the lucky seed spot, the lucky bean spot. This guy here. We could have them all assemble around this pond. That could be kind of fun. But, I mean, you guys aren't doing anything here anyway. Oops. Get gathered. Rare crows assemble. So there's eight rare crows all in all. They're gathering all around the pond here. And then, I, so that's that's five right there, and then we do like three along the bottom for symmetry's sake. That could be kind of fun. I haven't encountered any crows yet. Yeah, of course not. That's not that's not your job. I know you're called a rare crow slash scarecrow with the garbage hat and everything. Where are the other two at? Did I lose did I lose my rare crows? Where else would I have put rare crows? So I need I need two more. Which two am I even missing? I'm missing the like farm girl one. The one that looks like like Haley if she went full farm mode. And I'm missing the one, the slime room, tree area. It's they're in the slime room. Are is are they actually in the slime room? Oh no. There's there's a there's a there's a scarecrow in there. 
And there's a rare crow over there. And on Ginger Island? No, I don't think we have any on Ginger Island because there's no crows on Ginger Island. What's the last one I'm missing though? Because there's 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 that one and there's one more. One behind my house? I don't think that's true. That's the deluxe scarecrow right there. This is a rare crow recovery mission now. The pumpkin one? Mahogany ones. Oh, I'm missing the one that looks like a weird tiki mask. Tree. Pay that no mind. The one in the basement? I don't think there's one in the basement. I think you're thinking of Mr. Skeleton. Let's go let's go pay him a visit just to make absolutely sure though. Keep up the good work. Garden the casks. Tiki's in a chest. That's what I'm worried about, is that he's in a chest somewhere, and I gotta go like look for him now. I think that's probably the case. It would have been a good idea to actually have him in, like, over by the Ginger Island Obelisk or something like that. Maybe he's in here. Don't see him. Shout if you see the Tiki. Shout if you see the Titsiki. I feel like he'd stand out like a sore freaking thumb. Who is Kiki? <laughs> Tiki, we're looking for we're looking for the tiki mask, the weird, like scary face. Rare crow. Could be in Haley's room. I don't think I would have put him in Haley's room, but maybe. Excuse you. That's my pathway. Where the heck did I put this thing? The chest by the furnaces? You might be right actually, yeah. That was kind of my odds and sods chest. What do we got? Yo, there he is. That's eight, Scarecrow 8 of 8. Rarecrow 8 of 8. Thank you to uh, Bunny Bucket. Pointing that one out. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Alright, now it's time for the one I was dreading and putting off. I gotta go in. Chat, wish me luck. This might not be pretty. This might not be pretty. I gotta get in there and get, this, and get the rare crow. Here we go. Hello, my slime children. It's been a while. Yeah, I know. I love you too. I love you too. Oh, I know. They just miss Mama Chloe so much. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Imagine if I had forgotten the slime charmer ring though. <laughs> yeah, I, I love you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to need you all back in the pen though. I need you. Oh my. I feel. Is this what it feels like to be a, to be a nucleus? Or, <laughs> or alternatively, a uh, supermassive black hole in the center of a galaxy? Look at this. The sound. The sound is kind of vibing. It sounds like I'm going through a warp in Inspired Space with Markiplier. <laughs> just, it's just, they're unstoppable. All right. I got uh, just a halo of slimes around me. Get them out of the, I got to get them out of the airlock. I don't know if this is going to be possible. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, you know what? That might be the best I'm going to do. This, this might be the best I can do. Some slimes might just have to live in the airlock. And I might just have to accept that. No. No, you, you're you getting back in there. Okay. Alright, I think... Oh my god, they're all clustered right at the wall. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Sounds like jacuzzi bubbles. <laughs> Not any jacuzzi I want to be a part of. No thank you. I feel like that'd be very sticky by the end of it. Alright. You get your hat back. And you're joined by your new friends here. There we go. Rare crows have assembled. Take a picture, it'll last longer. Bring them to Krobus. I'm pretty sure if I brought all those slimes to Krobus, he'd literally never talk to me again. He would be like... He'd go down from 14 hearts to like, two. <laughs> Not willing to make that sacrifice again. It was a great moment when it happened, but... Probably not something I'm willing to relive. The poor wall is so gooey now. Hey, I mean... Matches the floor, then, at least. <laughs> Alright. That was a fun little diversion. Let's go ahead and rest.
he would evict himself. Yeah, he'd, be, he'd pack his bags, bags and be gone yesterday. If we committed him to, if we, if we, see, he's making, he's so nice, making us poppy seed muffins, lucky lunches, that sort of good stuff. What a legend. I can't, I can't subject him to any more slime torment. <laughs> Other than having to listen to them slomp about upstairs. The slimes are carpet. <laughs> Krobus can move out and the slimes can take over for everything. I am become slimes, destroyer of Krobus. I guess I should just hold on to this coffee instead of putting it away in the fridge every single time I get it. That ultimately makes more sense. Stillness in the wind. The unfortunate thing about sleeping so much is that you only get very brief glimpses at the start of each of these songs instead of getting to listen to them a full time, like all the way through. By the end of everything here, I'm going to be so sick of the beginnings of just about every song. Hey, another poppy seed muffin. Honest to goodness, a great breakfast. Great breakfast choice. Full transparency. Any time that I don't have time in the morning to make, like, a good breakfast, like a good proper breakfast, I usually just have muffins on hand, and I'll just down a muffin, and then I'll be good for, like, the next, like, five hours. <laughs> I don't know if that's healthy or not. Probably not, because I can't imagine a muffin is that nutrient dense that it would be uh, that it would be able to sustain me for that long, realistically. But it works for me. Muffins are kind of kind of a goaded breakfast item. Chat, what's your favorite muffin? There are there are no like fully right answers, but there are definitely some wrong answers, and I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now, some good choices. You got you got your carrot muffins. You got your blueberry muffins. Lemon poppy seed, I can respect that as well. Blue, blueberry's got to be up there for sure. Honestly, a good chocolate muffin from time to time. Not that bad either. Like a good chocolate chip muffin. Orange cranberry, also pretty good. The muffins that I can't really do, that I don't get behind, or anything that have... Uh, Anything that have nuts in them. I'm usually okay with nuts, but something about nuts inside of a muffin, I don't like that texture differential. It's just unpleasant. Cinnamon apple muffin, very good. Coffee cake. Muffin with hava. No, I'm trying to talk. Thank you. Steak muffin? What the heck's a steak muffin? <laughs> It can't be, like, what it sounds like, right? Chicken seed muffin. I mean, there's eggs in muffins, but if you're just having a pure egg muffin... I guess, like, an egg McMuffin. I don't know if there's a culture... a cultural barrier there, either, but I don't know, like... Is there anywhere in the world that calls, like, English muffins just muffins? Like, in England, do you call an English muffin just a muffin, or is there, like, an entirely different name for it? Because those aren't the kind of muffins that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the muffins with the muffin top and the... and and the generally sweet, sort of decadent flavor to them, instead of the the doughy crispness of, a, of an English muffin. Orange and toothpaste muffin, you absolute monster. Tomato soup grilled cheese muffin. What the heck? There's a whole muffin world out there that I'm oblivious to, apparently. It's a crumpet? They call that a crumpet? I thought a crumpet was something else. I definitely thought a crumpet was, like, fortune cookie adjacent. It sounds so much crunchier than, than an English muffin otherwise would be. Like, crumpet? It's just got, it's got that crunch right in the name. Egg festival? Do you think it's worth doing the egg festival in order to give ourselves a better chance at the eggs? Show the egg that we respected enough to go out 
when we're sleeping through just about every other day of the year, we go out to respect the egg festival. All praise be to the egg. And then we go back into our slumber stasis. Might be worth doing an egg festival every now and again. Quick little cookie breakfast as well. The egg summoning ritual. I'm not going to commit to doing every single egg festival from here on out, but I'm willing to do at least one or two to put in, put in the goodwill, right? It does involve waiting until 9 a.m., but that's okay. You know what I'm very glad does not involve waiting till 9 a.m. is going to the traveling cart. Once year 13 hits, there's no time limit on that. We can just go. And she's open, uh, she's open day in and day out. Hello, Fresh. Hit me with that Hello Fresh goodness. The mango sticky rice. Another great breakfast item. Probably not, actually. I've never <laughs> I've never tried it. Never never fully tried it, but. Mango sticky rice does sound pretty good though. So many dang supply crates. The forest over here is starting to look a little out of control. I knew this was going to happen when I planted all the trees initially. I have no delusions about being able to keep this under control. It was, it was nice while it lasted. Oh my goodness. It's a, li it's a little a little overgrown. But trust me, it's going to be worse by the end of all things here. If you're turned off by that, by if, you're if that makes you like, ooh, my aesthetic senses, ow. I just, I just crit you in your aesthetic bone with that, uh, with that unsightly force. You ain't seen nothing yet, I promise you that. In year 12 already? Time flies when you're, when you're having fun and also when you're sleeping 23 hours a day. Like a house hippo. Aren't English muffins, aren't English muffins what they use for the McDonald's sausage muffins? That is correct. I believe so anyway. Bailey's birthday tomorrow as well. It has not escaped my attention. But thank you, Elaine, for uh, for pointing it out. Because I have been liable to forget it in the past. That much, you know, I mean, we can look back on history for that one. What's the what's my record? What's my egg festival record? I think it's 16 eggs, right? Praise be to the eggs. There's Haley. Quick hello. All right. How is it legal to call a crumpet a muffin? Look, I don't know how English muffins got their moniker here, but it's what I've come to know, and I'm not willing to change my viewpoint. I don't want to start saying crumpet colloquially and have people look at me weird. I'm not going to go to McDonald's and say, "Hey, can I get an, can I get a sausage and egg McCrumpet?" They're going to kick me out of the drive-through line. I believe 16 eggs is my record. 17, it's going to be, it would be a heck of a push for 17 eggs. But I believe, I believe that I have it within me. I just have to optimize movement. That's not optimal movement. I'm, get, I'm getting caught on corners and stuff already. Honestly, 17 eggs might already be impossible. But look at this, look at me go. I got my route all figured out here. Put these skirt around there. Grab that. Okay. These, these are some good egg grabs. Good egg grabs. You, know, you always got to be careful that one behind the grave because it's very liable. You're very liable to see Mona's name pop up instead of an egg. Almost missed that one. That would have been catastrophic for our chances at 17. I'm hearing the music start to wind down. I'm not. I'm not looking at my egg timer. My egg count, I don't think there's a chance, though. I think I still got to... I, I, I did get 16. I got. I think that was 16. Was that 16, chat? Or did I, did I miss one? That might have only been 15. I, if it was 16, I think I got a few steps further than I did last year, because I just barely clutched the 16th egg at the last one. Chloe's zooming. That was 16. Pog. I get some Argon hype in chat for 16 eggs. Just because I got it two years in a row doesn't mean that it's not difficult. 16 is a, is, is a pretty high score. I think it's a pretty respectable score. Quick thousand gold in the pocket that we're never going to spend. 
Well, we'll spend 60% of it. 60% of it, eventually, at the traveling cart, but... Alright, off to bed with ye. Just barely got 16. Yeah, 16 is difficult. Like, I think I've been down this conversation path many a time, and, uh... 18 is the human limit, and 19 was the task limit, last I heard. Tool-assisted speedrun limit. Krobus loves this single end table. This is the- he's gotten the same end table three times. Yeah, keep- I mean, keep it in your room, Krobus. If you like it that much, then, you know, if you like it, then put a flower on it, as you have with the other two. Alright. Need to go- need to grab something for Haley. Need to, I, should I give her the horse flute chat? She does want a pony. What do we get for Haley for her birthday? I, I should have planned ahead. I, I don't even have the freaking... I don't have the recourse... To, oh, I have some pink cakes. I have some pink cakes. I have some ready-made pink cakes. Let's go. Just a little year-old pink cake. No big deal. I should have probably changed out of this outfit, because I, I know that Haley finds this, the prismatic shards unsightly. And I assume that that extends to the, uh, to the prismatic clothing. She might never talk to me again when I show up like this. She might just not talk to me, period, until I change, but... It's okay. It's all good. Saul Goodman. There you go, Haley. Happy birthday to you. She's gonna donate all her hundreds of pairs of shoes on her birthday, no less. Mad respect to our girl. Exclamation point, Haley. Give her a prismatic shard. I've given Haley a prismatic shard in the past. It has not worked out well. In fact, it was a punishment. Well, not a punishment per se, but you know, it was stakes for a uh, <laughs> for the cactus fruit that I lived up to. I upheld my end of the bargain. I vowed to never speak of it again, and here I am speaking of it again. You love that she hates them because they're prettier than her? Citation needed. I think she hates prismatic shards because they're they're too they're too much. Prismatic shards, you gotta admit they're a little extra. They see all the other gemstones around the block in the Omni Geos, and they're like, I gotta go above and beyond. I wanna be all the gemstones at the same time. And you know what, like, I mean, mad respect to you, Prismatic Shard, but Haley sees right through your silly facade. Haley wants to be quirky and special. She's not like other girls. Dramatic shards, I like that. Spring is definitely the busiest time of year for us during this sleep session because I'm going to be... If I'm going to do the egg festival, there's that, and then they've got Haley's birthday, and they got the flower dance coming up too, which is the other exception that I like to make. Because I don't want to leave Haley high and dry. I don't want to I don't want to stand her up. She's come to expect our dances every year now. I haven't missed a single one, I'm pretty sure. Not even when I went to Ginger Island, I made sure to put that off until I until I finished the flower dance when I was going to be away for a long time. It was a high priority, and the high priority remains as high as it ever was. But you know, once we get into the into the nitty gritty hours of the stream, we might have to start cutting corners, and I'm sure Haley will understand if it does come to that. Do you boil your water in a microwave? I've never heard of this. You, you boil water on a stove. Is this end of story? Boiling water in a microwave. I mean, I'm not going to say that you, that's necessarily, you know, you're a psychopath if you do that. Because there's probably people in chat that do it, and I don't want to call my viewers psychopaths. <laughs> but, come on. Like, at some, at some primal level, you got to know that if you're boiling water in a microwave... I mean, maybe there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's probably kind of dangerous, I would imagine. 
at least more dangerous than boiling it in the traditional way, like on a kettle or on a, on a stovetop in some capacity. I feel like you have much less control over how the microwave does it than you do with your dials and knobs on the stove. I've never heard of that, though, and I feel like there's a good reason that I've never heard of it. You keep one in the bathroom to make extra tub hot water. Extra hot tub water. Wait, you keep a microwave in the bathroom? <laughs> Hold on. We're going down a rabbit hole now? Don't keep a microwave in the bathroom, for the record. That seems ill-advised. I think the humidity is not the best thing for an electronic device. I'm just imagining someone sitting in there. <laughs> I'm imagining someone sitting in a bathtub with bowls and bowls of water, putting them in a microwave and like pouring them into the bathtub. And it makes me smile, I gotta admit. Use a toaster. Yeah, yeah, boil your Anyone else boil their water in a toaster or just me? We're, we're venturing into stomach bag territory with the energy that this uh, bit is emitting. Oops, I missed the I missed the bowl. Thankfully I remembered to go back and hit it though. A boil water with a hair straightener. Shower hot pockets. I've heard of some people that uh there, there's like some microwavable foods that have such a low threshold for heat. That you can kind of cook them with your body heat, given enough time. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Like, I feel I've heard that. I don't know the specific foods. Like, I'm drawing a blank on what it is. But there's people who, like, reportedly will put them under their armpits. And just hold them there. Or, like, between their knees or something. And just hold it like that until it's cooked. And I'm like... Do you... Like, is it really that much of a hassle? you just not have a microwave? If so, I mean, like, no disrespect, but at the same time, there's got to be a better solution. Soft boil eggs in your own mouth. <laughs> I'm going to be holding on to the egg for a little while for that one. Armpit hot pocket. No worries, Jay Nuggets. Happy to see you. Quick little bomb in the mail. Getting together for the flower dance. Don't worry, I would never miss it, Mayor Lewis. I would never miss it. I just got finished talking about that. Yeah, like, if you don't have a microwave, that's totally up to you. Every house that I've ever lived in has had a microwave just, like, built in, basically. <laughs> So it's a foreign concept to me to not have one available, but I can see a world in which it's not a high priority to get one if you're if you're furnishing your own house like all the way and it doesn't come with like one built into the kitchen or whatever. Then honestly fair. Fair play. This wizard is sending us nothing but frozen tears. He's crying. He's crying for us. He's like, please, just go get a coop. Just go get, just go buy the rare seed, get this over with, stop this madness, just stop, get some help. The wizard, the wizard of all people is telling me this with his rare, not his rare tears, but his frozen tears. And you know what I say to the wizard? You know what I say to the wizard? I take those frozen tears and I shove them back into his eyeballs. And I say, I, I don't say anything, I just hit him with one of these. I just hit him with one of these. All right, quick, quick little farm cleanup. Hello, my rare crow friend, friends. While I wait for the flower dance to uh, to come about, yo, all my all my uh, grass. I guess it died in the winter. That makes sense. <laughs> gonna get rid of some of this. I don't think I'm gonna have nearly enough time to get rid of all of the detritus that's built up around here. But if I can at least make a path to the Earth Obelisk, maybe that's the standard I need to keep. Give the tears back to his son, Sebastian. Do you know something that I don't? He's talked about having a daughter in the past. He wanted to have a daughter so he'd have someone out around the house that could fit their hand into a Pringles can. 
But the sun is this is the first I'm hearing of the sun. The sun, Sebastian. But I know the Stardew Valley community is very into their theories. Like they're like, oh my gosh, Linus is actually Yoba. Or, you know, Jody is actually a uh, cabbage or something. And then they'll they'll have a a ten page thesis on why that's the why that's the case and exactly all their evidence and reasoning. I'm just sitting here like, bro, enjoy the funny farming game. Does Argon own an air fryer? I do not own an air fryer. Not because I'm against air fryers or anything. It's just, you know, it's never really come up in my day-to-day -day life. Jody is a cabbage, though. <laughs> I'm waiting for the thesis on that one still. How many, how many years, trip, pop quiz, how many years in a row has Haley been Flower Queen? How many years, chat? How many years do you know? This this will show how well you know her. How many years in a row has Haley been Flower Queen? Five. Five. Seventeen. Flop, flop snail, first one dropping in with the correct answer. It's a trick question, because she'll tell you. She'll tell you, I've been Flower Queen for the past five years, but that's not the whole story. She has been Flower Queen for the past five years, but she also says this in year one. And since we're in year 12, and she's been Flower Queen every year since, apparently, because she keeps saying the last five years, I never see her get crowned, but I, I fully believe her. So it's got to be 17 years. This is the correct answer. Since she was born. She was born at the flower dance. Well, I mean, I guess a couple weeks before the flower dance. Let's dance it up, girl. I'm sorry for my uh, my appalling garb here. My gaudy clothing. But I think it would be disingenuous of me to take it off now. This is our this is our grand finale outfit, both in honor of the finale and in honor of Pride Month. You know, this is a great time for a hydration break, though. She sucks at math. <laughs> the five in her dialogue is just hard coded. It's not. It's not a var. It's not a variable that can be. Uh, that can be. That can be impacted. So she just doesn't have access to the proper numbers. She would tell me seventeen years if she just if she only knew if she was given the free will to do so. A concerned ape is a cruel task taskmaster. What can I say? Congratulations, BBC. You got that dinosaur egg. One of the harder things to come by early on in the challenge. Once you get to the prehistoric floors of the Skull Cavern, it's not so bad. Provided you can kill the Dino Rexes or Pepper Rexes relatively easily. Because don't they have like a 30% chance of dropping a dinosaur egg? It's, it's not as rare as it used to be, which is kind of unfortunate. But if you get one from like a fishing treasure or an artifact spot, it still feels just as good as it, as it always did. Can confirm. I've gotten like four of those things this challenge. Drop a drop a one in chat, just the number one. If you're currently playing Stardew Valley while watching this, or playing, you know, playing any other game, we'll we'll extend it. Are you playing a game while listening to the challenge? Because I know this is obviously we're all excited to be here, and it's all very emotional and impactful. It's coming to an end, of course. But I'm under no delusion that this is the most enthralling content to watch. It's probably more fun to listen to and then tune in when you hear something exciting happen, like "Oh my god, oh my god." That's gonna be me. Oh my god, it's Pickle Jar Reg! Oh my god, what? That's a lot of ones in chat. I respect. I respect. 0 0.5, I was playing a game until two minutes ago until I stopped for food. Very important to take a food break every now and again. I am... I get into a bad habit where I'm playing a game. On stream, off stream, doesn't matter. And I'm having so much fun that even though I know I'm hungry and my brain is telling me, Hey, go fill your stomach bag. I'm just like, okay, well, let me finish, uh, 
Let me finish mining this inventory of iron ore and runescape first. But then you gotta go smelt the inventory, and then you got you know, it just it just all snowballs from there. Get it, getting ready for your engagement dinner. Congratulations, Alice. That's very exciting. Hope you have a good one with that. You're eating, but you need to work soon. No worries, Fiona. I'll do my best to entertain you in the interim. Building in The Sims. Respect the decay. I haven't played a Sims game properly. Like, I've played, I've played a little bit, like a tiniest bit of Sims 3 and Sims 4 in the past. Never really got into them in any full capacity. I used to play the heck out of The Sims 2 on the GameCube, though. Me and my sister would both play that game. And it was, uh, it was a fun time. We did, we did all the traditional Sims trappings where you, like, you know, you put them in a swimming pool and then you take away the ladder. <laughs> Anything like that. When you can you can satisfy those strange dark impulses without any actual real world repercussions. Video games are pretty good for that sort of thing. Sims 2 is your favorite. Sims 2, honestly, I haven't gone back to it, so I don't know how well it would hold up today, but I have great memories of that game. I still remember one of like the default NPCs that we interacted with and that I made friends with early on. Her name was Felicity, I think. She had, like, red hair and a green shirt. And she'd, al she'd always say, like, Wabo Wabo, you know? Anyone, any Wabo Waboers in chat? You would enjoy watching me play The Sims 4? <laughs> I would have no freaking idea what was going on. I remember when I tried tried out The Sims 4, I was like, this is a whole different game. I don't have any... There's there's so much to it. I'm sure once I broke it down to its brass tacks, then I would, uh, I would fully enjoy it and appreciate it. But during my first endeavor, my first foray into it, it was certainly overwhelming, to say the least. Gray still plays. I've seen Gray still plays... His videos might recommend it. He's the one who's always doing those things like, I trapped a hundred sims in this building with only one toilet. What happened? Is that is that that guy? I don't think I've ever actually watched his videos, but I've seen them in my recommender from time to time, and I'm like, yo, that could be kind of funny. Have a good one, Liam. Thanks for hanging out. He used to be that guy. Did he pull a brand change? Changed, changed his brand, changed his name. Honestly, you know, respect to him. It can be very easy to get set in your ways doing one thing. You know, you know, it's 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 funny. People can come to know you for doing just one thing over and 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 over again. And it can be pretty hard to break from that mold. It can be pretty hard to break from the mold. Not that I'd know anything about that. Not that I'd know anything about that at all. I don't think... I think that, you know, that's something that I cannot possibly commiserate with. But it is a reality that people face. I mean, I just want to get exactly to 100. I'm very picky about that. All right. Cough, cough, cactus fruit hunting. <laughs> he looked him up, he still seems to be doing the same stuff. More power to him. If he enjoys doing it and he's uh and he has an audience for it, that's ultimately what it's all about. I would say just stick to what you enjoy doing the most and and the people will the people will always come for that. They'll always come to watch that. And I think most, by and large, that is true. That no matter what you're doing, you can eventually find an audience for it. But if you want to build an audience, like, now, doing something as niche as, like, remote control repair or something like that, 
might not get you there. But I don't know. Maybe if you do it extremely well, then uh, who knows? Who am I to say? Ultimately, though, I think the biggest thing to consider when making content is are you having fun with it? I've always said that, and I always will say that. There's more that goes into it, obviously. Oops. <laughs> you know what? I'll never say no to a, to a cactus fruit. Gotta love our mismatched chairs. Thank you, Krobus, for that one. Lockpicking Lawyer did it. Fair. <laughs> Lockpicking Lawyer is, is pretty great, and he does something that would be considered pretty niche. But he's developed quite the following. It, it goes to show you can do it with just about anything. Some things are going to be obviously harder than others. It is, a, it is a numbers game in a certain capacity, but I try not to think about that too much. See a Diamond. Diamond Isaac. Hey there, Lily. Hello from Florida. Hello to, hello to you from Alberta. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the chairs, Krobus. Now please order a dresser. Please. Driving through downtown, begging Krobus through text for the location of the nearest dresser. If Krobus got a dresser delivered so he can store all our clothes in it, this would be my face. That would, that would be me right there. Just picture that as my face cam right now. What's that lovely smell? You must have been sweating all night. No comment. You got 54 followers on Twitch. Most of those just from one, just from one just chatting stream. Yeah, if you if you do it right and you do it well, then I think uh, and you're like happy doing it and you put in the right amount of enthusiasm and energy into it that people want. As long as you get your name out there somehow to begin with, you got to have that first sort of marketing boost by using like social media or whatever the heck you're gonna do. Oh my gosh, the Pirate Cove, Pirate Cove hits so hard, hits so different. Must lurk because it's time to make lunch. Fair enough. I don't know when I'm going to go ahead and make, uh, when I'm going to go, like, make lunch or have my break. I haven't figured that much out yet. I think I'm just going to, you know, do it as I get hungry. I don't want to go into the point that I get starving. That's, that's a trap that I often fall into, where I won't eat anything until I'm like, I'm going to literally die or pass out if I don't eat something. <laughs> I think you want to be proactive in your eating habits, usually. Proactive rather than reactive. Just my two cents. I'm no nutritionist, but if I were, dot, dot, dot. Hangry. <laughs> this mahogany tree. Wait, how the heck did that happen? <laughs> this this Did this tree lob a seed that far? Or was this one that I just must have missed because it was behind the strange capsule? That's pretty great, though. Are on hydrate, no worries. I am I am hydrating with relative consistency. But thank you for the heads up. If you don't eat, we will boycott you until you take your break. I'm gonna eat, don't you worry about me. But you know, if I'm if I'm on a good tear, if I'm gonna if I'm going hard and getting to the next feast of the winter star. I might put off the, the meal, you know, just a few more minutes. Just a few more minutes, chat, and then I'll eat. I promise I'll eat. The forbidden tree is too powerful. Alright, chat. You gotta you got give me this one for a little bit, okay? I'm dying. I'm dying due to a lack of pickle jar rag in my life. We'll just go for the rest of the rest of this year. That's all that's all I'm gonna do. 
just 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 one year just give me not even one year this is like half of a year pickle jar rag i'm going in i'm going in give it to me just give me this one okay please please chat I need my pickle jar rag fix. I've got an itch, and the only thing that'll scratch it is more pickle jar rag. The pickle jar rag dance party. Yo, that's what I can do. Next flower dance, I can I can mute the in-game music, and we'll just bring our own jukebox. Make pickle jar rag go, go hard. Dance with Haley to pickle jar rag. That's our final form. Chloe's routine or schedule. Wake up. Good morning, Timby. Good night, Timby. Rinse and repeat. We also talk to Krobus, you know, when we see him. Imagine this whole thing from Krobus's perspective, because he like stays up throughout the day. He like actually lives a normal life, kind of, but he doesn't leave the house really on most days. Somet sometimes he'll step outside in the rain to to just be to be one with nature, be one with the droplets. But it's not a common occurrence. And from his perspective, I'm literally just like going to... I wake up, I walk around for 20-30 minutes, and I'm back in bed. He seems okay with it, at the very least. He's, he's keeping me well-fed. I will say that much. Keeping me well-fed, give me all the conversation and social needs that I require. Humans are innately social creatures, so... Even though I'm not going to talk to literally anybody else, Krobus is filling that void for right now. Can we check the itinerary? The itinerary slugs rule has been retired. Because there's only two things on it. <laughs> and I incorporated them into the uh, into the finale title screen. I, we, I got two signs in there. I'll show you real quick. This, I'll show you the official, unofficial itinerary. Give me a second here. Here's our itinerary. Top left, top right. You can see the signs there. At, at, the, at a moment's notice, at a moment's notice, they will be gone. But not until we achieve them, obviously. The itinerary is taken on its final form. It's, it's in finale form. It's in finale mode, just like the rest of us. You're on Team Egg. I didn't even think about that, that I broke down the two side, the two halves of chat into Team Egg and Team Sweet Gem Berry. Tag yourself, I'm I'm Chloe. <laughs> what about Vector's Challenge? Vector's Challenge is a side goal that if I have time, I will commit to. I'll commit some time to giving it a shot, but I make no promises about doing any of that this stream. Mark my words, it will get done on stream at some point, just maybe not this stream. Team money counter. <laughs> part, of, part of the elite team money counter. I respect to that. Team Barry. Yo, but who's team Ficus? Robus? Considering spending my day all balled up and wedged in a corner? That bad, huh? Is this a Ficus? Chat? Chat? Why in chat if this is a Ficus? And in chat if it's not a Ficus? I don't know what a Ficus even is, but... The, the first word that came to mind when I saw that was ficus. This is a fun word to say, honestly. It, see, uh, it would seem that the, see, most people are either un unclear on the question or unclear on the status of that uh, of that plant, or it is indeed a ficus. It is, a, is it actually a ficus? What constitutes a ficus? Like, what's the botanical classification for that? Is there one? Is I mean, there must be, obviously. Is it the broad leaves that do it? The broad leaves? Because that's what drew my attention immediately. Those leaves are so broad. I have no idea. I just have. I just believe in the plant to find its home. <laughs> Fair. 
You can identify plants, and that's definitely a plant. Are you sure it's not a monkey? Little extra mail, little extra mail. We're getting lots of hay from Marnie. She's trying to make up for her lack of eggs at the Feast of the Winter Star. Like, I think she knows. You know what, maybe we're getting, maybe I'm putting my focus on the wrong person. Because obviously Marnie probably knows and wants to give us eggs, but she can't, she also can't break the sacred creed of, um, a Feast of the Winter Star secret Santa, secret Yoba. So she just has to go with whoever Lewis gives her, so maybe Lewis is the one that I should be trying to butter up. Or alternatively, direct our ire towards. I think Lewis is is the real nemesis. He's the Lewis is officially the final boss of uh of the Price of Perfection. Lewis and the Traveling Merchant, I guess. But the Traveling Merchant is less of a final boss and more of like a a co-protagonist. Much of this challenge would be very different or not possible without her, without her input. So get some argon love or just heart emojis in general for the for the traveling merchant preemptives and so that we can hopefully get the rare seed nice and early on in year 13 when it gets to that i believe that she'll i think that she'll come through i don't think she'll make us hunt her down at like the night market or anything like that for the rare seed i think she'll be kind we've been through enough and she realizes that she won't drag us. She won't string us along for too for too long. Lewis, on the other hand, that's another story. It's another story. We did kind of we've done a lot with his purple shorts that he's not been too happy about. And you know we are at ten hearts with the guy, so he's forgiven maybe, but he does not forget. Forgiven, not forgotten. We also robbed him of his solid gold statue, threw it in the middle of town for everyone to laugh at. Chloe has kind of bullied Lewis. But, you know, it was all in good fun. It was also at the whim of chat, mainly. I don't think I would have done most of that stuff if not for chat. So, chat, it's on you. That one's on you. What's the different teams? You got Team team Barry and Team Egg. Stake your claim now. Do you think that, uh, do you think that we're going to get the Barry first? Or the Egg first? I know which team I'd personally go on, but... The other team, if I was on it, it would be a very hype moment if I did win. Just saying. Barry, obviously. Barry, Barry. Do a poll. I can hit you with a quick poll. What's my favorite fish? What, in Stardew Valley or just in general? I like the albacore. Because it's very close to Albuquerque, and Albuquerque is just a fun thing to say. All right. Which will come first? Sweet gem berry or egg? Just an egg. Stake your claim now. Make it official. In digital ink, put it down where your where your belief lies. One of these answers, I will tell you right now, probably much more likely than the other. Although I do have a slight amount of control, because notice that it says sweet gem berry, not rare seed. So we all know that the rare seed is gonna come to us in year 13. But, but, I don't have to grow it right away. <laughs> I don't have to grow it right away, chat. I could I could hold off on that one. If I wanna, you know, if, you, if I wanna poison the well, make everyone on Team Egg hate me. Could just, just rig it. <laughs> I'll do you this one. I'll do you this much, chat. Um, 
I'll, I'll grow the rare seed pretty much like right away once I get it. However, the Sweet Gem Berry, te Team Berry does not officially win. Once the berry is in my possession, I have to do everything that I can with the berry, which involves growing the first berry, seed makering, getting at least two seeds in return, then growing both of those as well, and, uh, and, and giving one to Old Master Cannoli, and then shipping the other one. So I have to, I have to do everything with, sweet, with, te with the Sweet Gem Berry that I can. The egg just has to show up, because then I just ship it and I'm done. It just has to show up to the party. It's late to work, but we'll we'll make it. We'll hold out until uh, until it shows up. Team money counter wins because your last spending will come before both. <laughs> Pretty accurate, honestly. You say egg because of your prediction of getting a dozen eggs on the dozenth year. It's true. Marnie does give twelve eggs. She doesn't give the full baker's dozen. She stops one shy, and uh, 12 eggs for 12 years would be kind of poetic. And I'm all about that poetry. But the game doesn't really care about poetry. The game is just ones and zeros. It's the most ruthless uh, casino dealer that you've ever encountered. We can, we can spam all the eggs that we want. All eggs, all day, every day. We can invoke every superstition known to man. But at the end of the day, when we get to the Feast of the Winter Star and we click through, the game's just going to be like, "Hey, here's a here's a geode from from Jazz. Take it or leave it." It will not hear our whims. It's like the de dealer on dealer no deal. It's just uh, <laughs> it's an unstoppable force of nature. Don't demoralize chat. I'm not demoralizing, you know. I mean, we still have our influence. There's still a place for it. We gotta keep morale high. But the ones and zeros are the law of by, by which we abide. But having faith... Having faith that we will get there eventually. Here's the thing. The ones and zeros, the ones and zeros, the code of the game, is the be-all, end-all for sure. But we have control over how we approach it and how we manipulate it to our desires. It's all about that positive attitude and, and appreciating it. And, you know, instead of being like, hey, the game's not giving me what I want, what gives? I, I spammed all these eggs and I'm just left with a... I'm just left with a handful of, like, fertilizer. Don't get mad at the game. Appreciate what the game has given you. It's given you an opportunity to continue and enjoy more of what the game has to offer. It's saying, hey, stick around for a while. I'm not quite done yet. This story has not, has not been fully told. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? It's like Eliza Hamilton said, Ima imagine what you could do if you only had time. And, get, and that's what the game is giving us in all of its, in all of its grace and all of its glory. It's, it's giving us more time on Frugal Farm. Yeah, we'll have 11 legs, eggs left over just for as trophies. So we only got to ship one. I could ship them all just to, you know, <laughs> be like, hey, I don't need any more of these. You can have them all. Take it or leave it. Yo, Lily Plum, thank you for the $5 super chat. Stream started at 1 a.m., so officially 3 a.m. gang. 3 a.m. gang, where are you at? Do your best to stick around until you pass out. I appreciate it, Lily, but honestly, like, go to bed if you need to. I might still well be here by the time you wake up, depending on how things go, so. But anyone who has stayed up ultra late or alternatively woken up ultra early, I see you. I see you, and I understand that time zones are kind of nasty. But the commitment to the cause is incredible. And if you couldn't be here, to the VOD watchers who couldn't be here live due to other responsibilities or time zone discrepancies, also respect to you. You gotta know where your priorities lie. 
Imagine sleeping. I have cooked all the recipes. I've literally done everything except for the sweet gem berry and shipping... Well, I have to sh ship a sweet gem berry and a small white egg and get the last star drop, which I also need the sweet gem berry for. Those are the three things remaining for perfection. Of these three goals, here's what I'll do. Make your choice wisely. You can only have two. I don't believe that's true. Though. I believe any, I, I can. I believe I can have all three. I can have my sweet gem berry and eat it too. Ironic because you cannot actually eat a sweet gem berry. I'm pretty sure. Imagine sleeping. <laughs> yeah, imagine sleeping. I could never imagine sleeping. Sleeping is such a foreign concept to me. By the way, I'm going to I'm going to bed. It's 6:30 a.m. I've man, what a long day. Long day. I watered I watered Tim Beam. Very productive day. Wait, what's the third thing? I need to do two things with the sweet gem bear. I need to ship it and I need to get the star drop. And then I need to ship the egg. So that that is three things. Uno's dos trace. Unus tra trace dos unus. Nihil, Nihil, Nihil. Anyone with me on that one? We got another Ficus. Krobus, Krobus with the Ficus. He's turning our house into a regular greenhouse. I love it, buddy. Thank you. I still can't believe you went with Timby all these years later. In game years. All these months later. Timby, you know, Timby. The lore behind the name Tim Beeb is kind of is kind of amazing. It's easy to forget that Tim Beeb was like an actual product from Tim Hortons, a limited time limited edition crossover with Justin Bieber, Tim Beebs and and Bieber, or Tim Bits and and Justin Bieber make make Tim Beeb. I believe, if I remember right, when uh. When we were naming Tim Beeb, trying to figure out a name for our uh, for our new pet doggo, I think that Charlie Barley was in chat and she spearheaded the decision to name the dog Tim Beeb. And many people were on her side. They were like, "Name it Tim Beeb, name it Tim Beeb," and I'm like, "Fine, I'll name it Tim Beeb," even though it was kind of silly at the time. But now Tim Beeb has a legacy all his own. No one even remembers Tim Beeb's in vivo. They only anytime you hear the the word Tim Beeb from here on out, you're only ever going to think of the dog. Not the food, the food stuff. You got to see Tim Beebs in the flesh. I never actually got Tim Beebs uh, while they were in circulation at Tim Hortons. I think it was like a very limited time thing because I only remember, remember hearing like radio ads for it for all of two weeks and then it was over. Maybe they're still available somewhere. Maybe there's still a a few packs of stale Tim Beebs in the back of in the back of a Tim Hortons warehouse somewhere. Dog as sweet as a donut. Very true. You remember chat that day and being confused because you didn't know what a Tim Beeb was? Full honesty, chat. No judgment here. Raise your hand if you knew that a Tim Beeb was not just the name of our dog. If you knew that Tim Beeb was a reference to something else before I just explained it just now. No, no dishonor, no shame. It's a very niche reference for sure. Something only the only Canadians of a specific variety will understand. No hands. <laughs> there, I see some hands. You know what? I respect it because I know I know that many people in chat will probably not have known, and I'm totally that's, I'm totally understanding of that fact. You had no you had no idea. Yeah, there's some hands now coming up. We've talked about this before. It's true. I've talked about this before, but also exclamation point playtime. <laughs> like you can't expect everyone to remember everything that happened within the past 300 plus hours of streams. I say 300 plus because the playtime is not the full story. I don't know if it's actually 300 hours of worth of vods. I don't know what the 
final VOD tally is going to look like as far as watch time. But it's going to be pretty long. It's going to be considerably longer than that actual play time turns out to be. I'll tell you that right now. With a little ingestion of the pizza. Poofed. That's easy. All right, Colin, without looking it up, what happened in VOD 47? Two hours and 32 minutes and 27 seconds in. What did I say? I know the answer, do you? I'm put put your money where your mouth is. Put your put your money where your mouth is. Make this like a 70 hour stream and we'll hit we'll hit 300 hours. I can't make this a 70 hour stream even, even if YouTube allowed for that. I got to work tomorrow, so it's uh it's a no go unfortunately. I said that I love Haley. I breathed. Safe, good, safe money is on the fact that I was probably breathing at that moment. That is, that's valid. Is that the cactus moment? What do I do? No, that was VOD 51, four hours and 30 seconds in, roughly. Argon lies, you don't know it's a major event, unless, uh, unless it's a major event like the cactus fruit. Yeah, I'm making an example because it's ridiculous to remember something that specific. No shot anyone has a photographic memory of everything that happened. Even, even like the most memorable moments, it's, it's hard to pin an exact time on them. A name and a place, except for like things like the cactus root, the most monumental of events. Anyone seen the rare green jelly from, with the exclamation point jelly command yet? I don't think so, because otherwise chat probably would have exploded. I've seen some baby jellies throughout uh, throughout chat, but no no rare green jelly yet. One in a thousand odds, it could be you. This is a Haley Simp safe zone, absolutely true. What if you weren't watching that stream? That's totally fine. We have some stream lore keepers in the community, people who do know or who have been chronicling various elements of the stream, and I appreciate the lore keepers and the mathematicians and all that. But it's foolish to think that anyone, even me, who lived through the event and created the VODs for you, will remember such specifics. But what if, though? I only looked for a jelly once and got a baby. You don't want to look look again and get into boring adult jelly. <laughs> Yo, regular moonlight jellies are just as, just as good. They're they're still good. Like you still see a moonlight jelly, it's still a pog moment, pog rich. There it is. There's so there's so many exclamation point jellies in chat. It just overtakes. Anytime I even bring it up for the briefest instant, it's like it's like mentioning what time it is where you are. Like if I say right now it's eleven ten a.m. where I am at, then uh, the rule of thumb, the rule of chat, is that ninety percent of chat will also say it's such and such time where I am. Even if I bring it up, if I bring up the the cliche right now, like I am doing. And there are contrarians in chat who will want to go against that. It's just so ingrained in stream culture that people won't be able to resist. Look, see, 19, 10, 11, 10, 18, 10. There's something, there's something Pavlovian about it. People just can't help themselves. They want to, they want, they want to be part of it. It's like talking about the weather. It's something so universal that no matter what your life experience is like, you can always, at least almost always, tell what the time is. At least to a rough approximation. And be involved in the conversation. Which is absolutely fair. Isn't chatting what streamers, what streamers want, though? I mean, yes, at, from, a, from a specifically metrics-driven point of view, Having higher chat numbers, chat messages, in whatever capacity you can get them, equals a better stream. But it's not an absolute thing. 
Like, I would definitely rather have, like, one or two active chatters who are engaging me in some kind of meaningful conversation than have 10,000 chatters who are just typing lull over and over again for no apparent reason. Or, like, stream or notice me. Quality over quantity as far as chat messages. If he can have both, then that's the dream for sure. And obviously I'm not expecting people to come out here and start writing like mini novels in the chat in the chat and uh and being as erudite as possible, having deep philosophical conversations on the meaning of on the meaning of life. That's not what I'm expecting from chat. Because that's not what most people are here for to begin with. But, you know, some kind of cogent conversation. A sentence or two. Maybe, you know, something relevant to what's happening on the stream at the moment. Something in response to the streamer instead of being, like, try, trying to make the, make the show all about them. Because I've seen chatters like that who will try to, like, hijack a conversation to their ends. And, you know, it's... It can be fun. It can be. It, you can use that as a banter starter for sure. You can use that to as like the magnifying glass, which which you fire onto the kindling. Actually, probably the better metaphor there is that you use that as the kindling, and then you use your streamer magnifying glass to burn it down and start your own fire from it. Your own fires of commentary. But you can't let chat supersede you. At the end of the day, it might it might sound slightly narcissistic, and it might be slightly narcissistic, and I will always be of the opinion that the community aspect of streaming is by far one of the most by far the most important parts. Not even one of the most important parts, but I'd say number one is the the whole community aspect. But at the end of the day, the community is built around a stream that you cultivate for yourself, whether it's whether it's built around the game or built around some challenge that like this one is, or built around a personality. Whatever it is, some combination thereof, then uh, you got to make sure to, in order to foster community and in order to give them what they want and make it as cool and fun of a place to be as you can, you got to give them what they want. You can't let, and you as the streamer usually know better than anyone else because you're the one who, you're the one who started that community. Or you're the one that the community at least built up around. Maybe you didn't start it, like, consciously. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling at this point. Hopefully the gist is there. All I know is that winter is approaching. Did you bring your coat? Man, I go off on this long diatribe about, uh about great community engagement and having having a good <laughs> and having you know tangible meaningful conversations with your chat and everything and all this yada 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 wax poetic wax philosophical all the waxing all day every day i look over at chat it's a wall of exclamation point jelly i should have known i walked right into that one <laughs> no but i honestly am glad that you guys like exclamation point jelly i think it's a fun thing a fun addition to the stream This is the only live stream chat you participate in currently. I take that as quite high praise, honestly, Lisa. <laughs> I know it can be hard to participate in other, especially like big streamers chats, where it's harder to get uh, get a word in edgewise. I hope it continues to maintain that sort of communal feel around here. Tried to get a wall of lol. A wall of lol, but it didn't quite catch. I did see that briefly. I saw the lols. LOL. You want to go full... You want to show your Twitch side? You go... All caps, L-U-L. That's what the popular kids do around Twitch, so I'm told. At least that's what I see in the Twitch streams that I frequent. But it turns... That turns into like a... Uh, it turns into like a Twitch emoji. So it's not quite the same, you know? Alright, chat. Last day of fall. You know you know the rules here, and so do I. Moratorium. We don't we don't talk 
treat the gift that we want to get at the Feast of the Winter Star like it's Bruno from Encanto. We don't talk about it. I grew to live in fear of Marnie stuttering and stumbling. I could always hear him sort of muttering and mumbling. Hear her sort of muttering and mumbling. I associate her with the sound of, uh, of rolling ovoids. It's a heavy, it's a heavy lift with a gift so humbling. Always left Chloe and Krobus wondering. Or fumbling. Grappling with odds that they couldn't understand. Do you understand? I tried, okay? It was it was not the greatest ad lib. By the way, it's Krobus' birthday. I very nearly forgot. Chat, why didn't you yell at me? Alright, Krobus. Krobus, we have one last golden pumpkin. I think he's earned it. He's more than earned it. Here you go, buddy. I did remember your birthday at the last possible moment. <laughs> Finally got to the musical episode of the anime. Seven foot frame. Rats along his back. It's a great song. I do still think that Surface Pressure is probably the best song in this in the mute in the movie, but they're all bops. I cannot tell a word of a lie. Don't we have diamonds in the quarry? I believe we do have a lot of diamonds in the quarry, as well as a single diamond right there. Maybe we'll go get some diamonds later on. As part of our adventures pre Feast of the Winter Star. To kill time until 9am, you know. Surf Refresher is so good. When he calls your name, it all fades to rats. It's just the deluge of rats. Have you guys ever looked... I know this is, like, kind of apropos of nothing at all. Have you ever looked at, like, a map of the world? With the data point being, like, concentration of rats? Where you, like, here's where the, you'll find the most rats in the world. Here's where you'll find the least rats. It's kind of hilarious because... When, when I last saw that, it's like kind of like just, you know, a broad gradient across most of the world. And then up in Canada, in my, in my province of Alberta, where I reside currently, there's literally just like an Alberta-shaped hole in the map where there's nothing. There are just no rats in Alberta. They got such a, such a strong policy against like get, keeping rats out of the province. It's really funny if you've ever seen a map like that. It's so funny. <laughs> Casey Lee, thank you for the $2 super chat. Uh, don't look up U plus 1F95A. Huge mistake during winter. Is this a deep cut reference to to the produce of a chicken? If so, I appreciate the, uh, the coded language. They got rat hunting programs. They do seem to. I don't know what the full specifics of it are, but... Uh, whoever's doing it is doing a great job. They're they're keeping rats out of the province like it's nobody's business. You see it now? I told you, if you look up the map, it's honestly, like, so funny. It's, it's just like, it literally is like a hole shaped like the province. I don't know how they did it so perfectly. It's like they got, like, rat patrols. Do you, think, do you think there's people, like, patrolling the border that just, like, look for rats? Or do they have signs all around the border written in rat language? That they're like, hey, you're not welcome here, and the rats are, like, D colon, and then they turn around and go find some other garbage to forage? You do not own a rat. True. True, I do not own a rat. Wish I could watch, but work has me troubleshooting broken equipment. No worries, uh, Stigander. Hopefully you figure that one out. Thanks for popping in for a brief moment, anyway. Must have a huge cat population. <laughs> the streets are just roaming with cats. Tackling the rats. It's, it's an all-out war. What is rat language? I don't know, I don't speak it. You have a lot of cats in Alberta. We're not like that city in... where. Where's that one city 
It's like a Middle Eastern city, I think, that has uh, wild cats that just like roam around the streets. Like you can't go there without seeing some cats just like chilling. We're not like that. Although if we were, I would not be complaining. Cats, like just having a bunch of random cats like walking up and down the street would be kind of pog. Would be pretty exciting. Athens? I don't think it's Athens. Thought it was Japan. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Japan is kind of wild. And they do love their cats. Istanbul? It might be Istanbul. Not Constantinople, though. It is Istanbul. Should rename it Istan Cat. Got him! I don't, I don't see bulls wandering around the streets. Yeah, we don't have cat we don't have cats wandering around the streets, we just have moose wandering around the streets in between all of our igloos. That's the Canadian stereotype right there. That's the Canadian way of living. I'm streaming live from the middle of an igloo right now. Cat Stantinople? You thought it was Australia? If it was a city in Australia, instead of like like domesticated cats, it would be like feral cats, because everything in Australia is out to kill you. Speaking of moose, by the way, because I brought it up for the, for a brief moment, fun fact, did you know that it's specifically illegal, I think in Alaska, it's somewhere, it's, it's illegal somewhere, like there's a specific law against pushing a moose out of an airplane. It's the kind of law that you only make, like, not, you, you can't make that kind of law proactively. It's not something that you're like, the governors are all sitting around trying to figure out what laws to make. I don't know if that's how they do it, but bear with me on this one. And they're like, what if someone tries to push a moose out of an airplane? And they're like, oh, that's a good one. No, that's, that's the, the kind of law you make where someone made, where someone pushed a moose out of an airplane. And they're like, well, there's no laws against it. There's no laws against it. And it probably did break some other laws, I would imagine, because that's like got to be animal cruelty, number one, unless it's like a dead moose, I guess. I don't know. It, it's, it was bizarre. I don't remember where I learned that factoid, but it's stuck in my memory for sure. I think it was actually a book that I had as a child, as a small child, S-M-O-L child, um, that went into like detail. It was like a thousand and one weird facts, and there was a whole section on strange laws. That's, the, that's one of the two I remember. The other one being that in some... I think it was like a state, like it was in the United States. I remember it'd be surprised because it was like kind of close to home or something. Like it was North American. So I was like, what the heck? It was, uh, it's illegal for women to wear pants. Or it was illegal at some point. Maybe, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably been overturned by this point or it's a law that's just not enforced at all. Like women had to wear dresses and skirts and that sort of stuff. And I'm like, man. <laughs> That's the kind of thing you get canceled over, that's for sure. Yeah, those are the two that stood out to me from that from my, from that book, because I definitely... They were some of the weirder ones, for sure. It was illegal in a lot of places, actually. Yeah, but it was, like, still illegal. Like, I feel like that's a law that's been overturned a long time ago in most places, and someone else, but in some state somewhere, they just never updated the books. They're like, ah, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Yo, leap a lot. Hello. Happy Pride indeed. Uh, we're sleeping. We're sleeping. You can't hunt whales from the back of a truck in Utah. Aw, oh, man. That was going to be my next summer vacation. Just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I would... <laughs> it's, a, it's a funny bit. When you don't break it down too much. I don't actually want to hunt whales for the record. That seems very not cool. <laughs> whales are some of the coolest animals, honestly. One of the people I work with at my my other job, uh, she used to guide like whale tours out in out in BC. And some of the stories she tells and like photos and stuff, it's like, oh my gosh, they're such majestic creatures. It's so good.
You can't have a funny mustache in church in Kentucky. That can't be real because, like, laws can't be that subjective, right? Like, is it written, like, in the actual legal code, you can't have a funny mustache? What constitutes funny? Is there a certain angle of mustache, a certain width that you cannot exceed? Or are all mustaches? I mean, they, it can't be that all mustaches are funny, otherwise they just say, no mustaches. Instead, they gotta delineate the funny v. unfunny mustaches. There's gotta be some legislation in place for that. I feel like that sort of law is something that was made by a, uh... by a lawmaker who just hated his neighbor and his mustache. And he would always see him in church with a funny mustache, and he'd be like, I'm gonna show this guy. And he shows up and sneaks that one into the books of to be stamped at the at the senator's desk. Just slides it right in there, and all of a sudden you can't have a funny mustache in church anymore. It's illegal to wear a fake mustache in church. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I mean, it's not. It doesn't make a lot more sense from like a law standpoint, but it makes more sense from uh, from an enforcement standpoint. How goes the clam collection? That's a heck of a throwback. Idolonic Games. Let's check the clam collection real quick. Are they in here? Fifty-one clams, and a muscle ain't one. Our bait collection is very strong. Bait collection is uh, is still strong. Fake mustaches are funny. All fake mustaches are funny, but not all funny mustaches are fake. This is one of the universal constants of our of our life. Death taxes and f fake mustaches. When am I eating lunch? Eventually. We've only been live for, you know, what, two and a half hours now? It's not even the length of a regular stream time. Gotta give it a little, a little breathing room here. We're still just getting started, baby. Although, this, it does not bode well that in like two and a half hours, this is only gonna be our second Feast of the Winter Star. I gotta, I'm probably gonna have to kick it up a notch. In year 13. In year 13, I might, because I'm going to be focusing on traveling cart and all that stuff. We might just forego... Bear with me, chat. Bear with me on this one. I'm going to end this poll as well. I might stop watering Timby and talking to crows. For, from year 13 onward, in order to expedite this process. I might just have to start sleeping, because... The metrics on the amount of time this is going to take if we get very unlucky at the Feast of the Winter Star, not looking great. I think Timbeeb will understand. I think Krobus and Timbeeb, they both know. They both know what's at stake right now. They both understand. And I've been so good to Timbeeb and to Krobus. Our secret friend this year, by the way, is going to be Kent. Going to be Kent. Need some roasted hazelnuts real quick. A tragic but necessary sacrifice to the cause. You monster. Look, I know there's not there's gonna be some people who are not happy about this turn of events. And trust me, I'm among them. But I also realize that realistically, it's a sacrifice that needs to be made. They're, they understand there's a pawn for Timbeeb. You know what? We can also we can we can leave our bottomless watering can right over here for Timbeeb. He can water himself. We've seen it in the fan art, he can fish for himself, despite the lack of opposable thumbs. Do I have any any hazelnuts to make roasted hazelnuts for Kent? Or do I, should I just give him like a prismatic shard? I think we're just going to give Kent a prismatic shard and call it a day. It's a necessary eel, I think is the, is the best way to look at it. Krobus and Timbeeb will more than understand, but we'll, we'll see out the rest of this year here. We'll stick it out. Enjoy the last little bits of water for for our boy and the and the. I'll still talk to Krobus every now and again for sure. 
keep up friendship. Although I guess I could just give him a gift on his birthday to keep up friendship, and that's probably totally fine too. But no worries. If, if there was a way to set up like an automatic watering thing that's not a sprinkler, like if I, if I could put my watering can in some kind of crazy redstone-esque contraption to water Tim Beep for me, I think that would be the next best thing as opposed to doing it manually, but sadly it's not possible. Just make sure not to accidentally sleep through Fridays and Sundays in year three or year 13. I'm going to be extremely diligent about that. I'm going to do my level best not to sleep past any traveling cart days. It might it might be tough at first to I mean, I mean hopefully it's not tough at first. Hopefully it's just something that is that I can drill into myself right now because it's such an important part of the challenge. It's literally one of the two things I still need to do, basically. <laughs> For the record, when I ended that poll, I believe that 73% of people were on team, uh, wait, was there a green, was there a green jelly? Hold on, 73% of people were on team sweet gem berry is what I was going to say. Hold on, is that a real sweet, it, it's a real green jelly, Bongo Man, Bongo Man hit the rare green jelly, yo, can we get some Argon hype, Argon hype in chat? I don't know if there's any jellyfish emotes, but congratulations Bongo Man. You don't win anything except for the, the joy of a job well done. You are the first rare green jelly. Get some green hearts like Jacob Pedlow's got in there. Very, very cool. Congratulations to, to Bongo Man. Immortalized forever as the first rare green jelly sighting from exclamation point jelly. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. Congratulations. This, this one's for you right here. That one's for you. A little serenade. Well done, my friend. The first, but hopefully not the last. <laughs> fish emotes are close enough. How, how is there not a jellyfish emoji at this point? I feel like they're, uh, they're a common enough animal to warrant an emoji slot in the many millions of emoji slots that exist out there. You were gone for like a minute. The wrong minute to be gone, Zaniella. At least as far as like ch as, as far as chat goes, the exclamation point jelly hype is real. To be honest, I'm glad to see that because it makes me it, it lets me know that the code that I have in place does in fact work as it as intended. That <laughs> the fact that the rare green jelly is indeed still possible. Just very, very unlikely. Welcome back, Cupcake. Had to get caught up after a work meeting. Happy to have you live. The slimes can barely move. They're multiplying. I think they are like still multiplying. I think there's still slime breeding going on up there. It's hard to tell, admittedly. What the heck? My game, my game just like stuttered like a bit, like a little, like a little. I don't know what the heck just happened there. <laughs> There's a brief little stutter moment, but hopefully it's all good. Hopefully my, hopefully my computer can hold out for the full time that it's going to take to to achieve perfection here. Remains to be seen, but my computer's been through worse. Trust me, I think it can handle it. Be your valued customer, yada yada. My secret friend Kent, no worries. I got him a very personalized, special gift that I think represents our, our friendship beautifully. It's a prismatic shard. It's the same thing that I give to literally everybody else. Welcome, cowboy. First stream, happy to have you here. Picked a heck of a first stream to tune into, honestly. All right. I'm going to go gather some... Well, let's do a quick round. It is, it is Feast of the Winter Star Day. Very exciting. I will quickly... Let's get something for Krobus. Quick gift for Krobus. Feast of the Winter Star here. We gotta do our due diligence here. 
First stream here too. Welcome, Nini. Drop a zero in chat if this is your first stream. Let's just see how many first time viewers we got in here for the finale. Great time to show up as we as we get ready to cross the finish line. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Unlurking for the Winter Star. It is a very important pivotal day. Demetrius sending us a Nautilus shell on freaking Christmas Day. What the heck is this guy doing? Sending sending me fake Winter Star gifts. All right, quick little round to do to check for supply crates here. Decent amount of zeros in chat. Welcome, welcome all the new viewers. Yo, here's a fun one. Sp put put in chat the number of streams and or VODs that you believe you have, have watched. It's not a contest. It's not a contest. I want to state that outright. I'm just curious to see what people, your numbers... What, and obviously most people are not going to have an exact number unless you've only watched like zero or one. Like is your first one or whatever. But stake your claim now. 12, 3, maybe 10. 4, 10 or so. 70-ish. Appreciate you, Karita. Hello Fresh, by the way. A little Hello Fresh for me. 10 Mega Bombs, no thanks. I'm going to talk to Kent later today anyway. Maybe he'll have some for me. Negative 10. 72, counting this one. Yo, Cobalt. 77. Math doesn't really check out on that one, but I appreciate the gumption. I think all the VODs about 10 streams. Respect to that, too. It's crazy. Seeing how many people are, like, up there in, like, like double digits of VODs and streams and that sort of thing. If, you, if you've ever watched a single minute of a single VOD or a single stream, I greatly appreciate you. Thank you, for, thank you all for all the support. Hope you've been enjoying yourselves and hope you continue to enjoy yourselves as we truck along here. Let me pop over to the quarry real quick. I don't think I swapped out... Yeah, it's kind of a weird little mishmash here of, of diamonds in the rough and, and jades as well. We'll just grab a decent, a decent supply of diamonds here. 20 diamonds, I'll take that. Take that to the bank and cash it. That's some cash money. Out of all 72, I got confused. All VODs till I caught up, then I caught up as many as I would have live. Right on. All right. Let's go. Second winter star incoming. Let's do this, chat. Maybe, like, obviously we wouldn't get it on the first one, but maybe they just want to sucker punch me real good and give it to me on the second one instead. Because, like, it, it could either go, like, a very long time, which is what we're expecting, or it could have been on the first one, which also would have been kind of expected because it would be like kind of like a serendipitous moment but no one expects the second one to be the one that does it it's such a it's such like like the hype has died down after not getting it the first time but the second time you know the second time you gotta look out for it you gotta look out for it it's the underdog that nobody knows no one remembers second place just kidding a lot of people do remember second place when it comes to, like, actual competition and stuff. But, uh, in this case, it's something to look out for. The green jelly luck will give us the egg. I do worry that some that a lot of the, our luck may have been spent on that green jelly. That may be our lucky event for the year, and we only get one. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think, you might, I think you're probably right that we just got to believe in the power of luck. In the lucky powers that be. Alright, I think I've spoken to pretty much everybody. I haven't spoken to Vincent or Haley. I'm gonna wrap around, speak to Vincent. This is this is how important this is to me to speak to Haley last. Wrap around to Vincent, wrap all the way back around, speak to Haley. Hope there's a new camera for her under the spirit tree. She's been waiting for that new camera for the past 12 years. Here's hoping this is the year. And then I wrap all the way back around to talk to Kent. Alright. Give Kent his secret gift. Here you go, pal. 
A prismatic shard, thanks. He's like, oh my god, I could sell this for a lot of money. Holy crap, what are you doing? Is that, I, could, could I imagine that's what they have to do with them. What, what else do these people do with prismatic shards? Quick stretch. And while I stretch, chat, this is your moment. Get egged up. Start egging. Just throw your eggs at the screen. Don't actually do that in real life, but you know, you know how it goes. Egg spam all day, every day. Egg, egg, full wall of eggs, egg emojis, fried eggs, whatever you can muster here. Eggless, eggless omelet, welcome. I appreciate you being here. Hopefully you're about to be an egg full omelet. That's a, that's a pure wall of eggs if I've ever seen it. Let's go. Kent, give us the luck that we desire. Is this the last face we're going to see before we get our eggs? Moment of truth. Moment of truth. <laughs> You still can't be mad, though. They're making it so hard to be mad about these losses. First Jazz, and now this? Now you're gonna do this? I'm your secret gift giver this year. Exclamation point Haley. What's she gotta say in chat? What's she should say in chat? Life can be so hard sometimes. Please, Haley, I know we just, we just finished talking about the ones and zeros and how it's not possible. But hey, if anyone can break through, it's Haley. She's broken into chat as Haley bot. Let something go wrong in the script. Let a cosmic ray do a little bit flip in here and change whatever she's going to give me into an egg. Please. Please, Haley. It's a ruby. It's a ruby. Nothing fancy, but it's the best I could afford. We appreciate you, girl. All right, well, a memorable one for sure, but we got to keep trucking on. Can't be mad. Kind of the same shape. <laughs> if you squint a little bit, squint a little bit and quickly go colorblind, yeah. You got it. Almost egg-shaped. The copium is real. Is it just me or does Argon sound way more tired? I mean, I, I don't normally wake up this early for streams. I'm not tired, though. I'm definitely getting pumped up. Like, the, the stream itself has given me full energy, but if I do sound tired, it's maybe because I'm subconsciously trying to save energy. Since I know it's going to be a long stream. Butterflies. All right. Once more around the bend. Let's do this. If nothing else, if, even if, we don't have the egg to look forward to at our next Feast of the Winter Star... Year 13 is just around the bend, literally two days away. Exclamation point cart. Exclamation point cart. It's finally time to start paying our old friend a visit one last time, like George freaking Washington. The traveling cart is coming home. Tim Beep. <laughs> Look at Tim Beep trying to hide. It's glass, buddy. I can see you through the glass. He's so confused. He's so adorably confused. Gift goes in the gift chest. Did I forget to put it in the gift chest? It's okay. It's okay. This is definitely Haley's. I know there were 41 other rubies in there, so how can I be sure? I, you can smell it. I can smell her on this one. It smells like coconuts and hairspray. Alright. And like I said, chat, these are the last couple days where we're going to be officially, like, talking to Krobus every single day, doing our daily chores, going out, watering Timbeep, all that good stuff. In year 13, it's all sleep. We're going full sleep meta now. I think it has to happen. In order to get this done within 12, 12 hours, in order to have any chance of this being the actual finale, I feel like it has to be done. Tomorrow will be the final day of watering Tim Beeb. Every single day, anyway. It's been a long 12-year run of watering our boy. I think he's I think he's fully, truly hydrated now. He's finally full. Tim Beeb? is finally full. And you know, the sprinkler will always water him in spirit. You can see it there. He can lap it up if he needs to. Watering can. 
Can I get some O7s for the watering can? It served us very well. Timbeeb, it's all you now, buddy. It's all you. He's 12 years old now. If we if we got him when he was like a, a newborn pup, I guess. O sevens for the watering can. Timby, we're, we're gonna hope that this auto petter somehow flips open the the chest, waters it for you. I believe. He's hydrated. He's finally hydrated. Quick last staring contest. I lost again. He's too good. He's too good at the staring contests. All right, quickly gonna go ahead and sell, sell a little mixed seed. Get your party poppers out again. It's time for another New Year's celebration. Man, feel a little bit of deja vu on this one, huh? All right, let's go. One of the most important spoken of prophesized years in the challenge about to begin. Here we go. Day 28 of winter, year 12? Nah, year 13. Year 13, lucky number 13? The rare seed cometh, behold, behold. All right, exclamation point year, year 13. Summon Blade. <laughs> Blade can show up whenever he wants to. I think it's pretty early in New Zealand. If he doesn't want to show up at all, you know, that's that's up to him. But Blade has been a very instrumental part of this challenge. I would love to have him here at some point for the finale. Greatly appreciate everything he's done for us. Especially because we wouldn't know at all that year 13 was our year without him. So thank you and thank you to Blade for that. All right. Old habits die hard. I just spoke to Krobus and got my coffee and everything. We're, we're sleeping until Friday. Sleep until Friday. Go traveling cart. Sleep until Sunday. Go traveling cart. Rinse, repeat. Let's go. Let's get, let's get that muscle memory built in. Go to sleep for the night. Yes, yes, yes. All right. You know, I, I will I will switch off from Pickle Jar Rag now. I said I would only do it for the remainder of the year. I'm a man of my word. I'll hit you with a little randomize again. Where is it? Randomize, okay. Ooh, that's a good song too. That's a good one to randomize to first. You'd love to hear it. You know what's probably better actually? Cause we're only gonna be getting the, uh, the first little snippet of every song as we go to bed. I will be going to traveling car today, by the way, for the first time in a long freaking time. What I'm going to do instead is we will pull one of these here, and I will hit you up with a little of this. Let me know if the music's too loud or too quiet or whatever, but uh, we'll have our own little soundtrack of, of starting music going on in the background here. It is kind of loud for me, actually, so I might at least turn it down in my own ears. There we go. Okay. Sounds good. A bit too loud. Banger track. Absolutely true. I've adjusted it very slightly. Let me know if it stays too loud or if that's or if it's good now. Still a little loud. How's this? It's good now? Okay, I might turn it back up a little bit then, because I feel like the, chat, the stream delay kind of took that one. All right. I will put it put it right here. There we go. I think that's a, that's a good spot. Hopefully. I want to make sure to get this right, just so... I'm going to leave it right there, and hopefully that'll be good. Can't hear it at all now. Seems good right there. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there and hope for the best. Audio engineering is my passion. All right, we take we take our mini obelisk, 
mini obelisk. Traveling merchant, do us, kind, do us a kind service and give us the rare seed on this the first day. Oh, you know what I should do? I should I should make a bunch of farm warp totems so we can make this a nice, very quick cycle. I think that's what I'll do when I get back to the farm here. All right. Kale seeds, you wound me. We're looking for rare seed at 600 gold. It's always 1,000 gold most of the time. It's very common, commonly seen at 1,000 gold. 600 gold is the minimum it can go to. That's what we're looking for. Didn't get it on the first try. I mean, who's surprised? But I have faith. I have faith that Blade was not just trolling me. It would be the longest con troll of all time. It would be very disappointing if we get to the end of year 13. And all I'm left with is a fistful of 600 gold coins waiting to be spent. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Usually, like, usually... Oh. Let me take a drink of water real quick. <laughs> Very sorry about that. Usually, usually I can catch those uh, coughs and things before, like I can mute myself before they get out. But that one really snuck up on me out of nowhere. Got like a weird dust particle in my throat or something. What do you need to make farm warp totems? Hardwood, honey, and fiber. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Oh boy. Here we go, chat. Are you ready for this? You ready for this? Look at me go. Look at me go. My farm war totems. I was going to try and make 999, but you need 20 fiber, it turns out. I was going to go nuts. I just need more fiber. Just more fiber, please. You know what? 49 is probably pretty good. But why not 56? I wanted to go nuts. I wanted to go full chaotic mode. 61... 61 farm warp totems will probably do the trick, though. I got I got so excited, but then I, my excitement was very short-lived. I should move the obelisk. Honestly, probably a good call as well. But it would kind of mess with our feng shui. I'm willing to leave the obelisk for right now. Alright. Sleepy Vi, let's do it. You did not miss anything, anything of great consequence off on, no worries. Alright. To Sunday. You know what, I've all... I, I, did, I did just get finished saying about the feng shui and everything. But you know what? I'm not watering Timby, I've, I've forsaken all my morals at this point. Why the heck should this be any different? Come with me. My farm obelisk friend, my mini totem, my mini warp totem. How close can I put you down here? Can I put you just like right? Can I put you like all the way down? How far, how, how low can I go? Right there. It's so sneaky. The sneakiest obelisk you've ever seen. Oh my god. All right. Am I accounting for the night market too? I will be. Yeah, I mean, we're, we if it end, if we end up having to go to the night market, then we have to go to the night market. But I don't know if that's going to be the case until we see it. Shout if you see a rare seed at six hundred gold, and I just happen to like scroll past it or something. But I think uh, we're good. Going to get into a nice good cycle here. All right, so now we sleep till Friday. Easy peasy. Easy peasy pudding in the breezy. Haley's mad that we're not watering Timby. What'd she say? I got nothing to say to you. Look, Haley, it's for the greater good, I promise. I promise. We're going to have our honeymoon yet, but you got to trust me on this one. This is, this is how it has to be for the foreseeable future. I'm sorry. All right. Into Friday I go. 35 total traveling cart visits, so our, our farm warp totems, you, you feel like we might have one or two too many, is what you're telling me? Do 
Yo, that's peak efficiency right there. Calling it the rare seed will be in the fall. Regardless of when the rare seed is, we can rest easily, we can rest uh, comfortably in the knowledge that we can just start growing it at literally any time, thanks to our, uh, thanks to our greenhouse slash ginger island. And you know what? It'll be two birds with one stone on the 14th here. Because it's going to be Haley's birthday plus traveling car visit. So that's very nice. How does this traveling car get to that spot? She's, uh... You know. She just, she just parks in the wizard's basement when she when no one else is looking. That's where that's where she actually hides. And she, just, she doesn't actually go and smuggle everything like she says that she does. To get her goods. She just orders them off of, uh, off of Yamazon. Oh, obelisk, let's go. The pig is powerful, also true. I mean, look at this chonker of a pig. You don't think that that guy with the sound he just made could bust through some, some namby-pamby weeds in the forest to get to where he needs to be? Mahogany dresser, what a tease. All right. Speaking of tease, let's go uh, Let's go deliver K Haley her birthday cake. Thanks for tuning in, Noel. Enjoy your math. Good to see you again. She uses an obelisk in the woods. Great minds think alike. All right. Here you go, my sweet. I did remember your birthday indeed. She's she's donating more clothes. She does it every year on her birthday. It's becoming a tradition. Finally got beet seeds. Did she have beet seeds for sale? Too little too late, traveling merchant. Too little too freaking late. You had your chance. Not really, actually. We never would have gone that route. Alright, once more into the into the breach here. Into the abyss. Head first into a slumbering abyss. Any new any opinions on the new Pokemon revealed yesterday? There was new Pokemon revealed yesterday. <laughs> That's my opinions. I, I hit you with the what face? Like, uh? like a new Pokemon game or new Pokemon for upcoming Scarlet and Violet potentiality. Either way, it's hype for sure. They revealed a pig called Lechonk. They did not. Re they did not reveal a pig called Lechonk. They would not. That's. There's no chunk. You guys are trolling me. You guys are actually trolling me. There's not. There cannot be a Pokemon, a pig Pokemon called Lechonk. That's the biggest troll I've ever seen. But people, people are saying it like it's real fact. You, do you guys coordinate this in the Discord behind my back? Like, all right, we're gonna make up a Pokemon called Lechonk, and see see how long it takes it to takes him to believe it. Lechonk is real. Lechonk is real. Pause and look it up. Look it up. Lechonk right now. <laughs> Lechonk exists. All right, chat. Lechonk. Lechonk. You got, you got, I don't see any Pokemon related search, like, auto populations. Lechonk. What on earth? Lechonk? This, my boy Lechonk? Hold on, hold on. Hold on a second, I gotta make sure, I gotta... How, how does one go about this? I'm a professional streamer, I promise. I need I need to show you Lechonk. Hold on. Wait, am I going to sleep for the night? Is, is it is six forty a.m. Should I be sleeping yet? <laughs> um, I was gonna try and bring it up on stream, but all right, you know what? I'm not gonna do that because it's too much of a hassle. Lechonk is confirmed real. He's not as chonky as I would have thought, though. He's not as chonky. What type is he? Is he like a dark type? He looks kind of like a dark type. A dark bacon type? 
Can I show us the axe? Wait, there's an axolotl Pokemon? I checked the traveling car, right? That's why I'm going to bed right now. I mean, there's no way it would take me 40 minutes to, like, step out of bed and step back into bed. So I think, I think we're good. Just a normal type. He's the Bidoof of his generation. Quick confirmation. Did I check traveling car today? Please, chat. Please. Haley gift? I gave Haley a gift on her birthday. I got the card. I can go to sleep. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I did? All right. I get very paranoid about this sort of thing. I figured I must have had to because I, I just didn't think I would be like to the cart and back within like 40 minutes. But I guess when you factor in... Oh, we're not going to the cart today. I guess when you factor in... uh warps and everything? It really is just that fast, huh? You hope that Lechonk is the regional bird? They just, they just, that little pig sprouts wings all of a sudden? I could see a Pokemon company doing that, like make a flying pig Pokemon. Play off that old idiom, when pigs fly. That seems honestly kind of like a no-brainer. The level 100 Lechonk. Alright. My rare seed, a thousand. No, thank you. What, what'd she say? I've got just what you need, a fairy rose. It's been a while, traveling merchant, but I do not need a fairy rose no longer. I've got all the fairy roses I could ever need or want. Yeah, we can we can get that. Uh, we can get uh, traveling cart done like very very quickly on a good day here. The new legendaries are motorcycle snakes. They're just... They're, they're, <laughs> I mean, I gotta see them for myself, but the way that's described makes me think they're running out of ideas. I mean, they probably ran out of ideas after, like, Generation 4. Some of the designs get a little wild. Some of them are great, too, admittedly. There's, there's a few diamonds in the rough, but it's, uh... <laughs> I don't know. There's been a bit of a fall from greatness, potentially. Although, I say that... A lot of the Generation 1 designs also not that great. They're just nostalgic, which is why we think of them as great. All right, for this action, for this flower dance, I'm actually going to change out of these clothes. We got to go. You know what? Didn't we have a uh, an outfit that I wore on my date with Haley? I think it was like this. It was where's the the hat? Oh no, it was this green button vest. This it's not the prismatic pants, I'll tell you that right now. It's this forger's hat. What were the pants? What were the pants that I was wearing for, for our date with Haley that one time? Some kind of skirt, right? Like, it was like this. This looks familiar. I'm just trying to find the matching bottoms. It's not that. The luau skirt. <laughs> I mean, this one honestly might not be a bad match either. You know what? That's I can I can get behind that. Here's our little flower dance outfit for right now. All right, quick mail check. Uh oh, my my freaking inventory is so full. Probably just do this. Hold on. Yeet yeet yeet. Just yeet everything, all these lovely gifts that I'm getting sent in the mail. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you're so kind. You're all so kind. Yeet, yeet, yeet. I know I'm yeeting coconuts. I'm yeeting wood. I, like, I don't have any any need to keep them anymore. Why are there so, so many gifts in spring? What the heck? I swear, like, last, like, summer, I got two gifts and a slap in the face. Drink of the triple shot? No, thank you. All right, there we go. All caught up officially. Let me go ahead and while I wait for the flower dance to open up, I'm gonna go ahead and supply crate it up. Everybody misses Chloe. I will. I will certainly miss Chloe when she's when she's done here. So I'll tell you right now, I do have some other challenges lined up for Stardew Valley, as I've said many times. Um. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be shifting away from Chloe. I'm gonna be giving Chloe her 
much needed, much earned rest after the Price of Perfection. And we'll be introducing some new characters to the Pantheon, you know? I like to tell stories with these challenges, and I think Chloe's story has been pretty effectively told between this and the No Level Up challenge. And I think it's time to time to open up the possibilities to some other people. That's so much grass. It's alright, it'll all die in the winter. We, we won't have any chance to see it, really. A little water for old time's sake while I wait. And let's just go hang out. The Rise of Melanie, was it? You peep in my save files, Drea? <laughs> Mel Melanie is one of the names, yes. What if Chloe wants to be in the challenge, though? Look, I've spoken to Chloe at length. We've had many, many meetings. She is one of the co-owners of the Argon Matrix brand. And, uh, I think she's, she's ready. She's, she's, after this, after everything, she might make a comeback. I, I won't say she's never going to be seen again, obviously. That would be insane. Chloe will still be around in some capacity, but I'd like her legacy to live on longer than herself. Chloe is immortal, as are all the Stardew NPCs, realistically. She's been the Flower Queen for the past 18 years. Do you see that? 18 years of Flower Queening? I dressed up for it this time, Haley. Alright, real quick. Real quick. But real quick, though. One second, one second. Don't hide on me now. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for the drop. Wait for your moment. There we go. Had to be done. How well does it sync up, though, is the real question. Like, not well at all. It's still, it's still as terrible dancing as I've ever seen. But it is, uh, it is, you know, it is Pickle Jar Rag. It's our song. It's their song. It's, this, is, this is the wedding song. <laughs> Doesn't fit at all. Not at all. It's so bad. <laughs> oh... But it's their song, you know, let, let them have that one. That was fun, time to go home. All right. We swap back to our uh, to our professional perfection duds. And let's keep going. You have mixed feelings about this song? <laughs> I was going to say, where did my music go, but it just took a second to get to the next song for some reason. Alright, we're good to go. Friday, last weekend, last chance, or second last chance for the traveling cart this spring. The rare seed should be coming fairly quickly here if we keep going at this very expedited rate. Even if we have to wait until the very, very end of the year, which we well might have to. It shouldn't take that long to get there. I'm just realizing that now because there's so few opportunities to actually check this out. Rare seed for a thousand? No thank you. Traveling cart day, indeed. Let me never miss a traveling cart day, hopefully. <laughs> I will do my absolute best to make sure that does not happen. All right. It's easy once you get to the Friday to remember that Sunday is the next one. It's just that it's just like sleeping through the week. If I start talking about some random like movie or show that I watched or something like that and I get uh, too caught up in the banter, I could definitely see myself accidentally muscle memorying my way through and sleeping through a traveling cart day. Which I definitely cannot afford to do because that's not a resettable offense really. <laughs> if we miss it, then that would be 
absolutely catastrophic. So I gotta really just be on my game. I gotta focus on the game and nothing but the game. Until, uh, until we get this, this done. Might as well check the mail, I guess, every... Pretty much every time I go out for the traveling card, I guess that makes the most sense. Instead of letting it all stockpile. Alright, into summer we go. Hi-ho, hi-ho. Pickle jar rag, no. Pickle jar egg, yes. Exclamation point Hans. <laughs> Just a typo, but people are loving it. You, you do not own a Hans. All right, traveling cart. Do us a good service. Do us a good turn today. I will gladly pay you Tuesday for a rare seed today. Just kidding, I'll pay you right now for a rare seed. I was about to say I'll pay you double, but that kind of defeats the point, right? Little void egg down there. Think you're gonna get, we're going to get the rare seed on the second Friday of fall. Get your bets in now. There's no winning or losing. It's all for the fun of the game, but if you're right, you're right. Rare seed for a thousand. What do you think the chances are that Blade just straight up lied? <laughs> <laughs> and he was trolling me. I don't think he'd actually do that for because I think he's a good guy. I think that would be a very mean-spirited thing to do. But you know, I mean, maybe he maybe he was just mistaken. We're still we still got a long way to go in year thirteen, so I'm not worried. Rare seed cannot appear and fall. Is that true? Yeah, he wouldn't. He would not lie to me. He wouldn't lie and get all our hopes up like that for year 13. All for all for nothing, all for the sake of uh of a of a hearty chuckle on his side of the equator. I have more confidence in Blade than that. Blade almost let Zed blow up his his ancient seed in modded meadows. Yeah, but like okay, sure. But modded meadows is a different beast than the price of perfection, I feel like. <laughs> No disrespect to Zed and his Modded Meadows, it's a great series, but I feel like I've invested a lot more time and energy into into this crazy grind. I paused. I pa I don't know what caused that buffer. I pa I paused the moment I noticed it. I didn't even like sleep to the next day here. Am I okay though? That was on YouTube's end, I think, because I like my internet's fine, OBS is still fine, I'm pretty sure, yep. YouTube was just saying, hey, we got no data. Your data packets have been eaten up by all the slimes on your on the second floor of your building. Please send help. You hear me? Okay. We're good to go. Stream died for a sec. Don't know what happened there, but it's all good. Zed typed him, sniped him for talking smack. <laughs> he does stream later today, so... Maybe he's got eyes out. Audio's cutting out? Everything, or is everything fine now? Is audio cutting out, or are we good? It might take a minute to get to, for the stream to get, you know, back in full 100% working capacity. I'll start shoveling the coal into the steam engine. All right, it's Monday. We don't worry about Mondays. We don't talk about Mondays. Right? Yeah, we're good. Every few seconds audio goes, we're good with audio. Most people are saying we're good with audio, so Clover Quartz, that might be on your end. Maybe try refreshing, I don't know. Seems like a bizarre issue to be isolated to one person, but I gotta believe the masses. Probably lost those few seconds. Oh no, chat! In the during the during those few seconds where I was gone, I actually actually slept through an entire year, and I got the uh, egg, and now and then I grew the rare seed, and I just got perfection without you. Sorry. Oh man, what a what a sad turn of events. Could you imagine? <laughs> it actually stopped on you too. 
I mean, what could have happened is maybe the stream got desynced as far as audio goes, but I don't think that that's that likely. I think that would take a lot more than a little little buffer action. It seems like a problem of uh, of ages gone by, but maybe I don't know. Like, let me know if I'm desynced. I'll tell you right now. It's I'm going I'm going to bed. I'm I'm going to bed right now. I'm hitting the confirmation message right now. Let me know if I'm desynced or if I'm roughly roughly in sync there. Tech tech issues. It would not be a finale stream of any capacity without some kind of technical razzmatazz. I'm synced. Okay. It's perfect. All right. Happy to hear it. What a great word, by the way, razzmatazz. It's, I didn't use it in the proper context at all. I just couldn't think of a, a better word. What does razzmatazz like officially mean? Is there is there a dictionary.com definition for razzmatazz? Like I always associate it with like a a great spectacle of some kind. Like oh that show's got such good razzmatazz. Is that like a it's like a 1950s era word or something like that? A sudden resurgence of of early air of early stream problems. Bots last stream buffering this one. It all comes full circle. And I tell you a sad thing. I was trying to go over to Tim Beeb's bowl to water it at, just out of habit, and I don't didn't have the watering can. <laughs> Old habits die hard. You thought it was just a crayon color? What color is Razmataz? I'm, I'm guessing it's some kind of like raspberry related color. That's the only thing that makes sense. Happy Pride Month to you as well, Lucia. Google says it's another word for razzle-dazzle. Oh, that clears things up. It was the best crayon color. The names of crayon colors are kind of like Pokemon. It's like they started running out of ideas and had to just resort to calling things like naming things after, you know, common household items. It's like, oh, frick, we gotta come up with a new name for this color. This is this one's gonna be, uh, bottom of the freezer blue. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Purple Birdie, thank you for the $10 super chat, by the way. Just in case I fall asleep or have to go out and miss perfection, congratulations in advance. Thank you, Purple Birdie. That's the kind of optimism that I uh, greatly appreciate around here. Thank you so much. No rare seed at the right price today. KitchenAid stand mixer teal. Exactly. <laughs> you got it exactly right. Let me grab the mail real quick, because I don't think I've done that in a hot minute here. I would say, like, we can just stop checking the mail altogether, but I do need to check the mail to know who I'm giving a gift to at the Feast of the Winter Star. So it's kind of still important to stay slightly up to date on it here. Man, I've just got such great neighbors. I haven't seen them all. I, I see them once a year and they still just send me all these amazing gifts. Maybe they're just trying to make sure that I'm still alive by sending me food and supplies. <laughs> they're like, has anybody seen Chloe in a while? Mayor Lewis just comes to my shipping bin every night, wistful, hoping for something to sell. And every year he leaves empty-handed, except on New Year's Eve, where he gets a handful of mixed seeds. And he's like, "She's still, she's still kicking." <laughs> All right, um, go to sleep. I had to edit one of my Google accounts for this. I appreciate it, Hans. The humor is not lost on me. Will I just not go to the feast if I get Marnie in the mail? No, I'll still go to the feast. You gotta put in the goodwill. I'm a firm believer in what goes around comes around. Some some sort of karmic ret retribution. I know it's not necessarily backed by science in any great capacity, but it's just a it's just a belief that I hold firmly to, and I think. Gonna... <laughs> Look at this screen right now. Look at this. The BM, the bad manners of this of this woman. 
to throw all this back in my face. You know what? It is Maybe she's trying to be, like, in her own weird way. She's trying to be nostalgic about the challenge. She's like, hey, remember all this? Remember the good times, the bad times? I think goat milk was actually maybe the first thing we ever bought from the traveling cart. No, I think it was actually maybe a large... No, it was not a... Not like a large egg was it? it was it was I don't know goat milk was early on I feel like that's kind of great large egg is a steal compared to the small egg what the heck <laughs> where are you getting these prices lady uh, I didn't even like internalize there's no just rare seed of a thousand okay this is her finale celebration she's only got one year to do it so she's got to make it count she's got to leave an impression I respect the hustle I really do the eggs are mocking me. There were five of those eggs in there, too. All right. It was goat milk or large goat milk. That's what I seem to remember as well. Tim Beeb spending, spending the night with us. He sees that we're just literally sleeping 24 hours a day now. Seven days a week. And he feels bad. All right, final weekend of summer. Let's do it. Old habits die hard, I'm sorry. Dot, dot, dot. You might think that Krobus is upset that we have not been speaking to him and he's given us the silent treatment there, but it's literally just Friday. He just doesn't speak as a sign of respect for Yoba. I mean, it could be both, I guess. It could be a double-edged sword, but... Krobus is a lover, not a fighter. Little radish seeds, little coconut, blue jazz, rare seeds for five for a thousand each. That's where she gets it. You think it's five for a thousand? You're like, ooh, what a steal, but nah. Definitely not. <laughs> I guess rare seeds can show up in full, but fall, but it's only a 1.26% chance of so showing up. I think that's that 1.26% 1, 1. chance is the, what we're looking to hit regardless of the season. Because you may have noticed over... Like, we haven't had a visit to the traveling cart so far this year that hasn't had a rare seed. They've just always been a 1,000. And that's just, like, the static price for it. That's, like, the price you always get. But there's a chance, at that 1.26% chance, for it to show up as a regular stock item instead of like that specialty item at a thousand and i think that when it shows up like that that's our that's our moment where i can snag it for 600. i think we have to wait for it to show up in the actual rotation rather than being her you know special feature item if you know what i mean rare seed for a thousand i'm gonna quickly get rid of that, because it's it's kind of bothering me that I have to do that extra little loop de loop every time I come through here. And we're on our way out. Still betting on the night market. The night market is when I got uh, the final thing before the rare seed from the Traveling Merchant, I think. I think I got it at night market. I got that truffle, right? We're good? Yeah. Bring a bomb next time to clear it. You know what? Probably a good idea. I just want to make sure not to put the bomb too close to the... Too close to the traveling merchant. I feel like she might see it as a threat. And I don't want to threaten her. We're... We're, we're friends in this endeavor. We're comrades in arms. And I can't let her think otherwise. When in doubt, bomb it out. Maybe not a slogan you want to, you know, live your entire life by, but in this very specific scenario, yeah. When in doubt, freaking bomb it out, baby. Oh my gosh. My computer is, is struggling today for some reason. It's not normally struggling. It doesn't normally struggle this bad with, uh, with streams. I don't have anything, like, super extra going on. I don't know. I'm getting, like, weird stutters and everything, but that's okay. Until the stream, like, straight up crashes or something, I'm gonna keep on going. All 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this down right here. I think that's still far enough away that it's not gonna cause any undue damage. Get rid of this manually. She's throwing a mushroom, a mushroom down right in my face. All right, fine, I'll take the mushroom. What do you got? Wallflower pal, look at that little guy. Someone, someone get Kirby's legal team on this litigation right now? All right, no rare seed. And let's bamboos. Free mushroom. We're gonna crash because of the slimes. Yeah, but I've been noticing stuttering like mainly outside on the farm, so I don't think it would be the slimes. But you might be. <laughs> You might be on to something there. <laughs> Potentially. Exclamation point slime. Exclamation point slime is not a thing, but perhaps it should be. It's just too much sleeping, I think is what it is. It's the, o it's the only variable unaccounted for, is the amount of sleeping that I'm doing. The game is expecting me to do certain things. It's like, why are you not watering Timby? Why aren't you doing this, that, and the other thing? And I'm like, I just need these. I just need the egg and the rare seed, and I'll, I'll be out of your hair. And the game's like, what? Does not compute. Does not compute. Release the slimes. Embrace chaos. I will not. I will not let the slimes... Like they, they've they've they have a shrine up here to Neptune, the the first slime. They they've co congregated around his grave. I can't let them uh, suffer the same fate. Not yet, anyway. Ooh, quick little meteorite. I mean, we gotta go peep that. Still waiting on our final, well, maybe not final, but our eighth stone owl to complete the circle. Let's go have a look here. Will, will it be on the same screen as the other three meteors? One, two, three. Not on the same screen. Where the heck did it go then? They, they, all, they all gather around here. This one wants to be different. Is it up here? Oh my god, it's on per it's on the Golden Clock Island! Yo, that's kind of nice, though. That's kind of great. Fourth Meteor? Fourth Meteor. I kind of like that. Nature itself is decorating the island here. Look at that. Someone always has to be extra. Excuse me. My pathway? Wants to be special. Absolutely true. Alright, now we go back to sleep. It's a sign? I certainly hope it's a sign of something. Tim Beef has so much grass to play, and he's, he's really got free reign of the entire farm while I'm doing this. And I can't stop him. He's earned this right. If I'm not watering him, he's gonna he's gonna just go on a tear. Guaranteed. <laughs> Chloe says calls it Golden Clock Island, Grandpa. Grandpa's like, oh. Like Grandpa Grandpa had his time. He established Frugal Farm way back in the day. He knew what he was getting into. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't anticipate all this, but you know, you gotta, you gotta expect, you gotta expect the unexpected when it comes to Chloe. The little egg there, egg and eggplant parmesan. Is it just how much time has passed, or are they more common? I mean, I've gotten four meteors in like twelve and a half years. So it's not like super common, but I think it's, they're probably more. They probably were made more common than they were, than they used to be. The stone owl is definitely a lot more common.
you were wrong. I appreciate you sticking your neck out there and making a prediction at all, early gamer. Many of us are not so brave. Many people have not uh, have not declared when they think the rare seed will come, period. They're just here to enjoy the ride, which I can also respect. But it takes a different kind of person to, you know, say something and then admit that they're wrong. When they are probably inevitably wrong. <laughs> but as, as, the, as the days go on here through year 13, the chances that you're right in a prediction get higher and higher. As the subset of samples gets smaller and smaller. Five pink cakes and a duck egg and a partridge in a pear tree. Stick into Winter 28, that would be funny. <laughs> it would be a very... It would be it would be pretty on brand if it was Winter 28. If it, if it had been the first day or the final day of the season, I think either one is totally on brand. Or the night market. The night market is also pretty brand heavy. Uh, we're going to sleep. Thank God it wasn't the second Sunday of fall. You would have been so mad. Just missed it by a single day. Such a fancy outfit. It is a very fancy, prismatic, pretty outfit. Befitting of our, uh, of our Queen Chloe. You know, Queen Slay and all that. First night of the night market, you think? Distinctly possible. Anything's possible. If you work as a team. Alright, quick wave hello. What do we got? No rare seed, just another swift kick in the pants. Alright. Night Market would be kind of rough, admittedly, because that's the one where I would have to wait until 5 p.m., obviously, in order to actually see my chances. So I'm going to hope that it doesn't go there, but I'm going to, you know, I'll put in the hours if I have to. Chloe's going to be very sluggish by that point after having slept for so long. All her muscles are atrophying after just running the same rote routine for many, many years here. She's not going to be used to staying up for like a full day. Yo! Another table courtesy of Krobus. Thank you, sir. This one doesn't match his other tables. It's not like other tables. But it can go in the same place. <laughs> That's so gross looking. Alright, let's go. Having to stay awake for more than 40 minutes a day sounds tiring. You're telling me. And that's on like a good day. Usually usually I can't stay up for more than five seconds. Small crystal. Tempting, but I'll say no thank you. Let's go. She won't be buff Chloe anymore then. It's true, the age of buff Chloe may have gone by. She's not putting in nearly as much work as she as she used to. But we still respect her, because it's for the it's for a great cause here. My computer makes keeps making these sounds. I don't like them. Like the fan keeps going like. <laughs> it does that every so often. Not like a super amount, but enough to be of concern, I guess. Hopefully, my computer's not on the verge of kicking the bucket. But like I said, it is getting kind of old. It's like me. It's pretty old now. Not made of the same stuff that it used to be. It used to be top of the line, cutting edge. Now it's you know. Now it gets laughed at by all the 3090s out there. How old was my computer? Like five years old. <laughs> Which sounds ridiculous. Like you'd think a computer should be able to last like a decent while. Like like fi maybe five years is the average lifespan expectancy for a computer. I don't know, but... Yo!
Argon Hype, that's the rare seed! Blade was not lying after all. He, he came through in clutch. Very end of fall. That's the rare seed. That is one of the last things we need to see perfection through. This is our final purchase, you guys. After so many purchases, literally just millions and millions of dollars, dollars, gold, whatever you want to call it, all pushed into this challenge. It all boils down to this last moment here. This is the final mandatory purchase for perfection. After this 600 gold, we don't need to spend anything else ever again. It's going to be the final time I get to update exclamation point cart, exclamation point, well not exclamation point anything but the checklist. It's, it feels almost unreal. And the fact that it's just, it's just right here in my face. Let me see, oh, what I got, just what you need, pale ale? Lady, you got the rarest of rare seeds here. You kidding me? You want me to buy this pale ale for twice as much of money? I don't think so. I'll go make my own. All right. Chat. Let's do it. Three, two, one. The final purchase. There it is. The rare seed in all its glory. So in fall takes a whole, all season to grow. Thank you, Noel, for the $5 super chat. I'm going to go ahead and update uh, update my totals and everything for the last time. All right. Checklist. It's been so long since I've had to do this. There we go. A full checklist. You can check it for yourself in the description. There's a link to towards the top of all our purchases and all the ones we've made. It's all green checkmarked out of its mind now. Let me go exclamation point cart. Tra exclamation point cart. The traveling merchant sends her regards. Colon three. All right, beautiful. B E A, beautiful, if I ever saw it. And, oh, I forgot. One last little thing here. Let me go edit the description. Total cost so far, 13,303,690 dollars. Which is the perfection number. That's the perfection constant. At least for us. I mean, Argon Axe might have a thing to say, a thing or two to say about that, but it's as, it's as close as we're getting. 13,303,690 dollars. All right. Well, let's take care of business, shall we? Let's do this. Dawn time. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Says yay. Yay indeed. And you know what? I can't just leave her in the dust like that after after so much after everything she's done for us. Thank you traveling merchant. You're the real MVP. And we get some uh just some appreciation for the traveling merchant in whatever capacity you want to show it. Argon Love, Hearts, O7s. It's all welcome around here. Thank you so much. That one's for you. See you in another lifetime. Pet the pig. Lechonk. Oh, he smiled! That's the first time I've ever seen that pig smile like that. Yo! I just imagine him smiling and winking at us from under the glasses. Oh my gosh. I'm, I was so excited that I didn't even remember to use my freaking farm warp totem to get home. My cobblestone path. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead, for aesthetic purposes, since I don't need to do this anymore, I'm just going to go ahead and take this. Pop it back where it needs to be. There we go. Alright. So, rare seed. I can grow this. It says grow and fall, but it's not like a weird thing. I can I can still just grow this in the greenhouse. I'm like fairly confident in that. I could throw on a little, if I want to be like peak total efficiency, a little hyper speed grow. You know what? 
Why not? I've got the radioactive ore, I'm pretty sure, to, to spare on this. Hyper speed grow. Not that it matters, because I'm going to be sleeping through so many days anyway that it's, it's probably not going to be that relevant, but here we go. I have to grow it on the farm, winky face. All right. Um, all this is already speed speed grown out of its mind, so I think I have to do. I have to go grab the hoe. I gotta grab the hoe and the watering can and all that stuff. Where my hoe at? Did I leave the hoe on Ginger Island, or is it in here? Might be in here. There it is. Okay. Put it in a pot next to my bed. I could I could put it in a pot next to the bed. You know what? Can we? I can grow I can grow a rare seed in a garden pot. Is that like I I just want to be extra sure of this because I feel like a rare seed could be some weird exception. Is it growable in a garden pot? Use the pixie dust stuff. I don't think that works for crops. I think it's just for machines. You did it in your house? I'll try the fairy dust if people are telling me to try it, but I'm pretty sure it won't work. You can't? Can't do it? No garden pot. Okay. You should be able to do it? I'll, tr I'll try it. We'll try it. I mean, I try. I worry that if, like, if I try it, it will just not let me, or will it be like, uh, yo... Your rare seed freaking died. I I got God. I hope not. And if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna want to probably. I, I mean, I guess I'll, I'll need to. I can just water it manually as well. Go ahead and plop this right here. Rare seed garden pot is fine. I just need to be extra careful with this. It will just not allow you. Instead of instead of the hyper speed grow in this case, I think I'm going to do the deluxe retaining soil, just so I don't have to like worry if I like, forget to water it or something. Greenhouse would be safe, and that would be probably the best way to go about it. But re but I do like the idea of being able to see it as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back to the mail in a second here. Off on, thank you for the five dollar super chat. As always, thank you for the amazing series, Argo, and can't wait to see what you do next. I'm going to miss tuning into these while at work, for sure. The VODs will still be there to relive the memories. I know it won't quite be the same, but thank you. Thank you very much for tuning in as well. Challenge, this whole thing would not have been the same without all of you guys contributing, so I appreciate it. More than words can say. Alright. Let's go ahead and throw the deluxe retaining soil down. Water it. Trash run to celebrate? I can, you know what? Last time we did a trash run to celebrate, it was kind of a magical moment, so maybe... I don't I don't know if history is going to repeat quite that fast. I think that was kind of lightning in a bottle when we did it, but I'm willing to give it a, give it a fair shake. Pop this in here. And for those who may be wondering, because I do see people saying the fairy dust, should this won't work. Yeah, it just does nothing. Okay. About what I expected. All right, commemorative trash run for old times' sake. This is our equivalent of like a victory lap. Let's go. I love how you, how appreciative you are of every kind of fan. I mean, every fan they they appreciate the the content in whatever way best fits them. Whether you're lurking, whether you listen to streams from work. Whether you, you're an active chatter and you make it to every stream, whether you've been here for one, and I don't know. Any any way that you want to enjoy it, there's no wrong way to enjoy it, as far as I'm concerned. And I want to show appreciation for all of them, because all of you are, are of equal appreciation in my mind. Each of you who has appreciated and enjoyed the series up until now is, is your own special, unique person. Enjoying it in your own special, unique way. 
And I want and I want to make sure that that uh, never goes unappreciated. That said, what I don't appreciate is the lack of cactus root from these garbage cans. Come on, I I already got two in my belt. You can't give me a third. Can't give me the hat trick. Sam is there guarding the garbage cans. All right. Quick little mail run here. Little little mail run. All right. Don't have any more mail. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yo, Sarah Cunningham. Thank you for the two dollars super chat. Got up at four thirty a.m. just in time for this moment. You came at a great time. That is one of the many. That is one of the few pivotal moments left in this challenge. Is this beautiful, lovely, effervescent rare seed right here? Now, we just sleep the days away, wait until this thing is fully grown, and then is a real, a real moment of truth. We gotta, well, number one, this is not gonna be fully grown until after our next Feast of the Winter Star, so we'll have that to look forward to, but then after that, the Seed Maker, the Seed Makers have been relatively kind when we need them to be, but we'll see. We'll seed. <laughs> it's got one last chance to throw a monkey wrench into our plans here. All right. Uh, I don't really need these farm warp totems anymore. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put them, leave them behind me. Thank you for your service. And let's lock it in, shall we? Go to sleep for the night? Yes, please. All right, rare seed still alive, so confirmed garden pot seems to be working just fine. And now I don't need to check the traveling card anymore, so I, I just don't need to stop for basically anything except like birthdays and stuff. It's growing. We can we can watch it grow in real time, yo. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, let's go sleep. Winter first. We're back into. Back into Ovoid Moratorium status, which is a sentence that doesn't make much sense outside the context of this stream. <laughs> but if you know, you know. Let's just hold on to our diamonds. Diamonds for Krobus. Watching grass grow the stream. Happy birthday, buddy. Alright, let's send it. Let's send it all the way to Christmas, baby. All the way to the Winter Star. I'm hyped up now. Could you imagine if we got this on the uh, on the same year as we got the rare seed? How obs how obscenely hype would that be? You can do it, game. I know you can. Yo, Gale, thank you for the ten dollars super chat. I'm at work, so I can't watch until I get out. No worries. Just want to say that I've enjoyed every stream, and I'm so glad that I found your channel, Argon. It's bittersweet. The challenge is almost over. I'm right there with you. I'm also, you know. I'm going to miss the challenge when it's gone, but don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Thank you, Gail. I appreciate uh, I appreciate how active you've been in the community. <gasps> it's a sign. Chat, chat, this has got to be a sign. This has got to be a sign. We got the rare seed. We got a meteor. We got a freaking stone owl. Hootie the Eighth. Of Pennsylvania? This has to be the year. This is the year. Chat. It, everything's lining up so beautifully. It can't not be the year. This has to be the one. Marnie's going to be knocking at our doorstep any moment. My son. Welcome home. Booty the freaking eighth. Full circle square. The legendary seed maker of the cactus fruit era is finally fully protected by its bodyguard of eight stone owls. I just, when I called them bodyguards, I imagined them all wearing sunglasses and that's a great mental picture. Honestly, this is, this is my year. Correction, this is our year. This is our year. Let's make it happen. And they say 13 is an unlucky number. We're going out to prove them wrong. We're, we're setting all kinds of sta standards. Disproving stigmas, tearing down barriers left, right, and center. Who says you need a fully upgraded set of tools to get perfection? 
Who says you need to buy a desert bus ticket at any point in your life to, in order to get perfection? Who says? Who says? In the immortal words of Selena Gomez, would you tell me who said that? Because they're wrong? I got, I got a stream to show them. Oh, baby. What will I do with the next 10 plus stone owls, Mary? I don't even have to worry about that because we're just going to go ahead and get, get what we need right here. We're going to get this present that we so desperately crave. No backpack needed. Yeah, who needs any backpack space? No backpacks. No backpack any percent. Who says you need a copper axe? You know, that's the one that's the one stumbling block we got. Who says you need a copper axe? All right. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, show me my winter star friend, please. Winter star friend. He's just sending me money over and over again. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of a bunch of this stuff. All oh, this song, too. Alright, Night Market. No. 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 Shane, I appreciate it. Your secret friend is... Leo! Leo! Oh, Leo. Okay. What do we get, Leo? Um, it's gotta be something... Something special. Something impactful. I can give him just, like, a mango or just... He likes bananas, maybe? Are bananas a love gift for Leo? Leo, I appreciate I appreciate Leo greatly. I feel like a banana. Yo, wait, hold on. Boy or duck feather? I mean, ma <laughs> mango? Is mango a love gift or is it... Uh, doesn't he like mango sticky rice? Iridium mango? I was going to check these fruit trees. Banana is a liked gift. Iridium mangoes. We've never seen an iridium quality fruit before. Iridium mangoes. Look at that. Mango is loved. Mango is loved. I can probably actually check this myself, right? Where's Leo at? Love gift mango. It's an iridium mango. Let's make this happen. It's even shaped like, the, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, everything's lining up. Everything's lining up so beautifully. This thing's growing up so beautifully too. Team, uh... Team Barry is sweating right now. Team Bet Team Barry is sweating bullets. The 73% who were on Team Sweet Gem Barry. They're like, oh man, it's coming down to the wire here. It's coming down to the wire. All right, let's go. Let's go. Shaped like a friend. That mango is meant for Leo. 100% true. Barry is a free free win. We'll see about that, Lucas. We will see in a in a mere four days here. That looks like it's ready. <laughs> Hold on. I thought I thought it took a full season to grow. Excuse me. This is ready. Okay. So I I guess this is uh you know early bird gets the berry. The berry is ready. Sweet gem berry. It's by far the sweetest thing you've ever smelled. All right, chat. I need. We need to do something. We need to do something special here. We need to. This. This is the seed maker of cactus root fame. We can't cross contaminate. I need to give the seed. I need to give the sweet gem berry its own seed maker. A gold bar, coal, and twenty-five wood. You're gonna make me smelt a gold bar. <laughs> All right. Uh, the wood. The coal. Send it. We're making. I'm. I'm. I'm going all the way here. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna sleep because that gold is gonna take a little while. We'll do this on Winter Star Eve. We're gonna seed maker this son of a gun. The ritual cleanse it. <laughs> the owl ritual. All right. Go to sleep for the night. I think so. Right. Oh. Oh. Fairy dust. You're so right. The fairy dust? Fairy dust really does come in clutch. Okay. 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 Boom. Done. Okay, cool. Don't need to worry about that then. Seed maker. Seed maker is made. Dust the seed maker for extra flare. I don't think I have any more fairy dust, and I don't know if I have the means to make it either. Plus, I kind of like... 
the <laughs> I kind of like the moment of anticipation. All right. Where are we putting this? Where are we putting this chat? I think I think the game was giving me a sign of where I need to put it. Let's do this. All right, chat. Anything, even if we only get one rare seed back, that's okay. We can roll that into more in the future. Anything but mixed seeds or ancient seeds. I need all all your energy right now. Just just put a little sprout emoji in chat. I think there's one that's just called sprout. We need we need the good plant luck here. No mixed seeds, no ancient seeds. Get any kind any kind of plant that you got in there. Any kind of sprout or sprig or whatever. We need we need we need the right emoji. We need the right emoji. That's the one. That's the one. You got the sprout emoji. We're going to sprout. All sprouts. Sprout Valley. That's a throwback. All right. Here we go. By the whim of chat, and there are many sprouts. Show me two rare seeds, please. That's all I need. It's all I've ever wanted in life. Two rare seeds. Give it to me, please. 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 Serenade it, you know, give it a little love, get a little TLC. It's a rare seed. How many, though? How many rare seeds? It's two rare seeds! Holy crap, it's the exact right amount! Yo! Yoba has heard our prayers and answered with two rare seeds. We got two. That's so good. That's so good. You guys did it. You guys pulled it out. That's amazing. All right. Well, you know what we do now. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make it another freaking garden pot is what I'm going to do. I don't want to do this in the greenhouse. We got to do this right. We're going to have the twin berries. The twin berries. And we grow them. We grow and we go. We grow and we go. Let's do this. I need to I need to need my watering can, of course. You know what, Tim Beep? Couldn't have done this without you. Here's, here's a little treat for you. As we lead into the most exciting leg of the challenge that has ever been seen. Here we go. Water it. One and two. Oh my god. Two delicious berries. Look at that. Look at that. The little stream that could. All right. I think that was quite a productive day. That was a beautiful day. It all came together so nicely. I'll sleep to that. I will sleep to that. All right. Let's make this happen, y'all. Feast of the Winter Star, year 13. The most pivotal year in the Price of Perfection history. We're going to start putting tables down there, I guess. Probus. Happy Winter Star, my friend. There you go. Where's Tim Beeb? Where's Tim Beeb? Give him a little appreciation as well. Thank you, my friend. Let's do a little quick mail cleanse while we wait for our 9 a.m. start time. They really gotta make me- they really gotta drag it out, huh? Make me wait till 9 a.m. every single year for this dang festival. I just wanna go in, man. I just wanna go in and see- see what awaits me on the other side. But, we'll be patient. I've been patient for so long. I've been patient for exclamation point playtime plus however long this stream is going. I just need to be a, a, a little patient for a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. In the meantime, let's, you know, fix this up. And let's also go do some, uh, some supply crate collecting. What are Krobus' hearts at? Uh, where's Krobus? Oh my god. <laughs> Hold the phone! Why does, why does Krobus hate us? <laughs> Why is Krobus not happy? We haven't been talking to him. I know that. It decays, I guess. But I thought... Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he loses fast as a housemate? Krobus, no. 
Oh no, it's all coming crumbling down. It's okay, we can rebuild. We can rebuild with some diamonds. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I will take this crystallarium here. We're taking this crystallarium and we're bringing it home. We'll put a diamond in this thing and every time it's ready, we'll give him a diamond. I think someone in chat had this idea a while back. We'll go ahead and give him a diamond whenever, whenever we can. Uh, I'm gonna. I guess I'll throw it. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know where to put this that would fit well. <laughs> ah! All right, right here. That's fine. I'll throw a diamond in there. I lose 20 points a day. And we'll just we'll just give him all the diamonds that his heart desires. Okay. The sad music too. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in Krobus's room. I was thinking of that, but I don't know if it would be in my line of sight, and I might just, like, totally forget. Either way, it's fine. All right. I'm giddy. I was going to go do more supply crate runs, but l let me in. Let me in. Today's festival is being set up. Let me in. But let me in, though. But, like, let me in. Okay, I'll wait. Why is there a butterfly in the void? That's just the power of the butterfly hutch. A love gift is 80 points, so I'll lose it in four days. You telling me I'm gonna actually have to talk to Krobus for He's he's gonna he's he drives a hard bargain, but you know what? He deserves it. He's earned it. Alright. Speaking of earned. How are you doing there, Marnie? How are you doing? I just don't know what to say. I'm just excited. I just want to talk to all my friends here. You know what? Sure. Tell me the Legend of the Winter Star, Willy, one more time for old time's sake. Because this is going to be the last time we're going to get the chance. I guarantee that right now. It's coming, chat. I can feel it. I can feel it in the air. Leo, I'll be back for you. Don't you worry. Don't you, don't you fret your little mop head about that. Do I know what Krobus' name means? Oh, uh, you know... He might have told me once or twice. <laughs> once or twice, or, you know, 700 times. Anyway. I could also do two crystallariums. True. I could do, I could do, we have a lot of crystallariums. I could make another crystallarium as well. I would like a jug of spice mead. With a little, you know, something on the side as well. Some some high-protein animal products to, you know, enjoy with my spiced mead. That would be pretty nice. Get the emojis ready, indeed. Load your emoji shotguns. And get ready to blast the chat. We need it. You need me now more than ever, chat. Now more than ever. All about tradition around here. Let's go talk to Haley. Hope she gets her new camera. She deserves that for all this time. And let's go talk to Leo, shall we? The need for mead. Give Leo his secret gift. I think I will. Here you go, sir. It's you. A mango, thanks. Reminds him of home, undoubtedly. All right, chat. You know what to do. You know what to do. Third time's the charm for this stream. Unload your eggs. Un just just spill your egg cartons pretend like you're going down the grocery aisle you're running like a like one of those in like one of those like videos where they do like a race around in shopping carts down the grocery aisles and you slam into the egg section and just go spilling eggs everywhere i just want eggs all over the floor all over the walls all over the place eggs eggs we need a dozen eggs for marnie a dozen eggs for marnie it's not that hard the game you there's a three percent chance three percent we can do that we got those odds we got those odds on lock we got them on call leo thank you thank you for the good luck show me marnie i oh my god my heart stopped for a second she has the same color hair <laughs> she has the same color hair it's a it was a fake marnie fake marnie maru's fake marnie confirmed <laughs> oh I'm your secret gift giver this year. The brown hair. Here, open it. Oh! Well, you know what? <laughs> At least we got one of those. 
At least we ended up getting one of those in the end. A little tea set is not much, but I hope you like it. You know what? I was I was getting geared up to be kind of mad, but that's a unique one. That's a unique one. The tea set. Imposter Marnie. <laughs> oh well. Fine porcelain. Fine porcelain. The enemy of egg kind. Oh. At the end of the day, I can't be that mad, though. It's been a great year. The year 13 has been very kind to us. It's been a very, very special one, as we anticipated it would be, obviously. The tea set? You know what? This, this could do with a little decoration down here, I think. Why not? Let's load up on crystallariums tomorrow, and uh, and we'll just have... We'll have full diamond crystallariums for Krobus. Actually, let me go check. Can I... Like, if I were to smelt and transmute stuff, because I don't really want to steal the crystal earrings from the quarry. I don't really have that much gold either. But I do have some... I could I could transmute some stuff here. I only need, like, a few crystallariums. Never thought I'd be back at the crystallarium grind after, <laughs> after everything I've been through. But, uh... Let's give it a whirl, at least. Get, get some transmutation. I don't. I haven't done the math on this to know exactly how many this is going to net me. I'm also going to need to smelt some iridium if I want to get multiple crystallariums in here. Put one on Krobus's table. <laughs> All right. Off to bed we go. Another year down. Just about. I only need one more, but I want to build up. You know. You know. I mean, maybe maybe I do just need one more. I guess. <laughs> That realistically, yeah, you're probably right. You're right, you're right. If I just give him two two gifts a day, or two gifts a week kind of thing. Question, if Krobus is not at 14 hearts, is he, uh, does that count against perfection? Or if he's not at at least, like, 10 hearts, is it, are we able to lose perfection percentage because of that? Or because he's been at max friendship already before, will we still be okay? That is, a, that is a question I do not know the answer to. And I worry ever so slightly. But I don't know if my worry is necessarily warranted. He has to be at 10 hearts. You need 10 hearts to get perfection. I guess we can go check. That's very true. 15. That's going to be three more crystallariums. I think that's plenty. So I'll just need to wait for the Iridium to all finish smelting here. Go ahead and leave that. Grab our battery packs, the Iridium, and the stone. Go visit the Walnut Room. I'll go check the Walnut Room, just to, just to sate my curiosity to know whether this actually does impact it. Have there been any deaths along the way, or have I avoided that? There have been zero deaths. I am very... Very happy to say that. No deaths throughout the challenge so far. I mean, it's never too late, I guess. But <laughs> I'd have to, I'd have to pull some kind of strange voodoo to to conjure a death without actually actively trying for it. The only thing I could think of is if I accidentally go like visit the the slimes up top without my slime charmer ring on for some reason. Eighty nine percent. Great friends. Ninety seven percent. So it does count. Okay. So I, I'm I'm losing perfection percentage. That's that's rough. That's rough. But it's fine. It's fine. We can make it back. Little sashimi. All right, let's go to bed. We'll make these crystallariums. We'll start our crystallarium diamond harvesting grind for Krobus. I didn't even see Krobus on the inside there. He must have been like over in his room or something. We did get we got the tea set from the uh, Feast of the Winter Star, yeah. Alright, make me three crystallariums real quick. 
Plop all these away. I will go ahead and do it like so. I'm going to wait for this one to be done before I fill those with diamonds again because I want them to be on sort of the same set cycle. I think that's probably better. All right. So it's going to throw a little bit of a wrench into our plans to keep up the friendship with Krobus. One of the weirder grinds I've had to do, but it's fine. It's all freaking good. Just keep, just keep on giving diamonds. Just give diamonds, give life. Give gifts, give life. All right. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, this is the last day of the year. Last day of a very, very good year to us. Throw some mixed seeds in the pile, in the shipping bin. Thank you for a few last minute year 13 gifts, my friends. It's time to move on to gift 14, or to gift 14? No, year 14. Hey, Franzenstein, thank you for the five euro super chat. Extra luck for next year. Can we get some party poppers? And, uh, and firework emojis in chat, please. As we transcend even further beyond. Here we go. Year 14 has arrived. Spring 1, year 14. Let me go update. Exclamation point year. There we go. Year 14, we are in it to win it, baby. I think this is a good time, because I'm am I'm starting to get a little peckish, so I might go grab a little something to eat. Um, so I'm going to throw on... I'm going to throw you guys over to the break screen. Uh, instead of throwing you to the saloon this time, though, I've prepared something a little extra special for you guys as far as, far as, uh, as, far as break time goes for the finale. So please enjoy while I'm gone. Stick around, I'll be back live shortly after I get some uh, some much needed nourishment. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this for right now. Pause the music. So uh, yeah, please enjoy your special finale break. I'll be back very shortly. Oh, that's a good Haley quote. She says I should have brought my camera. You know what that means? You know what that means! She should have brought her camera because she's about to witness history. This is our moment. Haley, get the camera! Get the camera! Chat! Camera emojis! It's our time. This is our moment. Dish of the sea. Homemade, home cooked! Home cooked goodness! That's the legend, baby! Urgh! 49 inches! You go tell the world! Tell them that you were here for this moment. Tuesday the 16th of spring, year four. That's a screenshot. That's a clip and a half. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that feels good. Will I play one more game of Junimo Kart? At least one more. This is the last one because we're going to get 50,000 points on this game. Mark my words. You heard it here first. Clip it. Clip it. All right. Well, okay. Don't. No, don't clip that. Don't clip that. That's embarrassing. Now I know how people on live stream fails feel. So satisfying. Tim Beeb. All right. Wait, Tim Beeb loves me! I almost missed it! You... Oh, someone clip that! Clip that! <laughs> oh! I love you too, Tim Beeb. Don't go to sleep for the night. No, 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 no. We're spending... We're spending... We, got, we, we love our boy. I love you so much, Tim Beeb. Tim Beeb loves me. Oh!
I gotta spend a little time with with my best boy here. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Just this, I love I love Chloe's slow blink. I love the slow blink. Just she stare at. She's like, you know what? I can't. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're weak. Weak that. All right. Um. <laughs> no. Okay. We'll just catch another one. It's not a big deal. <laughs> that's what that's what chaos does to a man. That's that's nine out of ten chaos. We just tipped over into ten out of ten chaos chaos stream. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> He's good. He's still good. We're still fighting. I'm still kicking. That's a one-up! Those exist. <laughs> the run lives on. Get out of my face. Give me some clearance here. Give me some clearance. I'm not going down without a fight. You can't make me. You can't make me! I will survive! Maybe not that long, though. Try my best to make human food. Wait, my inventory was full. Aw, oh, frick. <laughs> Can you still give it to me, Krobus? Hold on, hold on, let me just plonk this thing down. Who cares? Give me... Sir? Oh. Or did he give me a triple shot espresso? I don't even know. My inventory was full, so I didn't get whatever he was going to give me there. That's okay. What I will do is I'll pop a little uh, dino egg in the mayonnaise machine here. Excuse me? Krobus? <laughs> he just murdered Neptune! What on earth? Oh no! Did you hear that horrible sound? <laughs> I did not see that one coming! Oh my god! What in the world? <laughs> Krobus has zero chill! <laughs> Show me a large brown egg. Just make up for it. There's the, there's That's where all our egg luck went into this pit. What the, what the heck? I misclicked? <laughs> No! I didn't mean it! I swear! <laughs> I didn't mean to! <laughs> I was so excited! I was- I was- I'm- I need to let out my egg excitement somehow, chat. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> That's a reset. Well, here's- here's a good example. We do save scum sometimes for mistakes just like this. Frickin' oops. This fried egg, what the heck? Sunny side up, baby. It doesn't even matter anymore. Oh my god. Hopefully I didn't miss anything important. <gasps> I missed something catastrophically important, you guys. Oh, shoot. Oh no. I didn't s Oh no. Oh, how could I... I was so focused on other things. You guys. We forgot Haley's birthday. <laughs> we forgot Haley's birthday! <laughs> no! No! Oh, here we go. Alright, so now I should hit this. And that should show the overlay just, like, when I hit the thing. Hey, by the way, that's beet seeds? What? <laughs> Alright, I guess we don't really need the overlay anymore, do we? <laughs> what just... Ah, sucker punch me, why don't you? Literally come through the screen. Eric Baroni, concerned ape, walk through the screen and punch me in the face. I'd be less surprised. I would be absolutely... I huh, what is, what in the world? What in the actual world are the odds of that? The first chest, the first day of the first stream of the week. I don't even. I. I guess we're done. I guess we're done with Skull Cavern. All right, it is starting to get late. 
I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Is this what you do all day, Haley? You just hang out in your room? Or is it, is it because I'm here? It's because I'm here. I'm making things weird. I'm not talking. I, I should be talking. I should be inciting the conversation. I should be... Um, have you? How, how are you liking the jukebox? How are you liking the jukebox? Is there... Uh... Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. What about back here? What about back here? It's locked for now. All right. Well, it is. It is getting pretty late. I should probably should probably get going. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. I was. I was too forward. I'm sorry. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'm out of here. Oh gosh. Good. Good night. Good night. Stupid. Stupid. There's our copper axe. It had to be done eventually, as does this. We're we're 100% sure that you need a steel axe to get into the secret woods, right? A copper axe just will not do, even if it's enchanted. I'm... I, I, I'm like 99% sure. But... Is it worth, like, going to test it? So these three down here, we got all unenchanted. So as expected, hopefully, this does nothing. Your axe isn't strong enough to break this log. Copper axe, also not strong enough to break the log. The steel axe should be, but we're going to avoid that for now. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's do reverse order here. So copper axe, powerful enchantment. This is the moment of truth. I've seen it on video. I've never tested this. This is my first time doing it in-game. But by all accounts, this should work. That works. Okay, it didn't give me the little pop-up message. It, it made, like, the little thunka. So it's definitely going to work. Now, regular axe with a powerful enchantment. Also works. Alright, they tell me green is a 75% chance, though. So ha it couldn't happen. It could, could four times in a row. So surely not possible. Chat. Um. Chat? <laughs> Are you guys okay? Alright, we're betting orange. Um, let's go with... I guess this would be, what, 23? <laughs> okay, what the... F <laughs> No! No, I refuse. Okay. Uh green. 12. Okay. What is actually happening? <laughs> what is What? What is this? What is this? I this is actually rigged. It'll be okay. We're not going to kill any of the slimes ourselves. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> We're not gonna we're not gonna kill any of the slimes ourselves, at least not yet. Robus, help, please! We got a bit of an infestation here. Get your sword! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh he's a machine! He's a he's a machine! Look at him go! <laughs> oh my god, it's a massacre! Look away! Look away! Sensitive viewers! <laughs> Oh my god, it's like a it's like a meat grinder. He's got zero chill. Holy crap. Krobus. <laughs> I think it would be quite an experience, because I know Hollow Knight is like a masterpiece, according to many people. And I feel like I'd fall in that camp as well. Alright, let me actually when you get a chance, you actually have to kind of focus on the game for a little bit. Wait a sec. Wait, what the what the heck? I just did it! <laughs> you just caught one of the legendary fish! Who needs a dish of the sea? Oh, not me. Not me! Glacier fish builds a nest on the underside of glaciers. 45 energy? That's a slap in the face. Eric Baroni, what are you doing to me? We're gonna do it. We're buying a horse flute. That's all my money. But 
is it worth it? Do we get the astral pony of our dreams? You do not own a horse. You don't have to say it so bluntly. Oh my god. By the way, you don't own a horse. You do not own a horse. <laughs> oh no. You do not own a horse. Rip me, I guess. Oh my god. Alright, take this L, Fector. This pure heart will keep me alive. Scumbag. Can't you, like... We're chillin'? We're chillin'? We're chillin'? Okay. It's fine, it's fine. It's- 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 it's all good. It's all good. It's- it's- it's good. We're fine. I've got an item. I, I have an item in reserve. Hold on. You... Piece of garbage. He's going in. He's going in. He's going in! Oh, He's done it. We will never speak of this again. I mean, I, I knew it would probably go longer than year 12, realistically, when I made the trailer. That's just the... That's just a clip that I had access to. And I didn't, I didn't want to, like, go and go all the way to... Or, like, even have to mod my way to... Oh! Wait, it... Ah! 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 What do I do? What do I do? What do, what do, I, what do I do? Is that, re is that real? Is that real? There's no what? There's no shot. Oh my god! Is that? I did. I. Uh, <laughs> time. Time. Time me. What is that? Is I. Ah. Uh, I. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I didn't know. I, I was I was getting ready to wrap up the stream. I was I didn't <laughs> No freaking way. It's that's it. My I'm literally shaking. I didn't And it's Haley's garbage can too. It's Haley. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. indeed live again shortly <laughs> hope you guys had fun with that hopefully it was a nice way to really relive some of the previous memories of the stream or maybe get acquainted with them for the first time if you are a uh, newer viewer I am all refreshed my stomach bag is full of goodness my cat has woken up say hello Minu. I don't know if you could hear her, but she said hello. She's a little sleepy, though, so forgive her. I sound so quiet after the cactus fruit screaming. Yeah, I wasn't sure about the audio balance on that one. Speaking of which, let me move my microphone a little bit here. One second.
you heard her. She it was a very like sort of raspy meow. I think she like literally just woke up. What was lunch? I had a uh, I had a chicken and cheese sandwich, a muffin, and that was uh, that was good enough for me. He loved that she responded. Yeah, I, I and usually when I like look over at her and I talk to her, she'll be like meow, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, let's get back to it, shall we? We still have a decent amount of stream time left. More than half the stream time, half the allotted stream time, I should say, remains. Where we last left off, uh, Krobus hated us. <laughs> and uh, we need to start rebuilding his, his good graces. So one diamond at a time, we're going to get there. I'll start off pretty diamond strong, I think, for the... Um, for these first few days here. And then once I get the Crystallariums all synced up here, then I will also rely on that. Just like so. Like that. And then we'll we'll top up his friendship as needed here. Because I can give him a I can give him a gift every day, because he's my housemate. And we're just gonna have to build it up slowly but surely over time. But it'll be a lot faster than uh than you otherwise might think, just because we're sleeping through so much of this anyway. Close to the cactus versary. What did I do? You're watching the repercussions of what I did right now. Quick little visit to Krobus here. We'll just have to do a little lap around the bed every now and again. Lose 20 every day if not inter interacted with. This is the price we have to pay in order to... It, just for... This is our sleep tax right now. Krobus is invoking a sleep tax. What if there was a machine, like, you know how there's auto-petters and auto-grabbers? What if there was an auto, like, friender? What if we, oh, what if we had, like, a body pillow that Krobus could talk to or something? Yo, that could be, that, that could be the next, next great addition to Stardew Valley. 1.6, the new, the, <laughs> the new feature of body pillows so that you don't have to talk, talk to your spouse ever again. Auto-gifter. Need to go. Have we gotten the berry or the egg yet? The berries are currently growing. We got our one rare seed and we've seed makered it into two. That is one of our uh, one of our remaining goals. Just about close to fruition here. Still waiting on the egg though. Waiting on the egg. That sounds awful. <laughs> Look, body pills, it doesn't have to go in that direction. Is this is a PG thirteen stream in case you are uh, in case you're not aware. Body pillows are just body pillows. It's all good. You wouldn't mind having fan art of that, fair? Alright, keep on building the friendship. This is an amazing gift. He's just gonna be studded with diamonds after all this time. He's gonna have like a, a little a literal diamond hoard. Like Donkey Kong's banana hoard in Donkey Kong Country, but it's gonna be Krobus's diamond hoard hidden beneath the house. So I'm gonna head down to the basement, and all my casks are just gonna be chock full of diamonds. Like, what does he do with all these? Like, there's there's no way that any one man, woman, or shadow monster could use all these diamonds. You're my roommate. Just relax. <laughs> Have a diamond. Have a diamond. Looking like a diamond in the rough. Grobe is getting blinged out. One diamond at a time. He's building up his... Uh... Oh, he can get... Because he wears that trench coat when you take him to the movies, right? He can get like a diamond-studded trench coat. That could be kind of fly. What's the method for getting eggs? To get the eggs that I need for free, the one egg that I need for free, I need to get it from the Feast of the Winter Star, from Marnie specifically. She's the only one who can give it. Happy Cactusversary, by the way. Diamond teeth. Get yeah, one of those diamond grills. Slowly but surely, he's got to be getting there. I'm not going to check. I'll check, like, at the end of the season and see where we're at. But uh, for now, we just keep on sleeping. Sleep until... Sunday anyway, because then we got to we got to go visit Haley too. Does Krobus have teeth? Yeah, did you not see his little uh look he's got he's got little teeth there. 
They're just shadow teeth like the rest of them. Might be a little tough for the dentists to to do any kind of thorough examination on them, but they are there. How else do you think he went how, like he went toe to toe with all those slimes and came in on top? He's got a rip and tear. All right, let's grab something for Haley here. Do I have the means to make? I do have the means to make some fruit salad here, and some pink cake actually. Funnily enough, but. I'm going to stick to fruit salad for the time being. Make a little fruit salad for her and be on our way. Howdy doody, Timby. He swallowed the slimes whole. He didn't eat the slimes, so he just, you know, you got to use the weapons that you have at your disposal. And Krobus does not have arms, so he's got to use his, the next best thing. You know. He might be like legs, but no. Krobus is, uh... <laughs> A little more savage than that when he wants to be. He's even said it himself that sometimes he wants to let his like savage side out, but he's uh he's holding back for our sake. There you go, girl. Never forgetting your birthday again. I I think I've forgotten her birthday twice over the entire challenge. Once very early on for like no reason in particular, and then once because the cactus fruit came, and everything was so hype that it all kind of got lost in a blur. But ever since then, I've made it. My solemn purpose, never miss a birthday. Did Krobus kill? Krobus did kill some slimes. We have video evidence of it. Please refer to the clip that played during the break of the, of the Great Slime Massacre of year 10. I don't even know when it was. <laughs> All right, hey, bye time. What is exclamation point jelly? Great question. Exclamation point jelly gives you a chance to see a jelly of some varietal, either the rare green jelly, a standard moonlight jelly, or a baby moonlight jelly. When you hit it, there's a there's a dice roll that happens behind the scenes, and you get to see a moonlight jelly of your own varietal. There's a 45 second cooldown on it. I've I've lowered that from one minute to 45 seconds. And, uh, yeah, that's basically the gist of it. It's just for fun, so. We've had one green jelly, that's true. It happened earlier this stream, actually, so. Pretty exciting stuff. What do I think of hairless cats? I like hairless cats, honestly. I mean, they're still cats. They still got all the cat affection in them. Like, just because they're hairless doesn't mean that they're any... They're not, they're not loveless, they're just hairless, you know? They still have all the love and affection of any other kind of cat, as far as I know. And, uh, I respect them. All cats are good inherently. It's kind of true. Like, all cats are kind of behave exactly the same. Even when you start talking about big cats, like tigers and lions and stuff. If you've ever watched them in, like, a documentary capacity or any kind of movie, really. Any anyway, like, they, uh... Like, if you watch them in any way at all, then they b basically just behave like house cats, from what I can tell. They have all this sort of playful ambition of house cats and all the all very similar tendencies. They're just a lot bigger, so the like those moments when like your cat will take a swipe at you if you're if you pet them the wrong way or something like that. If you do that with a lion, that swipe is going to be a lot more impactful than it will be from your little your little mug cat. The cat that fits inside the mug. Argon the berries? Yo, the berries! <laughs> I got- you got me talking about cats and I got so- so cat tunnel visioned. It's like a furry little tunnel vision. I didn't even see the sweet gem berries. Look at that! The sweet gem berries are officially here. These are the old silver quality too. Too kind. Silver quality sweet gem berries. Chat? We made it. Team Barry wins. It is, it's, I mean, it was kind of the way we all expected it to go, but maybe not the way that we wanted it to go. Sweet Gem Barry. So we have to ship one and send one off to Old Master Cannoli. How many days did I sleep on them? I don't know, actually. 
Let's do it, though. I could put this off. I could be like, ooh, wouldn't it be cool if I got the star drop as the last thing? No, we all know what needs to be the last thing for perfection. We all know the amount of time and energy you put into this egg grind. You know what you gotta do. So, for now, send a star drop off, a sweet gem berry. We need spare berries. Ordinarily, I would be with you. I'd be like, let's seed maker one more so we can have another sweet jam berry for posterity or something like that. But in this case, I'm just so excited. I'm going to send it. We don't, we don't need to make more seeds. I'll, I'll put it up to a poll. I'll put it up to a poll and see what chat feels like. Should we get one more berry? Just like as a trophy, I guess. Take a weapon. I don't think the Secret Woods is gonna defeat me even when I'm when I go in weaponless. I think I'm uh <laughs> I, if I've survived Volcano Dungeon and everything, and Skull Cavern infested, danger in the deep, I've survived the deepest recesses of Stardew Valley. Plus I've got my slime charmer ring on, so I think I'll be pretty okay. Ooh, chat's kinda split. You see that? 55% want to make one more sweet gem berry before we turn this one into for a star drop. It's iconic. You need to keep it for the lore. You know what? You know what, purple? You may have just sold me on it. I've kept so many random little trophies and stuff. There's one slot here waiting for a last final trophy. Well, I mean, I don't know why 100 wood is in there. That's <laughs> it's not really representative of, of what that chest is supposed to be about. We can't even eat one. 58% of chat is in agreement that they want to see one more sweet gem berry. I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it for the people. We're, we're sleeping the days away regardless, so, you know, we might as well. You might as well. Let's go. I mean, should I seed maker it now? I guess I guess I, I can, because it's like, even if it goes uh, to mixed seeds, I can always reset the day. Not that big of a deal. It's not like I've done anything that special today. I shipped, I shipped the berry. I mean, that's very special, but I can do that again. It's nothing that I can't repeat. Let's send it here. I would like two rare seeds again, please. I know, look, I know I asked for it previously, and you you generously game, you generously gave me what I wanted. I'm just asking for one more. One more small favor here, please. The game listens. The game listens. The game is on my side. Those ones and zeros I was talking about earlier on, they're listening. They can be influenced. This is a sign. It's another sign of great things to come. Two rare seeds, one for posterity and one for actual pageantry of star droppedness. I'll keep that. Actually, I don't need to keep that because I already got both the uh, garden pots ready to go. All right, let's go plant them. Get planted. All right. And I guess, yeah, we can, like, grow one and just leave it in the garden pot there. And then take the other one to the bank. And by the bank, I mean the forest, obviously. Cool freaking beans. We are done with all the cooking, yes, for Bescapades. Literally the only thing left to do at this point. There's our sweet gem berry sold, by the way. All we have left to do, really, is to ship, a, ship an egg. Everything else is kind of a foregone conclusion at this point. It's just the egg. Small white egg or bust is where we're at right now. Wait to get the star drop on Christmas? I could do that. That could be fun. I mean, I'm going to need to spend the time on Winter Star anyway, so we might as well do that. Uh, go to sleep, yes. Oh, I was supposed to give Krobus a diamond, that's right. Looking like a diamond in the rough. Alright. 
flower dance. You know what? I mean, we've cut back on the watering. We've cut back on talking to Krobus to our own detriment, obviously. I think, Ailey, I'm going to write her a lovely letter. I'm going to send it off to her. You know what? We'll give her this one last dance. One last dance, because I didn't, I didn't foresee this in the past, but if we're saving all the time we can to make the most of this 12 hours while we got it, I think I got to start foregoing the flower dance as well. But we'll give her this one last dance. I'll let her know how it's going to be going forward. She will be fully understanding, exclamation point Haley. You can already see how understanding she is. Just so, oh my god, there's so much. Okay, we're good. I'll never delete a cactus fruit. See, Haley, she says sorry and that she misses summer. She's saying sorry because she knows that she's put a, put a bit of a damper on her plan. She's put us in a bit of a bind. And I need to I need to get out of said bind. But let's get our lovely spring outfit for old time's sake, for good memories. Let's do this. One last dance. Do I still lose the 20 points per day when I don't talk to him, making each gift effectively worth 60? I don't know. I don't know if that's the case or if, like, giving a gift counts as interaction so I don't actually lose the friendship points. I don't really know how that fully works, but... Either way, once I get Fr Krobus' friendship back up, we'll be, uh, we'll be in good standing. We'll be in a good spot. Where are we at? Ten hearts with Krobus already, so that's pretty good. We're going to keep on building, though. Your Canadian accent really came out with that story. I tried to put a little emphasis on it. A little, I, I tried to inflect the accent just a little bit more. I was like, sorry. Go full red-green show on you. Pretty sure it doesn't count. Rip. That's okay. I mean, giving him a loved gift on his birthday should also offset a decent amount of the friendship loss, so that's pretty nice. Obviously, it wasn't offsetting enough because that's basically all I did on the past uh, past couple years is just give him a gift on his birthday and at the Feast of the Winter Star, and that was it. But, uh... So we need to put a little more effort in, but not, like... A crazy amount more. Like, I'm probably going above and beyond right now. Will I make a video at, like, the community center one at the end of all this? I will indeed. It's going to take a while. It's going to be a, a lot of editing and a lot of effort, effort to get it done, but there will be a video on this entire challenge once it's over. You have my promise on that. My utmost promise. All right, Haley. Let's make this one a dance to remember, shall we? Needs to be perfect. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you, girl. We're dancing again. Dancing queen. Young and lean. Only 17. This is our final dance. Everyone wave goodbye. Wave goodbye to the flower dance. This is the last time we're going to see it in this challenge. All sorts of things coming to an end to this stream. And this is merely one of them. Good music for the last dance. It is good music. It's just a it's just a good song in general. Very wistful. Gotta do one more after the challenge. During the victory lap stream? Potentially. I could definitely see that. That was fun. Time to go home. Alright. Put on our duds. Not to be taken off again until we get uh, until we reach perfection. Don't ruin the moment, free slimes, with your blop 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 blop. Your little slorpy sloops. Get out of here with that. 
one more when you're married to Haley. See, the problem with marrying Haley in the post stream is that we would have to evict Krobus. And I don't know if I can bring myself to do that. But maybe we'll put it up to like a vote at some point. I have a feeling I, like I know how that vote's going to go, though. <laughs> so it might not even be worth it. Either way. Flower dance canceled because Haley kept getting the flower queen. She rigged it. Haley is Sarah Barry confirmed, just killing all the competition, literally. Dual marriage mod. Little uh, polyamory. Haley rigged every flower dance. What? If, oh my gosh! What if the true conspiracy is that the flower queen is not even like an official thing at the flower dance, and Haley just like straight up made it up? Because no one, no, does anyone else ever talk about the flower queen? I think maybe like Jazz or Vince. No, Vincent does, doesn't he? He's like, why can't I be flower queen? Something like that. So it maybe maybe he's heard overheard Haley bragging about it and he's like I want to be flower queen or maybe it is an actual thing it's hard to say who really knows Haley what do you have to say for yourself going to sleep for the night by the way self-appointed flower queen both Jazz and Vincent do <laughs> Haley gaslighting the entire village that's why I love her honestly Haley just says she misses summer girl we're here we made it. Hey there, June. Yes, please. <laughs> please do try to refrain from spam and commands. It does constitute spam and it makes things a little harder to read and a little harder to keep up with in chat, but I'm glad you're having fun with them. Just, you know, have fun in moderation. Did I ever beat Fector's challenge? Not yet. But it will be done. You know, 100% will be done. And you have my official Argon guarantee on that. The official cactus fruit stamp of let's get it done. I don't throw those out like it's nothing. This is the first time I've ever used it. The cactus stamp seal, the cactus stamp, the cactus fruit stamp of approval. Vector's Challenge has it. We're going to get it done. Come hell or high water. We have indeed gotten the berry. Our, our berries are currently growing. I did ship one. I shipped one, as you can see right there. It's by far the sweetest thing I ever smelled, other than Haley, of course. And chat wanted me to grow one more for posterity in addition to the one I need for the star drop, so that's where we're at right now. What is this music? I don't know if you're talking about the previous song or this one right now, but I'm pretty sure this is Sam's band country music. Country road, take me home to the place where I belong. They play like way too much country music on the radio station at work for the record. At my, like my other job. Like, look, I get it. Alberta is the Texas of Canada. We have a very strong country culture around here, I guess. And I get you want to respect that, but oh my gosh, it gets it gets a little much after the 80th time that I've heard, you know, this guy sing about his red pickup truck. Yo, Sam's band, again. I just want to make sure, is this thing on? It is on shuffle, so we just got happen to get two Sam's band songs right in a row. I am indeed from Alberta. Well, technically I'm not from Alberta. I was born elsewhere in Canada, but I've lived in Alberta since I was two. So, you know, use your, use your judgment to say whether I'm a true blue Albertan or not. Either way, I have no specific, uh, I'm not, I'm not super patriotic. Like I like my country and I like my, uh, I like the, my province obviously, but it's, um, all right, so we're going to keep, we're going to, wait, what do you say? I just feel like sleeping. <laughs> Yo, same, Krobus, same. 
Yeah, but I'm not super like die hard for everything about my country. I know I know there are flaws and everything. Exclamation point uh politics. Well not exclamation point politics actually. I changed I did that's one thing I did actually between streams here. I changed exclamation point politics to ex exclamation point current events because I think it encapsulates it a little bit more since there are things beyond politics that we want to try and keep out of the streams as much as possible. Mainly any like highly highly emotionally charged debates around current events. So that's uh that's where we're at. In general though, most discussions are okay if you I'll, I'll let you know if they're not, don't worry. <laughs> Exclamation point Canada. Just makes a copy pasta of the entire Canadian national anthem. I think we got these diamonds on a pretty good cycle. I think having four crystallariums is a good place to be. Now that we've worn down our previous diamond reserves, I think this is uh, this is going to be pretty good for us. I do also need to get in the habit of talking to him because apparently that also matters here. The political rules from the from the streamer will made you fall in love with this community. I'm glad. I want to keep this a safe space for as many people as possible, and obviously I know that the internet is steeped with drama surrounding current events and political events and all that sort of stuff, so I try to keep I try to keep this as a nice quiet place where we can just, you know, enjoy some fun Stardew games together. And fun well Stardew and other games together. And I hope to keep that uh, train rolling for as long as I possibly can here. Our sweet gem berries are ready, by the way. Did I sleep through an extra day, or did, are they ready officially just today? Because these things look ripe and juicy and ready to go to me. I'm going to go ahead and take the one. Then we'll get rid of this, this sucker right here. And we'll leave one sweet gem berry there for posterity's sake. The trophy of how far we've come. The sweet gem berry, year 13, finally ours. All right, chat. I'm not going to go... I'm going to save the Sweet Gem Berry and then on Winter 25th, the Feast of the Winter Star itself, to inject a little extra pizzazz, that's when we're going to go get our go get our Star Drop. So we'll just hold on to it right now. Just hold your horses for a moment. We're going to be all very excited when that day does come to pass, but for right now, just send it. These political rules are just a tactic to stifle criticism of Mayor Lewis's tyrannical regime. I'm not saying that Lewis paid me hush money. Of course he didn't pay me hush money, it's Lewis. Any money that he would use for hush money, obviously he put into his, uh, into his gold statue fund. I, I will slander Mayor Lewis... I mean, I, I do uphold that he's probably, like, a decent guy, just in a bit of a tough spot, but, you know, the facts don't lie either. <laughs> Is that you, Morris? Alright, where are we at, Krobus? Where are we at? 13 hearts with Krobus. We're pretty well built up now. Alright. Yeah, I don't want to make a habit of having to go talk and give a gift to Krobus literally every single day that I possibly can here. Because it will add up over time. It's only a few seconds here and there, but it is still adding up for sure. However, I don't want him to decay that far either. He did cook me breakfast. He did, He makes a habit of that. He, like, he makes a good poppy seed muffin. I'll give Krobus that much. I don't know where he learned to cook like that. I guess he's self-taught. Maybe he learned from today's sponsor, Skillshare. Just kidding. But what if, though? <laughs> there we go. 14 hearts with Krobus. We're in a good spot. 
Now I just need to maintain that life. So what is... So let me think. If he decays at a rate of 20... Of 20 points per day when I don't talk to him. I just have to give him a diamond once every four days. Is this correct? Once every four days and talk to him as well. I think that I think that should be fine, right? If just once every four days I give him a diamond. If the, if I'm doing my math right, that should be that should offset everything I needed to. So let's make this the first day. Um, if I can find him, he's probably outside. <laughs> math people, please help. And then also talk to him. Because a loved gift is 80 points. If I lose 20, then that's four days. I think that's right. Isn't the hug as important as the talking? I mean, I'm not, I'm not opposed to getting some hugs out of my boy. I'll go all the way if I'm going to, if I'm going to go talk to him anyway every four days, then might as well. According to my incredible math skills, you need more jades. Exclamation point treasure. I don't think we need any more jades. What I do need probably is more water here. I'm going to take a quick hydration break. I'm starting to feel it in my throat. The egg is all that's left, indeed. The egg and trading this sweet gem berry, this succulent little fruit, in for a... Uh, in for a penny and in for a pound, but actually in for a star drop. We still have a decent amount of stream time left, like just about seven hours left. I know at the top of the stream we had a poll, and 93% of chat did believe that we'd, uh, that we would have everything done by the end of year... Not by the end of the year, but by by the end of the 12 hours. How are you feeling? How's the 93% feeling here? Are we feeling confident, especially now that I've uh, foregone many of the chores and many of the traditions that I used to do? Or are we beginning to see the writing on the wall, if the writing is does happen to be there? Seeing it with, like, you know, an ultraviolet light? One of those police inspector lights, you're going up and down the wall trying to look for any signs that this may not happen in the end. Make sure you hydrate. I am hydrating. I'm probably, like, talking too much. <laughs> trying to keep a dialogue going here, and that's what's killing my throat. Not used to these longer streams, but I'm willing to put in the extra hours every now and again, especially for something this, obvi this obviously important. This important, obviously. Either way, Probus? Oh, he's hiding over here. I don't think I can hug him from this vantage point, though. Little table. Little extra extra end table here. Just a full wall of tables. We're going to box him in before too long. Alright, so every four days. We're going to set our clock by it. In a set, you can set your watch by the rhythm that we're going to be giving these gifts to Krobus. Just you freaking wait. Vertical hugs are illegal in Stardew Valley. It's like those weird laws we were talking about earlier on in the stream. It turns out that in Pelican Town, it's illegal to hug from a northerly or southerly direction. You can only hug from the east or the west. And Krobus is certainly a law-abiding citizen if I've ever seen one. Argon, you should do a full hour without talking. Quickest way to kill your stream's engagement. How fast can I speedrun to zero viewers by not talking? I mean, oh. Yo! Yo, who needs to talk when you can hoot? Who needs to talk when you can hoot? 
Hootie the Ninth, we're approaching double digit stone owls. We don't even have room for Hootie the Ninth. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo. Can I get some owl emojis in chat? Just all owl emojis, please. Another one. Let's go find him. Bring my stone owl boy home. Last one was at Ginger Island, I'm pretty sure. Or one, one of the ones this stream was at Ginger Island. One of the ones this stream. L listen to me talk. We're sleeping through so much that we're just talking about stone owls like they're the most common thing in the world. The forest is overtaking. Yo! Oh my god. It's kind of perfect, though. It's kind of perfect, though. Like, what if our next stone owl lands right over here? This might... This might... Hootie might have found his own home. Hootie the Ninth. I think he's... I think he lives here. Part of the squad. He just wants some friends, man. That's... That's a great spot. That's perfect. That's a beautiful spot. I almost didn't see it. That's how perfect it was. Incredible, incredible placement. It was bound to happen one of these days. All right, real quick, I'm gonna hit hit up the mail. Quick mail run. I'm gonna go slow so as not to worry photosensitive viewers. Slow-ish, anyway. More Tom Ka soup. Sandy really misses us, I guess. We did we did spend a lot of time getting to know Sandy. Without her, we would not have realized many of our cooking goals as easily. Like I can't imagine how different how different and difficult this challenge would be if not for Sandy's weird proclivity to give milk <laughs> on Saturdays. So I'm very thankful for that. Very, very thankful. How could you throw away the hay? It's so valuable. I know, right? Maybe I should be saving the hay. It is a gift from Marnie, after all. Maybe she's come. Maybe she comes by the farm during the day while we're sleeping, and she's like, uh, "Oh, I wonder how Chloe's doing. I wonder how she if she's put that hay to good use." And she just finds the hay in the garbage can. And maybe that's uh, that's tanking our chances at the Feast of the Winter Star. I don't know. I'm willing to put anything on the table at this point. Build a silo. I mean, you can go you can go right ahead and build a silo. I just don't have the money in the budget for that. I got three hundred fifty-seven thousand and forty-one dollars remaining, and I'm not spending a single penny more. Call me Scrooge McChloe. Nesting for the egg. So true. We can just bundle up in our bed with all the reams and reams of hay that Marnie sends us. Dreaming of the day that the egg will eventually land in our sights. I gotta be careful to not accidentally give the sweet gem berry to Krobus. <laughs> I think there's a distinct possibility that I could do that. I'm going to be quite cautious. I'm going to be quite cautious with it. Marnie's upset because you don't have any farm animals. Is, she, is that what she's doing? She's trying to give me a hint to buy some farm animals. She's like, hey, just in case you need it. Just in case you need it. Oh my god, Krobus? I, I, <laughs> I don't even recognize the place. What did you do? You mad lad. On Fridays? Yeah, but what about, like... What do you think of the new flooring I chose? Look, it's maybe not what I would have chosen. Little bamboo flooring, <laughs> I think. Like, it, it looks like one of those like bamboo rolls, right? Those like those bamboo mats. He tore up the whole floor. What a legend! All right, well I guess this is the new site that we got to get used to. After so long of the same floor, the same floor and the same walls throughout our house. Provis has decided that enough was enough. 
He was about sick of it. The nostalgia nerd in me is, is quite sad at this turn of events. I did like... I mean, I don't even... Like I said, I don't even recognize the place anymore. But if it makes Krobus feel more comfortable, you know, more power to him. More power to him. It's the same floor as the island house? You're actually right, yeah. That is definitely island flooring. Krobus went on a trip to Ginger Island without telling me. That would be a heck of a story if Krobus went all the way to Ginger Island to grab some flooring. Man hardly ever leaves his own bedroom. You're gonna tell me he's gonna make the pilgrimage all the way to Ginger Island? And back without being seen? Something tells me not. I guess grab more diamonds here. I technically only really need to grab diamonds once I'm out of diamonds. I'm not going through them fast enough to worry about that, so... He has a secret wallpaper catalog. Here you go, my lovely roommate. A birthday gift for you. It is cold. Put on a coat. I know you got a trench coat, Cro Krobus. I don't know where you keep that thing, but it'll keep you nice and warm. <laughs> These slimes, man. I just look up here at them, like, twitching and going all crazy up there, and I'm like, oh my god. What have I done? <laughs> you have not missed the last star drop yet, Natalie, no. We are saving that sweet gem berry and that star drop for the Feast of the Winter Star this year. Speaking of, no more mentions, if anyone was thinking of it. No mentions until the day of for our uh, our sacred produce that we're looking for. The embargo is in place. Mr. Chi is looking over your shoulder right now, and if you get if you type if you so much as think about typing those three letters of that word or posting any related paraphernalia or symbology. Mr. Chi is gonna, you know, he's gonna do what he does best. He'll see you on floor 100 of the Skull Caverns, baby. Can you get an egg, please? I'm tired. Zombo, I'm trying my best. I'm trying. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. Is that from anything, or is that just, you know, sailor lingo? I'm giving her all she's got. I did say it. I was reading a message in chat, so as far as I'm concerned, Zombo should be the, uh, should be the one at fault for that. I'm also tired, so you know. <laughs> I guess, I guess I'll, I'll see you guys on floor 100 of the Skull Cavern. Rip me, I guess. Mr. Chi's gonna come to get me. Can I offer a carton in this trying time? Marnie, is that you? Marnie actually in chat? Under the alias of Marcus Erelis? Quick little gift for my boy. There you go, sir. Not from it, but was it, it was in Chicken Run. I forgot that Chicken Run was a movie until you just mentioned it just now. Chicken Run was definitely a part of my childhood. I don't know if it was a defining part, but I distinctly remember Chicken Run and being kind of weirded out at the animation style. It's not something I was used to. Is Chicken Run's the one that's kind of like a Wallace and Gromit style animation, right? It's that weird claymation style. I pronounced your name right. I'm happy, Marcus. The 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 second name was the part I was worried about. Air release, I think I said. So hopefully, ho hopefully that is what I said, and I didn't accidentally change away from the correct pronunciation right there. That movie made you sad. Chicken Run was hilarious. 
Anyone remember Chicken Little? The sky is falling, the sky is falling. I remember, like, the first half of that movie, and then I think the second the second half of the movie literally just, like, descended into pure chaos. Like, I think they could have got, taken it in a different direction than they did, and it would have been a lot better. Because isn't, like, the end of Chicken Run... Not Chicken Run, but Chicken Little. Spoilers, by the way. Like, the sky literally is falling because it's parts of an alien spaceship that are falling down to the planet. And it's like, that's that's the direction you decide to take it, really? I could think of many more impactful messages and many more fun ways to take it, but I don't... That's that's not the that's not the way I would have gone with it personally. You know what you do you chicken little staff, I guess. Remember chicken little being hilarious? All I remember about chicken little is the the sky itself fa it falling and then being upset at the revelation that it had to do with aliens. Don't get me wrong, aliens are cool. But I was just expecting something more, I guess. I don't know. It kind of disappointed me. By the way, my secret friend this year... <laughs> well, 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 Mayor Lewis. Oh my goodness. You're really gonna... You're really gonna write on this letter? Your secret friend is Lewis? Don't tell anyone? Sign Mayor Lewis? actually rigged rigged all right he's given us a chance though chat he's given me a chance he's like all right show me what you've got this year show me that you can give me the best possible gift of all time this year and maybe i'll you know sweeten the pot a little bit next time or maybe even this time maybe he'll maybe he'll look at what we're planning on giving him and then he'll be like okay okay i can i can give marnie marnie chloe's name is this time Give him the purple shorts. I tried to give Marnie the shorts. I di it didn't work. I can try and give Mayor Lewis the shorts this time. I don't know. That might He might see that as highly disrespectful. Or alternatively, he could see that as, you know what, she finally gave them back. Just in, bit of, in, bit, in a bit of a weird capacity. Does he like tea? Look. If there's one thing I know about Mayor Lewis. Is that he wants his shorts back. And he also loves money. I can't give him money for the Feast of the Winter Star, obviously, for more reasons than just that you can't do that. Like, even if I could, if I could give him a big canvas bag with a dollar sign printed on it, I wouldn't do that because that's a cost for perfection, obviously. But what I can do is I can give him a little prismatic shard, probably one, like one of the most valuable things I could give him. Get those dollar signs in his eyes. We'll play to his, his weakness. And I think that's, uh, I think that'll be good. Just a big sack of gold. I will also try to give him the shorts. I make no promises as to whether or not this will work, but I'll give it my best. At any rate, we got to sleep until the festival regardless, so let's go do it. Is he holding Marnie hostage in exchange for his shorts? I certainly hope not. That'd be that'd be a little messed up. The dark side of Stardew Valley. Sleep a lot. Where are you at? We got we got a fresh theory hot off the presses. First first Jody is a cabbage, and now this. It won't work, but we can head cannon it. Just wrap the prismatic shard in his in his shorts, maybe. Hello there, I can't say your name because you've got a you've got a band word in it right now, but you know who you are. Alright. Beast of the Winter Star. I know I didn't give gifts to Krobus like all that week. I apologize. I just wanted to I just wanted a little speed run because I'm getting very, very excited. I'm very excited. For some reason, the year that Mayor Lewis gives us himself, it feels it feels extra special somehow. It was bound to happen eventually. Let's get this done, shall we? So first and foremost, 
before we even entertain the idea of the Feast of the Winter Star, we got some extra business with Old Master Cannoli. Timby, you know what? I see you there. I see you here, buddy. Merry Christmas. Let's go, chat. Final star drop hype. It's been a long time coming. This star drop, we've worked and waited for a very long time for this moment. I can't believe it's actually happening. The final star drop of our dreams is just around the bend. You're really going to do this to me? You're going you're gonna to wall me off at the last possible moment? I don't think so. I don't think so. I also have an axe and a pickaxe, so, you know, that's fair. Alright, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna hit you with this one first, real quick. Stop the music. Cut the music. We need the proper in-game sounds for this. It's not every day that you get your final star drop. Same song. <laughs> Old Master Cannoli. Look at how sad. I think his, his frown has gotten deeper by one pixel every single year that he has not gotten this, this sweet gem berry. Old Master Cannoli. My old friend. My enemy. Maybe the last face I ever see. He's so hungry in his hunger is finally sated. That's a star drop. Achievement unlocked, mystery of the star drops. I just got that Steam achievement pop up. I found a star drop, your mind is filled with thoughts of savings. Your maximum energy level is increased. Thank you, old master cannoli. Thank you. I mean, you know what comes next, right? You know what comes next? Can we get all of perfection in a single day here? The last little bit of perfection? The Feast of the Winter Star has begun in Town Square. If we can just get it here, if we can get what we need here and ship it off, then this is the end of the challenge. This could be it. This could be it, chat. This could be... The day of our dreams, the best day in Price of Perfection history. Okay, so we're not talking to Lewis yet, obviously. Feast of the Winter Star, thank you, Marnie. Same to you, welcome to the feast. Feels like we were just here yesterday. Psych, we were just here actually literally today. Quickly gotta make our rounds here, excuse me, thank you. Get that produce, get that produce. You know what? We're going to try it a little differently this year. We're gonna, while, while I do my walk around talking to people here, you guys just go. You, you go nuts, spam all those eggs. No moratorium on eggs any longer. I'm going to talk to all these people. Get as much, as many eggs in the hopper as you can. We're going to build up the luck as we do this. We're going to we're gonna tag team it, you and me together. I'm doing my part by talking to the villagers, giving the goodwill. You do your part by, you know, invoking the powers that be to give the egg. The eggs are coming. Behold, behold the eggs. I would like not, not, you know what, Emily, I'm tired. I'm tired of your... Loaded questions. I only get three possible options. The right one is not even there. The right one I see flooding my chat right now. It's just flooding. It's just pure, pure excitement. Excitement and excitability as far as the eye can see. I feel good about this. I feel like this might be the way that we have to do this. Just all eggs. Every egg that you can muster. I wish, I wish there was a white egg emoji. I wish there was an actual white egg emoji. The closest we got is the fried egg. But I think the, I think the full, uncooked, unblemished egg is even better. Merry Christmas, Haley. 
All right, Lewis. You and I both know what's at stake here, pal. You and I both know. I, I wave the, uh, the purple shorts in front of him. We all know the true headcanon here. Prismatic Sharp, play to his greed. All right, chat. That's a full wall of eggs, pure eggs. You you guys have done great. Thank you so much. Let's send this challenge off. Show it to me. I'm so confident. I'm so confident. This. This. this, this. It's the same color hair, <laughs> you know? I can't be mad. I can't be mad at the kid, dude. At Leo? Um, excuse me, I have a gift for you. This is the first time that he's, like, given a gift to anybody. <laughs> Leo, so cute. What, is he, what do you got for me? A little bit of clay. <laughs> I received a clay. You don't say. You don't say. I'm glad you moved here, Farmer Chloe. I am, too. I'm glad you moved here, too, Leo. Quite frankly. But unfortunately, that's one more year in the books. All right. Let's go again. Let's get this done. A single clay. A single morsel of clay. Leo carrying the run. Clay used in crafting and construction. Get this egg festival music out of here. It's literally taunting me. You're, the game is literally taunting me. I gave it the power of music for the briefest of moments, and they show me the egg festival music? How dare you? How dare you? What kind of horrible... What kind of horrible cruel, thing, cruel joke is that? All right. Let me get settled in here. And get back to it. Did we get the sweet gem berry? Does this answer your question? Does this answer your question, Bobby? Is a different person every year guaranteed? I don't think so. <laughs> like, I don't think it cycles through all the villagers and then, like, and then starts again. I think it's literally just any of the villagers are available. Before... I continue here, though. Before I continue with the sleeping grind, as we as we undoubtedly will, let's quickly pop over, because, you know, we have made the slightest bit of progress. I have a feeling I know exactly where this perfe perfection percentage is going to lie, but I want to see it with my own two eyes. I want to know that I've actually made it this far. It has to be, right? It has to be. Ninety nine percent. Ninety nine percent. Produce and forward shipped ninety nine percent. Total complete ninety nine percent. Literally a single egg stands between us and total victory. That's it. And you know what? You know what I'm going to do for you? Send me back here. Sweet gem berry. Say goodnight. Boom. The egg. The egg. This is what we're after, chat. This is what we're after. The egg is this is this is the be all end all, alright? This is the be all end all. Let's get it done. Let's get it done today. We still got lots of time left in the stream. I believe we can do this. More Prairie King music, back to back Prairie King. We love to hear it.
Oh, hold on. I gotta bring chat back up. <laughs> there we go. The price of perfection. We're all team egg now. There's no other team to be on. We're all team perfection now. We're team Chloe. Team Chloe, team egg, whatever you want to call us. We're all in pursuit of one very important goal now. Vector is calling you. I'm hanging up the phone if Vector's calling me. I'm hanging up the I'm picking up the phone and saying, I'm sorry, Factor. I'm sorry, but I got a date with a uh with a brunette rancher that I gotta keep. Slam the phone down, throw it out the window. Alright, there's no way we got three Prairie King songs back to back randomly there. I don't it says it's on shuffle. I'm gonna shuffle it up again, maybe. There we go. Okay. Not that I don't love the Prayer King music, but I, will, I do I do like the shuffle. Little truffle shuffle. Give me a mixed seed. There you go, Lewis. Take that, take that to market. See what you can fetch for my handful of mixed seeds here. You know what? It's the last day of the season. Let's give Krobus a little gift as well. Thank you, sir. Excellent music. <laughs> it's kind of bittersweet melancholy music, actually. Year 14 comes to a close. We are richer, but not in the way that we want to be. I mean, partially in the way that we want to be. Sweet Gem Berry and Star Drop is hype. Let's see if year, year 15 bears any greater fruit here. Before that, though, exclamation point year, let's get this done. I, oh, I do also need, while I'm in here, to actually update exclamation point perfection, right? Change that 8 to a 9, get that 8 out of here. 99% perfection, and an egg ain't one. <laughs> About to go into hibernation. We're, we're not already there. All right. Before I do go into hibernation, though, I know I, I took a break not uh, like like an hour ago or so. I'm not going to take a long break here. I just need to go to the washroom really quick. I'm staying fully hydrated, but you know that has its has its downsides too. So <laughs> I'll send you off to the saloon instead of to the uh, instead of to the long clip show, and I will be right back. So uh, be kind to the moderators. Be kind amongst yourselves, and. Uh, Get your orders in with Gus and Emily at the saloon. I'll be back shortly.
I have returned. Did you think I abandoned you in this, our greatest hour of need? I would never. Can I offer you some eggs in these trying times? Please do. Please do. All right. Let's get back to it, shall we? Back to this exciting adventure that we're on. Zombo might be doing a little fib. What does Zombo say? <laughs> Your exclamation point jelly doesn't work. Exclamation point jelly is a... It's on a uh, cooldown for all of chat. So it's like every 45 seconds, one person gets a crack at it. And that's how exclamation point jelly works. You never got your 12th salad? Look, the saloon is closed. It's The saloon is only open for very brief moments throughout these streams. You gotta make the most of it while it's there. If you don't get the order in fast enough, as far as I'm concerned, that's on you. That's on you. You know the rules and so do I. We all play by the same rules here. Let's get a crack at it. Yeah, let's get let's get cracking. Isn't that a uh, that's like an ad campaign from like the 90s or something, maybe early 2000s? It's just an ad campaign for eggs. It's just like get cracking and it shows a cracked egg. Those were the days, man, when the, when just like generic random products would have commercials or like ad campaigns. Like like what the heck was Got Milk? Was Got Milk an actual milk company? Like some specific milk brand? Because I remember just seeing it and thinking that's like, oh, that's just milk. That's like the cows themselves are advertising. Your mom worked for the egg board. The egg board? Is that a real thing? Is that where those ads come from? What pathway through life do you have to lead, live and lead in order to get a job as a high-ranking executive on either like the dairy, like the like the milk board, or the egg board? How how do you land in that career path? Because I don't think that many kids grow up saying. When I grow up, I want to be the president of the Egg Association of America. How do you end up in that position? I mean, maybe you do. No disrespect if that is your your life's passion, obviously. But, um... I just can't see it. I've never met a child with that sort of ambition for eggs or milk or anything like that. <laughs> I want to be the big egg. Maybe you grow up on a farm. I guess that's the most realistic possible way for that to come about, yeah. The plot twist at the end of Price of Perfection will be that, uh, that Grandpa was the CEO of Big Egg. All this time, he was just hoarding eggs. In his last will and testament, he left us, he was going to leave us a single egg, but he knew that it would come down to this and that we need to work, to, work for it ourselves. And, uh, happy birthday, by the way, Haley. Birthday cake emojis in chat for Haley, please. We haven't given her any any birthday cake emojis, only cake in the game itself. My grandpa knew we would, want, we would want to work for this ourselves, and so he didn't make that easy for me. And I respect it. I respect that grandpa get, shows me enough respect to not, not, not want to make this super easy here. Shane is going to be the egg leader. Jazz, future egg leader. That, that, that family, Marnie, Jazz, and Shane, they got a stranglehold on the egg industry, don't they? Shane with his unprecedented blue chickens. Marnie is just like, you know, the queen grooming Jazz for her eventual, uh, for her eventual regency in the egg industry. Very exciting stuff. And I just want a small piece of the pie. Just, you know, a small a small share in the egg company is all I'm asking for. And they don't even know. They don't even know how much their stocks would skyrocket if they gave me this egg live on stream right now. Not right now, obviously, but when the time comes. 
can be the slime leader. Slime doesn't have as, uh, as wide-reaching of a market as eggs do, unfortunately. But I'll take what I can get, I guess. I'd probably rather be the face of, you know, the cactus industry of North Stardew Valley, or South Stardew Valley, wherever we are, rather than be the be known as the slime lady. Can I give Marnie a birthday gift this year? Maybe I should give both Marnie and Lewis a birthday gift. Well, I guess Lewis's birthday has already passed, but... It might not be a bad idea. When's Marnie's birthday fall? 18th of fall, how about that? And she loves diamonds. We got plenty of those going around, so you know what? I can co-sign that. I think a birthday gift for Marnie might be the extra little bit of juice that we need. Good call, Amber. She'll be at Harvey's. Arnie goes to Harvey's on her birthday. Do you think that's her choice? That she's like, I'm going to give myself a birthday present of a medical exam to make sure that I'm physically fit? <laughs> or do you think that's, uh, that Harvey did that to her? Because the best gift you can give yourself is to, you know, make sure that you're still going to be alive and kicking tomorrow. When you really think about it. Am I going to explain the slime room in the, event in the eventual video? What's there to explain? Do you think people might look at this in the final video and all these slimes and be confused? I don't think so. And if they are, you know what? That's what the comment section is for. I can't wait for, for however many months or years down the line. To just be inundated with comments of like, why do you have thousands of slimes in your house? And also grass. And I'll, I can just refer them to the VOD. I can refer, refer them to this exact moment. Hello from the hello from the past to all future comers to this uh, this vod this moment here. Hope you're having a great life and a great day. The slimes, you know, they just are what they are. They're just vibing, and we respect that. Don't even mention it in the video. That's probably the path I'm going to take realistically. It's not really that relevant to the challenge itself. It's just more about the stream lore. So, I think I'm fine. I think I'll be good to just, you know, hope that not too many people notice it or call it out or anything like that and just <laughs> let it be something fun for the people who were here and know about it to indulge in, in the final product. Yo, Void Egg. Thank you, Krobus. It's not quite the egg I'm looking for, but the sentiment is appreciated. Show yourself being washed in a sea of slimes, but don't mention them. Just have a random clip of me standing in the slime room for no apparent reason. People will think it's like an ARG. They'll be like, what do the slimes mean? Anyone got good recommendations on new and up-and-coming ARGs? I'm definitely an ARG, which stands for Alternate Reality Game Fan. I like your Catastrophe Crows and the like. That's the that's the one that comes to mind first and foremost here. Oh! I knew that was too long of a loading screen between days. A little meteor action. An explosion was heard during the night. Let's go find out, shall we? How fitting, by the way, that we've had this chicken statue on our table for so long. <laughs> and it's all come down to this. Again, WTF. Look, if you two sleep for 15 years, you're probably going to see a meteorite or two. I'm just going to hazard a guess. A meteorite or one or two or three? That's definitely a new one right there. One, two, three, four. And the fifth one. I didn't weigh the heck up. Oh my god. <laughs> my island? Get off my beautiful island, you stinky Joja crates. Ooh, hello fresh. Welcome back, Elaine. Just back in time for the meteor. <laughs> the Pirate Cove music is so mind-flooding. It's a good song, don't get me wrong, but anytime I hear it, I just get, uh... <laughs> I just get a little psyched out. I don't know what it is. 
It makes me feel like I'm forgetting something and I'm doing something wrong and the game is mocking me for it. We did indeed get the last star drop. Very exciting time to be alive to be part of the challenge here. Yo, thank you, Dog Dog Cat. Happy to see you. Thank you for uh, supporting and appreciating the stream. I support and appreciate you. At the rate we're going, I'm, st I'm still relatively confident that we're going to see the end of the challenge before the 12 hours is out, but it remains to be seen. Just all sleep all day, every day. Is this what narcolepsy feels like? Probably shouldn't joke about that, because narcolepsy, I imagine, is a very real thing to struggle with. Here, here, here maybe I can learn something. Are there, is there anyone who is, like, knows anything about narcolepsy in chat? Because that's one of those, uh... I don't know if you call it a disease or a condition, or I don't know what the proper terminology is, is there. I apologize. Um, narcolepsy, where you just, like, randomly fall asleep. Like, that's got to be one of the most inconvenient things to have, right? It's like the opposite side of the coin from insomnia. I don't know. I honestly think I'd probably, if I had to pick one or the other, neither are great. Don't get me wrong. I realize that insomnia and nar narcolepsy are both real struggles for people. And I don't want to make light of that by any means. But if I had to pick one, I feel like insomnia would be the easier one to live with. You do it, it sucks. It triggers it's triggered by emotions. That's that's something I didn't know actually. I thought it was just kind of like random biochemistry nonsense. Which I mean I guess it is at the end of the day. It's just, you know, emotions are also biochemistry, so that's where that comes in. Yeah, it seems like uh chronic fatigue sy syndrome feels similar. You're just tired all the time. That would be pretty rough, too. I mean, I, I can definitely commiserate with being tired a lot of the time. Depression does that to you to a certain extent, but not in the same way, I would imagine. Yo, Rebescapades, thank you for being a member for the past two months. I appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. If I had to do Price of Perfection again, what would I change for round two? I would probably uh, do it on the... Lowest profit margin setting, profit margin of 25%. And I would not get the Copper Axe. Because those are the two mistakes that will haunt me until the day I die. <laughs> not the day I die, I don't want to be too dramatic about it, but uh, those are the two things that we could have saved money on. Otherwise, I don't think there's that much I could have really done that differently. Maybe if I were to do it again, I would resort to using a... Uh, I would resort to using a predictor for things like the Cactus Fruit and all that. Just to, you know, save time in the grand scheme of things. The Cactus Fruit grind and, and similar grinds. There's something you really only want to do one time. You'll have a good one, Nate Peters. There's something you kind of... You, you should do one time. You should do one grind like that in your life just to know what it's like. And to, and to feel the satisfaction when you reach the end of that grind. But it's not something I would want to make a habit of. If I could save the time on it, I think it's probably for the best. Or if you can mitigate it in some way. And this is, by the way, this is this is actually just me probably giving advice to other people. If I were to do a similar challenge to the Price of Perfection in the future, which I inevitably will probably, and then uh, have to encounter a grind like that, I probably still would not resort to would not to resort to predictors, honestly, because that's just me. That's just me being stubborn, and that's the way I play. But not recommended. It's not the recommended play style that I would give to someone who's just getting into the sort of challenge grind. Unless you're really, really committed to it. <laughs> or just really have all sorts of time on your hands and, you, and you're willing to see it through regardless of how long it takes. Don't forget Marnie's birthday. Thank you, Sefix. I was honestly pretty liable to forget that. But uh, we still got a few days before that.
What's the seed? I don't want to give the seed just yet. I know we're like literally at the very tail end of the challenge here, so it seems kind of silly to keep it secret now. But um, I think that with the seed, the astute individuals among you could find what could figure out the year that we're going to get the the egg from the piece of the Winter Star, which I don't want to spoil that surprise. So I'm just going to keep it keep keep it under wraps right now. But once the challenge is done, the seed will be made available. It will be full public knowledge, likely shared in the Discord first and foremost, and then elsewhere later on. Would I ever do the 999 challenge? I believe you're referring to collecting 999 of every single stackable item in Stardew Valley. There's only one person that I know of that's been crazy enough to take that one on, fittingly named 999 Stardew. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna leave that one to them. It's I'm not gonna lie. That challenge is something that crossed my mind. I'm like, maybe I could do that. And realistically, I might have done it if no one else had done it prior. I'm not saying that I want to be the only person who ever does that challenge. Or ever does, like, a specific challenge. I definitely think that part of where challenge runs flourish is seeing different people's approaches to things and seeing how their journeys differ in the grand scheme of it all. But that's a challenge that I think, you know, he's he's earned it on that one. He can he can he can keep that one. At least for now. Maybe maybe in the far flung future when I have more time and stuff on my hands, I can commit some time to you No, know, I'll commit a few years, you know, to, to to doing that challenge and uh we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll do nine hundred and ninety nine haunted chocolatier. Alright. I am off to Marnie's. We're going to instill some good luck in our favor, hopefully, by giving her a gift on her birthday. People tell me that she'll be at Harvey's, but I think it's still early enough that it's that she won't be there, right? Like, she'll be on her way to Harvey's or something like that. I don't think she slept the night over there to, to be ready for her appointment. Yo, she's just, like, right here. She's working the counter and everything. You've been here a while now. How's your farm doing? Yeah, you can come visit any time you want. Taking care of animals is easy as long as you don't forget about them. No problems there. I got one animal, and I've never forgotten about my beloved Timbeed. There's your birthday gift, Marnie. You know what to do. Hey, Laura DeVee, thank you for the 1999 Euro Super Chat. I need to go to sleep soon. Wishing you great, wishing you a great final couple of hours. Thank you for tuning in for as long as you did. Thank you uh, for sticking around. Sleep well, and I hope to have good news for you when you wake up. Toodles, thank you very much for the support. I forgot you had the key to the town. <laughs> key to the town was definitely a great investment. A great investment. Look at all the supply crates. Oh my god. Just let him build up as far as I'm concerned. Timby. I was just talking about you. I gotta pet you for for good measure there. I don't think we've checked the mail in a while either, so you know what? It's time. George just loading me up with stone after stone after stone. The stone is 105 stone from George. Get it all out of here, please. Just clear out the detritus here. Just, just, just keep on going, keep on going. Oh my gosh, the cactus fruit. Legendary cactus fruit hours. Another cactus fruit. Sandy is too kind. There's so many, so many gifts. I just want to, I just want to keep this thing empty. Can't I get like the, can I get Mayor Lewis to just slip me a note under the door of who I'm going to get for the Feast of the Winter Star? You're really going to make me dig through literal, like a literal year worth of mail to get there? I don't think I've checked this since the start of spring, honestly. So it's kind of, oh, you know what? Get that wood out of here. So much stuff. I'm glad they all love me so much that they're willing to send me all this, <laughs> all this amazing stuff. I was going to say all this junk, but you know what? I don't want to disparage their gifts too much. For all I know, they're spending like half of their monthly earnings on me, given the amount of stuff that they're sending. Jeez Louise. 
I swear I saw something about the fair, so we gotta be near the end. Okay. My good god. <laughs> Alright. Just to make everybody hate you, then they won't send stuff. <laughs> the perfect plan. Then I just have to... Then once I get the egg, I just have to refriend all of them. Shouldn't be a big problem. Should just add, you know, a couple... A couple hours onto the challenge. I do need to remember probably to check... I, I think I should make a habit of checking the mail once a month kind of thing. So that we don't run into that issue too, too much in the future. Alright, I think from here I sleep right until Krobus' birthday. And then I just give him his birthday gift and that'll probably offset any of the extra friendship loss we might have incurred. I can't believe this. I'm like, I'm trying to math out Krobus' friendship like it's a freaking financial statement. Greedy Chloe until the day I die. See you later, professional girl boy. Alright. Krobus' birthday, we in it. We in it to win it. Give me all the diamonds, please. We are in winter as well now, so you know what to do, chat. I don't need I don't need to beat the same old drum from here to Albuquerque. Where Bugs Bunny should have taken that left. I keep bringing up Albuquerque. I, you can probably guess why, because I did talk about uh, watching Better Call Saul over the past few streams. And that trend has kept up. I've been watching it sort of as I work. And honestly, I'm loving it. It's currently, I'm, I'm like into season two of Better Call Saul, and it's honestly like gearing up to be as good, if not better than Breaking Bad, which is a tall order for me. Like honestly, Breaking Bad, one of the greatest shows that I've ever watched personally. If not just like flat out the greatest. Highly, highly recommended. If you can, if the stuff, if the subject matter is something you can handle. And Better Call Saul is honestly shaving up just as nicely. Also, I think just by watching Better Call Saul and sort of listening and watching the mannerisms of one Jimmy McGill Esquire, I've kind of leveled up my real-life charisma stat a little bit, I think. Like, you know how charisma in D&D, &D, you have your ability score of charisma? I think mine was sitting at a comfortable, like, 10. And I think I'm getting up to, like, a 12. Just by watching the show and being like, oh, I can like talk to people like that. I feel it more so when I'm out in the actual meat space world rather than on stream. On stream, I don't I think I'm like a different person than I am in real life. Not overly so. I still have the same morals and ideals and all that, but personality wise, I think there's a, a decent discrepancy there. And I don't know if that, uh, I don't know that Saul Goodman is necessarily the person you want to emulate. I don't think you want him to be your role model, given, you know, he's a bit of a crook. Team Chuck. How can you be on Team Chuck? I didn't even know Team Chuck was a thing. No spoilers for the show, but you know, Chuck is, he's fallen out of my good graces, to say the least. Rebescapades, thank you for the $2 super chat. Is 250 hours more or less than you expected for Price of Perfection? I honestly had no expectations for the hour, the hours that I would uh, need for Price of Perfection. I was just willing to commit whatever it took. Like, if it was going to be 250 hours, so be it. If it was going to be 1,000 hours, so be it. However long it took is however long it took, and that's kind of where my, where my thoughts landed on that. If I like Breaking Bad, I should give Banshee a try. Very good show. I've never even heard of Banshee. I know Banshee is like solely as the D&D &D monster, basically. Team Howard. Now you're just actually just making things up. I'd probably be on Team Howard before I'd be on Team Chuck, though. That's a fair statement. But the way he like treats Kim... Maybe there's something I don't know that'll be revealed later in later on in the season or something, but 
Howard also not really in my good graces. All right. Winter 18th. We got to power through the mail one time, one more time here. Little frozen tear. The wizard's still crying. Still crying his eyes out for me. Just like, please. Please just get the, uh, get the, you know what it is. You know what it is. You know what we need. This year my secret friend is gonna be... Abigail. Have we had a repeat friend? Maybe there is like a chance that this doesn't uh, that this doesn't repeat. At least this part. I don't know about the person who gives me a gift though. Anyway, Abigail. Uh, what is Abigail like? I think she she loves amethysts, right? Amethyst is a good one here. Kim Wexler so fine. <laughs> Kim Wexler is pretty great. I love her as a character. Uh, Haley hitting me where it hurts in the heart. I'd stay here forever if I could. Me too, girl. Me too. She does love Amethyst. Perfect. They aren't the same show by any means, but if you love the acting in Breaking Bad, then Banshee has some amazing top-tier acting. Question for people who are fans of Brian Cranston, a.k.a. Walter White in uh, Breaking Bad. I've never watched Malcolm in the Middle, which I think is the other show that he's that he was like pretty prominent on. Is it weird to like watch Breaking Bad and then go back and watch Malcolm in the Middle and like see him as a non Walter White character? I haven't seen anything in uh I haven't seen him in anything other than Breaking Bad. Yo, pickle jar rag though. Pickle jar rag, wait, just in time just in time for the festival? This could be a great sign, chat. But you just gotta power through. We we gotta see we gotta get there fast. We gotta get there fast. Probus, I'm sorry, your gifts will have to wait. This anecdote about Brian Cranston will also have to wait. I need to I need to get to the 25th while Pickle Jar Rag is still playing. If I can get in the festival while Pickle Jar Rag is on, I think there's a good chance. I think there's a good chance, chat. We gotta go. We gotta go though. It's weird in that the characters are so wildly different. Alright, I don't know. Pickle Jar Rag is not a long song when it's not playing on loop. I think there's like a double loop. I think there's I think it loops like once in this playlist. I don't know, we're gonna be pushing it. We're gonna be pushing it. Wait, it's not looping at all? There's no no loop? No loop? Pickle Jar Rag, come back! Come back! I was thinking of going over to my music player and, you know, rigging rigging the system, but... <sighs> Fine. It's okay, it's okay. We at least made it to the 25th with Pickle Jar Rag intact. I think that's... that's That combined with the fact that we gave Marnie a gift on her birthday, Those by those two powers combined, could be enough. It could be enough. Chat, do you believe... Do you believe that, uh, you know, le oeuf, the French equivalent of the word which we do not speak, do you think it's, do you think it's watching? Do you think it's listening? And do you think it respects the choices that we made up until this point? Do you think this is the year, year 15, exclamation point year? I think there's a chance. I think there's a realistic chance. How long will I stream? This stream goes for 12 hours, or until the challenge is complete, whichever comes first, basically. We are currently just a little over six hours in, so we still got about half the time to go. But we have crested the uh, the midpoint of the stream. What's the current goal exactly? Good question. For those who are just... Who, oh, the hay. The hay from Marnie. This I'll, I'll keep this one as a sign of goodwill. The current goal, for those who may be just tuning into the stream, is to get more hay. <laughs> not more, not to get more hay, but to get an egg. I know I used... Look, I gotta use it for people who are new. That's It's an egg. It, it, it's a word that we don't use lightly around here. It's a word that I don't use lightly, okay? Because we gotta save all that spam for the actual moment. 
but we need it from the Feast of the Winter Star from Marnie specifically. She's the only one who can give it. And you might be asking why. We need it just to ship a single one. Once we get that, all of our shipping and every other requirement for perfection is done. So we just need to see that through. I do like your name, Karita. I've seen I've seen your change. That is uh I I greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate it. I can't say it out loud, but you know, I respect the commitment. Alright. While we go around and talk to everybody again, let's do it. Let's do it, everybody. Just just spam like spam your heart out while I do a speed run to talk to everybody around here. Talk to every single person. We'll save Ab Haley for second last, Abigail for last. Go all eggs, all in on the eggs. How did I get the other chicken seeds? Um, by various means, mostly via the traveling cart. The only reason I'm not buying this one from the traveling cart is that you can get it for free from this festival. And look, I know, I understand that six hours into the stream and a few, a few Feast of the Winter Star deep, Hype for the egg may be dying down. You may be getting to this point where it's like, oh, I don't want to spam the egg again. I don't want to spam all these egg emojis. I just, I mean, I see that most people are spamming the egg emojis, but I'm speaking to you who may have given up on the spam of the egg emojis. You might be like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'm telling you, you want to be there when it happens. You want to be here when the moment strikes. You want to be, you want to say that you were part of it. And then we can't do this without you is the other thing. I need all hands on deck, lurkers, active chatters, whoever is out there, whoever's out there listening. VOD watchers, you know what, VOD watchers too. You go ahead and post some eggs in the comments, even though you already will know whether or not uh, whether or not this works based on the length of the stream probably. Just, you know, put the faith in there. Put the faith out there in the universe. Be part of it. Be part of it. Everybody, every egg counts. Every egg counts now more than ever. I'm going to give Abigail this Amethyst a purple variant of Quartz. We've put so much into this. We gave Marnie a gift on her birthday. We have bribed Lewis last year with a freaking Prismatic Shard. He doesn't deserve a Prismatic Shard. We've given so much to this. We've given so much. Please, please, let's just do it. Stop leading me along, game. Eric Baroni, I'm speaking to you personally now. Please. If you have the power, will it into being. Let's go. The disappointment gets more and more palpable with every failed year. But we will not see this as a failure, despite the fact that the egg is still on the horizon, not yet in our clutches. A pink cake? You're gonna give me a pink cake next? <laughs> oh my god. Emily. <laughs> how, how did you smuggle that out of the house without Haley, like, tackling you? Thank you for the pink cake. Do you think I can dig through that and, you know, uncook uncook it, make an egg out of it? Get, get an egg out of that? <laughs> Pink cake for Haley. The buildup will make the victory all the more sweet. Fiona, you said it best. Think of how long the buildup for the cactus fruit is. This is just, you know, cactus fruit 3.0 technically, because like the beet seeds and everything surrounding it was was more or less cactus fruit 2.0. We're in 3.0 territory now. <laughs> Deconstructor. Real quick, I'm going to go deconstruct this pink cake. Just to put everyone's mind at ease in case you're like, wait, does that actually work? It does not work. This item can't be scrapped. Welcome back, Kuro. Thank you for the $5 super chat. You just missed the last Feats of the Winter Star. The egg has evaded us once more. Instead, we got a pink cake from Emily. Look at our chest here. <laughs> All these failed gifts. It isn't even the stylish boots I, that, that we wanted. It's very true. All right, we're going to start stockpiling this hay, though. I think Marnie is sending it to me for a reason. And I think I need to hold on to it. It isn't a failure, it's a later success. Very well said, Gray. Thank you for the 199 super chat. We press onward. You know what? In wake of this uh in wake of this festival chat, 
We're moving towards year 16 here. Let me hit you with a pole. We haven't had a pole in a little bit here. When do you think the egg will arrive? Let me set up some, some options for you here. I'm going to say, let's say before year 20, year 20, year 20 to 30, year 30, here we'll do, just to make it unambiguous as possible, year 21 to 30, year 31 to 40, or year 41 plus. When do you think this egg will arrive? Make it known now. Make it known what team you're on, where your optimism lies. And cast your bets carefully because you need to be happy with wherever it lands. A significant amount of people are going to be wrong on this because obviously there's four options and only one of them can be correct. Year 10 to the power of 100? Please no. I don't think the integers even go that high. Definitely 21 to 30 range, you think? We'll see. We shall see. That seems to be the most common uh, common sentiment right now. Year 21 to 30 is currently winning with 47% of the poll. Not a super majority, but a majority nevertheless. You do not own an egg, exclamation point horse. There you go, Krobus. Here's to a happy new year. Give him the hug and everything. Whoever voted for 41 plus is a sadist. I mean, there's a distinct possibility. 41 plus is just as likely as any other year, technically. In fact, it might be it might be even more likely because there is no like upper bound to it as opposed to all the other ones. All right, what was I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and sell sell some mixed seeds for the zero gold profit, just so we can see the year tick over. Happy New Year, one and all. I'm a realist. You're a realist. This is as real as it gets. I think at this point, year 16, might have to start putting some extra sauce on this. Here's what I'm willing to do for you, chat, while I update exclamation point year. If I don't get it this year, I know pe people have wanted me to sing in the past, and I've submitted a couple times. At least one time I submitted, like, a full song. If I don't get it this year, I will sing a song of chat's choosing. I don't expect that it's going to be very well sung, and it has to be one that I know the words to, and it can't be non-PG-13. So think about that, mull that one over, and we can get some karaoke in here potentially. What's my plan for the new year? Probus, why do you have to keep asking? Why do you have to keep asking? And take a quick hydration break too. Next year, can we say anything but egg? Maybe, maybe it's afraid of its own shadow kind of thing, and it won't come out if you mention it. I think we're so committed to this, uh, to the way we've been doing it so far, that to deviate now would be to show cowardice. And to show cowardice in the face of in the face of doubt to change up our strategy when we know that this strategy can work and will work, I have I have the utmost of faith in that. I think is not a path I want to take. Sing Despacito. I do not know the words to Despacito. Never gonna give you up. Egg Raid by Bruno Mars, is that a real song? <laughs> I appreciate the input, though, Lizard Blizzard. 
I appreciate the uh, trying to get get creative, think outside the box. What's your favorite idea? Mine is being creative. I can't start singing yet. That's 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 something I gotta hold. That's the carrot I gotta dangle in front of people for the remainder of the year here. The Ducktales theme. <laughs> I don't think I know the DuckTales theme. I know parts of it. I know the part everyone knows where it just goes, DuckTales, ooh. Or is it DuckTales, woo? Is there a W on that, or is that... Is that a Mandela effect thing? Every day we're out here making DuckTales, ooh. Just change the words from grenade to egg raid. I would catch I would catch an egg grade for you. Throw my head on a blade for you. I might have brought I might have brought this up in the past, but I feel strongly enough about it to bring it up again. I kind of like hate that song, <laughs> the one that's like I would catch a grenade for you. Like it's. It's so close to having, like, a decent moral message of some kind, like, something meaningful to say, and then it throws it all out the window. It's like, I'll catch a grenade for you, throw my head on a blade for you, jump in front of a train for you. I mean, maybe it's not the best moral message, because you really should, you know, it's got to be a give and take in a relationship. But he says all these things that he would do for, for his significant other. And then he's like, but you won't do the same for me, and that's why I don't like you. And no one should expect that. Like, have you ever heard of this thing called Unconditional Love, Mr. Is that Bruno Mars that sings that one? I don't even know. Like, Unconditional Love, it's, it's literally right there in the name, Love Without Conditions. Like, you throw, you give that love, you give as much love as you want. You know, catch that grenade, throw your head on that blade. Whatever you're going to do, just don't expect anything from the person in return. Like, they're, they're not owed you any, they're not owing you anything. They didn't sign a contract when they got into the relationship that is like, okay, well, if you risk your, if I risk my life for you, then you have to pay it forward and risk, risk your life for me as well. It's not how it works, buddy. It's just not how it works. I forgot a gift. I forgot a gift for Haley. I was just so excited to go talk to her. The message of the song is don't be a simp and give that much sacrifice. That gives that much sacrifice. Are you telling me that the song is parodying, par parodying what it's saying? Like, it's satire? Is that the case? Because if so, then you know what? You may have changed my worldview. A little pink cake for, uh, for Haley here. Look at this. I have 23 egg-adjacent things in the fridge here. <laughs> 23 eggs. And a small white egg ain't one. I'd rather just have a glass of lemonade. Yeah, honestly. A good glass of lemonade is uh, second to none, as far as I'm concerned. On a hot summer's day, ooh. Nothing quite beats it. What song? This song is... What is this song, real quick? This is Junimo Kart title theme. Lemonade sounds so good right now. How do you guys like your lemonade? Do you like it, like, super sour, or do you prefer the the sweeter lemonade? I thought I liked sour lemonade more than sweet lemonade for a while, but then I tried some, like, real good homemade sweet lemonade. And it's literally, like, ten times better. It's, like, so good. Like, there's a time and a place for sour lemonade. But sweet lemonade? Oh my god. If you get it made the right way... Like, I don't know how it is off the shelf. Like, if there's bottled sweet lemonade or whatever. Whatever kind of brisk brand that you got going on there. Happy birthday, by the way, Haley. I, I don't know. Maybe there's some, there's some crappy sweet lemonade out there. But the kind that I've had, the first kind that I had, I was like, oh my god. Did you put crack cocaine in this? It's so good.
you're very sensitive to sweet things, but you're not in the mood. And if you're not in the mood, it ruins your day. You know what? That's fair. I'm kind of the opposite. I do have a, I definitely have a sweet tooth. I also have a sour tooth, though. I hope we can all be in agreement, though, that sweet lemonade, sour lemonade, wherever you land on the spectrum, pink lemonade it usurps all of it. Pink lemonade is 100% the goat. And I will brook no argument to the contrary. Haley's gonna get old at this rate. It's only been like 16 years. That's not a whole lot in the grand scheme of life. How are we doing as far as Krobus friendship? Ooh, we're missing a heart. I've let it, I've let it slip a little bit, but that's okay. Little poppy seed muffin. Thank you, Krobus. We'll get back in his good graces before too long. Looked up the lyrics in the last refrain, refrain grenade is that he'd still do those things even though earlier he said he'd rip out his, she'd rip out his brakes. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like it's kind of an intense message to that song. Either way that you take it. Vincent's grown a beard. Debatable. Andrew, there there is no debate to be had. Pink lemonade is by far the greatest creation of mankind, from a culinary perspective at the very least. Like I often kind of hum and haw over what my favorite food is when I'm asked about that. Favorite drink? I think it might be pink lemonade. I think pink lemonade is absolutely fantastic. Maybe I've just been lucky enough to have like really good pink lemonade. Like, my pink lemonade experience is, is... I don't have it very often, for the record, so it's kind of a treat when I do get to have it. And most of my experience with it has been via the Calgary Stampede. Quick, quick little meteor, no big deal. That's number six, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Speaking of pink lemonade, that's the rocks are just pure crystalline pink lemonade landing in my fields out here. Let's go find it. Just again. <laughs> again and again and again and again. What if we end up having so many meteors that we can't navigate the fields anymore? Do you think it could get that bad, chat? Our farm has fallen into a bit of disarray. I think this is the new one over here. Because that's what? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's five right there. And then the sixth up on Perfection Island. What is it with this area? <laughs> I don't, I don't know why the meteors are landing, like, they are aliens from space literally shooting that specific spot on my farm? <laughs> they're trying to stop, they're trying to stop price perfection before it can be fully realized. Too little, too late, little aliens. While I'm out here, though, I might as well check the mail. Chad, I'm telling you right now, we're, keep, we're holding on to this hay. If we get up to 150 or more hay throughout the year via, via Marnie's mail, the egg is basically guaranteed. I don't, I don't throw out that guarantee lightly. It's a promise that I'm going to try my best to keep. And you might be like, Argon, how can you promise something like that when it's RNG dependent? You said it yourself. You can't influence the ones and zeros of the code. There's exceptions to every rule. There are exceptions to every rule. I put this out there in the universe now. If we get 150 or more hay, it's a foregone conclusion as far as I'm concerned. If not, there's still a chance, but it's significantly diminished. Whether or not you believe me is entirely up to you. That's your prerogative, but just know that if you want to be on the right side of history, we're banking on 150 hay. Have a good one there, Nuggets. Little meteor party. <laughs> oh, 
Chloe will become too powerful with perfection. The Galactic Confederations must stop her. Chloe x Star Trek, all of a sudden. Star Trek is one of those shows that I've always thought about getting into. Because I think I probably would like it. But it's also pretty dense, right? Like, it's just dense with a lot of information to take in. And a lot of, like, you know, history. It goes back, like, when was the first Star Trek... When did the first Star Trek air? In, like, the 1970s or something? 70s, 80s, somewhere in that range. Like, any sci-fi series like that that's been going for a significant amount of time has so much lore and so much world-building put into it that it can be very intimidating to try and get in if you weren't there on the ground floor, you know what I mean? Like, I get that both with Star Trek and with Star Wars. 1967? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. And obviously there are different jumping-in points that you can get in on. I don't think anyone who's working on, like, a modern-day Star Trek would expect people to realistically be invested in storylines dating all the way back to the 1960s or have a, you know, encyclopedic knowledge of it. I think that's asking too much, but it's probably one of those things where, like, you'd make it so that a modern audience or a new audience can get into it. But there's also, you know, like, things in there that only the, the old guard of Star Trek would understand or appreciate. I think that's the happy middle ground that you gotta try and strike when you're doing doing a series like that. Little fan service, a little a little dab, a little sprinkle of fan service in that capacity can go a long way. Star Trek is an episode by episode basis show. I recommend the next generation. So Star Trek's not really a show where, like, storylines progress from one episode to the other. It's more like, you know, Monster of the Week kind of situation. Where you can watch any individual episode in isolation and you're pretty likely to be able to understand what's going on. Is that how it goes? That's how you feel about Doctor Who? Doctor Who might even be a better example than Star Trek if Star Trek is more episodic than I'm giving it credit for. Next Generation is a great way to dip your toes into the series. I'll have to put it on the list for sure. The list of things to eventually watch and get caught up on. It's an ever-growing list. It's rivaling Santa Claus's naughty or nice list at this rate. But I will, uh, I'll make a dent in it eventually. There's some overarching stuff, but it's, a lot of it can stand on its own. You know what that's exactly like, funnily enough? My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. <laughs> Very episodic show. Every episode is its own little isolated storyline, but there's uh, definitely overarching plot lines if you pay if you care to pay attention to them. Usually wrapped up in just, you know, like season premiere, season finale kind of thing, but they are there. I think that's a good way to do it. It's a good approach to a show. I at least liked it how they did it in, in that show. Any notable gifts? We did get the tea set. We got a tea set from, uh, I think it was it Maru that gave us the tea set? I think so. Otherwise, Winter Star gifts have been kind of, kind of dirt. Kind of dog water this year. Well, not this year, but these past few years. <laughs> Can you imagine how long this grind could have been? If I completely stuck to my guns, went to every single festival, watered Timbeeb every single day, the whole nine yards, just all the way until I got the egg. This would have been a weapon to rival Metal Gear, and it grinds to rival the Cactus Fruit. What the heck was I thinking? <laughs> I mean, I definitely understand patience and hard-headedness. More than anyone, I would say. More than it, more than most people. But you gotta know when to draw the line. <laughs> if you like less campy approaches to series issues, like Deep Space Nine, the next generation, especially later seasons, are really good. 
Just a brighter feel. Just something fun to pass the time kind of thing. More popcorn entertainment than actual, you know, insightful stuff that you would dig your teeth into. That might be something worth worth looking into. Because a lot of my favorite shows are shows that I can really, you know, sink my teeth into. They have a rich world, rich backstories that I can get fully involved in. I know that kind of goes against what I said earlier about how they're, uh, they're dense and intimidating to get into. And that's true, but if you can get into them, or if you've been into them since the very beginning, so there's no, there's not really any kind of barrier to entry, you've been there with it as it evolved, there's nothing that quite compares. It's, like, so cool. It's such a cool feeling. It's almost like a communal vibe, and you don't even need to really be part of a community. You need to, you can enjoy the communal vibe all in your own living room. But I don't have a lot of things where I can actually, you know, just, like, sit down, enjoy an episode here and there without having to, like, think about it more. Many of the shows that I've been invested in, especially lately, I'm always seeking that next great adventure, you know? Maybe I need to give more popcorn entertainment a chance. Have the last six hours been honestly pretty good. The rare seed has come and gone. We've seen that one through to completion. I think everyone kind of expected that to be the first one before the egg. And uh, I'm feeling great. I really am. My throat might have things to say on the matter at the end of all things here. And I'm starting to feel that, even with the uh, hydration breaks that I'm taking. Speaking of which, I'm going to grab one more little drink here. Yo, hello, Calvin. How's it going? You know what I should do real quick here? I should go and check the mail, now that I'm thinking about it. Because I was like, man, we're not really doing that great on our hay supplies, are we? That's because we haven't checked the checked the mail. You know what, I'll wait two more days, because then we can check the mail and visit Marnie and win. That and win is, an, is a bit of an Argon Matrix classic meme. Bit of a throwback to before the times of Stardew Valley. For anyone who might uh, who might know, I don't know how many of you are here from that uh, from that era. I see you got Hootie the eighth. More than that, we actually got Hootie the ninth as well. But he's just chilling down here. This is this is where Hootie the ninth landed. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Somebody help. Somebody help my poor my poor rare crows. Turn, turns out putting all those trees down there so many years ago might have been a bad idea. How long until our farm is just completely overgrown? I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared, chat. <laughs> Alright, quick, quick birthday gift for Marnie. Pay it forward, as they say. Hey, how's the weather? Do you actually care, Marnie? All right, I'm on my way. Maybe I should have put cobblestones around the trees. A little, too little too late, unfortunately, but you know what? Maybe for next time. A gold clock can't fix that. <laughs> Someone hasn't been checking up on the forest too much. I've been sleeping, I'm tired. You know, give me a break. Give Chloe a break. She's chopped down more than her fair share of trees. Anyone remember the, the level 10 foraging grind? You, did I just destroy a bush? <laughs> oh my god. L look at how far these trees have come. They're, they're, they're overtaking the coffee fields and everything. Oh no. You know, I'm, I'm gonna keep sending it. I'm gonna keep sleeping. Which I just need to remember that this is out here and I might need to come through and do, do some bombing at some point in the future, but... Depending on how accurate these poll results are, by the way, 49% people believe year 21 to year 30 is going to be our time for eggs. 10% of people believe year 41 plus, 29% before year 20, 
and 12% year 31 to 40. Seems like a fairly standard distrib distribution, maybe skewed slightly in the favor of optimism, but that's just my community in general. I'm gonna end that poll. This far this farm's gonna be overtaken with trees, meteorites, and crates. Don't forget owls. Tim Beeb! <laughs> He's like, please help. I am merely one dog. I don't have the capacity to play in this much grass. Alright. Quick mail run. Quick little mail run. Looking for hay? We want 150 hay by the end of uh by the end of the year here. Before the feast of the winter star. It'll put us in a good spot. It's the luck that we need in order to secure ourselves the egg. I have full faith that we can do it. But only if we get that 150 plus hay. Otherwise, I make no guarantees. Can the trees manage a full takeover before perfection? I would say there's a distinct chance. I don't know what the over-under is on that. No hay from all that mail? Marnie is... You know what You know what Marnie might be doing? She might be, like, leading us along. She's teasing us by not sending any mail, so that when we finally get to the Feast of the Winter Star, she can surprise us, like, bam! Dozen eggs right in your face. Hopefully not... Hopefully she won't, like, throw them into my face. Because I kind of need them intact. I don't think... I don't think that the... That the shipping board... We'll accept a, uh, we'll accept a half egg. Trees can't grow or grass is already growing, so probably not. So they'll have a little bit of a chance to spread further in the winter, because the grass all dies, but... I see what you mean, Lisa, yeah. It would take quite a few winters in order for the trees to be able to spread to the entirety of the farm. Hopefully, anyway. come back in one year. Just the yearly checkup when we go down to Marnie's for her birthday gift. Checking on the forest. Holding out for the Christmas gift? I certainly hope so. I certainly hope to th this to be true. One of the downsides of having so many uh, Where's Krobus as far as friendship goes? We'll get that up on, on his birthday coming up here. One of the downsides to having so many trees and so little, and like they're taking up tile, taking over the t farm tile by tile, is that that's like each one is one fewer tiles that another stone owl can spawn on. We might not live to see Hootie the Tenth at this rate, but I still have hope. I still have high hopes. Alright, before those hopes can be realized, though, literally, hold on, let me just double check. Yeah, I thought so. I knew that would do it. Uh, I'm gonna go quickly to the washroom again. I know I literally just went not that long ago, but these streams, you gotta, you gotta stay topped up on water, so that's where that's coming from. I'll be right back, though. Hold down the fort while I'm gone. I'll make this a nice quick one. This is, this is a bathroom speed run. Bathroom speed run time. Let's go.
and time. Okay, I am back. I am back in action. Shut down the saloon, close it all down. If you didn't get your orders in, it's too late. Too late. Have a fine grilled cheese. You get your grilled cheese and your, your Shirley Temples and you get out of here. We're going back to the egg grind, baby. You might have thought it was just a dream or possibly a nightmare. Nah, we're here for it. We're here for it in vivo. Let's keep going. No rest for the wicked. Where does that saying come from? No rest for the wicked. It's one that's always kind of seems strange to me. Especially the context that you use it in. Because normally when you say no rest for the wicked, it means that you're like putting in a lot of like man hours, you're working yourself hard for the for some kind of grind, right? Like we're doing right now, no rest for the wicked. But in that case, am I the wicked one? Like I'm the, I'm wicked? What why do I have to be wicked for this metaphor to work? Is it just a wicked act in general? to commit so much time and so much effort to one solitary grind? Or is there more to it than that? Is there more that's out there and I just haven't found it yet? If I don't get the, uh, the you know what this year, can I get, can I do a Factors run? Might be nice to just, you know, break up the pace a little bit. Maybe that's exactly what we need. Just a nice refreshing Fector's Challenge run. Could be exactly what we're looking for. Have a good one there, Drea. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit. Enjoy your day at work. Check back after your meetings. I hope to have some great news for you when that time comes. Wicked. Wicked. Tubular, dude. Anyone remember the the special world level names in Super Mario World? Like, you got Tubular, Nad Gnarly, Radical. Actually, I don't know if Radical was one, but Way Cool was another one, I'm pretty sure. That's the Nintendo from days gone by. Nowadays, they hit you with level names like Bowser's Castle 1, Bowser's Castle 2, Airship 1, World 1-6. It's like, what happened to my donut planes, my chocolate island? Like, where's where's all the creativity gone, Nintendo? Gone into making the games, like, play good? Not to say that Super Mario World doesn't play well. It's obviously one of the greatest games of all time. How many ovoids are needed? A single one, but we're gonna get 12, because <laughs> we, get, we, don't, we can only get 12 from the Feast of the Winter Star. Marnie makes no half measures. Rod, I need to also talk to Krobus here. Little talk, little hug. Has anyone seen a green jelly yet? I believe earlier in the stream, Bongo Man was the first chatter to see the to see the rare green jelly. I don't think we've had another one since. Hootie! Hootie the tenth! We just crossed into double digits! We gotta go find him. Do you think, oh, what if he landed at the same pond? What if he landed on like the other side of the pond from Hootie the Ninth? Could you imagine the pageantry? More owls? Hootie? Hootie, show it to me, please. He's not here. Where is he then? We haven't had any, anything land like over in this vicinity ever before. The supply crates, <laughs> there's so many. The supply crates, they're multiplying. They're losing all control. Do you think he could be in the forest? Hootie? Hootie, are you in there? I don't see Hootie. He must be up north. Maybe he landed on Perfection Island. By the Rare Crows? That's Hootie the Ninth. That one's Hootie the Ninth right there. We're looking for Hootie the Tenth. That he can join Hootie the Ninth and make it a nice symmetrical... Pantheon. All these meteors, dude. Come on. He's he's gotta he's gotta be here somewhere. 
He's by the rare crows. Chad, are you trolling? Oh, he's right here. Okay. He's up by Grandpa's Shrine. He landed on Perfection Island. Booty the Tenth. Bring this boy home. Please do something about those crates. We'll do something on the on the Feast of the Winter Star itself. I'll, I'll do a crate run. I'll do a supply crate run. Clear things out. Because I don't know if they reset at the end of the year. Something tells me that they don't based on the amount that I have. Um, but we'll see. Yo! We got a second rare green jelly. Diamond Isaac sees the rare green jelly. It's another one. This could be a sign. This this is another sign. Another thing of good sign of good years to come. I know you, what you're saying to yourself, Argon. You say that everything is a sign. Look, I'm looking for I'm looking for good signs and good luck in any way, shape, or form that I can take it. The optimism I gotta I gotta take it wherever I can. Another rare green jelly. Congrats to, congratulations to Diamond Isaac. Welcome to the welcome to the rare green jelly club. It's Bongo Man, you and me, technically, because I mean I've seen so many rare green jellies on this file, it's not even funny. Congratulations. Congratulations. Second, hopefully not the last. Hopefully hopefully we can have a hat trick this stream. We'll see. You summoned the rare jelly. It is kind of serendipitous that the rare green jelly, we were just talking about it. And then he manifests into being. Kind of like how we've been talking up the, uh, the you-know-what, the chicken produce. At every Feast of the Winter Star. There's something to it, I'll tell you that. There's something to it. Thank you for this table, Krobus. <laughs> you know where they go by this point, though? There we go. I'm happy here in the house. You do you, buddy. You do you. Yo, long long distance gift giving. I just I just yeeted that diamond at him from across the room. All right, my proto chicken. That's a new one. All right, quick mail grind. Mayor Lewis is like, do you feel that chill in the air? Yeah, dude, just the middle of winter. Chain, how many pizzas? <laughs> how many pizzas do you have? And they're all from the back room of Joja, I'm pretty sure. All right. Bop, bop, bop. Zero hay. I don't know if this is a good sign or a bad sign. It seems like Marnie's for either forgotten about us entirely. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. I'm, I'm telling you, Chad. There's something to this. There's something to this. My secret friend this year. Anyone but Marnie? Anyone but Marnie? Anyone but Marnie? It's Jazz. Yes! Oh, I love Jazz. Yo, if we can give it to her, we can give her something great. She'll put in a good word with her Aunt Marnie. Just saying, chat. Just saying. There's a correlation. Correlation equals causation equals, equals tractation equals lactation equals procreation equals procreation of a chicken. It all adds up. I'm going full. I'm going full corkboard mode at this moment. All right, a gift for Jazz. A gift worthy of Jazz's cuteness. Plum pudding. I think plum pudding is probably the way to go. It's Christmassy. It's jazzy. Do I have any plum pudding? Am I able to just make a plum pudding? I need two wild plums. I think we got that ready to go in our fruit bat chest. We've lost him to conspiracy. I went too far. It's probably when I said lactation, huh? Yeah, we got a few plums. We can probably probably spare some. Give her a magma geode. <laughs> the BM of that. Could you imagine? Alright, plum pudding. There we go. Is this what plum pudding looks like in real life, by the way? It, this does not look like pudding. This looks like... I mean, it looks it looks like, an, you know, chicken produce, but of a darker brown variety. Do I have any cheese seasoning? I should, I should have cheese seasoned it. You're right, but 
Now it's cooked, it's ready to go. It's a traditional holiday treat. It even says it right there. A chocolate egg. Terry's chocolate orange. Smashing good taste. Any Terry's chocolate orange fans, fans in chat? Very, very good as far as I'm concerned. Pudding just means dessert in the UK. It's a cake thing. That kind of breaks my brain. That's like how people call any type of uh, any type of carbonated beverage, any kind of soft drink, Coke down in the U.S. South, at least certain parts of the U.S. South. Like they'll call a Dr. Pepper a Coke. They'll call a Sprite a Coke. They'll call a freaking like bubbly water a Coke. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Alright, chat. Are you ready for everyone's favorite segment of the stream? It's been a while since we've had one of these. Get ready. Because it's it's the 25th. We're waiting we're waiting on the uh, on the town to open up to us. Time for everyone's favorite moment, counting with Argon! Oh boy, let's count up all the supply crates that we got this year. First, let's let's get the mail out of the way. Put your bets in now. How many supply crates do you think we have? One supply crate. Ah, ah, ah. Two supply crates. We're going to need to deal with that at some point, too. <laughs> do you see the, the staggering and stuttering of the game? There's too many supply crates. That's three supply crates. That's four supply crates. Five supply crates. Elaine's putting down 17 as her guess. I think you might be lowballing it. Six supply crates. Seven. Eight supply crates. Nine supply crates. Let's clear out some of, our, some of our, the inventory here. We got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, <laughs> 15, 16, 17. With little little tossing of the detritus. 18, 19, 20. This is how many years it's going to take for us to, to get what we need from the Feast of the Winter Star. I think it was 22 I just hit. No, not a single Hello Fresh from any of these 22 supply crates, by the way. Hello Fresh no longer sponsors Frugal Farm. 22 supply crates, and that's just one side. We got to go down the other way as well now. Oh my god. 23, 24, 25, 26. I believe this is 26. Little Hello Fresh. 28. Toss me. 29, 30, 31. Actually ridiculous. Yo, have a good one, uh, Saito Zero. Thank you for the $20 super chat. Thank you for the good luck and the well wishes. I greatly appreciate the generosity. I've lost track now. I'm just going to call this like 30. <laughs> I mean, chat's probably, chat's probably counting better than I am, honestly. Is this, what, 31? 32? <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of supply crates is the point here. This is 33. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44... I think 44 might be where it ends, chat. There could, maybe there's some hiding down in the forest over there, but I can't reach them. 44 supply crates. There were at least two. Could be some more down here. No luck. All right. Might as well head down this way to the Feast of the Winter Star, though, now that I'm headed, headed here. 45... You think, I, you think it was 45 or 46? Somewhere in that range, mid-40s? Kind of a lot. Kind of a lot. I don't know how all these shipments are getting lost so frequently. I don't know what kind of shipping company is letting this happen. Alright. Chat, you know the drill by this point? You know the drill? We've seen the magic happen. We've seen it work. 
I, I spoke the Stone Owl into being. We've spoken the Rare Green Jelly into being. We've spoken Marnie's Extra Hay into being. This is the moment. This is the moment. Speak the egg into being. Speak it into being with your pure emoji excellence. I've seen you do it many times over the course of this stream alone. I know you have the power. To the tune of one of the greatest songs in Stardew Valley as well. Get that egg spam out there, chat. I know, I know, trust me, I know it's getting tiring. I know it's getting very tiresome. But we need to hold up the, we need to hold up the energy here. Keep the optimism, keep the faith alive. All eggs, please. Just just a pure egg excitement, egg energy. I spoke to Haley. I spoke I spoke out of oh gosh, I broke tradition. I broke tradition. It's okay though. It's okay. Maybe it's what we need. Maybe tradition was holding me back. We'll find out shortly. I hope I hope not though, honestly. To a certain part of me now that I've spoke to Haley out of turn doesn't want to get the egg this time because then people will hold that against Haley for the rest of her life and people don't need more reasons to hate Haley. She's had an uphill battle this whole time. Just know, just know that if or when we do get the egg this year, don't hold it against Haley, please. She did nothing wrong. Haley did nothing wrong. Chat, this is all you. This is all you. This is all your egg power. Egg power, I believe. I believe in the you that believes in me that believes in eggs. Jazz, here is your lovely plum pudding, freshly baked. A plum pudding, thank you. She's gonna devour that instantaneously. Full eggs, that's a, that's a wall of eggs. Oh my God, the eggs are out of control. You're 16, you're 16. I'm 16, life is sweet. I need an egg, just plain and simple game. Just an egg and we can all, this can all be over. This can all be over, let's do it. I believe, here we go. Well, I know for a fact we've already gotten a gift from Willy in years past. I think he might have been our very first Winter Star gifter. So we can definitely get repeat gifters, <laughs> if anyone was uh, unsure about that. Time for some caviar. <laughs> little, little fish eggs, maybe? Fish eggs? No, it's a dressed spinner, not even close. Not even freaking close. I received the dressed spinner instead. I can't even use it, Willy. I've got a bamboo pole. <laughs> had Alex a couple of times too. I think you are correct. I think I had a have had Alex twice. Is Marnie even real? I see her right there. Look at that smile. Look at look at this smile. She doesn't even know the pain that she's causing. She's oblivious to all of this. All these efforts we're making to, you know, get on her, get in her good graces. Maybe it's all for naught. Maybe she's just like totally oblivious to our to our grind here. There's a dress spinner for you. It's the second dress spinner. I don't think that's... Oh, is it the second dress spinner? No, the other one was the magnet. Magnets, how do they work? The mayor is hogging him for himself. Hogging her for himself. I'm not even lying. I actually... Like, when I, when I, when I saw Willy there, I clenched my fists, like, kind of hard. And it kind of hurt. <laughs> I didn't realize I was that invested. I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta get this egg. I gotta get this egg. Good things come to those who wait. Good things come to those who wait. At what point do we start speedrun style sleeping? This is the closest we're getting to speedrun style sleeping, I think. I've already given up so many different chores. I need to keep Krobus's friendship up, at least above 10 hearts, in order for perfection to count. So... I don't want to forego too much here. Maybe next year we do the Gale route. What pray tell is the Gale route? We just flood the chat with cheese. <laughs> Argon was the Arthur meme. Pretty much, honestly. Not far off the mark. Have another great year, Clovis. Clovis. <laughs> Yo, that's Cl that's Chloe and Cro Clovis and Chloe's uh, ship name, Clovis.
This music is very... You know, it's something. It's something. Alright. This music is what you hear when you reach the lowest point. This is, this is your lowest low, chat. This is officially our lowest low. This is rock bottom. This is the moment in the story when it's all hope seems lost. All hope seems lost. We're all very defeated. We're all hoping to see this egg. We only get one chance every year. And it hurts. It does. It hurts to be on the losing end of that deal. But the night is always darkest before the dawn. The night is always darkest before the dawn, chat. And I have to believe that. I have to keep that faith going into year 17. Let's keep going. Let me pop over. Exclamation point year. Year 17 is a go. Happy New Year, baby. Party poppers, champagne, whatever you got in chat. You know, I was thinking some, someone did have the idea to do a Factor's Challenge run. Something tells me not to. I don't know, it seemed like a good idea at the time. It seemed like a... Uh, it seemed like it could be a nice break. But I don't know, I just got a feeling. I just got a feeling, bear with me on this one. I think I think we just send it. I think we send it. I feel like doing Fectors now might disrespect the grind to, for a certain, I don't know. There's something, there's something deep within me. I can't explain it. I can't put, a wor put words to it necessarily, no matter how hard I try, which is difficult for me. Because I always like to put words to things, even if the words don't necessarily fit. And that can be my downfall a lot of the time. But it's just, it's just something. There's just something telling me, don't do it. Don't play Fairy King. Just hold off for a little bit longer. Keep that faith going for as long as you can. And it'll pay off. It'll pay off here. Who is the first rare green jelly? That was uh, Bongo Man, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if Bongo Man is still here, but uh, I believe that was the first one. Vector's vibes confirmed atrocious. <laughs> I don't know if I go as far as to say atrocious. That's a bit. That's a pretty strong word. The music is so sad, but it, it transitioned, and now we're in this upbeat territory, right? Listen to this song. This this one's got you. It's got you feeling hopeful. We're going through many different stages with these songs right now. The many stages of a, of a story. This is the time in the story. If we were at our rock bottom with that other song, this is where we pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. Put in the work that we know needs to be put in. And this is the sort of lull period between, you know... Th th this song's more like... All right, we're going to take the focus off the main character story for a moment and look over at the side character so that, you know, to lead you along to tease you a little bit. We're still sleeping for an egg. What else would you have me do? All right, let's go give Haley her yearly gift. Let's give Krobus his semi-weekly gift. I would like a pink cake, please. Pink cake. Can we get some birthday cake emoji spam preemptively as we as we lead over to, lead over to Haley? Yo, a mushroom tree, natural spawning mushroom tree. I might take today to actually uh, cull those mushroom trees, or not those mushroom trees, but that little top area. I'm willing to let the lower half of the farm go, go back to nature, but this top area, I want to keep it somewhat presentable. Because it's much more in my face than the other area is. The pink cake looks so yummy. I don't even know what like a melon flavored cake would be like. But I'd be willing to try it for sure. 
Like, do those exist? Like a watermelon cake or something like that? That seems like it would not work, given the amount of, like, water in a watermelon, obviously. I think the cake would be a little too damp. Maybe you can make, like, an artificial watermelon-flavored cake, but I don't know if a, if a natural one is in the cards. Save the natural mushroom, just surround it with paths. Which one, though? I didn't even realize there was more than one natural mushy. You don't even like melon that much? I mean, melons are, uh... It's not just, like, one solitary melon. There's watermelons, you got your cantaloupes, you got your honeydew melon. You got your durian. I don't think... Is durian a melon, or is it just its own fruit? Its own classification? So many mushrooms. You can use watermelon as the liquid part of the cake. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I mean, may maybe there's a chance. <laughs> maybe... You'd have to be a pretty astute baker to make it work, I would think. You'd have to get on one of those, uh... That's like, that's like a task they would give you on one of those cooking shows. Cutthroat kitchen kind of deal. You think, you think watermelon would be the worst choice of melons for a cake? I'm kind of with you, honestly. The flavor is definitely there, but I don't know if the actual consistency of it... ...would uh, lend itself well to... To cake them. Could be entirely wrong. I might be just, you know, talking out of my, uh, talking out of my, can't say that. <laughs> I might just be blowing smoke, you know? All right, quick little tossing of the mail. The ritualistic tossing of the mail into our garbage can. Could go for a good tiramisu cake right now. I haven't had tiramisu in a long time, honestly. Durian is more closely related to okra. Are you telling me durian is a grain? Is okra a grain? I actually don't know. Welcome back, Kuro. Your ISP is being dodgy. Better yours than mine. I mean, not that I wish ill upon you and your internet connection, but... If mine crapped out right about now, I would not be in a, not be in the best spot, I'll say that much. Not the best time for it. Okra is not a grain. What the heck is okra? Does okra even exist, or is it something that has been fabricated specifically to troll me, a la the Truman Show? Do you guys ever get that feeling that, like, you're living in the Truman Show, or that there's something that people aren't telling you? That there's, like, waiting to unveil to you? That sort of weird, uncanny feeling of, like, you're being watched, or you're living in a false reality, something like that? I get that more than is probably healthy. And obviously I know, in my, in my heart of hearts, that something like that is simply not true. I'm not so self-important that I would think that the world would revolve around me. But when you start to think about it, it's like, I only have my own experiences to go off of. I can't verify that anyone else is even a conscious human being. I have a lot of great anecdotal evidence for it, but I can't ever hop inside someone else's head and, you know, experience life from their perspective. So for all I know, they're just a pre-programmed AI. That knows exactly, that knows way more than I do about the universe and wh whether the universe exists as it is, uh, <laughs> as it is presented to me. Or they're the AI themselves presenting the universe for me in a very specific way. Welcome back, Fraz does. Here for the end. I mean, I hope so. I hope I hope you're here for the end, but whether it be, whether it is an ending of any kind remains to be seen. Seven hours deep. We've got about five more hours to go for the stream. Hopefully, hopefully confidence is still high. We gotta sleep though. Sleep like crazy. While you can't confirm, I'm not lying. I promise, I am real. <laughs> That's exactly what a robot would say. 
flooring in the bedroom has changed? Did the flooring in the bedroom change or just over here? I haven't been keeping up with Krobus's antics enough to know. Krobus just is he's just kind of doing his own thing, which you know what? The house is kind of his domain at this point since I'm literally sleeping for just about 24 hours every single day. Totally fair on his part. He's well within his rights to to do what he wants with the place, honestly. Yo, not much mail that time. Good stuff. The bedroom did change. I honestly didn't even notice. It can't be that different. You know what? It is It is different, though, because I recognize that, like, the contrast between these cobblestones, or crystal path, or whatever that is, and the floor is noticeably different. I don't know what it was before, though. I couldn't tell you, even though I lived with it for so long. <laughs> I love this. Is Argon's voice echo echoing on anyone else's computer? Oh, wait, I have two accounts open. <laughs> A story told in two sentences. For sale, baby shoes never worn. I love short stories like that. It's the flooring that's in the hallway. This is... A yeah, there's like one little patch of flooring right here that's uh, that was saved from Krobus's, uh Decorating spree? That does look very familiar now that, you, now that you mention it. Yeah, lighter horizontal wood, so it is definitely that one right there. I was sweating all night, Krobus. Don't be weird about it, okay? Is this music from Caroline? I don't think so. This is the mermaid song, I'm pretty sure. Mermaid song from the from the night market. In fact, I'm almost like I'm like 99% sure that that's the case. To me, it will always be the song I used in the Price of Perfection trailer because it can't, it sounds appropriately ethereal. It's got that feeling of like something like unknown. And at the time that I began this challenge, it was a great unknown that I was stepping into. So I felt like it was kind of fitting. I don't know if I... Ne I don't think I put that much thought into it at the time, but... Uh, <laughs> thinking back on it, maybe there was some kind of subconscious... Decision-making there. I definitely think a lot about... Uh, like the feelings that songs evoke, not even not even just specifically songs that have like lyrics and and actually tell you a specific message, but even like video game music and stuff like that, and the and the feelings that they're trying to evoke. Because any song that is made is trying to do something. It's trying to pull at your heartstrings in some way. Maybe not pull at your heartstrings. That might be too strong of a word, but it's trying to make you feel or think or react in a, in a certain way. And that's always so interesting to me. There's there's a lot that probably goes into that from a songwriting perspective. I'm no songwriter. I am no uh, musical prodigy by any stretch of the imagination. But that side of things has always been really, really cool to me. It makes me wonder, like, what, what was going through Concerned Dave's mind specifically when he was making these songs? Like, did, did, is that a choice that music composers make to like like a conscious choice like I want this to be like a sad song or I want this to be like a mysterious song or I like there's got to be some planning that goes into that especially if you're doing it for a very specific moment like one like for one of the hard events or something like that but just for just like a general song kind of like this one that you're hearing right now what's the thought process that goes into that like how, like, how do you make a song feel like fall or winter or whatever Maybe there's music theory that goes into that that I'm not privy to, but it's, uh... It's just so fascinating. CA understands vibes. <laughs> it, I, it does all boil down to that one word, doesn't it? Just vibes. He's got, he's got the vibes all figured out. We must have been pretty far behind on our gift-giving here. 
Oh, I thought this was Krobus' birthday. That's why I thought I was like, I was like, what the heck? Why am I behind on, on hearts here? It is not Krobus' birthday. I was thinking one season ahead. Ask of Vivaldi. I think that dude's dead as heck, Vivaldi. Isn't that like an like an old composer? The king of vibes. The same holds for music, art, etc. It's true, like, I mean, no matter the art form, you're always trying to trying to make the reader feel something. Well, I say reader, you know where my head's at with that one then. <laughs> Trying to make the reader, the listener, or the viewer, or whatever, feel something very specific. The ways you approach it, depending on the medium, can be very, very different, though. Your heart hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lisa. Have I misspoken? Vivaldi composed the Four Seasons. I'm not well versed in my classical music. I like to listen to classical music. But I couldn't tell you my Beethoven from my Vivaldi from my, uh, from my Skrillex. I mean, I could probably tell you which, which one's Skrillex. <laughs> Might be a bad example. Definitely not a classical composer. Just because he went up against, uh, Mozart in epic rap battles of history. Certainly doesn't mean that he's spoken in the same breath as them. Does Skrillex still do stuff? I don't really listen to that kind of music. The dubstep sort of stuff that he, uh, that he got famous for. I gotta imagine he's still around in some capacity, though, right? I haven't heard about him in so long. This one's such a banger. This is the one of the Volcano music soundtracks, I think. What is Krobus? How old is he? And does he have a gender? I believe Krobus is referred to as a he at various points in, like, the game code or the game itself. How old he is, I don't know what he is. He is a Shadow Brute. A Shadow Brute that has broken away from, from the Horde. He separated himself from the ones with arms. He can't be that much of a Brute if you don't have arms. And if you cook this well, you know what? Brute is not the word I'd use to describe someone who's this culinarily inclined. Krobus is undefined gender. I thought Krobus was referred to as a he and the dwarf was undefined gender, or do I have that reversed? So I know that's always been a, a point of contention for people in Stardew Valley, is like, what gender is the dwarf, what gender is Krobus? And I don't know if that's ever been officially canonized in any way, either of them, but I remember hearing about that, that, like, it references to them in the code refer to them somehow as, like, he or they or... I don't know. I remember hearing about something like that in the past. You thought the dwarf was a girl? I mean, that could be true. I might just be uh, spouting off nonsense here. I don't want to spread too much mis misinformation. Do your own research. At the end of the day, do your own research on just about everything that I talk about, because I don't have citations in front of me right now. Krobus's gender is Shrug. How do you know that Krobus does consents to your hugs if he doesn't hug you back? He's got a little smiley face that appears over his head. That's a sign of consent if I've ever seen it. I've never I've never seen anyone in real life have a smiley face emoji pop out above their head and float off into the ethereal plane and not have them be like, okay, what's with, go with what's going on? It's a universal sign of, you know, like... Of, of just, you know, having a good time. Like, look at that. Look at that. We all know that one. And that's, that's Max Hearts again, baby. Back at it again. We're back in this. They were never referred to as anything else. The dwarf's gender is dwarf. They're always just referred to as the dwarf. What season is it? 
it's winter. Winter is a very important season for us for, for many reasons. Number one being Krobus' birthday. Number two, you know, it's probably probably one you're more familiar with. I haven't checked the mail in a little while though, so let me go ahead and you know we'll we'll go on a mail on a mail clearing spree in uh on the eighteenth. It's been a while since I've done the mail, so that's it's gonna be a lot to go through, don't get me wrong. But if I'm gonna be heading on the eighteenth anyway to check my feast of the winter star friend. I might as well just, you know, kill two birds with one stone kind of thing. Hey there, Christina. Have you missed anything? Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, we have gotten the sweet gem berry. Year 13 has come and gone. We're into year 17 right now. <laughs> I was going to say 16. I'm starting to lose track of the days. Didn't I promise you a song after year 16? You know what? I totally did, and I just totally blanked on that. I was so into whether or not I would actually get the uh, get the thing that I totally didn't even remember that. All right, chat. I will I will make good on my promise now. Start spouting off songs, and I'll see if I see one that I know the lyrics to. I will sing it. Probably not until after this piece of the Winter Star, though. Just gotta remind me of it. Keep on going. Satisfied? I already sang Satisfied. <laughs> I could have an encore performance. Probably not going to happen, though. Never going to give you up. I don't know the full lyrics to the song. I know parts of it, but it's not uh, not one that I'm super well versed in. The Great Pretender? Do not know it. My Shot? I don't think I could... I don't think I know it enough to do it. Hurricane? Also probably don't know it confidently enough to, to do a full rendition. Even though it is, like, among my favorite songs in the musical. I get the lyrics very confused in it. Hit me baby one more time. Also don't know that. My Little Pony show theme song. I don't know the full lyrics to it, honestly. I know the, the abridged version of it. But I would want to do a full rendition, and I just don't know. Happy birthday to you. I'll, yeah, I'll just sing the happy birthday song. Get a quick copyright strike for singing Happy Birthday. Fly me to the moon. Who do you think I am, small ant? This is what you'll come to know about me, is that I do not, uh, I don't know the lyrics to many songs. <laughs> Nico and the Niners, never even heard of it. Sweet Home Alabama. I'm Too Sexy. Like, I know, like, parts of all these songs, but I don't know them nearly well enough to do any kind of full rendition. Google, Google the lyrics. I could Google the lyrics, it's true. Alright. Doing a quick mail purge here. Mail purge, look away. Bohemian Rhapsody. That one's close, honestly. I could probably do like 90% of that song. But unless I'm like 100% confident in a song and its lyrics and knowing it, I don't think that I want to do it because I feel like I just make a bigger fool of myself than I'm already going to. Yo, hey for Marnie, though. Uh, good quality stone. Just keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep digging through the mail. I don't even know what season we're in with the mail here. What songs do I know? It might be easier to list them, yeah. <laughs> I know songs from, from musicals to a certain capacity, from various musicals. I know songs from, uh, like, here's the problem, is most of the songs that I like and listen to are video game songs that generally don't have lyrics. Feel that chill in the air? Alright, we're at the end of, uh, at the end of fall. More hay, more hay for the pile, more hay for the eventual, uh, nest. The eventual chicken nest. Dancing Queen. We're just throwing out we're just throwing out uh, song names now. More hay. Another cactus fruit, yo, back to back. That could be a great sign of things to come. A little chocolate cake, gold bar. We gotta be nearing the end here. Alright, my secret friend this year, it's Kent again. We got Kent again. Have I seen Twisted the Musical? I have not. 
What a Wonderful World, Stardew Valley title screen song. I don't think that one has lyrics. Whatever your favorite My Little Pony song is. I haven't listened to so many of the My Little Pony songs in a long time that I wouldn't even know where to begin with that one, honestly. I know I'm shooting down a lot of your ideas. It, it must be frustrating, trust me. I know. <laughs> All right, let me let me let me sit here and look at chat and commit to something. I should learn never going to give you up for the next challenge I do. I'm just looking through chat. I'm just looking through chat. Crab Rabe Acapella. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Ten Dual Commandments. I can maybe try... The, the one that I was thinking maybe I could go back on and say that, you know what, maybe I do know it well enough to try it out. It's another Hamilton Jam. It's my shot. That was one of the earlier ones that was, that was thrown out there. Let me quickly... Let me quickly go... Google, let's see... My Shot Hamilton. Let me see if this... Let's see, lyrics. Um... You know what? If I just pull up the lyrics here, it's probably the best way to do it. <laughs> I'd like to do it while I'm still playing the game is the problem, so like I can't be looking at the lyrics and doing it at the same time, but... I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll commit to that one. I'm going to commit to my shot from Hamilton, and we'll give it a try. I'll give it a try after after the break, after this uh, word from your sponsors. And by sponsors, I mean, let's get this freaking, you know what? Let's get this toast. Do I know any songs from Heathers? Yes, but I can't think of a single song from Heathers that complies with the PG-13 rating. Maybe Beautiful. Maybe. I'm trying to think of, think that one through, though. It, it, would be, it would be skirting the line if I sang a song from Heathers for sure, though. Either way. Why Not Around the World by Daft Punk? It's a very easy song. I know the sound of silence. I don't know if that's close to what you're saying, but uh, sound of silence by I, the the one I'm more familiar with is the version by Disturbed. I know it's a Simon and Garfunkel original, but that's a great song. Maybe that's one for next time. Either way, get this get this metal music out of my ears. This is one of the few songs on the Stardew Valley soundtrack that I'm not really that big a fan of. No offense to Sam's band and its many remixes, but, you know, it just doesn't do it for me. It just doesn't do it. Veronica, open the door, please. Definitely can't sing that one, I'm pretty sure. All right. It's the 25th. I need a gift for Kent. I need a gift for Kent. He's getting a prismatic shard again. <laughs> we're gonna dwindle out of prismatic shard supplies. Do you think that we're gonna run out of prismatic shards before we, before we get this done? I certainly hope not. I haven't watered Timbeeb in a hot minute, so let's get this done. little supply crate run by the way not going to be nearly as many as as last year because i think this is this is only one year's worth of supply crates as opposed to however many years i had last time hello fresh we did not get any hello fresh yet hello fresh is on the horizon yo hold on though Forget all this. Forget the supply crates. We got the actual Winter Star song. Not this is not from the game, obviously, because we're not at the festival. We got we got to bring this one. We got to bring this one. This could be the sign. This could be the sign we've been looking for. This feels like more of a sign than just about anything else. Come on, come on. I don't know how long this song is. I I feel like we can get there if we can get in there before 9 a.m. Or not before 9 a.m. But by 9 a.m. and the song is still playing. 
I'm just saying, Chad. I'm just saying. I've never felt more confident. I've never felt more confident. The music has instilled me with a great level of confidence. Come on. Come on. We got a whole nother little refrain here to go. Please. Please. I'm waiting with bated breath. I'm just watching that clock, listening to the sounds. Like, it's it's going to be close, I feel like. Like, doesn't it start to fade off after this? I think it's going to start to fade off in a second. Get me in there. Get me in the festival. Get me in the festival. Yo! Yo, frame perfect timing? Frame perfect. It was still playing when we got in the festival. This is a sign. This is a sign? Marnie, please. Please. Chat, you do what you do best. You do what you do best. Full egg spam. Full egg spam as if your life depended on it. Throw as many eggs as you can down. Listen to the listen to the story of the Winter Star. Absolutely, Willie. Wow, so fascinating. Thank you. I've already gotten all the star drops. Next, please. Throw the eggs down. Fill it up. Do it until YouTube's auto mod situation, you know, <laughs> kicks you. No, I don't think I don't think YouTube does that. I don't have I don't have any filters set up for that. Please, please. I gotta go talk to Vincent, and then I gotta I gotta I gotta do things right. I gotta do things the way I know how to do them. I forewent it last year. I accidentally spoke to Haley when I didn't need to speak to Haley. I need a memory of Haley fresh in Chloe's mind when we go and try to get our, uh... Let me go and try to get this egg. The egg? It's, it's, oh my gosh, chat. You guys are actually killing it? You're killing it? Look at how many eggs are in chat. There's so many eggs. I don't know how many of those are just repeats of, like, the same people posting eggs over and over and over again. It's hard to keep up with it. But I see a lot of names. I see a lot of names scrolling by. Lurkers, I will call I will call you out. This is the one time I'll call you out not to post sevens. Post post eggs. Post eggs if you're lurking. Just post them, share them. Share them from here to your neighbor's house next door. Bring your invite your neighbor over and tell them, you know, get get on the horn with them and be like, "Yo, I need this is a weird request, but to go to this link on YouTube and spam some egg emojis. Get everyone you can in here. Egg, 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 Kent. Don't, don't do me dirty, okay? Don't do me dirty. Please, please to all that is holy. Yoba, if whoever's out there listening, let's just end this. Let's end this madness. Marnie, please. Enough's enough. I really, th I was, I was confident. I was confident in that one, chat. I thought there was a real, a very real chance. I thought there was a such a real chance after that musical cue that got us in here. After everything we put into this. You, you hit me with this Nautilus shell. A Nautilus shell, Abigail? It's nothing fancy, but it's the best I could afford. Just throw this on the list of reasons to hate Abigail. <laughs> Charlie Barley, I'm starting to see where you're coming from with this girl. Well, thanks for the Nautilus shell, I guess. Then we, we continue on here. We continue onward and upward. It's like an old egg. You're stretching with that one. You're stretching with that one, Pyrus, but... I appreciate the sentiment, nevertheless. This is an insult. This is a travesty. This is a mockery. Why, Mr. Anderson? Why, why, why? Why do you do it? Why? Why get up? Why keep fighting? Is it, you is it that you believe you're fighting for something? For more than your survival? Can you tell me what it is? Do you even know? Is it freedom? Or truth? Perhaps peace? Could it be for love? Illusions, Mr. Anderson. Vagaries of perception. Temporary constructs of a feeble human intellect trying desperately to justify an existence that is without meaning or purpose. And all of it is artificial as the Matrix itself. 
You must be able to see it, Mr. Anderson. You must know it by now. You can't win. It's pointless to keep fighting. Why, Mr. Anderson? Why, why do you persist? Because I choose to. Because I choose to. All right. Living up to the Matrix name, huh? <laughs> one of the greatest monologues of all time. One of the greatest villain monologues and one of the best possible answers that Keanu Reeves, a.k.a. Neo, could have given in that moment. Argon, please don't lose it. I'm just, you know, I'm just being me. I'm just going where the wind takes me. I'm still doing fine. I'm a-okay. Okay. Don't you worry about me. Hamilton time? Once we crest into the new year here, I'll hit you with a little Hamilton time. <gasps> One more meteor for the pile, baby. Oh, yeah. An explosion was heard in the night. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm going to go looking for it. Little explosivo. Right there, that's the one. <laughs> it didn't have, didn't have to go looking very far. It looks pretty solid. Maybe a very strong pickaxe could break it. Could you, do you think a steel pickaxe with a powerful enchantment is good enough? Rip. I think that's what, seven, seven meteorites? Eight? Something like that? <laughs> the explosion was Argon. <laughs> That's my tirade that I just went off on. That's that is the sound wave that uh, that emanated from it went full sonic boom and circled around the Earth back to me, and that was the explosion we just heard in the night. Welcome back, Drea. Indeed, no uh, no eggs, no ovoids yet, but we keep on trying. We persist because we choose to. I've already given Krobus a gift today. Thank goodness, because I was about to give him some hay. <laughs> The disrespect would have been something I could have never bounced back from. Alright. Let me get rid of this stuff, get rid of this stuff. I'm gonna go sell some mixed seeds as we go into... I'm. I, you know what, I'm just gonna say it, chat. I've said it many times in the past. Year 18 is upcoming. 18 is my lucky number. It's the number, the atomic number of argon on the periodic table of elements. Year 18. I don't necessarily want to put too much extra weight on it because year 18 is, is you know, it's a good year. Could be a good year. Let's not build it up too much, though. Let's not build it up. Let's be... Let it... I'll let it be what it is. But year 18, I'm just putting it out there in the universe. Lucky number. If you believe in that sort of thing. Here we go. Little cock a doodle -doo. Rose Waver, thank you for the $10 super chat. Just says you do not own a horse. Confirmed. Still do not own a horse to this day. It's still going. Welcome, Lesbianaconda. All right. Update, exclamation point, year. Current in-game year is 18. And I believe now, chat, I think I owe you guys. I think I owe you a little Hamilton song from from a couple years ago. You called me out on it, and I got... I, you know what? I'm a man of my word. I'm going to... I don't know if it's better or if I like turn the music off or not. I'm not going to play like the the actual song, like the instrumental version of it in the background, because that's the quickest way to get in copyright struck that I've ever heard. <laughs> so this might be horrible with the with the music going on in the background here. You know what? I honestly, I, you know what? We're gonna go full, not quite acapella. We're muting it. You're here just in time for this. All right. I'm going to be looking at the lyrics, so we're putting the game on pause for a moment, taking a little break. Welcome to the musical interlude of the stream chat. Here we go. This is going to be... I'm going to do my best, I promise. My, vo my throat is kind of raw, and I'm not that well-versed with this one, but I had the lyrics up on screen. 
This is going to be my shot from Hamilton, as sung by Alexander Hamilton, as sung by Argon Matrix. Let me take a quick water break, and we'll get to, we'll get to it. All right. <clears throat> I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Ayo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I'ma get a scholarship to King's College. I probably shouldn't brag, but dag, I'm amazed and astonished. The problem is I got a lot of brains, but no polish. I gotta holler just to be heard with every word. I drop knowledge, I'm a diamond in the rough. I shine a piece of coal, trying to re reach my goal, my power of speech, unimpeachable. Only 19, but my mind is older. These New York City streets get colder. I shoulder every burden, every disadvantage I have learned to manage. I don't have a gun to brandish. I walk these streets famished. The plan is to fan this spark into a flame. But damn, it's getting dark, so let me spell out my name. I am the A-L-E-X-A-N-D-E-R. We are meant to be a colony that runs independently. Meanwhile, Britain keeps earn on us endlessly. Essentially, they tax us relentlessly. Then King George turns around, runs a spending spree. He ain't ever gonna set his descendants free. So there will be a revolution in this century. Enter me, he says in parentheses. Don't be shocked when your history book mentions me. I will lay down my life if it sets us free. Eventually, you'll see my ascendancy. And I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Ayo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. It's time to take a shot. I dream of life without the monarchy. The unrest in France will lead to anarchy. Anarchy? Anarchy. How you say it? Oh, anarchy. <laughs> when I fight, I, le I make the other side panicky with my shot. Yo, I'm a tailor's apprentice, and I got y'all knuckleheads a loco parentis. I'm joining the rebellion because I know it's my chance to socially advance. Instead of sewing some pants, it's, I'm going to take a shot. And we'll never be truly free until those in bondage have the same rights as you and me. You or I, do or die. Wait till I sally in on a stallion with the first black battalion. Have another shot. Geniuses, lower your voices. You keep out of trouble, and you double your choices. I'm with you, but the situation is fraught. If you've got to be carefully taught, you're, if you talk, you're going to get shot. Bird, check what we've got. Mr. Lafayette, hard rock like Lance a lot. I think your pants look hot. Lawrence, I like you a lot. Let's hatch a plot. Blacker than the kettle, call on the pot. What are the odds the gods will put us all in one spot? Popping the squad on conventional wisdom, like it or not. A bunch of revolutionary manumission abolitionists. Give me a position, show me where the ammunition is. Oh, am I talking too loud? Sometimes I got overexcited. Shoot off at the mouth. I never had a group of friends before. I promise that'll make y'all proud. Let's get this guy in front of a crowd. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Ayo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Ay, I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Ayo, just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. My shot. Everybody sing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Should let him hear you. Yeah. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said shout it to the rooftops. Whoa. I said shout it to the rooftops. Whoa. Hey, come on, come on. Rise up. When you're living on your knees, you rise up. Tell your brother that he's got to rise up. Tell your sister that she's got to rise up. When are these colonies going to rise up? 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 Rise up. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. When's it going to get me? In my sleep, seven feet ahead of me. If I see it coming, do I run or do I let it be? Is it like a beat without a melody? See, I never thought I'd live past 20. Where I come from, some get half as many. Ask anybody why we're living fast, and we laugh, reach for a flask we have to make this moment last. That's plenty. Scratch that. This is not a moment. It's the movement where they're all, where all the hungriest brothers with something to prove. When foes oppose, we stand. Uh, we take an honest stand. We roll like Moses, claiming our promised land. And if we win our independence, is that a guarantee of freedom for our descendants? Or will the blood we shed begin an endless cycle of vengeance and death with no defendants? I know the action on the street and is exciting, but Jesus, between all the bleeding and fighting, I've been reading and writing. We need to handle our financial situation and are we a nation of states what's the state of our nation i'm past patiently waiting and i'm passionately mashing every expectation every action is an act of creation i'm laughing in the face of casualties and sorrow for the first time i'm thinking past tomorrow and i am not throwing away my shot i am not throwing away my shot 
Hey yo, I'm just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. We're gonna rise up when you li- I'm not- I'm not throwing away my shot. We're gonna rise up. I am not throwing away- I don't know, this is all- it's all going crazy. It's time to take a shot, rise up, it, yada, yada, yada. End scene. You know what, it goes kind of crazy at the end anyway, so I'm- I'm just gonna let that be. I'm just gonna let that be, and hope that I spare your ears- any further damage here. Ooh, man, I kind of threw myself into that one. That, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> Let me take a quick, uh, I'm going to take a quick hydration break after that one, I think. Thank you, Koji, for the $5 super chat. It says bravo, roses, applause, etc., etc. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? I'm honestly happy. I'm pretty happy with how that went. I obviously was, it was obviously not perfect. I kind of stumbled and stammered in a few places, but I was not afraid to go there. I went there. I went as hard as I could. Thank you for blessing my ears. I think you misspelled, uh, misspelled breaking my ears, but you know, you're welcome, Tiffany. Thank you very much for the $5 super chat as well. I have a good one, Subalt. At any rate, that's our musical interlude for the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. It's the only one you're going to get this stream because I don't think my throat can handle another one. <laughs> Let's sleep, year 18. In case anyone remembers, we're still playing Stardew Valley here. Let's go. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Uh, for J from Jade Beach as well. Today I heard a deranged man sing after convincing 261 people to chant egg. Some of the, one of the strangest story, not possibly not the strangest story I've ever heard, but you know what? <laughs> kind of sounds almost sinister in a way, especially when you use the word chant. Thank you very much, Lisa. <laughs> it was a, uh... oh man, that was a fun one. It's a it's a fun song to sing. I don't know the full lyrics as well as I'd like to, probably. In fact, you know, I'm actually going to, real quick, let me close out the lyrics tab, just, you know, save resources and all that. Your toddler played drums in a company to me. That is the most wholesome thing I've ever heard. Rebescapades. <laughs> I'm glad that the to I'm glad that your, uh, your toddler liked it. All right. What the heck was I even doing? <laughs> I'm just sleeping. I'm giving gifts to Krobus, and I'm uh, and we're going for the feast of the Winter Star again. Guys, I went to make toast. Did I miss anything, Jacob? I don't know how long you were away making toast, but uh, <laughs> you may have missed something. Not the egg though. So if you're here for that, if that's the main thing you're here for, you know, our time still our time still awaits. Yo, Alex Reinders, thank you very much for the $10 super chat as well. You got your egg there already primed and ready to go for when the next spam comes around. Hopefully you'll be able to tune in later. Thank you very much for all the amazing streams and the, and the glorious content. You know what, you're, ve you're very welcome. You're very welcome. I'm glad that you've been here and been part of the community. The generosity is greatly appreciated. Like, honestly, it, I hope it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Thank you guys so much for the amount of support. Both, like, obviously, like financially and otherwise. Speaking of which, Alex Alex Reinders, thank you for becoming a YouTube member as well at the Electron level. Greatly appreciate the support there, too. Even if you've never financially supported and never will financially support the stream, it's, like, it's secondary to everything else. The, the, the support you can give, like, moral support and, you know, comments, stream chats, just watching, just being here in general, whether you like, leave a comment, whatever. Just having you here, having your presence be felt, being part of this community, it's all I could ever ask for. And the fact that some of you are willing to go above and beyond even that is mind-boggling to me. So thank you so much. Gray B, thank you for the $2 super chat. Doing cheese this year? <laughs> Karita, are you in? I can't answer that question for Karita. If you, if you guys feel like mixing it up a little bit, I'm still going to call for the same old song and dance, I think. I'm an old soul like that. I believe in tradition, but you know what? Do what you feel is right.
you'll be back. <laughs> at this at this rate, I'm gonna be singing the entire freaking Hamilton oeuvre. I'm gonna I'm gonna cop Blades bit and just you know sing the whole musical at some point. <laughs> Don't tempt me though. All right, I gotta clear up my mail real quick. Clear out the mail. A lot of mail early on in the season, I'll tell you that. That's that's a lot of mail for f a mere 14 days. Speaking of 14 days, we know we we all know spring 14th. It's a very important day. What day is it, everybody? Say it with me now. That's right. It's Haley's birthday. Alex, thank you very much for the uh, for the 50 sec, 50 sek. Need to go now, but good luck with the chicken seed. Thank you so much. I appreciate the good luck. Every little bit, every little bit helps. Thank you, thank you, and have a good night. Haley's birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> nice try, Gale. Nice try, Gale, known troll. I'll always take his advice with a pinch of salt here. Here you go, girl. Is this, is this the finale song? Is this the perfection song? It's a little early on in the in the year to be playing it, but maybe the game's just getting ahead of itself. It's, it's given me a sign of something else greater to come. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, this is definitely the song that plays over the credits, I'm pretty sure. We're going to hear this live in the actual game later this stream. Mark my words. Mark my words, you heard it here first. Get it in writing. I'll write it down for you. This song goes hard too. This is this is a great like finale song, honestly. So so good. The cheese movement is alive. Gale, yeah, Karita kept it up in your presence. Or in your absence, I suppose. Even changed even changed their name. <laughs> Karita, you changed your name again. Respect. I respect the dedication to the grind. Unsurpassable Zed streams tonight, right? Like, does is, does he have a stream that starts in, if I'm remembering his stream schedule right, roughly half an hour? Let me know if I'm correct on that. Is he streaming tonight, or is he not streaming tonight? I I'm pretty sure he's a Thursday streamy boy, but I don't know for 100% uh, fact off the top of my head. I'm just going off of intel that's latent within my brain. Any Zed fans in chat that can, that can confirm or deny this? Isn't he in Germany? Oh, he is on vacation. He is on vacation. You, you're absolutely right. I, well, I don't know if he's on vacation, but he is he is traveling. You're absolutely correct about that. I was going to get you guys to go over to his stream when it started and be like, hey. <laughs> get get I needed to get his get his luck. I need to get some uh, some luck, some well wishes from him. Just any any little bit helps. But if that's not, I mean, I wish him a good time in Germany then. That's fair. Zed has very fun ideas for his stream. He's a very creative individual. That's very, that's absolutely true. He's got many, many ideas. And that's kind of where your head's got to be if you're doing a lot of variety content like he does. Goes without saying. You'll never forget the start of you but loud stream. Oh my gosh, this red chair. That's quite that's quite a statement there, Krovis. A, a just this blisteringly bright red chair. Look at this thing. That's a beautiful cherry red chair right there. We're almost out of room for chairs around the dinner table. <laughs> it's a little much. A little much. I'm gonna go ahead and check the mail as well. Bop, bop, little parsnip, little tom ka soup, battery pack, omelette du fromage. That's French for cheese omelet, in case you were curious. Do 
You don't have any mail. You also do not own a horse, for the record. You think Therm is streaming right now? I don't think I don't think I've ever I've I've spoken to Z Zed on one occasion when he was in here in chat one time. I've never spoken to Therm, so I don't necessarily feel comfortable telling you guys to go like pseudo raid his stream. But respect, respect to him. Your horse does not own a male. <laughs> We're just conflating too many things now. Do I speak French? Oui, je sais un petit peu de français. I was in French immersion for 13 years, kindergarten through grade 12, so it's uh, it's ingrained and instilled within me. I don't get to use it all that often, so it's pretty rusty, but all the building blocks, the fundamentals are still in there. Was that a Dexter's Lab reference? The omelette du fromage. I honestly don't know what that's if that's referencing anything. <laughs> I've heard it before. I've heard it said as like a French colloquialism, but maybe it's a Dexter's Lab thing because I did watch Dexter's, Dexter's Lab as a kid, and it's uh, it's highly possible that's a that's a latent memory that's come to the surface. Sleeping the year away, indeed. We're after one thing and one thing alone. Chat, what are we after? Tell, tell the newcomers what, we, what we're here to see. We have one last hurdle remaining between me and perfection. You can encapsulate it in three little letters. It goes a little something like this. It's not cheese. It's, it's not cheese. Cheese is more than three letters, chat. I... Do I have to do another counting with Argon section? You have my permission to, to say it right now, for the record, in case that was not abundantly clear. We're, we're looking for an egg. We're looking for a small white egg for Marnie at the Feast of the Winter Star, because it's the only way to get a small white egg for free, and hence the, re the way that we're going to save money by getting it for free, and then we can ship it off, and that'll be our last requirement for perfection, and we'll be done and dusted. Was that so hard, chat? Instead, you're out here saying cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheese, three letters and an apostrophe. Touche. Touche, Addy. Baby, we're here for cheese. If I wanted cheese, I'd, I'd wait until Friday, go trade some emeralds at the Desert Trader and call it, the, call it a freaking day. This is, this is not a cheese stream. We're looking for other uh, other outlets for our for our protein. Is cheese protein? Cheese is cheese protein. What's what's more protein rich, cheese or eggs? It's got to be eggs, I would imagine. Cheese is protein. No wonder I love it so much. I I just love protein in general. I think. I'm a, I'm a protein peer. Eggs are better. I would say in general, I like cheese more than eggs. But eggs do hit different depending on the last time you've had an egg. Like, I think that eggs are great breakfast foods and then cheese are great. Cheese is great at every other meal other than breakfast. You can also have like a cheese omelet, obviously. That's that goes without saying. Cheese during breakfast. It's not something I normally think of. I normally think of breakfast as less cheese centric. I think of cheese as like a sandwich thing or a uh, or something for dinner as part of like a pasta, like a lasagna type deal. Maybe a little ziti, you know. Eat your protein, kids. Kids don't become Greg hefty. Never heard that one before. Gotta get that protein. I have not, uh, I have not partaken in protein shakes very much in my days. But I know that's a pretty good way to get some protein. Excuse me. We got another ficus. Another ficus. 
for the collection. Thank you, Krobus. Dot, dot, dot. That's all you gotta say for yourself, huh? We'll have another diamond and call me in the morning. Tim Beeb's chasing the butterfly. Did you see that? That's just like him. That's the most Tim Beeb thing I've ever seen him do. Head cannon is that Argon is buff as heck. This is why I don't have a face cam. I don't want to shatter your dreams. Hey, Awkward Squirrel, thank you for the $5 super chat. You might be interested to know that because you load with Smappy and your sleep is only your sleep is only 100 milliseconds versus 600 milliseconds normal load time. Found out in the speedrun Discord. Because I load with Smappy. Okay, so I actually sleep faster with Smappy than without. I'm hacking. Is what you're telling? Is that what you're telling me? Is I'm actually cheating? Just because of Smappy specifically? I don't. I don't want to be a cheater. I don't want to be a cheater, you guys. Time to scrap the entire run. No, I appreciate the. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate the the intel there. That's actually good to know that it's taking considerably less time than otherwise would. All right. There you go, my friend. My friendly neighborhood Krobus. I'm a big cheater. Alright, quick little mail run here. Run to the mail room. Has anyone in chat ever worked in a mail room? I don't have the experience of this, but it's always that uh, that job that they go to in like TV shows that have that like take place in an office in some capacity. That's like the worst of all places to work. And when I picture a mail room and like what you would do there, like sort through mail and all that stuff, I get it could probably be pretty overwhelming. But it's also got to be kind of like therapeutic in a weird way, at least for me, for a certain type of person. I think it could be an okay job to have. You did it was rad. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I think a mailroom vibe could be a fun vibe to work in. You're also probably like suffering alongside a lot of other people who are also working in the mailroom so they can commiserate with you. You love to sort. Sorting is definitely... That's a great scene, by the way, right there. A little Tim Beeb and Krobus action. Yo, it's still going. You love repetitive tasks? Me too. Can you tell? What gave it away? Argon abandoned streaming to go work in a mailroom. It's like one of those where are they now segments. Once I reach the end of the Price of Perfection, it's just going to come up with like one of those black title cards with the white aerial text on it. And just says, uh, it just says, several months after finishing the challenge, Argon gave up streaming entirely and was, was later found to be working in a mailroom. In the, in the basements of Google. No, I would never do that to you guys. At least not without notice. Sorting mail is very brain off and zen on the right day. Is that how all my, all my mail gets lost? No, I've, I've had very few experiences with, this, with mail getting lost. Or like just not delivered or whatever. I've had not the best uh, best track record with Amazon over the past like couple months. I keep trying to order this audio equipment from various sources through Amazon, and it's just not working out. I think uh, Lisa, I don't know, are you still here? Because you had you had a recommendation for where to get audio equipment from that was not Amazon. I might have to I might have to ask you about that one. I think it was you anyway. It might be worth going just more directly to the source for audio equipment instead of worrying about these this this Amazon nonsense. Sweetwater? Maybe give me a reminder of that one in the form of like a Discord message or something like that so that I remember after the stream. Because I think I would like to look into that. Fantastic customer service, happy to hear it. I'll I'll definitely give it a look if I uh, if I remember or am reminded otherwise. Where are we at as far as as Krobus love, by the way? We've lost two hearts. That's okay. His birthday is coming up pretty soon here, so I can make up some ground there. I think best case scenario, you can get usually like two to three hearts specifically from a birthday gift, like a loved gift on their birthday. 
is a lot of points. If it was like an iridium quality thing, I think that'd be even better for me, but I ain't got no iridium quality diamonds. What if crystallariums worked the same way as fruit trees, that after you leave them for such and such time, doing their thing, they start to produce even higher quality minerals, and you can start to get like silver, gold, and iridium quality minerals? That would be kind of awesome, honestly. There did used to be like gold and silver quality quartz and stuff like that in the game. I remember that from Wallagug's video, I think, that he made going into like a, like diving into the old updates of Stardew Valley. Loved Iridium Gift is almost four hearts, so I think we're probably good then. Three hearts if it's a gold quality favorite gift. We'll see. We'll, we'll be at least, if we don't make it all the way to 14 hearts with this gift on Krobus' birthday, it's going to be close. One way or the other. If, there, if you've been playing from the very start, there are some quality ores and stuff. How many save files out there do you think have, like, organic quality ores and, like, quartz and stuff like that from re relics from, like, version 1.0 of Stardew Valley? How many save files out there exist with those on them legitimately? By the way, nice, nice pink office chair here. I guess we'll add it. This is not, I mean... If you came into a house, invited over for, for dinner, and you saw this collection of chairs around a dining table, and on said dining table was a small statuette of a chicken, would you turn around and leave immediately, or would you be like, I found my people? By the way, Crow is back at 14 hearts. You love to see it. Krobus loves chairs and end tables. It would be like Thanksgiving. Instead of getting a turkey or anything for Thanksgiving, we just have this porcelain chicken. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy staring at it. We don't actually have any food. I will go to sleep here, but I'm also going to go clear out the mail post-haste, because it has been a full season. Let's get her done. We have officially crested into the 18th winter, by the way. Winter has arrived. Did you bring your coat? Lucky number 18. Let's make it count, shall we? I know there's many people on board this cheese brigade. Can I can I briefly petition the cheese brigade and pretend like I'm I'm like some kind of lawyer or something trying to convince you of an argument here? Okay? Year 18 is my year. Like I've said, at, like I said at the start, the atomic number of Argon is 18. You you can spam all the cheese you want next time. Can we can we can I please have this one? Can you please give this to me? Can the cheese coalition briefly step down? Just, just briefly, I'll get, I'll give you full reign to spam all the cheese you want in year 19. But this one, please, just give me this one. Year 18 is my year. No, no, no. <laughs> Alright, mods, ban everyone who said no. Just kidding. Don't do that. You'll stop if I drink sap. Never again. Now that I asked, no. <laughs> oh, thanks for asking. No. <laughs> Bugs Bunny. No. Yo, welcome back, Blaze. Or welcome to the stream. If you're if this is your first time here, we are still going. Eight hours deep, eight hours plus. We're on we're in the final third of the stream. Why am I keeping the hay? It's a it's a gift from Marnie. For in the mail. And I'm hoping that by keeping it and showing her that I appreciate her gift and her, you know, her friendship in general, that maybe something in the code will be like, oh, he likes Marnie. Like this, this is a this is a player who favors Marnie in some capacity, and it'll be like, all right, let's you know skew the numbers. Instead of three percent, maybe maybe we got a five percent chance at getting her the Feast of the Winter Star. You never know. You never know until it actually happens.
You've, it's been eight hours. You've been here almost the whole time, Chase. Great respect to you. Hit me with a thumbs up in chat if you've been here for the entirety of the stream or close to it. No disrespect if you haven't been. I understand that people have lives and other commitments and stuff, and I appreciate being here at all. But this this one's a this one's another that meteorite's for you for all all the people who have been here for the entire stream. That meteor meteor number eight third in the night. That one's for you. Yo, that's a lot of thumbs up. <laughs> that's more than I anticipated, honestly. A lot of people have been here for the entire thing. Thank you so much, if you have been hanging out. Alright, let's go find this. Let's go find this piece. That's that's the most recent one. I remember that. Is there another one in Perfection Island? Do you think it's possible? Double meteors all the way across the sky? In in and out of lurk mode? I've seen you around, Fiona. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, the trees. The trees have taken over. The trees have eyes. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I think this might be the new one. Seven, eight. Yeah, that's the, I think it's I think it's this one right here is the new one. That's a lot of trees. <laughs> that's a ton of trees. They're reclaiming the land. They're going to be uh, they're going to be within like eyesight before I know it. All right. The real reason I'm out here. Let's see who our, uh, who we have to give a gift to, to this year. Anyone but Marnie? ABM. Can we get some ABM spam in chat? Anyone but Marnie? Specifically for this. Don't take this the wrong way, game. Alright. Anyone but Marnie. ABM. Quick hit, hit you with a quick hydration break while I hold the suspense of this. Anyone but Marnie. ABM. ABM. Please. Alex! Alex, baby! Alright, I can I can I can definitely take Alex. I can I can get something good for Alex. What does Alex love? If there's one thing I know my boy Alex loves, it's uh eggs. <laughs> he loves a complete breakfast and a salmon dinner. Can I make a complete breakfast? Is that within my power to do? Complete breakfast is a fried egg, milk, hash browns, and pancakes. I don't think I have any leftover milk, do I? I could pop over to the desert and grab some extra milk. I have one milk. Are you kidding me? I have a single milk. What else did I need? Milk, fried egg, hash browns, and pancakes. Pancakes also require milk. No, they require eggs. I, hash browns? Hash browns, potato, and oil? Give me a little little hash brown. Give me a little pancake. What else do I need? I need a fried egg. Give me a little... Wait for it. Wait for it, though. We're putting, all, we're putting our all into this one. Like I said, it's year 18. I gotta go all out as far as I can. A little complete breakfast. Chi seasoned. Plus 360 energy. You've never seen this much energy from a single piece of food. You, I feel ready to take on the world. I would launch that in a second. Absolutely. Yo. Little complete breakfast. Alex is going to be over the freaking moon with this. It might be a little cold by the time we get it to him, but... I'll keep it warm with my body heat. Just, just sleep with the dish. <laughs> the person you give a gift to can be the one you, who gives you a gift. Chaos Stripe, I believe that Blade... D confirmed that for us. He uh, dispelled that. La one, on one of the previous streams, I went and, uh, like, Blade was in the chat. I asked him, and he looked into the code, and he said that there's a clause in place that prevents it from happening. So, I'll, I'll trust Blade on that one, but I don't... You, you know your uh, stuff pretty well, too, Chaos Stripe, so... Conflicting messages from experts? It's, it's tough to say. But I think I gotta go with Blade on this one. Because I know that he's, uh... <laughs> He, he's done a lot for this challenge. Not that you haven't, obviously. I don't know. Might might be worth looking into a second time, is all I'm going to say. It's all I'm going to say. All right. Off to bed. Let's go. We called him. 
you you guys did summon Blade. I don't know how you did it. I I don't know if he was like somewhere at the time that you could reach out to him and you're like, Blade, get in here, get in here. But you do have the uncanny power to summon Blade at a moment's notice. He joined the chat after we called him, it's true. All right. Here we go, chat. The 18th Feast of the Winter Star. I got a cheese-seasoned, complete breakfast ready for my main man, Alex. Krobus? Here's your, here's your gift, too. Pave it forward. Pave it forward. Or pay it forward. Lucky lunch? You know what? That's That might be exactly what we need. Krobus coming in come clutch with the lucky lunch. Plus three luck for this festival. It's a perfect storm. It's a perfect storm, y'all. In the eye of a hurricane, there is quiet for just a moment. A yellow sky. Not full hearts with Krobus, that's fine. That's totally fine. As long as we're over 10 hearts, that's what counts. Let's clear out our mail here. Do our due diligence, a cactus fruit. A cactus fruit on the day of the Feast of the Winter Star. Literally the last piece of mail that we could have gotten. The signs are all lining up. This could be the perfect storm. Could be the perfect storm. Go clear out these supply crates real quick. <laughs> In before Marnie is the one and she gives you cheese just to taunt you. Literally not possible within the game's code, but the power of the power of cheese within chat is just so profound that it influences the game itself. You know, stranger things have happened. Ooh, hello fresh. Don't mind if I do. The trees appear to be in a bit of a stasis. They oh never mind, they've actually gotten they're they're wrapping around this whole area here. Oh no. <laughs> my rare crow friends, what have they done to you? Oh my goodness. It's alright, it's alright. The forest can't encroach that much farther. It's a war, it's a race against time at this point. Will I get the will I get the gift that I so desperately crave before the trees really <laughs> become a major impediment here? Could go either way. Could go either way. Little mango sticky rice. No thank you. I don't know how long that's been sitting there. Saw one last supply crate up here. Let's get that out of there. A little mixed seed action. No and thank you. Timby. Merry Christmas as well. Save the mixed seeds. I don't I don't feel like I need to save the mixed seeds for anything in particular, but I appreciate your commitment. Let's go in, chat. I know there's still some people on my side. There are many people who are who are on the cheese train right now. Don't be dissuaded, okay? We're getting into this festival. Don't be dis don't be dissuaded. Don't be disappointed. Work hard. Fight against the cheese. Spam all the eggs you got. Spam all of them. Every which way. Every which way. Maybe I should talk to Marnie second to last. Instead instead of Haley. Might be an idea for future runs here if we have to. But I don't think we're going to have to. I think this. In the night sky of winter, there is a bright star only visible from this valley. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a star? No, it's an egg. It's an egg. Look at all these eggs. Look at the pure power of eggs in chat. I see I see very little in the way of cheese. I don't know, maybe maybe my heartfelt speech about year 18 being my year and everything did touch some people and you know the cheese the cheese is not as provolone as it once was. It's not as it's not as pervasive. Just full eggs, full eggs all day, every day. 
Alright, Alex, well, I'll be back for you in just a moment. Emily, I would I very much like a jug of spiced mead. I'm just throwing her off my scent. I don't want her to mix anything up here. Just all eggs, all eggs. I see a little cheese leaking in there. That's okay. You know what? Cheese and eggs go hand in hand pretty nicely anyway. So maybe there's still some hope yet. I'm going to hope that it's hopium and not copium. Pierre talking about his sales figures. I wouldn't know anything about that, sir. Money is of little concern to me anymore. I have no I have no need for it. I have transcended the need for gallers. Merry Christmas, Haley. Alright. Let's get around this side. Let's get around this side. This feels a little more impactful here. Give Alex his secret gift. We stuffed this thing full of eggs, by the way. There's so many eggs in this complete breakfast. He's he's loving that. He's loving that. The eggs. We've given we've given you a an offering. This is my year. This is year 18. Please. Please, for the love of everything. Just show it to me. Show me that lovely ranch lady. You know her, you love her. Here's Marnie! It's the wrong, uh... It's the wrong middle-aged woman. If I was in the no level up challenge right now, I might be screaming. Oh, give me the hardwood, Robin. Give me some hardwood. Give me hardwood, Robin. Not Pog, but I could reset the day and try again, you know? It's, it's not the no level up challenge, though. It hits different. It's a relic of an age gone by. <laughs> Marty, did you get a haircut? 99 wood, huh? 99 wood, it's good, because I don't have very many trees growing on my farm, so it could be hard to come by wood. We're getting Marnie adjacent in one way or another. We're getting we're getting Marnie every way to Sunday. Try to reset the day, do it. I appreciate your passion there, Zombo. Please try to keep it contained within one message in the future. <laughs> I know you're a mod, but, you know, mods have limits too. Um, But I know for a fact that resetting the day would not work. It has been confirmed. I've tested it. All right. Leave the Feast of the Winter Star. Let's go. We'll get it next year. I'm trusting you on that, TDP. You're tired? No worries. No worries. You may be tired. I'm just getting started, baby. Eight and a half hours in. I still got lots of fuel in the tank. Don't worry about me. Don't you worry about me, kid. Guys, gals, non-binary pals. Let's keep going, shall we? Actually, before I keep going, I will let you know I'm kind of ravenous right now. I'm a little hungry. I'm going to go to sleep for the night. And I think now is a good time to take my second long-form break where I will go get some form of dinner. I don't know in what capacity yet, but I'll figure something out, I'm sure. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. We'll be back in 15, 20 minutes-ish for, uh, for the continuation. 375,000 and one dollar. <laughs> While I'm away, please enjoy the uh, the clip show. If you missed it earlier, then uh, now is your chance to, to get caught up on some memorable moments from the, cha the challenges past. If not, if you did see it before, then enjoy again. <laughs> I'll be right back once I am uh, once my stomach bag is full and ready to go. Until then, please enjoy. That's a good Haley quote. She says I should have brought my camera. You know what that means. You know what that means. She should have brought her camera because she's about to witness history. This is our moment. Haley, get the camera. Get the camera. Chat. Camera emojis. It's our time. This is our moment. Dish of the sea. Homemade. Home cooked. Home cooked. Goodness. That's the legend, baby. Urgh! 49 inches! You go tell the world! 
Tell them that you were here for this moment. Tuesday the 16th of spring, year four. That's a screenshot. That's a clip and a half. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that feels good. Will I play one more game of Junimo Kart? At least one more. This is the last one because we're going to get 50,000 points on this game. Mark my words. You heard it here first. Clip it. Clip it. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. Don't. No, don't clip that. Don't clip that. That's embarrassing. Now I know how people on live stream fails feel. So satisfying. Tim Beeb. All right. Wait, Tim Beeb loves me! I almost missed it! You... Oh, someone clip that! Clip that! <laughs> oh! I love you too, Tim B. Don't go to sleep for the night. No, 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 no. We're spending, we're spending, we got, we, we love our boy. I love you so much, Tim B. Tim B loves me. Oh! I gotta spend a little time with, with my best boy here. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Just this, I love, I love Chloe's slow blink. I love the slow blink. Just she stare at she's like, you know what? I can't. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're weak? Weak that. Alright, um <laughs> okay. We'll just catch another one. It's not a big deal. <laughs> that's what that's what chaos does to a man. That's that's nine out of ten chaos. We just tipped over into ten out of ten chaos chaos stream. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> He's good. He's still good. We're still fighting. I'm still kicking. That's a one up. Those exist. <laughs> the run lives on. Get out of my face. Give me some clearance here. Give me some clearance. I'm not going down without a fight. You can't make me. You can't make me. I will survive. Maybe not that long, though. Try my best to make human food. Wait, my inventory was full. Aw, oh, frick. <laughs> Can you still give it to me, Krobus? Hold on. Hold on. Let me just plonk this thing down. Who cares? Give me... Sir? Oh. Or did he give me a triple shot espresso? I don't even know. My inventory was full, so I didn't get whatever he was going to give me there. That's okay. What I will do is I'll pop a little uh, dino egg in the mayonnaise machine here. Excuse me? Krobus? <laughs> he just murdered Neptune! What on earth? Oh no! Did you hear that horrible sound? <laughs> I did not see that one coming! Oh my god! What in the world? <laughs> Krobus has zero chill. <laughs> Show me a large brown egg. Just make up for it. There's the, there's that's where all our egg luck went into this pit. What the, what the heck? I misclicked. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it. I swear. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> I was so excited. I was I was I'm. I need to let out my egg excitement somehow, chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a reset. Well, here's here's a good example. We do save scum sometimes for mistakes just like this. Frickin' oops. This fried egg. What the heck? Sunny side up, baby. It doesn't even matter anymore. Oh my god. Hopefully I didn't miss anything important. I missed something catastrophically important, you guys. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I didn't... S oh, no. Oh. How could I... I was so focused on other things. You guys. 
We forgot Haley's birthday. <laughs> we forgot Haley's birthday. <laughs> no. No. Oh, here we go. All right, so now I should hit this. And that should show the overlay just, like, when I hit the thing. Hey, by the way, that's Beat Seeds. What? <laughs> All right, I guess we don't really need the overlay anymore, do we? <laughs> what? Just... Ah, uh, sucker punch me, why don't you? Literally come through the screen. Eric Baroni, concerned ape, walk through the screen and punch me in the face. I'd be less surprised. I would be absolutely... <laughs> I uh, what is, what in the world? What in the actual world are the odds of that? The first chest, the first day of the first stream of the week. <laughs> I don't even. I. I guess we're done. I guess we're done with Skull Cavern. All right, it is starting to get late. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Is this what you do all day, Haley? You just hang out in your room? Or is it because I'm here? It's because I'm here. I'm making things weird. I'm not talking. I, I should be talking. I should be inciting the conversation. I should be... Um, have you? How, how are you liking the jukebox? How are you liking the jukebox? Is there... Uh, Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. What about back here? What about back here? It's locked for now. All right, well, it is it is getting pretty late. I should probably should probably get going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. I was I was too forward. I'm sorry. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'm out of here. Oh gosh. G good night. Good night. Stupid, stupid. There's our copper axe. It had to be done eventually. As does this. We're we're 100% sure that you need a steel axe to get into the secret woods, right? A copper axe just will not do even if it's enchanted. I'm I I I'm like 99% sure. But, is it worth, like, going to test it? So these three down here, we got all unenchanted. So as expected, hopefully, this does nothing. Your axe isn't strong enough to break this log. Copper axe, also not strong enough to break the log. The steel axe should be, but we're going to avoid that for now. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's do reverse order here. So copper axe... Powerful enchantment. This is the moment of truth. I've seen it on video. I've never tested this. This is my first time doing it in-game. But, by all accounts, this should work. That works. Okay, it didn't give me the little pop-up message. It, it made, like, the little thunka. So it's definitely going to work. Now, regular axe with a powerful enchantment. Also works. All right, they tell me green is a 75% chance, though, so ha it couldn't happen. It could, could four times in a row, so surely not possible. Chat. Um. Chat? <laughs> Are you guys okay? All right, we're betting orange. Um. Let's go with, I guess this would be, what, 23? <laughs> okay, what the f- <laughs> No, no, I refuse. Okay, uh, green, 12. Okay. What is actually happening? <laughs> what, is, what? What is this? What is this? I. This is actually rigged. It'll be okay. We're not gonna kill any of the slimes ourselves. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> we're not gonna. We're not gonna kill any of the slimes ourselves. At least not yet. 
Probus, help, please. We got a bit of an infestation here. Get your sword. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh, he's a machine! He's a, he's a machine! Look at him go! <laughs> oh my god, it's a massacre! Look away! Look away! Sensitive viewers! <laughs> Oh my god, it's like a it's like a meat grinder. He's got zero chill. Holy crap. Krobus. <laughs> I think it would be quite an experience, because I know Hollow Knight is like a masterpiece, according to many people. And I feel like I'd fall in that camp as well. Alright, let me actually when you get a chance, you actually have to kind of focus on the game for a little bit. Wait a sec. Wait, what the what the heck? I just did it! <laughs> you just caught one of the legendary fish! Who needs a dish of the sea? Oh, not me. Not me! Glacier fish builds a nest on the underside of glaciers. 45 energy? That's a slap in the face. Eric Baroni, what are you doing to me? We're gonna do it. We're, bu we're buying a horse flute. That's all my money. But is it worth it? Do we get the astral pony of our dreams? You do not own a horse. You don't have to say it so bluntly. Oh my god. By the way, you don't own a horse. You do not own a horse. Oh no. You do not own a horse. Rip me, I guess. Oh my god. Alright, take this L, Fector. This pure heart will keep me alive. Scumbag. Can't you like? We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's 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 all good. It's all good. It's 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 good. We're fine. I've got an item. I, I have an item in reserve. Hold on. You piece of garbage. He's going in. He's going in. He's going in. Oh. He's done it. We will never speak of this again. I mean, I, I knew it would probably go longer than year 12, realistically, when I made the trailer. That's just the... That's just a clip that I had access to. And I didn't, I didn't want to, like, go and go all the way to... Early, even have to mod my way to... Oh! Wait, it... Ah! 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 What do I do? What do I do? What do, what do, I, what do I do? Is that, re is that real? Is that real? There's no what? There's no shot. Oh my god! Is that? I did. I. Uh, <laughs> time, time, time me. What is that? Is I? Ah, uh, I. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I didn't know. I I was I was getting ready to wrap up the stream. I was I didn't <laughs> No freaking way. It's that's it. My I'm literally shaking. I didn't And it's Haley's garbage can too. It's Haley. <laughs>
Oh my god, you guys. Hello. I am back. I have eaten. But I have also had time to reflect while I was away. I hope you enjoyed the clips, by the way. It was a fun time. What will he do? What, what, what should I do? <laughs> I've had time to reflect over the past 15 minutes, and you know what? I've, uh, I've made a decision, hard as it is. 12 hours is a very, very long commitment that I'm not sure that I was ready for when I first uh, undertook this finale. So I might have to... I might have to call it early here because, you know, it's starting to get to me. I've put, I put in a valiant effort so far, and I just want to say thank you all for coming out. Unfortunately, we did not get the egg this time, but, you know, it is what it is. That's what I would say if I was a quitter. Ha 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 <laughs> oh, I, la I laughed kind of loud with that one. It actually kind of hurt my rib cage. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Streamer broken, please stand by. Hello, Blade, by the way. All right. Poll? No poll needed. I'm fully and readily ready to go for the remaining three hours-ish that I need to. I'm going to see this thing through to the end. Where we're at at the 12-hour mark remains to be seen, but we're going to keep on going here. We will keep on going. Come hell or high water. I committed to this, and I'm going to see it through. All right. Uh, let's sleep. That's where we're back at, right? Sleeping. New Year's Eve is coming up. I need to go ahead and send some, uh, sell some rare seeds. Not rare seeds. We already got the rare seed there. All taken care of. If you want me to tease you for the year that you'll get the egg, send me your save. It's honestly kind of tempting, Blade. It's honestly kind of tempting. I might, I might, you know, we'll see. We'll see where this thing goes. We'll see where we're at. I'm going to give it until at least year 20, and then I might reevaluate my status on where I, whether I'd like to use a predictor or something. Because here's the thing about uh, the Feast of the Winter Star, right? I could use a predictor. I think, I think there's like a, you can just use, what is it, Mousy Pounds Predictor? And that has a setting for the Feast of the Winter Star. I could use that. And even just knowing like when Marnie will show up at the Feast of the Winter Star does not really help because you still have to get there. <laughs> like regardless, like I'm going to be checking every single year regardless. So it, it doesn't make that much of a difference other than knowing that there is a concrete finish line that is attainable within a reasonable amount of time. So it's something I have considered for sure, but I don't know that I want to go that route yet, but something to keep in mind, keep in the back of our minds as we uh, progress onward and upward into year 19 here. Hey, Rose Waver, thank you for the $5 super chat. Just says you do not own a horse. You have a new strategy. Can I guess by your name, Karita, what, <laughs> what your new strategy might be? All right. Firework emojis, popper emojis in chat. Whatever you can muster. This is a happy new year. Oh my goodness, Kuro Okami, thank you for the $50 super chat. Sending us into the new year in the right way. If you do need to go, just, just know we fully support you. We understand. Please don't hurt yourself for the effort. I appreciate that you're looking out for me. I really do. I know my chat is an amazing community like that. That you're not going to push me just for the sake of some digital egg. But trust me when I say I'm I'm still well within my uh, within my limits here. I know my limit. I'm gonna play within it, and I'm I'm far from being done yet. 
I'm far, from, I'm not even like really that tired. I, getting that food in me, having a nice little dinner snack was a, was just what I needed. And I'm ready to see this through now. All right. Oh, I also need to go while I'm thinking about it. First day of the year, exclamation point year, year 19 incoming. Let's get this done, shall we? It might be worth looking into reevaluating our strategy, but, you know, like I've said time and time again, I have faith in the process. I trust the process. Even though it hasn't paid off so far, the egg spam and all that, it has not, uh, not worked out in my favor thusly. It only takes one. It only takes one Feast of the Winter Star for it to work out, and then it'll go down forever in history as the ultimate strategy. Like, pressing down and B when you're trying to catch a Pokemon. I'm very sorry to hear that, Malehu. That's a, that's a very scary situation to be in. Hope everything's okay for, for you and your family. We don't want to talk too heavily about that stuff, because exclamation point current events. But uh, I will acknowledge it, especially if it's impacting members of the community, for sure. All right, let's go to sleep. The yeah, exclamation point current events, you know, we'll try we'll try and keep things positive as much as possible here. But uh Okrobus gave me a lucky lunch too. I feel like almost I almost I almost want to hold on to that for the feast of the winter star. Could this be the year of the cheese? That is entirely up to you guys. I have no control over you. I just I merely tell you I'm the man pushing the buttons and and speaking over the game. But you're well within your rights to post whatever you want in uh, in chat. Well, not not whatever you want, you know. Look at look in the description for the rules and you know exclamation point current events and and all that stuff. There are certain certain things to abide by, but in general, pretty tolerant around here. This save is gonna get older than me. How old are you, Decay? I don't think I've ever... I mean, don't say if you're not comfortable saying your age or whatever. I totally get that, but also... <laughs> how, how many of you out there in chat are younger than, than this farm right now? Younger than exclamation point year? I know we have a pretty, pretty big contingent of younger viewers in the community. I just hope this doesn't get to the point where... The save is older than I am. <laughs> we still got a, quite a few years to go before that happens, but uh, I guess anything's possible, right? 19. 30. <laughs> Let's hope that we don't get to 30. We don't We don't want Chloe to be, like, super middle-aged by the end of this. I guess, well... I don't know, super middle-aged might be the wrong way to say that, but... <laughs> Like, 30 is cresting into middle-aged territory. The 30 to 40 range, 30 to 50. You're starting you're starting to crest into that middle-aged section. Um, but, Chloe obviously didn't start on Frugal Farm when she was an infant. <laughs> so she's she's got some years behind her, how old she was when she first came to the farm. That's up to your own personal interpretation. But whatever that was, you know, add 19 onto it, basically. And that's where we're at right now. All right, quick, make a little birthday cake for Haley. That's our last one. And need more melons. I think I probably have some on Ginger Island I could go grab. But maybe this is the only pink cake that we're going to need. This could be the last year for Haley's birthday as part of this challenge. Let's go find out. You'd assume she's around 20 at the start. I think that's a fair assumption. She'll put her pretty close to pretty close to 40 years old right now. <laughs> Getting up there for sure. This grind has taken a lot out of her. This is definitely like a, an outfit that you would see a middle-aged cowpoke wearing. Someone who goes to the casino and, you know, gambles their life savings away, not to get too real with you. But we didn't gamble our life savings away. 
we're actually very frugal with it. Actually, like, I feel like, where, where have I seen this outfit before? Like, this sort of, like, rainbow cowboy outfit? Like, obviously, you don't get this kind of rainbow prismatic glowing effect. IRL. But there's definitely rainbow cowboy hats I've seen around. It just kind of comes with it uh, when you live in... When you live in the country. <laughs> when you live in the Texas of Canada. You see all, all sorts of different types. And I've definitely seen rainbow cowboy hats before. I don't know exactly in what capacity. That much I can't tell you with a high degree of certainty. But I'd say probably a decent degree of certainty that it was at the Calgary Stampede. Which, you know, go off. That's, that's definitely the time to wear that sort of Western wear. I don't really have a Western wardrobe. But it is the one time a year around the Calgary Stampede that I get to... Uh, at work, we normally like wear we have a, like a uniform or a dress code that we have to adhere to, and that's the one time where they kind of la go lax on the rules and let you wear some Western stuff to to celebrate. <gasps> I didn't think it was possible. I thought the trees had overtaken too much of the farm. Yo, Hootie, Hootie the Eleventh, Hootie XI of Southern California. Hello, Creatrix. Welcome, welcome. How are we getting along with the challenge? You know, we're in exclamation point year. Probably tells you all you need to know right now. I have gotten the uh, the rare seed in year 13, though. All right, so this is this 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 is Hootie the tenth. Hootie the ninth is is hiding over here behind this tree. Oh my gosh. There there are just too many trees. One day I'll come through here and I'll do a grand bombing to, to clear out the area, but for right now, I just want to find my, my stone owl friend. Just give me the stone owl and nobody gets hurt, please. There he is, Hootie the 11th. Will I be able to find it? Thankfully it was not, uh, not down in the quagmire here. Maybe it's time for some cleanup. I'd normally be with you if this was a regular stream. If this was, if this was a regular stream, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I got... How is this so far out of control? I need to do some cleanup. This is the finale stream. I need to I need to commit all my efforts, put all my gears towards... Um, towards perfection here. Those trees, as unsightly and unbecoming as they might be, do not stand in the way of me and perfection. Only one thing does that. And so I'm put I'm pardon the use of the metaphor, I'm putting all my eggs in one basket. I'm focusing all my energies on Marnie, the Feast of the Winter Star, the eggs. Come of it what may. Come of it what may. Just collect the bombs from the crates. It's all it's all a balance. Are you saying to like use the bombs I get from the crates to bomb all the trees out? I don't know if we'd get necessarily enough bombs to make that a reality. But it's a it's a worthy idea. It's a worthy proposition for sure. Part of me hopes for the grander finale so I can get some grander fan art done. To any fan artists out there who might be listening, don't let the fact that this uh, challenge is coming to an end take the wind out of your sails. I still would love to see more than anything more fan art from you guys. It's it's always been great to see. No pressure, obviously, if you don't want to make fan art, if you're not feeling it after the challenge is over, no pressure. But just know that there will still be an audience for it in me. You got a friend in me. You got you got a, a fan in me. They might literally stand in your way. In a few years, they're going up the farm. Yeah, but we got pathways. If there's one thing I know about trees in this game, they can't grow across the pathways. Well, they might be able to reach across the pathways if there's uh, if the paths are not wide enough, but they will not ever usurp the paths themselves. 
pretty sure the golden clock precludes that. Because like, I think the only thing that could get rid of these paths is like detritus and stuff. What am I doing out here? <laughs> I don't know why why I'd stepped out here, honestly. Old habits die hard, I guess. I did indeed sing a whole Hamilton song. I sang my shot. I didn't mean to copy your bit, Blade, if you're still here, but you know. He, the people do love some Hamilton. And who can blame them? I love this part of the song. This is this is a good uh or is this is this a new song, or is this part of the song that just played and it's just, you know, all wrapped up in one? I feel like this must be a new song, but either way. Outside is not allowed only sleep. There is no outside only egg. Name that reference. Should be an easy one for the cinephiles amongst you. If it's a movie I know, then it should tell you it should tell you a lot about its, you know, cultural significance. Okay, but what are the odds that the that the Feast of the Winter Star music starts playing and we get a void egg from our fish pond? On the, on the same moment, when I step out here, I just happen to step outside at the right moment for that. In order to check my mail and all that, clear all that garbage out. That's Ghostbusters, you absolutely nailed it. There is no something or other, only Zool. I have not watched Ghostbusters in a very long time, honestly. Like the original Ghostbusters, I, have, I never watched the remake either. But it's got a theme song that can't be beat. You know, there's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! It's too good. Hold on, my ear is itching. My ear, I've got an itch in my ear, and it just won't stop. One second. I'm muted. I, for, I almost forgot to unmute that time. <laughs> I am back, though. Is there a way to predict when you'll get Marnie at the Feast of the Winter Star? There is, and I was briefly talking about that earlier. But you know what? To make, the, to make that conversation more real, this is a very important poll, chat. This is a very important poll. Should I use a predictor to see when Marnie will show up. Yes or no? Like I said... Oh, have a good one there, Laszlo. Like I said... It doesn't really save me on time, because I'm still going to have to sleep to get there and everything. It'll just give me a firm deadline that I'll know when the egg is going to show up. I, I do live, I mean, I can see both sides of the argument here, right? There, there are many sides to this argument, and it's going to leave people unhappy one way or the other. I think the, the way I keep the most people happy is just continue doing what I'm doing. I've committed so much to it. And the surprise of finally getting the egg at the moments, like, like when we get it, whenever that inevitably happens. You say yes after year 30. Should we, should we put a deadline on it? I've come so far without it. Oh, is this year 19? It is year 19, indeed. That's the one way I could do it. I could I could say, if I don't get it by X year, then we'll hunt it down. But Decay also makes a great point. I've come very far without having to rely on predictors for basically anything. All I've had to use, all I've ever used predictors for, and I didn't even use them myself, but Blade used them to obviously help find the seed, make sure that just about, just about everything from the traveling car was going to be gettable within year, within the first five years. Quick little gift for Krobus, keep the friendship spirits high. 
So it would feel like a bit of a defeat, a little bit of a concedence, a little bit of a concession if I did, uh, if I did resort to a predictor at this, the literal 11th hour of the stream. I would have pull again when we get to year 30. At this rate, I don't know if we're going to get to year 30 in this stream. <laughs> I probably need to sleep more and sleep faster, but... Ask Blade if today is the final stream. Blade does not know. Blade has uh, has no idea when the Feast of the Winter Star of our dreams is going to come to fruition. He doesn't know more than you or I or anybody else. That is not part of his uh, his predictor. I would have to send my save file right on over to him to get that one taken care of, but if I was going to do that, I'd probably just use the predictor myself and figure it out from there. Get a general range of when it would be. Could do that too, like if it's going to be, like which year it's going to be, like which range of years, which range of 10 years it's going to be within, and then, uh, and then go from there. You're 50 to 75. Lord, let's hope not. Based on the multiplayer ID assigned when you start a game, you couldn't predict it ahead of time? Yeah. Yeah, you need the actual save file itself in order to in order to predict that sort of thing. What happens if you don't get the egg by the end of the stream? I'm going to hope that we don't find out. How's my friendship looking? One heart, one heart down. That's still fine. Welcome back, siblings. You think under year thirty-two? That would be within the odds, right? Like if we got like a one in thirty-two chance of uh, of getting Marnie as our villager of choice, then you would think within the first thirty-two years. But the odds have not always worked out that way in the, in the times past. Exclamation point! Trash. We'll see. We'll see. I'd like to believe in the math and believe in the numbers. Thank you, Jeff, for the $5 super chat. Give the save file to Blade to find out the second time I'll get it, Marnie. So in the longest possible wait without knowing the exact year. That's, that's an interesting proposition. Look for the second time that we get Marnie. Hmm. You know, you might be onto something there, Jeff. That's 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 a spicy idea. Either way, if I do resort to this, I'm not I'm not going to do anything until year 20 at the very least. After after the feast of the winter start in year 20, I might do that if Blade is open to the possibility, open to the suggestion, I can send my save file over. Thank you, thank you for the two dollars super chat as well. Uh, Chaos stripe, put more Gregs down and making fan art. Greg has had his time in the sun. He's been a very integral part of the stream, but you know, as with all things, as with Timbeeb and Krobus and and Haley, we got to put them on the back burner to a certain extent in order to to clinch the win here. Oh, oh there, was a, there was a bit of a longer delay between days there, and I thought for a second, I thought for the briefest moment that Hootie the Twelfth was about to grace us. Two Hooties in one year, could I be so lucky? Alright, let me go ahead and clear out the mail here, first and foremost. First things first, I'm the realist. 360 hay, no album out. Reject Greg, return to egg. I like that. So much going to waste. Do you think that the that my friendship hearts would go down pretty drastically with all these people if they knew that I was literally pressing the delete key on every single one of their gifts? They might not take it too kindly. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't, I don't want these trees to overtake. I'm willing to, to put in a little time to make sure that, that these trees 
don't usurp this entire area too much. This powerful axe honestly makes clearing trees out not so bad. Yo, have a good one there, Christina. Thank you for the well wishings, and have a good night, yeah. Yeah, chat is pretty evenly divided on this whole predictor thing that I'm that I'm considering now. 57% of chat does think that using a predictor in some capacity will be a good idea. I think going with Jeff's idea might be the might be the way to go. You're eating eggs right now. <laughs> Jealous. Chloe won't be far behind you though. This is our year. You don't like the predictor? I'm with you, Zombo, but at a certain point, it might be worth at least considering the possibility. After the how however many hours I've put into this whole grind of the challenge, I think I've more than proven that I'm willing to put in the hours. It's just a matter of, you know, a matter of entertainment value, what you guys would like to see. I'm willing to put in as many hours as you want me to put in. But if you just want to see... If you, if you want to know, as, as I'm sure many of us do, then it's worth consideration. For right now, though, let's just keep sleeping the days away. The predictor literally only saves time. You say go for it. It honestly doesn't even really save time, because like I said, I still have to sleep through those days to get there, and I would have done that anyway, so... It's, uh, it doesn't save time, it more saves, you know... Anticipation, I guess? But anticipation is kind of what we're here for, too, so... I know I'll get the egg eventually, so why sully the run with the predictor? Production value, mainly. <laughs> So that I know whether or not I, it's realistic to expect to get it within the remainder of the stream. The surprise will be nice. I'm very much with you. A long, quick hydration break, though. You like when Blade knows stuff and we don't? He did lord that cactus fruit over our heads for a very long time. He was very, very well-spirited about that. That was a fun time for sure. I don't think anyone will ever, ever forget the cries of Wolf in the chat. I know I certainly won't. <laughs> and it did make for a pretty magical moment, so... I don't know. Something to chew on for the time being. I won't have to waste time going to Winter Stars, so it, it would be a time save. True, but also, like, it's me. You know, I'd, I'd pull some kind of crap, like, oh, but going to the Feast of the Winter Stars, it's like, it's, it's sentimental, it's sentimental, and all that stuff. <laughs> it's been such an integral part of the challenge up until now, I can't, even though now I know that it's, I'm gonna get it in year, uh, in year X, X, Y, or Z. Have a good lunch there, Blade. I still got to see it through the way I normally would have. His music is the Emily Hart event, right? I believe that's correct, yeah. That's what it sounded like anyway. We're dropping off with Krovis. Krovis just a wee bit here. Just just the weeest bit. If I figure out what I'm going to do for the Grange display tomorrow, Krovis, I literally forgot that the Stardew Valley Fair was a thing. Call me when the Winter Star is here. You love the Feast of the Winter Star, listening to Gus ramble about candy canes is your favorite. It is a nice little touch. It's starting to wear on me a little bit, given that I've been through 18 of the dang things. And they all just say the same thing over and over and over again every year. But, I mean, normally that's not that much of a problem, because you don't normally get this many Winter Stars in succession. I'm just in a very unique situation right now. Nine lucky shorts for the fair. 
I guess you could do that, couldn't you? You could get like a whole bunch of lucky shorts for the for the Grange display. Because you can just get as many as you need or as many as you want with the uh, by putting staircases in your pants slot, something like that. You desperately want them candy canes. Gus does talk them up pretty well. They make th makes them sound mouth wateringly good. With the staircase glitch. I don't even know if the staircase thing is as much a glitch anymore as it is a feature. It's one of those things that I think Eric Baroni slash Concerned Ape has, you know, just adopted as a thing that's kind of so silly that you might as well. How many hours do I have on my main? Exclamation point playtime. <laughs> this is my main. What are you talking about, my main? You think I'm out here playing, uh... Playing Stardew Valley in my off time, like on a, on a regular save file, I can't I can't ever go back to a regular way of playing after everything I've been through. I've seen it all. I know how bad it can get, and I'm you know playing the regular game. It's too easy now. It's too easy. To like actually answer your question though, on my first save file where I did play the game somewhat normally. I think I'm at, like, somewhere in the range of 80 hours. Something like that. Well, goals are left at this point. Does this answer your question? Maybe not. Maybe so. But if in, in any case, that's, that's what goals are left at this point. We're approaching our next chance. We're approaching the next chance here. Winter number 19. Nightbot spamming. <laughs> Nightbot did go a little crazy with the exclamation point playtime there. I don't know how that happened, but... Anyway, birthday gift for Krobus. Let's do it. Quick mail run. This is like me and with mail IRL, by the way. I definitely don't check my mail as often as I should. And when I do, it's just stuffed full of coupons for Arby's and and random little knickknacks and flyers. Thankfully, I'm not lug lugging out 35 pounds of stone every single time. Or God forbid, mega bombs from my actual mail. It's just that's not how it works for me. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm I'm just stuck with bills and flyers, which you know they're they're kind of a mega bomb in their own right. Danny DeVito is Danny DeVito in chat. Yo, I loved you in that one movie. I don't know any movies, so you know. Really been enjoying the streams. Currently off due to some health concerns and started playing Stardew. Happy to hear that, Tanisha. I hope the health concerns are not too, uh, are nothing too terrible to worry about. I'm glad that I can provide some entertainment and some relief in whatever way I can. Anybody else seeing this lag or just me? <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting some random stutters. I think the slimes might be reaching critical mass. It's hard to say. I just don't have the right friends to send me stones and bombs. It's true. Maybe I, maybe I do have the right friends since no one's sending me stones and bombs. That could be that's probably a more realistic outlook on it. If some of my friends started to send me actual just random rocks and bombs in the mail, I think I might need to reevaluate how I approach friendship. So many slimes. It's so many slimes. It might be time. It might be almost time for the Grand Cullen. I'm not saying I don't love each of those slimes like they're my children, but... They, they, they might be causing some actual technical issues. 
people might have been onto something when they were saying that these slimes are going to crash my game eventually. <laughs> we'll see. It's not so bad yet that it's worth, uh, that's worth considering, you know, the nuclear option. But it might get to that point. The final solution. You can't? I was really hoping to not have to pull that trigger. You know, if the Winter Star could just, uh, could just be on my side for once, then I won't have to go that far, but the game might well force my hand here. It might make me make decisions that I'm not necessarily the happiest with. I've already made several concessions throughout this entire grind. And I'm not opposed to, to trying anything, really. Quickly clear the inventory here. It's not genocide if everyone dies. I'm not sure how, that's how that works. I don't think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> All right. ABM, anyone but Marnie, let's go. Abigail, you know what? I'll take it. We had Abigail earlier this stream as well. Little Abigail with the amethyst, little boots with the fur. Let's go. Even Haley wants me to stop. <laughs> What'd she say? It must be nice to have a break, huh? Haley, I just got back from my dinner break. What more do you want from me? If not everyone dies. It's not genocide if not everyone dies. I mean, we don't, we don't promote genocide around here. Might be a hot take, but I don't think genocide is, is the answer. Unless you're trying to fight Sans Undertale. In which case, the genocide run is kind of the only way to do that. Where are we at for Krobus right now? 14 hearts? You think if I, gift, if I gift him for the next few days to get up to the Feast of the Winter Star here, if I just go full gift mode on Krobus here, can I get to maximum friendship and maybe, just maybe, that'll give us the extra little hit of luck that I need? I'm willing to try anything. I'm willing to try anything. Who's best girl other than Haley and Krobus? 100% Penny. Penny was my first love on my on my original farm. I was torn between Penny and Haley on that farm and I ultimately decided on Penny. I've come back around to thinking that Haley is the is the goaded pick, but Penny will always have a soft spot in my heart. <laughs> Comes back to the stream, I don't think genocide is the way to go. Oh gob, what happened? A tale told in three acts. Yo, thank you, Kingslayer. New to, new to the channel and just want to say you're enjoying the videos and streams. I'm enjoying that you're enjoying the videos and streams. Thank you for being around. It's a fun time. I wouldn't do it uh, without you guys. I couldn't do it without you guys. Your dinner is here, BRB. It is getting to that time in many parts of, uh, of North America, at least, where dinner is... Dinner is on the table. So feel free to, to leave and grab yourself some dinner if needed. Alright. We are max hearts with Krobus again. We managed to work that one back up from uh, from 13 hearts to 14 hearts. That's a good sign. I got myself an amethyst. I'll, gra I'll grab an amethyst for Abigail. A for A. Quickly, Water Timbeam. This is a great song too, by the way. This one's got to be up there with one of my favorites. I just wish it was longer. Cuz it is it's about it's about to come to a about to come to a close, I think. Happy Junimo show theme, absolutely. You can hit the nail on the head with that one. Watching in the background while you make fettuccine for dinner. Save some for me.
Wait, it isn't Alex. No, Alex. Alex was last year. I know it's easy to get lost in the in the miasma with the amount of sleeping I've been doing. It's like, wait, who who were we giving a gift to this year? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's Abigail. It's Abigail. Always has been. I guess I didn't need to leave. I was gonna leave and put the put away that stuff in my chest, but there's simply no need. Do I think I'll ever go to Twitch, or is YouTube enough for me? I have, I've had some success on Twitch in the past, but I do think YouTube is where I'm going to stick around, at least for the foreseeable future. There are some things on Twitch that I would definitely like on YouTube, some features, but YouTube's still relatively new to live streaming, so I have, uh, I have my, I have confidence that YouTube will come around to those features in due time. Quick little supply crate run, if you don't mind. Christmas is a trance. We are in the Christmas trance, undoubtedly. Yo, is that is that a supply crate I see behind the pillar here? It is. There's a couple of them even. Ooh. The secret hidden supply crates of and, or and Orlando. Trees are starting to get a little <laughs> a little aggressive here. Oh my god. Excuse me? Is there is there a tree seed there that's in the way? How dare you? All right, the feast has begun. Let's get this one done. I mean, I've got this poll up about the about the predictor and everything. They've been talking all about it, trying to decide, you know, what sort of deal with the devil do I want to make? Let's just not even worry about it. Let's just get what you need to get right now. Chat. Let's mix it up a little bit. You know what? I know many of you are probably chomping at the bit to start to, to start spamming. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop all of you. You know what? No, go for it. Go ahead and spam the egg. I was thinking about maybe mixing it up this year. But I'll mix it up by talking to Marnie second to last. Maybe invoking some luck that way. But I can't stop you. I can't stop you from spamming. It, it puts a smile on my face when I see all the eggs fill up chat. You go nuts. You go nuts. Let loose. Have some fun. And save some eggs for me, okay? Save some eggs for me. You're all getting these eggs, filling up chat. It's gonna be an, it's an exciting time to be here. Full egg-centric mode. Probably get another toolkit this year. You know what, Demetrius? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, okay? Just because you have 19 of them already doesn't mean that you're not due for a 20th one. You might be saying Argon, but it's only been nine. This is your 19th Feast of the Winter Star, so he should only have 18 tool sets. You really think? Like, he mentions that at the first Feast of the Winter Star, too, so obviously he must have gotten a tool set at a prior date. Boom. Checkmate. Got him. Got you, you random straw man. Give me the watering can, please. You know what? Hit me up with that fancy candy cane lower again, Gus, please. You know the one? The cherry ones? The peppermint ones? I look like I'm falling asleep? It's only been a nine and a half hour stream, Gus. I'm not quite there. I'm not quite done yet. I may be down, but I'm certainly not out. You guys are keeping up the egg spam like nothing I've ever seen. Thank you for the consistency. Alright, we go talk to Haley. Then we go talk to Marnie. Then we bring it home to Abigail. And then Marnie brings it back in, in the very end. Don't ask me what kind of weird pattern that's supposed to be. It's just, you know, we're doing our dance. We're doing our dance. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. Do you see this look in her eyes? Chat, chat, tell me. Tell me that I'm crazy. I think that's a new sprite. This is a new sprite made just for this moment. I think I see it in her eyes, chat. There's eggs in those eyes. There are eggs in those eyes. She's got something special for us today. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got butterflies in my stomach. Give Abigail her secret gift? Please. Please? Please. Don't make me... Don't make me pull the trigger. Just give me this. You know what? Give me, give me, give me this. We need... Slomp Stomp. I respect you as a song. It's not what I'm about right now, though. Where is it? Where is it? 
my winter star song. I can't, I can't do it without it, chat. I can't do it without it. You know what? I can't even see it in the list here. Slomp, slomp. I guess you're it. I guess you're it. Come on, slomp. Come on, slomp. Marnie, don't fail me now. Please, I've done everything in my power. Please, just, just give me this. Give me this. Ooh, once more into the abyss. Once more into the breach we go, huh? Really gonna push this to year 20. All right, game, all right. I see your year 20 and I raise you 20 more. I raise you 20 more. You don't think I'm gonna be crazy enough to try and go all the way to year 40 for this son of a gun? Purple mushroom? You make me go all the way to year 19 for a dang purple mushroom? It's nothing fancy, but it's the best I could afford. You pick this up off the ground, you scoundrel. Don't get me wrong, it is the rarest of the mushrooms. It's the rarest of the mushrooms. But it ain't no egg. It ain't no egg, Alex. Predictor time. <laughs> The majority have spoken. It is a 60% majority of people who want us to use a predictor in some capacity or another. I don't know what I want to do. You're here, I'm at a crossroads, because I like Jeff's idea. I like Jeff's idea, okay? Of sending it off to Blade, getting him to find the second, the, ne the next, uh... I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. I'm sorry. I'm not speaking. I'm not vocalizing my thoughts very much. He may be cringe, but he is free. Valid if you don't use it. Valid if you do. Just have Blade know. New poll for Jeff's idea. Range of five years. Jeff's idea is good. What if we do Jeff's ID and it's like year 128? That is what I'm worried about. I have a veto. I do have a veto. I don't think I'm going to use it here. I'm actually on Team Predictor, I think, to a certain extent. Don't in the spirit of the challenge. Revel in the joy of knowing of knowing when it's going to happen. <sighs> I'm so torn. I'm so torn right now. Have Blade tell you what decade. I think that's where I'm going to actually land. This is this is where I'm going to land. I think that's basically the equivalent of what we did with year 13. I don't want Blade to tell me the specific year. I would like to know the decade. I think I would like to know the decade. I think that... I like Jeff's idea of finding the second, the second time where we'll get Marnie, so that we know that like the longest possible wait will be like one year before that. Feels a little out of the spirit. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the decade thing. Jeff's idea is, oh my gosh, this music is taunting me. It's like, ha ha ha! Welcome to the dark side. <sighs> Problem is that Blade is no longer here. He's off to lunch, but I can maybe still message him on Discord. I know this is not going to make everybody happy, but I think that, uh, I think in the interest of saving some anticipation, but also saving me some sanity, I think Decade is a good compromise. I think, de I think Decade, look, I was on the fence when we did the whole, when, like, Blade said, like, oh, I didn't know when I was get when, like, he forgot to incorporate the rare seed into the calculation for the traveling card thing. And then I, I was on the fence on whether or not to get a year or anything from him or just let it ride. And that's the situation. This, fe this feels very similar to that situation to me. In that it's an unknown, but I can, I can slim down that unknown, not to the point of spoiling it. This is the egg version of the Copper Axe of Self-Care. 
Creatrix, thank you for the $5 super chat. And you know what? You're absolutely right. Despite what other people may think, despite whether this is in the spirit of the challenge or not, ultimately, this is my challenge. I feel this is within the spirit of the challenge. I think this is well within, within our rights here. Let's do it. End poll. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll save this day here. Can I get some Argon Axe in chat? In chat? Yeah, just just self-care. You got to do, you got to check in with yourself and see what you're okay with from time to time. And this is that situation for me, okay? This is that situation for me. Months of hard work will be paid off. I don't think that the moment of payoff is going to be diminished all that much, honestly, by knowing the decade. And you know what? At this point, I'm willing to make the concession, even if it is a bit of a trade-off. So let me go ahead. I will exit the game for right now. Because I don't know if, like, messing around with, like, the save file and sending it off the blade in the middle of the stream is a great idea. <laughs> so, uh, or in the middle, while I'm in the middle of playing is a good idea. I'll exit the title here real quick. I'll send you over, over here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot that I increased the, the egg to that size. And let me, uh... Let me do this. This is this is provided Blade is currently available. I know he said he was off to lunch, so it's uh so it may t it may take it may take a moment for him to get back to me. Or he's or he could be right there in chat. You can mess with the save file while the game is loaded. Blade. <laughs> Hello, I don't know how much of the conversation you've heard. Um I've decided, I've made an executive decision with the, some input from chat. I'm going to send you my save file, if you are still willing and, and able to help. I would like to send you my save file so you can find out when the Feast of the Winter Star of Our Dreams is going to come in. And once you have that information, I would like you to tell us the decade. I would like you to tell us within like year 20 to year 30, year 30 to 40, and I will use that inf information accordingly. Is that is that something you can do? Is that it can Blade Blade can you be MVP of the stream one last time for us? One last time. I'm not going to send you anything until until I get some confirmation. Thumbs up. All right, that's all I need to see. I shall message you. Let me go ahead and upload file here. I don't believe you'll need the whole folder. I think you just need the actual save file file itself. So let me go ahead and do this. Where is it at? Over here, okay. My files are too powerful. Max file size is eight megabytes. <laughs> My file is too big to be shared. Bruh. Bruh. Why is my file so big? I didn't realize that Stardew Valley files got that big. I thought I thought Stardew Valley files were like relatively small, honestly. Hold on. Try try using zip. Zip it up. <laughs> I think I, I don't. I, I could probably just zip it up, huh? Or what if I do this instead? Hold on, I think I might have a, I might have a different. I could just zip, but what if I just do this? Because you don't need the. I have backups here, and I think this backup will be smaller. And you don't need the the file as it currently is. You just need a file from some point in time. So. There it is. All right, I have sent it off. I have sent it off to Blade. And we will wait eagerly for his response of the decade. In the meantime, let's get back into the game, shall we? I'm going to I'm going to load back into Stardew Valley. And regardless of what Blade's answer is going to be, I'm going to need to keep on sleeping here, so let's just get back to it. Got roughly two hours, a little over two hours left. 
Well, save yourself if you ever want to play again. Send 12 eggs to the following address. Oh no, I've just been baited. Blade, Blade, Blade played the long con all this time. I finally fell into his trap, sent him the save file, and now he's got all the power in the world. What the heck? My save file's gone? Blade, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> Alright, just kidding. I've been bamboozled. Alright. Is this day 26 of winter year 19? I believe it is. Load me in. Chloe held hostage. <laughs> Alright. It's a black screen. There it is. Okay. Back at it in here. My evil laugh was better. That's by virtue of the fact that I'm that I'm vocalizing. You can only do so good of an evil laugh when you're when you're in a text interface, when you're in chat or something like that. You can only do so much. You're doing a crossword and one of the words is egg. It's a sign. <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm really hoping that when Blade gets back to me. That when Blade posts the final answer for us all to see, I'm hoping year 20 to 30. I'm really, really putting it out there. I'm putting it my faith in the universe that they're not going to make me wait that much longer than that. If it's year 30, so be it. As long as it's, you know, within that decade, I feel, I feel confident. I feel like it's going to give me a renewed surge of, of motivation to see this through all the way to the end. If he hits me with the, with year 70 to 80, I'm going to be like, bruh. <laughs> I'm going to be like that meme of the guy with the, uh, you, know, you know, the guy who's like got all the, the scribbles drawn in his head, the black and white guy. I would like to know the decade. Yes, Blade. If you have that information already, hit me with it. It'll, it'll This is our New Year's present chat. Blade has supplied us a lovely New Year's gift. Am I ready for the bruh moment? I don't know if that's a troll or if you're being sincere with me. Is this a moment where it's like, hold on, kid, you need to sit down? I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down, Blade. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. I'm ready. 110 to 120? <laughs> you're 110 to 120? Tell me you're lying. Tell me right now. Say psych right now. Blade. Say psych right now. <laughs> Year 110 to 120, huh? Year 110 to 120. You're 110 to 120. Oof. <laughs> oof. All I can say on that is oof. Second Marnie is 130 to 140. You're 110 to 120. I don't even know what to say. That is so far outside the range that I was that I was conceiving of a possibility being that it's uh Okay. Um I don't know if we can stay away from that. If you want me to say psych, I will. Don't say psych if you don't mean it. Don't say psych if you don't mean it. Just sleep through it. I don't think we're going to make it by the end of today's stream. Even if I slept 100% of the way through, I think you're absolutely right. What do we even do? This is the question. This is this is the question? <laughs> Looks like Chloe's about to become Rip Van Winkle. I mean, there's no, there's no other way to do it. I just got to get to year 110 at the very least. I'll have time for the rest of the Hamilton songs. Blade tells us you accidentally added a 1 in the beginning. <laughs> You're 10 to 20? <laughs> Pog? Pog? 
Who's hyped for three more months of th or three more streams of sleeping? I thought he said three more months of streaming. Thank you, Blinding Shot, for the five dollars super chat. Finale stream turns into a one hundred hour stream. Oh my god! The, just the 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 sheer enormity of this task. When I saw B Blade say year one ten to one twenty. Just absolutely killed me. Make this a 24 hour stream. Begging you to go to the merchant. It's honestly kind of tempting. But I can't do that. I can't do that. I would I would sooner like load up uh C the CJB cheats menu and change my year to 110 before I would do before I would load into <laughs> before I go buy something from the traveling cart that's 13 hours of sleeping <laughs> screw friendship with Krobus he he'll forgive us I'm with you but don't I need Krobus' friendship to be at 10 hearts I mean I can build it back up to 10 hearts in like no time if I'm sleeping straight through to year 110 We're sleeping. You know what? All right. Blade has refilled me with confidence. Like I said, no matter what the answer was, I was... I'm happy to know it. I'm happy to know it and not be left in the dark for that damn long. Now that I know, I can plan accordingly. Get this freaking hay out of my inventory. Chloe... Chloe, you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for the sleep of your life? My girl? We're going in, okay? Where is it? That's me. That's me right now. Sleep and do an AMA. This is, this is our Q&A time for sure. Alright. Zoom, zoom me out here. I don't want to get vertigo. With the vertigo. We're sleeping to year 110. Krobus, not gonna be talking. Haley's birthday, also gonna be foregoing, okay? We're 100% sleeping all day, every day. That's it. Haley will forgive us, Krobus will forgive us. It's time to enter our eternal slumber, alright? I knew this was a possibility when I set out to do, this to do this challenge. I knew it was not a likely possibility, but a possibility nevertheless. The cactus fruit luck comes back in <laughs> comes back in a brutal way. I knew I knew the past little bit of this challenge had been too easy with the seeds and everything. Timby Timby will also forgive us. Pajama pajama drip. <laughs> I'm with you on the pajama drip, honestly. At least until year 110. Alright. What's our pajama drip look like? I think pajama drip was... I think it's... I, I know the exact outfit I'm looking for. We're going 80s shirt. Genie pants. No hat. Full bedhead Chloe. I'm taking off the dang boots, too. I don't want to wear these... These boots are probably very sweaty to begin with. Don't hit me with this sad music. This is not a sad moment game. This is a triumphant moment. This is a triumph in every way, in every way, shape, or form. We know we have an answer. We have an answer, and I'm not going to let the fact that it is literally a century away bog me down. I had it. I had a. I had my shell shocked moment. I was right to sit down, and now that I've internalized it and I'm ready to go, I've got my jammies on. I've got my water next to me. I'm going to hit you with one other quality of life upgrade here. Exclamation point year. Current in-game year. Not high enough. Yet. Dot dot dot. Yet. This is the music I need. This is the music that's going to that's going to pump me up. Let's freaking go. Chloe, we're sleeping. 
We're sleeping. Go all in. Just hold down that arrow key. What did, what did I even sell? I sold mixed seeds. This is the last New Year's screen, New Year's screen you're going to see for a while, chat. Relish in it. Year 20. Here we go. I don't even need to, I'm not even going to have my hand on the mouse. I'm not having, I'm not, I'm taking my hand off the mouse. I'm holding D and pressing Y. <laughs> Arrow key and Y. Just one day at a time. That's all we can do. How many days is this? Someone go do the math because I'm too brain dead right now to even try it. What's the math from getting to year, from year 20 all the way through year 20 to year 110? How many, how, how many days is it, I should say? How many days is that? About 10,000 days. 10,000 days is all? 10,080 days? I could do that in my sleep, literally. Watch me do it. Watch me do it. I think I may have missed a, a super chat up here. Lily Plum, thank you for the $2 super chat. Just just says Z. Just says Z, 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 over and over again. That's me right now. Me, IRL, in the chat. Cheers to the long sleeve. Thank you, YS, for the $2 super chat. Look, chat, we're in this together. We're in this one together, okay? You'll have to do it in your sleep. Very true. Put your bets in now. By the 12th hour, by hour number 12, what year do I think I'll do you think I'll be at? Just put Chloe in cryo sleep. You think I can get to year 93 by by the end of 12 hours? Year 32? Year 60? 10,000 days? Low-key terrified of the forest. It's going to be a, a horrifying landscape. Once I leave, once once we step out into whatever uh, smorgasbord <laughs> of a farm that I that I leave behind, you know what? I'm really quick. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to before I get too far ahead of myself here. I will. Um, I'm going to go create a backup of this save file so that I can preserve it in its current state while the trees are still at a manageable you know, quote-unquote manageable level. Where is it? I'm creating a backup save right the heck now. Before before cryostasis and after cryostasis. Stardew Valley backups. Let's go over here. There's my backup right there. Put the date in as, what is today? 6-2-22. All right, save backed up, back to sleep with me. How many owl statues at the end? The, 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 owl, the rate of owl statues and meteors is undoubtedly going to slow down once we run out of space for them. Aren't I excited for the carpal tunnel? I mean, I'm not doing like that uh, that intensive of an action. I'm pressing Y like every every five seconds or so, and just holding down D. Yo, is this is am I cosplaying as Stanley from the Stanley Parable right now? They sent him they sent him buttons to press in what order and when, and he just had to press the buttons. And then one day something changed. 110 years later, something something unusual happened. Koji, thank you for the 99 cent super chat. I'm gonna need you guys to keep me sane in some in some capacity here. <laughs> During this long freaking sleep. This long, 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 long sleep. What happens when a meteorite blocks the front door? I'm gonna hope that I have some warp totems. I wait, I have I do have farm warp totems. You might be saying, but the farm warp totem will just warp you to the farm. I literally don't think a meteor can can block our door for the front for the record. Can I, can I set up a hotkey to repeatedly press sleep for you? I guess I probably could do that. Hold on, I need to find something heavy. 
I feel like I need to find something heavy real quick to, to, to hold down my D key. <laughs> so that I don't need to press it. And I can literally just press Y over and over again like I'm a... Like I'm a robotic Joja Corporation member. Thank you, Drea, for the 199 super chat. Bring some bombs inside so I can escape. The slimes will crash my game. Lily Plum, thank you for the $2 super chat. My apologies, Z Z Z Z Z. Alright, hold on. Hold on a second. I don't know what that sound was. That was upsetting. <laughs> it sounded like a tree falling over, but I don't know why. I don't know why a tree just fell over. Mega bombs. I became what I swore to destroy. Alright. And you know what? We don't need to sleep with all this trash on me. Put it, put it all in here. This, this time for the slimes may have come. All right, chat. Get your O sevens ready. Get your O sevens ready, okay? The slimes. It's been fun. It's been real. I'm not ready to rear 110 years worth of slimes. That's too many slimes. They'll become too powerful. It, it would literally manifest slump outside of outside of Junimo Kart. Which could be, make for a cool creepypasta, but it's not something that I'm interested in pursuing at this exact moment. That is a lot of slimes. I'm gonna kill them. I mean, I wouldn't put Krobus up to that, even though he's gonna hate us by the end of by the end of these 110 years, regardless, due to the uh, the friendship differential, the friendship decay. I can fix that. I can fix that over time. I can't fix the memories though. If I made him destroy all these slimes, I'm gonna go ahead and do it myself. I brought this upon myself. We'll always have the memory of Neptune right there. Chat, oh sevens. Oh sevens. How many freaking tables are we gonna have by the end of this year? Oh, I didn't think about that. All right. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, my children. Oh my god! Oh my god! The sound, the numbers, did you see that? Do it again! <laughs> oh my god! It's, it's it's vicious! It's so vicious! Hit me, baby, one more time! Boom, 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 boom! Oh my lord! Absolute massacre! The absolute massacre. Look at all these slimes. They're so scared. They're so scared. They're just sitting on this far side. Like, which one is which one of us is gonna be next? Which one's gonna be next? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Let's just get just get it over with. You know, rip the band-aid off. Rip the freaking band-aid off. They still love me. Do you see that heart? The heart? After all this, the unconditional love. All right, you get to survive. A single slime on its own cannot cannot multiply. Congratulations, you're you're the lucky winner today. Welcome, welcome to, to your new prison for the next hundred and ten years. No, I honestly, you know what? I think it's too cruel. I think it's too cruel to leave one alive, and just let it like live with these weirdo legendary fish for this long. I think Krobus just killed a slime down there, by the way. It's done. It's done. Let this place... Let this place heal now. It's time to let it heal. We'll always have the memories of the slimes. Let them never be forgotten. I think... I, I, I think it's, it's probably more humane this way. They were so crowded, and leaving one alive would have felt wrong in a certain capacity. Obviously, it's just, you know... I think it was the right decision, at the end of the day. <laughs> not just the cute slimes, but the not cute and children one too. Jeff, thank you for the $5 super chat, making me feel worse than I already do. 
You know what? On this note, on while while I'm up at 10:40 a.m. later than I ever have been, let's say let's say our goodbyes for a moment. Tim Beeb, Tim Tim Beeb. I know, I know. Okay, it's 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 rough. I've already been sleeping so much. I've been sleeping so much. You do me proud. Take care of this farm while I'm in while I'm in stasis. Okay. It's gonna be a lot longer than Ginger Island, and I'm sorry for that. Ginger Island, I was away for like a month. Now I'm gonna be away. I'm gonna be here, but I'm gonna be away for for however long. Haley, I gotta I gotta go give Haley one last thing. I know it's not her birthday. You know what? I can't do that. I can't do that. I, I don't have anything to even make anything. I'm just gonna go say goodbye to Haley one more time. Just this just this one last time, chat. I'm saying my goodbyes. Haley? I don't even know where she is. On she's probably at the beach, huh? She's down at the beach. The bad ending. <laughs> she might be she might even be on Ginger Island for all I know. But I know she normally hangs out at the beach. Where's Haley at? She's not she's not here. Isn't Haley normally here? Running around town in my PJs. She might literally be on Ginger Island. Why are you getting interstellar vibes? Just to double check, you know? Emily, if I don't find Haley, you know, wish her well for me. She's on the island farm. I think you're probably right. I think she is literally on Ginger Island. Is Marnie Egg a part of the seed? The the Feast of the Winter Star Egg was not something that I could have accounted for in the seed selection process. Blades Predictor can't can't do that because you you get a specific multiplayer ID that uh, is generated at the save files creation that you need in order to figure that out. So you would have had to have my save file after the fact to know. I don't claim to know all the technical details of it, but. That's the that's the abridged version I got. Haley, oh my gosh, she's asleep. She's relaxing, laying out on a tropical beach. I think I finally found my place in the universe. I've found mine as well, Haley. I've found mine as well, and unfortunately, it means that I'm not gonna get to see you for a very long time. I guess Stardew Valley is not such a bad place either. Can we just get some some hearts in chat for Haley, some Argon love, some hearts in general for Haley. Haley and Krobus and Timby and everyone we're leaving behind. Everyone. I could, I could. What if I just sleep on the island farm here? No, I'm not gonna sleep on the island farm. I gotta sleep in my own in my own dang bed at home. Hibernate on Ginger Island. It's one way to go about it, but I feel like I owe it to myself and this farmhouse. This farmhouse and me. We've been through a lot together. We're about to go through a whole lot more. When will the egg appear? Blade tells us year 110 to 120. Somewhere in that decade. Currently, exclamation point year. It doesn't matter. It's I think, I think we're in year 20 right now. So, all right. This one's for you, chat. We're going in. Back into sleep. Into cryostasis. If only there was a speed up button. <laughs> And thus it begins. So, chat, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> what would you like to talk about on this lovely 24th of summer, year 20, to get us started on the right foot here? Can you move down the aquarium so you can see me? I'm sorry, Legend. I've uh, I've made my peace with how this how this challenge is going to go from here on out. I'll tell you right now, when I started out this finale, this is not how I expected it to turn out, but I should have known it was always a possibility. My young, with wistful optimism, my pure innocence in thinking that I could possibly do this within 12 hours without knowing that, uh, without knowing just how long I would have to wait. I was always like, yeah, you know, it could be 50, 100 years, who knows? But whenever I said that, I was like, it's never supposed to actually be that, right? 
You say that because it's a, it's a possibility, but it's highly improbable. What are the odds on this, by the way? If uh, so, if if the odds of finding of getting a specific villager at the Feast of the Winter Star are one in thirty-two, what are the odds that the one villager that we need to get does not show up even once until call it year one hundred and fifteen? Split the difference between one ten and one twenty. Someone want to do any math on that? Is get any resident mathematicians in chat? Can I be a mod to help? No worries, Jay Nuggets. I think I think the mods got it under control for the most part. I appreciate it though. You have to do a 15 hour stream tomorrow, probably. I can't do a 15 hour stream tomorrow, I have to work. I don't know necessarily how this is gonna go, because obviously we're not gonna get there by the end of 12 hours here. I'll put in I'll put in my darndest effort, but I don't know how how far I can get. Very small. Very, very small chance. Maybe Sunday. Sun Sunday might be the next, uh, the grander finale stream. That might be the way it has to go, but... <laughs> Tell your work that it's egg time and then leave. Just walk in I'm, and say, I'm sorry, I have, to, I have to go to bed for the next 110 years. <laughs> Drop the mic and walk out. That would be a heck of a way to, to quit my job. <laughs> I think the answer is 3%, 2.6%. We've been we've been down this road before with the cactus fruit. I never thought it would be this bad, though. Yo, how hilarious is it that, remember remember when we were in the cactus fruit grind and we were like, uh, Blade was like, you'll get a cactus fruit in year 93, and we all had a laugh at such a, what a funny joke that was. It's like, oh man, Blade, I can't believe it. You, you, got, you got me so good. You made me think that we were actually going to have to go all the way to year 93. You, you scoundrel, you rapscallion. Thank goodness it was only year 7. Thank goodness. It was only year seven. Use the hibernate mod. What does the hibernate mod do? Does it just automate this process or does it make it so like, like does, does it automate these key binds for me or does it make it so like uh, I set a date and then I just sleep until that date and it just like skips to that date? I don't want to do that. I want to put in the hours here. I'm, this is the game. It's unmodded except for the one mod that was made courtesy of Jeff for our uh, frugal, fur frugal farm purchase uh, mod, you know? World set year 110. <laughs> it's just a single command away. I'm already using the speediest method of sleeping, thankfully. It at if I saving 500 milliseconds per sleep, it adds up. Very true, yeah. If that's if that is accurate by loading via Smappy, I've saved 500 milliseconds per sleep. It's gonna make this considerably easier. Not, you know, not a not a foregone conclusion. By the way, to to anyone in chat who did have any doubts or was kind of upset that I ended up using resorting to. Asking Blade and using a predictor. Here's our first, our first, uh, our first skipped Winter Star. By the way, is about to pass here. <laughs> Year twenty Winter Star. I'm gonna say no, thank you. But to, to anyone who was upset at the possibility of using a predictor, sh just show me, give me a thumbs up if you're okay with having used having used a predictor now, knowing this result, or give me a thumbs down if you would have rathered I kept going the way I was going until year 110. <laughs> No judgment either way. I mean, I can see... I can see wanting one way or another. Welcome to year 21, by the way. I'm seeing, I'm seeing many thumbs up. I do, see, I do see a thumbs down in there. But I think most people are okay with this, with how this turned out here. <laughs> Don't skip the feast. I'm sorry, TDP. I have to skip everything. If I want to make to year 110, 10,000 days deep, in any amount of reasonable time, I have to I have to let everything go. All the little traditions, all the things I was doing. 
please, please let you remember this challenge for all that, by the way. For the personality of, of me being so committed to going to every festival, to talking to everyone, watering Tim Beep for so many days in a row. Don't let this, of all things, be the legacy, even though this is, if you math it out and map it out across like a timeline of actual years in the game, this is going to be the vast, vast, vast majority of our time spent. <laughs> is like this, like you're seeing right now. Nice sleepy time music, by the way. <laughs> Reasonable time. Did I get all the all the achievements other than Infector's Challenge and Jojo Mart? Yes. All achievements have been realized. Merely Fector's Challenge looms over my head. It's gonna be hilarious in the final edited video. That's the great thing about editing. This is going to be a however many hour long grind to get from year 20 to year 110. Less than 100 years, you know, it's... <laughs> oh my god. Can I go on a big rant, please? I don't need to rant. I've, I've, I've made peace with this. I'm... I'm... Uh, the fact that I'm still talking about it may maybe may make you think that I'm I have not made peace with it. That it's still kind of getting under my skin. That I've got a kind of you know uh, a a crook in my hook, a hook in my crook. But realistically, if this is what it comes down to, this is what it comes down to. Challenge runs, you never know. They're gonna throw you curveballs left, right, and center. A challenge run that depends on the Feast of the Winter Star, of all things. You gotta expect that this is, a. Uh, you gotta walk into it knowing that this is a re realistic possibility. When you're looking for a specific person at the Feast of the Winter Star, the RNG on that can just screw you sometimes. How many years will, will Haley have been Flower Queen? At least 115. It's all good, we're all here. I'm glad to have you all here. Whether you're new to the stream today, New to this challenge today, you just found this, or you've been here since day one or earlier. I'm happy to have you on board. And I hope to make our, uh, I hope to make our journey through this 90 plus year slog somewhat more bearable. In whatever capacity I can. Part of me does want to consider using a mod to just, you know, get to your 110 considerably faster. But I think making the concession of the predictor is as far as I'm willing to go. Just because I'm not necessarily happy with the results of the predictor doesn't mean that I'm going to forsake all the rules of the challenge. Stone Owl number 12? 13? <laughs> I don't even know. Doesn't mean that I'm going to forsake like, one of the more integrals of the challenge. Because, like, if I was going to go mods, if I was going to bring in more mods than just the, the one custom-made one that we got in here, what would, what would be the difference between, like, you know, skipping to your 110, 120, and, like, getting the getting the egg that way, and just loading up CJB cheats, or CJB, CJB item spawners, spawning in the egg and calling it a day. If I'm gonna resort to mods either way, I feel like that's uh I feel like that that's the more realistic way to go. But I'm not gonna do that. Tell us the story behind my my username. There's not really a lot to tell. 18 is my lucky number. For no for no distinct reason. It just, you know, it kinda is. It's always a number that's resonated with me, and it's the number of the periodic table on the periodic table of elements of Argon. And the Matrix is one of my favorite movie franchises. mash the two together, you got either Matrix Argon or Argon Matrix. One of them rolls off the tongue a little better than the other, in my opinion, and uh, the rest is history. Bada bing, bada boom. How long have I been streaming? It has been 10 hours and 15 minutes, according to my stream timer here. Why are we sleeping 90 years? Great question, Lord Helix. This is going to be a question that's probably gonna, I'm probably going to have to answer it many times. So, the Feast of the Winter Star, which is the only way to get the egg that we need, I might have to make, like, a command for this at some point. <laughs> it might be, it's, but yeah, the only way to get a free egg is via the Feast of the Winter Star. Only from Marnie. 
And by talking to Blade, our man in the code, he has let me know that year... There's our meteor. That year, uh, the decade, the first decade in this entire save file in which Marnie will appear as our Feast of the Winter Star gift giver is sometime between years 110 and 120. So once I get there, watch it be year 120 as well. <laughs> watch it just, you know, the fact that I'm going to have to sleep through 90 years is not enough for this game. It's going to be like, go all the way. Go, go the full 100 years. At that point, it's just going to be, you know, another day in paradise. It'll at least give me the time I need to to get more, <laughs> to, to rebuild my friendship with Krovis, I guess. Now we finished the rare seed, we just need the egg. Blade, <laughs> Blade says you're 110 to 120. I probably should just add that command, honestly. Alright, br brief break in the cryostasis. I'm going to go add a Nightbot command for this. Chaos Stripe, by the way, thank you for the $5 super chat. My math says it's a... Uh, that's a 359% chance over 150 years. Basically a 1 in 32 chance. So... So I, I should have gotten it basically three and a half times over by the time uh, by the time I've reached year 115. <laughs> Great, <laughs> you'll love to see it, baby. All right, um, let me see. Quickly pop over to the nightbot. The birth of a new command here! Exclamation point! Sleep. It's not uh, it's not ready yet, so don't don't type anything in. But uh. We have to sleep until year 110 to get the egg from Marnie at the Feast of the Winter Star. Blade says... Maybe I won't invoke Blade's name specifically here. I'll just say the first time she appears will be between years 110 and 120. I think that's good enough. Hopefully that gets the point across at least. I might modify it in the future if I feel like the verbiage is not good enough, but it'll work. Exclamation point sleep should be live. Alright, back to it. I literally should find something to hold down this D key. I don't know if I have anything that's simultaneously heavy enough and also the size of a keyboard key that won't like move around and stuff. I might have to go looking for something though. The alien crash was not actually related to the event in the game. He just slept so much that they become to take over. It's the se it's the secret sequel hidden within Stardew Valley that no one's ever seen. If you if you actually go all the way to year 100 plus, it becomes a post-apocalyptic sci-fi game. <laughs> Just make a macro. Maybe between streams. For right for right now, I'm I'm content in, you know, I might not be able to be the best, but I sure as hell can be the worst. <laughs> oh gosh. Use auto click so I can talk with you guys. I can talk with you guys totally fine. This is this is entirely automatic. I'm just listening for the sound cues. Maybe if I put the strange the chicken statue in a strange capsule to synthesize a chicken, we can only be so lucky, Karita. The Discord needs to sing for you. <laughs> I don't know how much more singing I can do personally, because it is, uh... <laughs> it is getting late, obviously. My throat is pretty raw.
But maybe if you, you all sing loud enough at home, it will carry through the fiber optic cables of chat and reach me. How do I tell the year? We count. <laughs> counting with Argon. This is the final exam of the counting with Argon segment. Everyone count the years. We're currently year 21. <laughs> I'm not about to go and update exclamation point year every single year. Please don't skip the Feast of the Winter Star. I'm sorry, TEP. These are the sacrifices that have to be made. If Blade tells me that uh, that year 110 is where it's at, I'm not going to go check any other Feast of the Winter Star. I'm not going to be like, I don't believe Blade. Let me just double check this one just to be safe. Nah, I trust Blade at this point. He proved his medal more throughout this challenge than, uh, than I could have expected. Year 22, by the way. Here we go. It looks like there's a slightly longer load time when it is loading in a new year, so maybe we can use that to track the year. People in chat are saying 9 plus 10 equals 21. Did I say that? 9 plus 10 equals 21? I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> For entertainment, we could watch the no-level challenges as the days go by. It could be a fun way to do it, because obviously this is this this is going to be the rest of the stream for right now. But uh, when we get to the grander finale, whatever form that's going to take, maybe I'll have like a keybind set up to just do this automatically on the side, and I can do, you know, something else while we wait for while we wait for year one ten to come through. What's nine plus ten? Twenty one. Oh, it's that meme. It's a meme from, like, ages gone by. I feel like that's an old meme. How do you guys even know that? I think that meme's older than some of you guys in chat. The even grander finale. The grandest finale. Welcome to my sleep stream. I feel like it's against the... I know it's at least against, like, the Twitch terms of service to sleep exclusively on stream with, like, nothing going on. I, it probably is for YouTube as well. But I think we can make an exception in this case. That meme isn't that old, right? I feel like it's kind of old. Maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking of a different meme, or maybe this, me this meme has had a resurgence. I don't know. Booty the 14th, welcome. Have two windows, one is sleep stream, one is just running Journey of the Prairie King. It, it would be a prime opportunity to get Fector's challenge done. I wouldn't be able to do it on the same save file, obviously. Also, I'd have to have like two instances of Stardew Valley open, which I don't know if I can really manage that that easily. We'll see, though. I'll figure something out, don't you worry. The Argon Matrix subreddit is open to it. What the heck? I got a subreddit now? I mean, have fun with that, but it's not... I can't, until I, like, check it out myself and everything, I can't officially endorse a subreddit, but it can, you can have your own fan subreddit for sure if you want to. I can't do anything to stop that, nor would I want to. Gotta pull the green jelly. When you have Reddit and don't know. <laughs> when you have a Reddit and don't know. I mean I don't I don't I don't check So it's no skin off my nose really. I have a Reddit account. And that's about as far as it goes. Smappy and vanilla run together with no problems. Can I play the same save file? <laughs> if I if I load up Sna Smappy and load up Vanilla and sleep on both of them, will the sleeping go by twice as fast? I'm looking for any out that I got here. Alright. I am real quick. Real quick, going to take a momentary break here to go refill my water for the last little bit of the stream here. 
I'll be right back. Enjoy your time over in the saloon. I'll be back very, very shortly. Chat, be honest with me. In the saloon, was there a higher incidence of orders of alcoholic beverages due to the recent turn of events? I'll totally understand if that's the case, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do to get through these trying times. And I would not impede that. Just, be just because I don't drink... Doesn't mean I'm going to stop you from drinking. I have my other, my other coping mechanisms, don't you worry. We had one instead of zero. There's another meteor for the record. That's like number 10 or something stupid. An explosion was heard in the night. You got coffee and you hate coffee? <laughs> We're in it for the long haul here. Has anyone ever officially done this much sleeping in Stardew Valley? How many people out there have gotten to year 100 plus? Legitimately, like vanilla and unmodded completely. Well, you know, barring the one mod that I have. <laughs> but that mod doesn't affect anything, obviously. Mechanics wise. It's got to be very small. It's got to be a very small percentage of players who have ever done it. You sure Dangerously Funny did it at some point? Hey, kudos to him if he did. That's a, that's a heck of an... That's a, that's a many multi-hours long commitment, as you're about to see here. <laughs> dangerously Funny slept through years and years. Was it like an experiment to see what the farm would look, but look like at the end of all things, or was it... Was there other some other mechanical purpose to it, or did he just do it because, like, for the lulls? You have a farm started in year, on the first month of the game, you're around year 200 to 300? Well done, Spicy. That's a spicy farm by the sounds of it. Can I suggest we play the entirety of the fan art reel today on the, uh, on the great, or on the grander finale? I th that was what I was going to plan on do, actually. Or anyway, actually. What am I saying? I was going to plan... I was planning on doing that anyway, Karita, so... Definitely. 
Maybe, maybe not this stream because, you know, on the grander finale, there may be some time for people to finish up any fan arts they may have been working on between now and then and get them in there. I will say that the way I have the fan art reel set up right now, I have the uh, the ending. At the end of the stream, every fan art piece is given six seconds before it moves on to the next one. And currently, the length of that clip is somewhere in like the 12 to 13 minute range for the whole thing to, to go through. That's how much fan art you guys have produced over the past few months. It's honestly pretty mind-boggling. It might even be like more than that. I haven't I haven't specifically noted the actual time of the of the fan art reel in a little while. OMG, ten hours. Jessica, Jessica Manza Manzanares, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. What else are we gonna look at? Price of Perfection Grand Finale Rematch. You know, I thought... Because obviously, like I've said already, I'm, I don't need to beat a dead horse that I do not own. I thought that what that, uh, the fact that this stream is going to go longer than 12 hours, and that I'd have to, you know, split it up into a grand finale and grander finale, or whatever the heck I'm going to call it, I thought that would bother me. I thought it'd be like, man, that was like, that sucks, but you know what? The way that this turned out, I think I still really like how this finale turned out. It's like a finale part one and two. You know that every great season finale has a uh, has a part one and part two. They leave you on that cliffhanger. What if Chloe doesn't make it all the, all the way to year one ten? What if what if she dies of old age first? <laughs> Thank God that's not a mechanic. Could you imagine? <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm pretty content with how this stream went. We, at the very end of the day, we can rest well in the knowledge that we did get the Sweet Gem Berry. Year 13 paid off. That was a nice one. And the fact that this is the final grind of the challenge, that there's an actual concrete deadline looming in the future, no matter how far along it may be, the fact that I know it exists and I know the rough amount of time that it's going to take me to get there, is honestly, it's honestly more than I could have asked for. So I think I'm very glad that I did resort to the to the predictor route at the end of the day. Blade slash Zed slash Habu with a perfect seed speed run versus the last eighty percent of this run. What do you mean eighty percent? I guess eighty percent as far as like Stardew Valley years. Hopefully, it's not eighty percent of the runtime of the entire challenge, though. Just do, just do part two on a day I don't work, please. Thinking of my schedule and where things are and how things are going to shake out over the next few days or so, I think probably Sunday would be the next uh, chance I have at at completing this. We're going as long as I can towards completion anyway. Big plot twist from Blade. <laughs> It was the critical linchpin that this stream needed. Last 1% of perfection, though. <laughs> do let that do let that sink in, by the way. I would rather go through this grind, sleep 90 to 100 years, than spend, like, 100 gold or whatever the minimum price is at the traveling cart on a single egg. This is what I'm dedicated. This this is this is the frugality that Chloe has dedicated herself to, till the day she dies, possibly literally. Here we've trans we've transcended into year 23. By the way, happy new year, <laughs> happy freaking new year. You really did have one percent left. Yep. A man of conviction. That's one word for it. Stubbornness might be another one. Which label you want to use is entirely up to you. Please, I have finals next week, Emmy. I'm going to do my best to make sure the Price of Perfection is done before your finals, provided that your finals happen after Sunday. <laughs> your commitment is ad admirable. I'm definitely committed. I'm committed to a fault. I might need to be committed to in, a, to in like a different way by the end of this whole challenge, but... <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. 
I'm just happy to have you guys here to see 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 it through with me. Remember to seek fluid intake when feeling thirsty. Great, great suggestion. Stay hydrated. How many more years to go? About 87. <laughs> you know, just saying it out loud, just, you know, you can't help but laugh, right? You can't help but laugh. It's one of those things where, you know, someone will pop in and be like, how many years do you have left to go? I'll say 87 and they'll be like, yeah, haha, funny joke, but no, seriously. And I'll look at them and be like, maybe 97. <laughs> and then I'll see the look on their face and the and the life slowly drain from their eyes as they realize the pure enormity of what we signed up for together. We're, we're in this together, chat. I mean, technically you can leave whenever you want, but I know many of you won't want to because, you know, you're, cr you're just as crazy as I am to a certain extent. Somewhere deep within you, there, there's a little argon. Inside, I don't want to say that. That sounds very ter that sounds very strange. I was gonna say there's a little argon inside all every one of us. There, there's a little chaos gremlin inside every side finger every inside every single one of us that relishes this sort of thing. Maybe this is not something you would subject yourself to if you were actually playing the game. But vicariously, you gotta admit there's some weird primal satisfaction about it. Oh, is Noel heading out? Have have a good night there, Noel. Thank you for tuning in. I was happy to see you for this uh, this finale. Quote unquote. I hope to see you at the grander finale when that comes to pass. Thank you very much. You're definitely part, part chaos, Gremlin. He'll be here for a while for sure. We're in it to win it now. Especially if it's Sunday, you will be here for perfection. Happy to hear it. You're grinding the wild hat right now. Hey, GG, I'll race you. Will I get Will I get to year 110, or will you get the living hat first? <laughs> Honestly, I'd probably put belt bets on reaching year 110 before getting a living hat, depending on how you're doing it, I guess. It's summer 10. I mean, summer 11. I mean, summer 12. Year oh my gosh. Blade just can't keep up. I found the one the one mechanism against blades trolling. Is this so? Is this summer sixteenth year? Is this summer seventeenth year? Is this summer? Eight, uh, <laughs> script overflow error. Granderist finale rematch. Electric Boogaloo Part Two. Three hundred sixty-five over two. What's the deal with that? By the way, what's the deal with? Kingdom Hearts' like naming scheme for some of their games. Like, isn't one of them literally called like Kingdom Hearts Revelry of a Dream 365 over two days part four or something? Like it's like it's something stupid like that. Like at a certain point, you gotta know when to pull the plug and just say, you know, this is they were just gonna rebrand this. This is gonna be Kingdom Hearts 5 instead. <laughs> Sad that you won't be able to make it Sunday. You'll be here with us in spirit, Kuro. Anyone who's able to make it to this stream, but not Sunday's stream, I, I, you know, I counted either way. I marked, I marketed this as the finale. I truly, in my heart of hearts, believed it would and could be the finale. As it turns out, we got a little ways ahead of us. But let that not defeat you. Let not, let not the knowledge. Excuse me? <laughs> I opened up the te I pressed T by mistake and opened up the text interface. Little chat box. I just started pressing Y over and over again. Don't be defeated at the fact that this is not, in fact, the finale stream. And that it took a turn that none of us could have really realistically expected. Smile, because we get to stay with Chloe just that much longer. You're loving the Jirachi cosplay?
I don't think anyone could have predicted year 110 to 120. It's true, honestly. Even the people who were, like, memeing about it, they would they would predict, like, yeah, you'll probably get Marnie's Feast of the Winter Star in year 100. They weren't, like, that far off, but also should have committed a little harder, I guess. I want to know when the second egg was going to be. It was, uh, Blade said, I believe it was between years 120 and 130. Which honestly, if I had, if, if we'd known that instead, if it had been like, uh, the second one would be between years 120 and 130, my reaction to that probably would have been like, oh, well, that's crazy. Well, at, at least, you know, given the probability of things, that means that the first time we see her is going to be much sooner than that. So I think I would have lulled myself into a false sense of security by knowing that, so I'm kind of glad I went with the decade route instead. Blade could have. Blade could have what? Blade could have lied? Blade would not lie. Not for this, anyway. The egg century? <laughs> what if we lose track of years? Every, every so often, we'll just take a moment to, you know, reflect and... Just, like, I'm pretty sure this is year 23. But, you know, every every few years, every how many years, we can break out of cryostasis, go sell something. And that'll bring up the sales screen at the end of the day. And that'll tell us what year we're in. I can also, you know, I can actually just... Uh, <laughs> I can just go to the title screen and check the year as well. So that's probably the easier way to do it. But right now, this is winter year 23. Hey, mayonnaise, did we get the egg? Yep. Definitely got the egg. <laughs> now I'm just doing this for fun. Nah, the egg is uh, is a long ways off, unfortunately. Oh, mayonnaise, you sweet summer child. Iron Chloe. Imagine how many chests you would need to fit all the presents. Do you imagine having like a full two, two to three chests full of just winter star gifts <laughs> until you get the one that you actually need? OMG, the sleep command. The final command in the in the Price of Perfection pantheon, exclamation point sleep. In all likelihood, the final command anyway. Just slept for 12 hours and missed most of the stream. Hey, you know what? I'm of the opinion that if you slept for 12 hours, your body was telling you you needed to, you needed to sleep for 12 hours. So you got to listen to your body. Unfortunately, that you did miss a majority of the stream. But you know what? I've slept for however many years. And uh, <laughs> I think I got you beat on the 12-hour front. Next command is going to be exclamation point coma. just in time for Chloe to sweep, sleep for 12 decades. Not far off. Marty's like, I'll give him plenty of time to finish that Vector's challenge before I give him the egg. <laughs> so true. Marty be like, Mar Marty's the true diehard Vector's challenge aficionado that we never knew. She's like, I'm gonna make this hell for you. You're either gonna beat Vector's challenge or you're gonna... Sleep. I mean, either way, we're sleeping all this way. You're 24, by the way. Year freaking 24. They're all going to be so old. Yo, what if we just go out into Pelican Town for, like, year 110? And nobody's there anymore. What if they all, they're all gone, or they're all replaced by, like, new NPCs? It turns out that Stardew Valley villagers do have a lifespan, and they get replaced over the generations, and it just takes a significant amount of time that most people don't commit to. <laughs> Any games that have just been announced and they are excited for? Nothing I can think of in particular. It's been a bit of a games drought for the past little bit, hasn't it? 
Like I still need to finish off Elden Ring. That's the main one that I'm that I'm focused on. And Elden Ring has a lot of content, thankfully, that I or a lot of content. Depending on how you approach it. It's got a lot of content for me to sink my teeth into. So I'm looking forward to continue going continuing going with that and doing multiple playthroughs of that in the future, but for the most part, the only one I can think of is Haunted Chocolatier. But that's uh that's a pretty far it's a pretty far-flung dream right now, still. We didn't want 110 years of slimes. So true. So true. You're looking forward to Coral Island and Slime Rancher 2. I didn't know the Slime Rancher t Slime Rancher was coming out with a sequel. I should definitely play Slime Rancher at some point. Obviously, I've got a proclivity towards slimes based on uh, based on the events leading up until the Great Slime Massacre of Year Twenty. By the way, speaking of, welcome one Frosty Slime. Thank you for becoming a YouTube member at the Positron level, level no less. I'm glad you were able to forgive the uh, the transgressions against your slime brethren earlier on in the stream. Greatly appreciate the support. Enjoy your emotes and uh, your sword. Careful, careful where you swing that thing. How long is the stream going to be going? I got another... I got. It's going to be a little less than an hour. Well, actually, a little, probably about an hour exactly. Because I don't want to push it past 12 hours. I don't know what the leeway is on like YouTube videos going like... Like, I don't know if I can go to like 12 hours and 59 seconds or something or what, but... I'll probably end it very slightly before the 12 hour mark is surpassed. So I'll probably go into fan art territory around, you know, like 11 hours, 55 minutes, something like that. Which is about an hour and five minutes from now. And then, uh... I'll have an announcement about when the, when the next one's gonna be, I guess. Live by the optimism, die by the optimism, baby. Argon egg emote when? I think I think the egg, the ovoid emoji on its own, serves that purpose just fine. <laughs> I think it's, you know. It gets the message across better than any any emote that I could. Nice soothing music to relax to, though. Part of me just wants to, you know, just kick back, close my eyes. Listen for my sound cues. And just fall asleep. <laughs> Part of me wants to join Chloe in this great slumber. But I know I can't. I know I can't, because I gotta be here with you guys. Lots of sleep for Chloe. This is definitely one of those one of those grinds that, if I wasn't doing it on stream, definitely be throwing on a movie or two or a show or something while I do this. But I'll find different ways to entertain myself over uh, over the stream. <gasps> Who did the fifteenth? <laughs> How we have fifteen stone owls? How are stone owls still spawning out there? I don't even want to go outside and see the trees or anything. I'm honestly pretty excited to see what the farm freaking looks like after 90 plus years of sleeping. I think it's going to be quite a sight to behold. Might maybe even unrecognizable to a certain extent. Because not only are trees overtaking everything, there's going to be stone owls, meteorites all over the place. There's going to be... Uh, Probably lightning that struck my paths and took those out in some capacity. It's going to be very run down, even with the golden clock. <laughs> it's going to be... It's going to be something different, for sure. Watch a Veritasium video. The Dark Matter one is pretty cool. I watched that before the stream today, actually. However many hours ago that was. For my own sake, you think I should do some sleeping off-stream while watching a, a show-slash-movie? AW, I honestly did think about bringing that up, but I've done every aspect of the challenge, gameplay-wise, on stream so far. 
just because this is like a crazy stupid grind to <laughs> to close things off doesn't mean I'm gonna forego that now. Like I said earlier, I might uh, I might find something to do, like I might set up like some kind of command, some kind of auto hot key thing that does this for me, and then you know play something else on the side. That's something I could definitely commit to and just have you know the price of perfection be on its own thing in the corner in the corner of the stream, but uh, doing it off stream is out of the question for me. Did I watch the new Wendigoon video? I did not. I need to get caught up in some of the Wendigoon stuff. I haven't watched him in a little while. Bombing the farm to end off today's stream. If I could carefully, strategically bomb the, the trees, I definitely would. But I think they're going to have overtaken such a dramatic uh, amount of the farm that it'll be pretty difficult to bomb them without destroying some of the decorations and stuff that I've done. Watch a video. Here's, I don't think that uh, within YouTube's like guidelines for streaming and stuff, I, I don't think I can react to a YouTube video on stream. Unless it's like my own YouTube video. Or maybe one that I explicitly have permi permission for. But I can't just go and be like, hey, what do you guys want me to watch? I'll go react to it. Become a react streamer all of a sudden. <laughs> react to the note level up. I mean, I've seen I've seen it more than just about anybody during the editing process of that. It could be fun. It could be like a fun director's commentary kind of thing if I did if I did that. It would be a way to kill one hour anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to do that right now, but it's it's good to spit all these ideas before the uh, the grander finale stream. So that I have some idea of what I'm going to do or what I'm going to get into here. Play the entire Price of Perfection playlist. Yeah, you guys want some more Price of Perfection? I'll put some Price of Perfection in your Price of Perfection. While we sleep away the hours, let's watch the Cactus Fruit Grind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'd be down for a director's commentary. Yeah, director's commentary could be fun or like reacting to some of my oldest, oldest videos. Like I'm talking like Ocarina of Time stuff back when I was like literally, I mean 2010, I would have been 12 years younger. So like 16, 15, 16. That could be fun too. Reacting to the to the good, the bad, and the ugly times. Might have missed a few streams. Editing stream? I honestly don't think my computer could handle it. My editing software is so scuffed right now. Like, anytime I open it and, like, I try to edit some of the clips that I got for Price of Perfection and stuff, it's, uh, or for anything else for that matter, it, like, takes forever to load. Really slowing down my workflow and making me, like, less interested in or less inclined to edit because it is uh, demotivating to have to just sit there and wait for things to load and all that stuff. So I'm I'm definitely considering looking into a new editing software or alternatively just upgrading my, my setup altogether. What do I use to edit? I currently use Adobe Premiere Pro. It served me well for the uh, majority of, of my time on YouTube so far, but it's... Uh, it's not without its flaws, that's for sure. You can only eat three types of food for the rest of your life. What are they? All right, this is a, uh, like, what classifies as a type of food? Because I can go pretty wide on types of food. Like, are we talking, like, straight-up food groups? You got you got to get your, like, I think you could realistically do that, right? Is this year 25? Year 25, baby. Like, if you get... I, I would probably t pick, um... I would I want to say, like, fruit. Meat. And grains. Fruit, meat, and grains would probably be my go-to... My go-to three right there. I'm probably making... That probably means, like, ha! Huh, that means you're never going to be able to eat, like, such and such food ever again. But I think that would cover a pretty broad range of foods that I would want to consume. Vegetables. 
I would have to definitely hum and haw over whether or not to pick vegetables or fruit. It might be a better idea to land on vegetables. Pizza, pizza, and pizza. Pizza! P-I-Z-Z-A. That's not me pronouncing Z that way, by the way. That's just the song. Options for carbs, fiber, and protein. It's true. Vegetables are probably more wide-reaching and versatile than, sh than fruits are. I like fruits more than vegetables, but I think from a nutritional perspective, uh, vegetables would be the way to go if you didn't have any other options. Pizza, peaches, and I don't know, legumes. <laughs> Simba, it's the rest of your life we're talking about. You, you might have to put a little more thought into it than IDK legumes. Thankfully, this is not an actual ultimatum, or is it? Congratulations, by making it to the end of the Price of Perfection, you officially uh, signed the blood contract that I enacted at the very start of the challenge. I'm a literal devil from the Nine Hells, and uh, you're all under my control now. And you will eat only these three food groups. You have Arfid, so it's easy to eat the same three three things over and over. I've uh I watched a video about Arfid. What is that? It's um it's like I don't remember what the A stands for. It's like but something restrictive food intake disorder or ingest or something like that. I watched one about a girl who like all she could eat was uh like blueberry muffins, goldfish crackers, and there was something else in there. Like some, like some, I don't know if uh, Arfid like exists on a scale where like you can like some some like you might have it worse than other people. But from what it, from what I sound and everything I heard about it, it sounded like it would be a pretty detrimental thing to live with. But uh, you just got to play the hand you're dealt. Sometimes, unfortunately, avoidant restrictive food intake disorder sounds about right. Have a good one there, David. Thanks for tuning in for the little for uh for the eleventh hour of the stream here. Literal eleventh hour of the stream closing in. <laughs> Some people are really severe. I'm on the upper end of the spectrum, so you have about twenty foods you can rotate through. That still seems like such a small sample size, but what are you gonna do about it, right? I definitely don't have that. I have a seafood diet. I see food and I eat it. But um, shh. The dad jokes. Yo! What about tomatoes? Are they a fruit or a vegetable? What's your opinion on tomatoes? <laughs> Mom, you already know my full opinion on tomatoes. My mom will do this thing. We'll go to the drive-thru at like McDonald's or something. And she'll be sitting in the driver's side. She'll be like, okay, what do you want? And I'll be like, I don't know, I'm gonna get like a quarter pounder or something. It'll be a it'll be a burger that I know has no tomatoes on it. And she'll come through and she'll be like, hey, can we get the quarter pounder? No tomatoes though. She knows that I don't like tomatoes at all. So she wants to be extra sure. She it's it's a mom thing for sure. But thank you, mom, for, for looking out for me. <laughs> Everyone be nice to my mom in chat, by the way. To answer the question, I believe, uh, I believe whether a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable depends on the state, on the on the context of the discussion that you're having. Culinarily, it is definitely a vegetable. Botanically, I believe it to be a fruit. As a McDonald's employee, please don't do that. It just confuses us. <laughs> It's literally the one food he hates, tomatoes. Untrue, I also don't like olives. Olives are are very much in the no-go zone as far as, uh, pretty much as far, or maybe even worse for me than tomatoes. If I had to pick between eating an olive or a tomato, I'd probably eat, well, I mean, I'd probably eat the olive, honestly, if I had to eat the whole thing. 
because the olive is much smaller than a tomato. But if they were similar portion sizes, i go tomato all the way. And mushrooms. I've come around to mushrooms. Mushrooms are not, not as bad. They're not my favorite still, but, uh, but I can definitely tango with some mushrooms. You can't stand tomatoes, but you love ketchup. I think that's a fairly common sentiment, because that's that's the way that's where I land too. I really do like ketchup, but uh, t ketchup and tomatoes do not taste similar at all. So I think that's totally reasonable. Ketchup is like so much is like so full of sugar and stuff. I was taking a quiz the other day on Sporkle.com, not sponsored. Uh, it was about like. What are the top 100 most common food items that Americans keep in their pantries? I was I was going on it for a while. I was like, all right, you got your you got your flour, you got your sugar, you got various spices, you got all this sort of stuff. And for the longest time, number one just was just eluding me. I was like, like all these things like like flour or sugar or something like that was up at number two, and most of the top ten was all stuff that you'd like regularly expect. Number one, I was like, what the heck is number one? Number one turned out to be ketchup. I, I was not surprised that ketchup was in the top 100 most common things to keep in your pantry. I was quite surprised that it was number one, though. Like, number one seems extremely high for ketchup. Given that, like, ketchup on its own doesn't have that many uses. Like, most people would use it for, like, burgers or hot dogs and maybe some macaroni and cheese, a little craft dinner. And that's kind of where it ends, but maybe maybe there's more culinary purpose to it than I thought, than I give it credit for. It was still very surprising, though. And then, like, mustard, which kind of goes hand-in-hand hand with ketchup a lot of the time. That was, like, number, like, 25 or something. Which is still probably higher than I would have put it, personally. Mustard, definitely not one of my favorite condiments. In fact, probably one of my least favorite. But I'll eat it in a pinch. You used to use ketchup on your pasta when you were a kid. I like ketchup on eggs, on like scrambled eggs and stuff. Not too much. It can. I've had. I've had situations where I like. I just want to drench the thing in ketchup. It's. It was one. You know, one of those where it's like, do you want some eggs with your ketchup? And that's too much for sure. But a little dab of ketchup on top of the eggs, mix it right in there. Mmm. Pièce de résistance. Yes, Matrix Sun does not like mustard. Matrix Sun? I don't think you can call me Matrix Sun. I'm, I'm Argon Matrix, and everything, all my familial relations will extend and branch out from there. You can you can be Mama Matrix, or Argon Mom. Of course, now that you've said it, people will definitely call me Matrix Sun, so you know what? <laughs> I just gotta accept it. Your sister used to eat ketchup sandwiches. He also speaks French. I've been down this uh, this road before. <laughs> I do speak French. Oui, je parle un petit peu de français. Matrix son accepted. I saw some people bringing up, like, hot sauce and barbecue sauce and stuff earlier. Um, have any of y'all ever tried making popcorn and then just, like, pouring a bunch of hot sauce on that? I actually did that a decent amount when I was when I was younger. I would uh, just find some hot sauce around the house and have some popcorn, and you would just pour it in, shake up the bag. Honestly, turned out, like, really good. <laughs> like, I like spicy stuff. You're 26, by the way. I really like spicy stuff. And that hit the spot in just the right way. Hot corn? Is, the, is, is it so common that there's an actual name for it and I'm just behind the curve? I, I think that I'm like some kind of weird food innovator. And realistically, people have been doing it for decades. Wait, I'm confused. What are you trying to do right now? Exclamation point sleep. That's all you need to know. 
If you're confused after that point, I can elaborate further, but hopefully exclamation point sleep gets the point across relatively cleanly. Never thought of that, I'd try it. It was just kind of like uh, just something that I saw. It was like one of those Eureka moments, you know, when you like you're in the in the kitchen looking for a snack. You can't quite figure anything out. I get my popcorn made, but I'm also like while I'm waiting for the popcorn to to cook in the microwave, I'm just looking around the kitchen, and all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I spot this bottle of Tabasco sauce. I think it was specifically Tabasco sauce, and I'm like, I wonder. Because they got, you know, similar popcorn and, and hot sauce to exist within non-dissimilar taste profiles. So blending them is not all that uncommon. Well, popcorn can actually be blended with, like, a ton of things. Because you got your sweet popcorns, you got your sour popcorns, you got your salty, savory popcorns. It runs the full gamut of, uh, of flavor profiles. It really does. I put powdered chicken bouillon in your pot in your popcorn. That's one I would not have expected, but I could also see it because at the uh, movie theater, I don't I haven't seen it in a while, but the movie theaters they used to have seasoning that you would put on there, and I would definitely go to town with some ketchup seasoning or dill pickle seasoning on my popcorn at the movie theater. Nowadays, I've kind of transitioned and become a popcorn purist. Most of the popcorn that I eat, I'm not sadistic enough to eat popcorn without butter. Are you crazy? But, uh, just pure buttered popcorn? Totally fine by me. If not preferable by me. It's so common here that there's already microwave popcorn with Sazon added. What the heck is Sazon? Sazon spice. I don't think I've ever. Or is it Sazon? I don't think I've ever heard of that. If it's in Brazil, though, it's probably pretty good. Y'all got some S-tier spices down there, for sure. Quick check-in. How much does Krobus hate us? About what I figured. Anyway. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> to be expected. I'm just glad that the friendship can't go into the negatives. Tim Beeb, though. Hold on. He saw me sop for the briefest of moments in my sleep. I'm gonna actually pet him. I'm not dead, Tim Beeb, I swear. <laughs> he's right there. He's he's still with me. He's still Tim Beeb will love us forevermore. Tim Beeb. Have I been streaming since 11 a.m.? If I say yes, will you think, uh, Lesser or greater of me? Hello, by the way, Oceana. Happy to see you here. What does he say if you talk to him? Hey, Krobus. <laughs> Been a little bit. I hope the humidity in here isn't too bothersome to you. He even at zero hearts? Even at zero hearts, he's still thinking about me like that? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe he's not as much on my side as I thought. Yikes. That was a yikes moment. Zombo, best of luck in the dark room. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I didn't realize that was an interaction that could happen. I thought they always like were happy to hug you. He was not feeling it that time. He was like, Krobus, did you see the look he gave the camera? He's like, do you believe this girl? He he broke through the fourth wall with a stare. That I didn't think Krobus was capable of. Did he f refuse to hug us? I don't think he refused to hug me. I think he just kind of stood there and took it. <laughs> I think he just stood there and let it happen. He was like, alright, fine. But he certainly was not happy about it. Bad vibes. It's okay. We'll make up for it in due time. Yo, did you see that? He was behind all the tables there. <laughs> He was, like, at his own little reception desk. Hey, 
it was sarcasm. He was hoping that the humidity annoys you. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up in in a couple a uh, couple of years here, and Krobus is gonna have a a humidifier put next to my bed. <laughs> He's like, oh, I hope the humidity is not too bad for you. I just you know <laughs> see how much you're sleeping. You don't want to get too dry skin. And he thinks he's being like really mean and sarcastic about it, but actually it helps a great deal. Because he's right. <laughs> he was pretending he was a shopkeeper. Going back to his glory days of selling uh selling star drops and return scepters. What year are we actually on now? Honestly, I think it's year 26, right? Quick double check. We're, we're double checking. I haven't seen- Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Alright, this is a sign of things to come, I guess. Let's get, to, let's get to the shipping bin and sell them. It doesn't even- It does not phase me. It doesn't phase me. It's just gonna get worse from here on out, okay? Don't look, chat. It's just- It's, you know- <laughs> They call it foreshadowing in the movie industry. They call it that they call that one foreshadowing. <laughs> Big yikes. Alright. Year 26 though. Year 26 is is confirmed now. In case anyone was curious. I can't believe we have to sleep a century to get a white egg. I talked at various points throughout the uh, throughout the challenge about century eggs. I kind of brought this upon myself, didn't I? But you know what? In for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. In for ten years, in for a hundred. Can't believe I almost missed the finale. Ender, I hate to break it to you. There's about 45 minutes left in the stream. And then, uh, we're definitely not going to be at the end of our challenge yet. Price of Perfection lives on to see a grander finale, but I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're here. For this craziest turn of events that we've ever seen. Will you please open up all of your mail at the end? I would be so happy. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about the mail. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't need to check the mail for um, for the Feast of the Winter Star, right? There's still room for a stone owl out there. Hootie the 16th or 17th, welcome to the party. Yeah, I don't need to check the mail. Like, it would be nice, but I can also just bring, like, whatever gift I want to. Like, I'll bring a prismatic shard, which will cover everyone except Haley, and then I'll just bring something for Haley. And then I'll go talk to everybody. <laughs> what year is it? It's year 26. <laughs> Keeping track of it manually now instead of instead of worrying about exclamation point year. Exclamation point year has outlived its usefulness in this um, ultimate hibernation section of the Price of Perfection. Yeah, yeah, we're on the same wavelength there, Malehu. Don't need mail, just bring a prismatic shard, bring Haley a gift, and we're golden. Exclamation point sleep, by the way, if you want to know uh, the intel on exactly what we're doing here. That would be fun, kind of, that would be mis a mystery gifty. Have a good one there, Oceana. Thanks for tuning in for any length of time, it's always appreciated. I did indeed use a predictor. His name is Blade. I considered using the predictor myself, but I'd, I want to find out as much as you guys do. Once once we get to year 110, we'll go back to, you know, business as usual. <laughs> whatever, whatever passes for usual around these parts. Chloe is amazed the town is alive. I think the town's going to be amazed that Chloe is alive. No one's no one's stopping by to check on her. 
Lewis is still coming by, presumably, every single day to check our shipping bin. For better or for worse. How, how like, uh, stunned do you think Lewis was after checking our shipping bin for, for, like, multiple years in a row, never having seen us at any of the festivals for several years? And all of a sudden, he looks up, he opens it up, like, expecting to see nothing as per usual. His eyes go wide as he sees two random pieces of stone walkway floor. <laughs> he just picks them up and sells them for a, for a buck each, and that was it. Like, what do you think that he's thinking? <laughs> the mailbox is overflowing. The mailbox is just gonna be full. <laughs> Kind of regret the slime killings. The auto petters just going at it. Um, okay, that was spooky. Oh, that was a new year. That's why it took so long. Year twenty-seven, Pog. I, I thought the game crashed for a second. <laughs> Not that it's that big of a deal if the game crashes at any point, because obviously we're saving after every single day here. It's not like a crash is going to send us uh, five years back into the, into the past or anything like that. Ten stone owls surrounding that surrounding me like bodyguards. Yeah, we got we got the eight in here, and then almost as many outside at this point. Actually, maybe even more than that. I guess if we're if we're at Hootie the sixteenth or seventeenth. During the grander finale, for the record, once we get to year one ten, one twenty, and wherever we need to get to. I'm not going to be fixing up the farm on that day, on, on the day that we actually get there and do it. I'm going to see this challenge through to its completion, and then during our victory lap celebration stream, where we do all the things that we wish we could have done, that's when I think we restore Frugal Farm to its former glory. I think I can do it, given enough time and enough bombs, but uh, I think it's definitely a lost cause at this point. Where did all the slimes go? Don't don't go back like maybe 30 minutes or so in the stream. Maybe even more than that. I got about 40 minutes left in the stream here. I don't think I can make year 30. But I'm going to push. I'm going to press this D button and this Y key faster and more efficiently than you ever thought possible. Mary Haley in the victory lap. I mean, Krobus is going to hate us so much by that point. He'll probably be happy to to be evicted, honestly. He feel, he must feel like trapped in some kind of weird purgatory right now. While I just get to like skip through all these days, he's he's living every single one. He's like the the narrator in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition or whatever it's called. You keep pressing the skip button to skip over the days. Krobus is living through each of those agonizing moments. I don't even know if that guy sleeps. <laughs> How do I feel now that I've been doing this for an hour or two? I feel fine, honestly. I feel no better or worse than I did when I started. If, if anything, I do feel marginally better just knowing that one day at a time I am getting closer. Instead of trying to look for, you know, half measures and shortcuts to get there, it's like, ooh, what if I installed a mod? Ooh, what if I, you know, ran a command to set the year to whatever year I needed to be? Instead, you, instead of, like, dilly-dallying, humming and hawing, debating with chat, running polls, whatever, I'm just being who I am, I'm sending it to year 110, and we're gonna get there one way or another. And that's just how it is. Krobus doesn't sleep. He does literally just, like, stand over there. People have been known to sleep standing up, though. Exclamation point sleep. The numbers were very big and pretty, though. <laughs> During the slime massacre, you're absolutely correct. People tell a funny story so we can laugh while we're here supporting Argon. I'll try and think of a funny story. Um... Hey, one time a lady came into the, the liquor store that I work at and she asked for grape wine. Can you even imagine? 
Can you imagine who doesn't know that wine is made from grapes? All literally like almost all wine is made from grapes. She's in here asking for grape wine. What a fool. I know what she meant though. Like she wasn't thinking to like wine made from grapes. She wanted specifically like grape flavored wine. Like like hard and heavy on the grapes. <laughs> wow, got him. Hey Leap. Leap a lot. Welcome. Welcome back to the stream. <laughs> the most exciting Stardew stream ever recorded on the internet. Can you believe it? Does my store have ice wine? We have a very small selection of ice wine. Ice wine's a weird one, right? Like, you have to make ice wine during a very specific two-week period using a specific kind of grape. I did, like, a whole day's work and you're still asleep. This is my whole day's work, Leap. <laughs> for better or for worse, this is this. is you're watching my work day right here. I'm putting in the 9 to 5. Hold down the D key, press the Y key, and try to entertain the, folk, the masses at home. I'm glad that you guys have all stuck around for, for so long. Many of you have anyway, despite this crazy turn of events. I'm glad that I'm somehow entertaining enough to make this, whatever this is, whatever you're watching right now, somehow I'm able to make this entertaining for you. I would think it would take a funnier, more creative individual than I to pull that off, but here we are. Here we are. I don't know if you're entertained or if you're just... Maybe maybe it's just entertaining in some capacity watching someone descend into madness. At some primal, visceral level. We all enjoy this. <laughs> Did we check the seed, I take it? Yeah, I got, I got Blade. I sent Blade my save file. I asked him for the decade in which the first incidents of Marnie at the Feast of the Winter Star would show up. And he hit me with the year 110, 120. And I was like, yo, but really, Blade? But really? And he was like, uh, dot, dot, dot. And that's when my heart sunk through my chest into the floor and, is somewhere, and landed somewhere at the core of the earth. Came, away, came around all the way to the other side of the earth. Shot up to the International Space Station. And now I'm living on cloud nine. It, it just went so far down that it came all the way back up, and now I'm just happy. I'm just, I've just, I've just reached Nirvana. What year is it now? Currently, year twenty-seven. And no signs of slowing down. <laughs> Yo, the perfection song though, <laughs> possibly the most ill-placed perfection song of all time. Did, 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 did Krobus put a chair in my bedroom? <laughs> Krobus, I've been lying down for the past however many years, for the past like seven years. I don't think I need to sit anywhere. But you know what? I appreciate it. I appreciate the thought. Maybe, maybe he's sitting and like watching me and wondering if I'll ever come back to. <laughs> you know what, Krobus? If that's the spot you want to watch me from, at least let me help you out this way. Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna be a weirdo who watches me sleep, do it right? Although, can I call Krobus a weirdo for wanting to watch me sleep when literally all I do is sleep? <laughs> it's very rare he gets a chance to watch me do anything else. He's worried about my bed sores. Chloe's never even had a bad hair day in her life. Look at her right now. She's just as pristine as the first day she started sleeping. She's still got the she's still got life and light in her eyes. We are all watching you sleep. Technically, no, you know. The screen fades to black during the actual process in which Chloe is sleeping. You get the first little moments before REM. But you don't get to see the bulk of, of Chloe actually sleeping. Can we make some pajamas? These are our pajamas. <laughs> I swapped out of my uh, out of my glowing crisp, my glowing prismatic, sweaty clothes. 
into something a little more breathable, a little more fashionable, hopefully. Hope you like. You know what I just thought of that made me kind of sad? I don't think Krobis will do this anymore, because, like, obviously I think he needs to be at a specific friendship level to have been doing this, but he was making us, like, food and stuff every time we talked to him, or many of the times we talked to him. Think of all the time before his friendship decayed past the point of no return, that he would, like, he'd be like, oh, she's gonna wake up soon. I'll make her this nice little poppy seed muffin. I'll make her a nice lucky lunch, you know? I went out and found this sea urchin. I hope she likes it. Think of all the times that that happened, and we just didn't show up. That makes me so sad. <laughs> that makes me just so sad. Poor Krovis. No wonder he doesn't want to hug me. I wouldn't want to hug me either. <laughs> oh, no. I'm definitely not getting food from Krovis right now. I certainly hope he's not putting in any effort to making any more... Lovely poppy seed muffins. That's why I have negative 43 hearts right now. <laughs> Thank god the hearts cannot go into the negatives. I'm just amazed that everyone else in town still loves and remembers me. You're 28, by the way. You're 28. Oh god, it's not a garden, it's a farm. Oh my gosh, what if... Guys... What if at the end of all this, like, we wake up in year 110, and all of a sudden we see, like, this random box on the ground, and we're like, what the heck is this? And there's 15 parsnip seeds in it? We step outside, and and Robin is introducing the new farmer to her home. He's like, yeah, this is, uh, this is the old rundown farm. Welcome to Frugal Farm. And it just goes full circle because it's, the farm is so overgrown that you can't even tell that anyone lived there at any point. <laughs> We enter a weird time loop. Get that Spider-Man meme, it's like where they point at each other, there's like two Chloe's all of a sudden. Chloe and Chloe Jr. It all comes full circle. Given the weird, like, time bubble that Stardew Valley seems to exist within, I wouldn't put it past it, honestly. Babe, wake up, new Stardew lore just dropped. Leap, make a video on that. <laughs> Resident Stardew lore expert. No, that's that's not really a lore thing. That's more of a fan fiction thing. Sloth makes a return during Chloe's ascent through greed. <laughs> it's true. I thought I thought Lazy Farm was uh was the laziest it got. I was so innocent and naive back in those days. So innocent, so naive. Lazy Farm. I'll show you lazy. I'll show you all. Presses Y 10,000 times. <laughs> You fell asleep a few hours ago and somehow we're on year 28, exclamation point sleep. Welcome back, Natalia, from your own uh, little cryostasis. Sleeping for 100 years is a lot of work. It definitely takes a certain type of person to sleep for 100 years straight, you're not wrong about that. Can't wait to get to year 110 and then uh, and then a cutscene plays. It's like, wake up, wake up, Chloe. And all of a sudden I step outside and I'm on the Great Plateau in Breath of the Wild. Just a whole new game. Why not macro it? Because I'm in the middle of the stream and setting up a macro would have taken time that I can otherwise take up between streams and do that instead. So I'm willing to manually do it for the last little bit of the stream here and then Possibly set up a macro or some kind of auto hotkey between streams. Or maybe, you know, just send it. 
I wake up in the Skyrim intro. Hey, you're finally awake. <laughs> Play maybe Breath of the Wild for the next thing. Quickly go 100% Breath of the Wild while I uh, while I sleep the years away. NBD. I did actually have a challenge idea in mind for Breath of the Wild. It would be uh, it would be an interesting one for sure. I actually don't know if it's possible. I need I need to do more research into it, but I think it would be a fun game to do challenge runs in. Have I eaten something? I did eat lunch and dinner throughout the stream, so no worries there. I'll have something once the stream is over in half an hour or so to, to top me off and then probably go to bed. <laughs> not, not long after that. What year did the stream start on? I think it's... What, what were we? Were we year 11 when we started the stream? Year 11? Something like that? It was prior to year 13. I think, I think it was year 11. Like, we were, like, in summer of year 11 or something. So we've more than doubled our year count this stream. That's kind of... That's productive, at least. What time is it there? It's uh, currently 8.30 p.m. Not super late. I didn't want to go super late. That's why I started the stream earlier. I'd rather wake up early and start the stream nice and early. Then stay up until midnight or something. That's just my own personal preference. Can someone explain to me why I'm watching a random stream of someone sleeping repetitively in Stardew Valley at 4.30 a.m.? Clement? I've asked myself that question many times. Not Maybe not that exact question, but similar questions. Like, how did I end up watching this random thing that's, you know, by all rights should not be entertaining? You gotta do some soul searching on that one. You gotta figure out the answer for yourself. Only you know the true answer to that question. I suppose you already went to Cannoli then? We did. We got the final star drop. Sitting at a clean 99% perfection right now. Actually, with Krobus at zero hearts, does, do you think that's enough to drop us to 98% perfection? Should we double check? Might be worth going and double checking. This is pretty much a GIF now. Literally just a GIF of it. What do you mean? Look at, watch the auto petter. Watch the auto petter up there. It's not on the same cycle every time. Maybe it is, I don't know. It definitely is. <laughs> Actually, maybe it's not, you know? Why is Krobus on zero hearts? Your housemate's friendship decay never stops even when you reach maximum friendship with them. So by not talking to Krobus for many years at a time, his friendship has just decayed over time until he literally hates us. I really do have to year, go to year 110. It's it's just a fact of life at this point. But hey, you know, I had to search 5,000 garbage cans too, so I'm no stranger to this. I'm curious though. I am going to go... Alright, take a deep breath, chat. Take a deep breath and don't look too closely. I'm going to go to Ginger Island and check my perfection percentage just to see if it, uh, if it fell off. Have a good one there, uh, Leap. See you in Finale Part 2 and possibly Part 3. We'll see how it goes, but uh, thank you for tuning in. Alright. Hold your breath and count to Denton. We're graduating soon. College will be paradise if I'm not dead by June. Alright. I gotta, I gotta make a path here. I gotta... I, oh no. Okay. Alright, quickly. Alright, the trees are blocking me in a little bit. They're block. They're blocking me. I'm. I'm being blocked. They got blockers. The supply crates. I didn't even. There's a stone owl right there. Is that? Do you think that's Hootie the Seventeenth? Where's my axe at? Quickly grab the axe. All right. I just need to make it through. I just need to make it. To the island obelisk. Please. Please. Okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Getting close, this is... This is okay, I made it, I made it. Island obelisk, let's go. That lag. <laughs> Alright. The lag... Oh, the, the, the game is lagging, it's definitely true. I mean, that's what you get when you stream for 12 hours. Play the same game for 12 hours and, like, record it. And everything, it's... 
is chugging a little bit, but it's difficult to notice when you're just sleeping the years away. Get my pickaxe for the way back. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I don't think I need the pickaxe, so there shouldn't be rocks in the way. It should only be trees. Hello, Mr. Chi. Wherever you go, I'm always behind a curtain making sure the show is interesting. Then where the hell were you when they were deciding the schedule for this dang winter star? Making sure the show is interesting in my ass! What are you doing? I have to sleep to 110 years! What are you talking about interesting? I'm mad! <laughs> I'm sorry. Or am I? I can't win with this guy. I can't win with this clown. Get out of here. 99% perfection. We're fine. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Alright, back to it. He said, interesting, not exciting. You know what? It's a very, very important distinction. Oh, lord of lords, oh lordy lordy. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out, please. Where's Tim Beeb? He's, he's inside, it's raining, it's fine. Tim, Tim Beeb? Oh my god. The bombs? I could bomb. I could bomb my way out of this out of this mess, but I don't want to risk destroying the paths. All right, get me. I think if I head up this way, this is this is the path to take. Oh, we're so close. Oh, that's Tim Beeb's watering bowl. Wait, quickly. Oh, it's already full because of the rain, but in spirit. Get me out of here. Top ten start. Top five starter YouTubers who have sworn. The recycling machine? No, you can you can stay there. You can stay there. You've lived there for your entire life. I'm not going to stop that now. All right. Well, that was an exciting little field trip. Get all this trash out of here. Puppy hasn't gotten water in seven years. There's the sprinkler. There's rain. He he's found ways. Tim Beam still still loves and appreciates me. Where is he? There he is. Look, he's, he's, he's sleeping the days away just like me. Like pet, like master, right? This is sad. Looks abandoned. <laughs> Not abandoned, you know, just, uh, we just in stasis for a little while. It's fine. There's a difference. All right. Back to sleep for another 10 minutes or so. Reminder for everyone here to hydrate. Good call, Kitty Kruger. I shall also hydrate. Let me let me one hand this while I do that. Will Chloe live long enough to get the egg? Thankfully, Chloe is an immortal being whose powers we cannot comprehend. So she'll be fine. 110 years, basically the blink of an eye to her. Literally no difference. Have you considered that Tim Beeb isn't mortal? <laughs> Literally no one in Stardew Valley is mortal. Except for, like, Mona, I guess. She's the only one who has, like, a confirmed gravestone. And I guess, I guess Grandpa also not mortal. And Jazz's parents. You know, there's a lot of dead people in Stardew Valley. <laughs> When you really look at it, there's, there's, there's a lot of dead folks in here. Water is just an offering to his greatness. In two years, Tim Beeb will become the oldest dog to ever exist. World record, somebody call Guinness. Definitely has his dark undertones. Just go, just go watch Leapalot's channel for that, for sure. There's a lot of dead people IRL too, though. Yeah, true enough. It is a life simulator game. You know, heavy air quotes around around the word simulator. Add one extra quote around each around the word simulator for every year that I've slept through. <laughs> what about the war between humans and sh shadow people and the dwarves? That war is going to be long over by the time we reach the Feast of the Winter Star that I need. That war will have ended. We'll start, it, a second war will have started in its place, and that one will have ended by the time 
we're done here. <laughs> How old is Tim Beep now? Assuming he was like roughly... I don't know if he would be a newborn when you first find him in like year one. He was probably at least like a few months old. So call call it like, you know, 20, 27, 28 years old. I'm surprised your house isn't covered in tables and chairs yet. Night uh Zombo, do be careful not to not to spam the, the commands too much there. It does it does clog up the chat somewhat unnecessarily. I appreciate the promotion though either way. Yo, happy winter star, by the way. We got we got an owl! We got a stone owl for the feast of the winter star. Yo! That's pretty exciting. Hootie the 18th? Something like that. <laughs> World record for most stone owls on one farm, potentially. Probably not, honestly. But we're gonna we're gonna be on the leaderboards at least. Do I know when the egg is coming or is that still a mystery? Exclamation point sleep? Exclamation point sleep. Alright. Well this is year what, year twenty eight? Let me go double check this. How you doing, Krobus? What's your plan for the new year, Chloe? Can I get, you know? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I just want to check the just want to check the year. I just want to check the year. I just, I need to sell something to check the year, please. I just want to make sure this just should be year 28, I think. If I haven't miscounted here. Let's see. Who's my favorite spouse? Exclamation point Haley. You already know. I wonder how many T sets you've skipped. <laughs> it's year 29. One year better than I thought. Year 29. Nice. I've got about 15 minutes left here before I hit that 12 hour threshold and it is like I think a hard limit for 12 hours for YouTube's like saved VODs or streams or whatever. I don't think I can get to year 30 within that time limit. I can't really do much of anything within that time limit. I could try a Fector's run but if it if it goes long then it's going to go longer than 15 minutes so uh... Let's let's take here's welcome to my farm tour everybody. Welcome to the farm tour. What? There's space? There's space the trees have not yet overtaken this area. I can actually walk this shoreline. Yo, there's actually there's still freedom somewhere down here. There is hope yet. It's not going to last that much longer probably. This path has saved us somewhat. Oh my god, the wood floor though. Welcome to my amazing epic farm tour. The supply crates. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so good. The dwarf dagger lives strong forever in our memories. Oh my good lord. Okay. Well, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be getting to year thir year 30 even if I slept for the entirety of the remainder of this uh of these 12 hours here. Booty the 18th, protecting our battery packs. Thank you. I can't even reach the mailbox. <laughs> I can't reach my mailbox? I didn't even know that could happen. I thought there was like a few tiles around here that, that were like immune to, to trees, but we've pushed the limits of the game. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Well, I'll sleep one last time here, and I think I'm going to have to call it a stream. A little earlier than 12 hours, but it's, you know, YouTube kind of forces my hand on that one. How's the mushroom forest? I wish I could get there to see it. <laughs> Regardless, thank you all for sticking it out with me for so long here. Has my, has my stream turned into a black screen for anybody else? Oh, it's just buffering for me. Hopefully it's not buffering too badly for you, though. <laughs> Um, it was a valiant effort. You said it best there, Dragon Lights. It was a great effort. 
And honestly, I had a lot of fun with this, uh, with this finale. Turns out, finale part one. Finale part one only. Possibly up to three parts, depending on how, how quickly I can sleep through all these years. It took, what, two hours to sleep through, like, ten years? <laughs> it's not, it's not great metrics, but, you know. Yeah, probably gonna end up being, like, a three-parter at this rate, though. I digress for right now. I'll have an announcement over the weekend or at some point here. I'm not going to have anything immediately after the stream because I got to decompress after this. 12 hours takes a lot out of you, no matter what I say, no matter how much I want it not to. But I had a blast, and I hope that you did too. I will see you all next time for the grander finale, part two, wherever we may land with that. I'm looking forward to, to seeing it through with you. I think we'll have some more fun diversions planned for that. I'll figure something out. Don't you worry. We'll make it entertaining in some capacity. But thank you all for being here for this. The Price of Perfection lives on in one of the in, in a twist that nobody expected. <laughs> I digress. I'm going to get out of here. I'll leave you with the fan art compilation for a little bit here. Please enjoy. Uh, YouTube is not receiving enough <laughs> enough to maintain smooth streaming. As, as, as such, viewers will experience buffering. I think that's a good enough sign as any to, to end things off here. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you so much, and good night. Bye-bye. Thank you.